In this world, the real currency isn't money, it's your own creativity. After reaching adulthood, everyone has a chance to create their own world. Some create top-tier technological worlds, traveling through the universe. Others create divine worlds, resisting countless demons and monsters. And the more advanced the world's evolution, the higher the social status. But you only awaken a world with a diameter of only 500 meters, and no living creature can survive in it. That's why others see you as worthless, but you don't care at all. In fact, you're very happy. Because as a traveler, you found that the people in this world know nothing about the strange and bizarre. And the death energy in your awakened world is perfect for bizarre survival. So you quickly determined the direction of your civilization's development. That is to create a bizarre civilization with various rules and powerful evil gods. Inside the rental house at the moment, you are looking at the information of your own world. The size of the death world, 1 kilometer. World level, level 1. World origin, 100 points. Normally speaking, to develop civilization, it's nothing more than creating many lives first, and then let them slowly evolve their own civilization. After being able to evolve to a certain extent, you can create some powerful individual creatures, such as characters in the immortal cultivation world from the Genshi family, genius in the technological world. All of these are collectively referred to as hero units, but because the area of your world is too small, so you didn't follow the usual path. Instead, you chose to create a hero unit. That is the famous enigmatic creature Sadako from the past. Sadako not only has the ability to kill using tapes and televisions, but is also an existence that cannot be erased. As your thoughts turn, a deep bottom forest quickly appears on the dark land. However, due to the energy of death, these trees withered the moment they were born. But you don't mind, after all, you only need them to stand there. Not long after the forest withered, a dried up well gradually formed in the withered forest. As soon as the well appeared, a weeping female voice emanated from it, accompanied by the sharp sound of nails scratching the stone. As the sound gets closer to the well, a pair of fierce white hands quickly appeared at the well. Right after that, a disheveled head then peeked out from the well, and emitted a creepy giggling sound. Junzi twisted her body, crawling out of the dried well like a spider. She quickly stood in front of the dried well. At this moment, her surroundings were filled with resentment and hatred. Just one look sent chills down people's spines. But as the creator, you know that Junzi poses is no threat to you, having just created her. A notification sound echoed in your mind. Congratulations on creating the hero unit Jinzi. Rare ability 1. Physical immunity. As a spirit, Sadako is immune to all physical damage ability 2. Resurrection of resentment. Relying on resentment. Sadako born of hatred. As long as there is negative energy such as resentment and hatred, Sadako can have unlimited resurrection ability and teleportation. Sadako can teleport 100 meters forward. Cooldown time 5 seconds. Ability 4 telekinesis control. Sadako can control telekinesis for destruction or control of intangible matter. Ability 5 electronic curse. Anyone who sees Sadako's image will be cursed. And being chased by Sadako's doppelganger, after watching Sadako's information, you can't help but marvel. Truly a hero of rare quality. Indeed, it's so terrifying, and Sadako's ability to be immune to physical damage is definitely a miracle in the early world war. After all, in the early stages, most civilizations are mainly based on physical damage. So, immune to physical harm, Sadako is basically invincible. Even if she's unfortunately killed, as long as she has enough negative energy, she can endlessly revive. In your world, nothing is too much. It's the maximum death energy, you could say that your world exists for the sake of the bazaar. In the following days, you projected your consciousness into the world, conducting detailed observations of this world and Sadako. Time flew by. Three days later, you come to the school again to participate in the trial. Your arrival surprised everyone. In their eyes, your world cannot be born. Life is undoubtedly a waste world. But you did not pay attention to this. Instead, you followed the instructions of the school leaders and put on the observation equipment and began to communicate with the source of your own world. This trial is a preliminary assessment. Everyone's source will be projected into a dedicated observation room. There will be teachers inside to observe and score. The higher the score, the higher the ranking, the more resources you will receive. This world is not bad. The basic environment has been set up. Unfortunately, there are not many biological scores. Bijia, this classmate named Qingxue has great talent. Not only has the environment been built, but also created a world source observation room for the evaluation of superpowers. Teachers continue to give evaluations to various worlds, but when they see your world, even Shijun couldn't help but be stunned on the spot. Isn't this classmate's world unable to give birth to life? 
How come there is a hero unit in his world? Yes, yes. How did he manage to do that? Could it be that he has mastered a completely new set of world rules? Looking at the Sadako in your world, all the teachers couldn't help but feel puzzled. And their discussions also caught the attention of the principal. After listening to the teacher's explanations, the principal's eyes lit up with surprise. In the other side of the testing hall, many students who came to participate in the trial were discussing with each other. This time, Ching Shui Goddess will definitely take the first place. Her starting point is much higher than ours. Yeah, that's right. If I could make it to the top 10, that would be great. Then I'll be able to get good resources to develop the world. Don't daydream. This time, Xin Hui is at the bottom. It's already good not to be at the bottom. The students were discussing and laughing. Regarding these derogatory evaluations, you don't care, but stand aside quietly waiting for the final result. You didn't wait too long. The teacher just sent a message. Everyone, classmates, all the worlds have been evaluated. The students in the hall immediately looked at the big screen when they heard this. Soon everyone saw their own rankings. Look, the first place is indeed Qing Shui. The goddess score is actually tied. Holy cow, amazing, wait. How come there's another person tied with Qing Shui here? Holy cow, it's actually Xin Hui. Isn't his world a waste world where life can't even be born? The students in the hall were all amazed at this moment. The look in your eyes is full of incredulity. But it's also at this time. But at this moment, the screen changed again. Replaced with the picture of each person's world. Some people are a barren world. But some tender green grass has already grown. Some people are an icy world. Already giving birth to some small creatures covered in fur. Yet in your world, there's only a small, barren forest. A disheveled woman sits by a dry well in the middle. As everyone's gaze turns towards her, the screen suddenly moves with Sadako. Sadako's body keeps flickering. In an instant, she appears in front of the big screen. Her face, covered by hair, directly blocks the entire screen. Many people are scared by this sudden scene and scream. Some girls are even scared to tears on the spot. What the hell is this thing in Shin Hui's world? Does it mean her world cannot give birth to life? How on earth did she do it? It turns out to be a hero unit. Holy cow, the worldview hasn't even been constructed. Yet she can create heroes. No wonder she can get a high score. This is too invincible. At this moment, all the classmates are once again in shock. Even Qin Shui, who is also the first place, is not being discussed. After all, a recognized bottom-ranked existence. She actually made a comeback and became the first place in an instant. How could this not cause a huge stir? At this moment, you didn't expect that the strange world you created would actually receive such a high score. But this is also a blessing in disguise for you. After all, the higher the score, the more resources you can obtain. After all, when you think like this, Qin Shui suddenly came to you. Shen Hui, how did you create this creature? He shouldn't be considered a living thing, right? That's right. My world of death cannot create living things, so I created a species that doesn't need life. After hearing your conversation with Qin Shui, people around immediately gathered around. After all, they are all very curious. So what is this species called? Wen Yen? You said lightly. I call this creature eerie. And the creature I created is called Jinzi. After hearing your introduction, the people around all started discussing quietly. After all, what you said doesn't exist in this world, so it's hard for them to understand. But you didn't explain much either, because soon a teacher walked over and brought you and Qin Shui to the principal's office. Half a day later, when you came out again, you already had a world card with 500,000 world coins in your hand. This is an amount that an ordinary family would take three to four years of not eating or drinking to accumulate. But this is not a reward for a family score. It's an investment from the principal in you and Qin Shui. For you, who only have 500 people's living expenses this month, it is indeed a considerable amount. So you didn't refuse, but accepted it calmly. After leaving the principal's office, you and Qin Shui went to the material storage room to collect some supplies. As a student with a score, you can receive a complete bottle of low-level world source potion, a construction card and a time flow speed card. The combined market value of these three items exceeds a million. I have to say, the school really spared no expense. On the way home, you and Qin Shui were discussing on and off. Mostly, it was him asking you questions, even though he is also an equal shareholder. But at this moment, he feels a subtle distance from you. But you are unaware of this. Just after agreeing to go to the World Association together the next day, you return to your own place. After returning to the rented house, you immediately set about creating the second eerie. Then after swallowing that bottle of World Origin Potion, your World Origin instantly recovered from 20 points to 170 points after investing consciousness into the exclusive world. You found Jinzi sitting by the dry well at this moment. However, you didn't pay attention to him. Instead, you cast your gaze towards the end of the barren forest. 
As your thoughts turned, an old dilapidated slaughterhouse quickly appeared in the open space. The outer layer was covered with old, peeling skin and a mottled, rusty iron gate. Inside, there were discarded bodies everywhere, emitting a cold, dim, and bloody smell. The slaughterhouse had just formed not long ago. A pig's squeal rang out from the depths, accompanied by a heavy, continuous footstep. As the footsteps grew closer, a massive figure emerged from the depths of the slaughterhouse. A pig-headed figure with a human body held a butcher's knife. A strange smile played on the corners of its mouth. It was none other than the pig-headed butcher from your past life. Legend has it that this butcher has a peculiar habit when slaughtering pigs. He wears a pig's head mask and makes pig noises. This led to an accidental fall one time, resulting in the pig head mask falling off. It was devoured by the piglets, leaving no trace. From then on, he became a death butcher with a pig's head, just as the legend describes the pig head butcher. Rare Hero Ability 1 A butcher skilled in the art of slaughter, who can easily find the opponent's fatal weakness. Ability 2 When upgraded, can recover from injuries by devouring corpses. Ability 3 Pig Head Mask Even if the pig head butcher dies, as long as the pig head mask is intact, he can be endlessly resurrected. Ability The magic pearl transforms, abandoning traditional attack methods, transforming into a giant magic pig for attacking abilities, summoning the five magic pearls, can simultaneously summon three magic pigs for coordinated combat, and can also turn the resentment of deceased creatures into magic pearls. Each magic pig possesses remarkable attack power, and as long as someone looks into the eyes of the magic pearl, their spirit will be contaminated. They will imagine themselves as a pig. After reading the corresponding introduction, you'll be ecstatic. Although the pig butcher is not immune to physical attacks like Sadako, it still possesses the ability to resurrect, and can also summon a large number of minions, a solid frontline assault expert. And this is the advantage of the bizarre world. Ordinary civilizations want to confront you. It's simply impossible. Time flies by. Early the next day, you received a call from the school beauty Qinshui. What left you speechless was that she actually arrived at your house two hours early, but you didn't get angry. Instead, you invited her to have breakfast together and then rushed to the World Association. When Qin Shui learned that you had created another hero unit, she was instantly amazed. The look in her eyes seemed to have a fangirl feeling. By this time, many awakened individuals had already arrived at the World Association. Just as you and Qin Shui walked through the doors of the association, Soon, a staff member came over to assist you both. With the help of the staff, but when you mentioned wanting to challenge the uncharted territory, it left the staff member speechless in shock. After all, the two of you have just awakened not long ago. Apart from those specially trained by major powers, it's really rare for people who have just created their worlds to start challenging the uncharted territory within two or three days. After each of you paid 10,000 world coins, your consciousness was then transmitted to a special space called Starry Sea. Watching the crowd moving in the Starry Sea, relevant information about the Starry Sea also emerged in your mind. This is a peculiar space. It not only contains countless worlds, but also a battlefield. Countless races have invaded the Blue Star star through this space. Fortunately, there are also strong individuals in the blue star who have sealed off the channels of invasion from other races with their own worlds, but this peace is not permanent. Still, occasionally a clan breaks through the suppression and invades the blue star. But this is not something you should consider at the moment, so you didn't think too much about it. Instead, you and Qin Shui chose the unknown world to challenge together. After spending another 200,000 world coins, you gained the qualification to randomly challenge a different level world. As long as the challenge is successful, you can merge that world as your own. As the two different level worlds begin to merge, the challenge officially begins. You randomly landed in a declining world of magical beasts, so there are no special resources. But fortunately, it's not small in size. As long as the challenge is successful, it will significantly expand your world. Your world has just landed on the grassland of the magical beast world. Soon, the last orc in the world attracted attention. It seems like something has come into this world. A werewolf was the first to discover your world. The bear man suddenly excitedly shouted at the words, Could it be food? If that's the case, then our orc clan is saved. The world they are in has been unable to produce new sounds for many years. Even after the plants wither, they cannot grow new ones. So after eating all the food, the orcs started fighting among themselves. So when they saw something new appear, they immediately thought it was food. Under the leadership of the werewolf, a group of orcs quickly entered the world of death. When they arrived at the barren forest where Sadako was, the sound emanating from the dried well immediately caught their attention. Just as they thought they could have a good meal, they saw Sadako slowly climbing out of the well. The moment the orcs came into contact with Sadako's emanating aura, they instantly felt as if they were in an icy abyss, and a nameless fear arose. 
but there were still brave orcs who rushed towards Sadako, charging towards Sadako at the opportune moment. At this moment, Sadako was crawling on the ground like a spider. She didn't avoid the attacks from the orcs at all, even though it seemed like several attacks hit. The orcs seemed to be grabbing at thin air. At this moment, they were all dumbfounded in place. It was during this moment of bewilderment that Sadako completely disappeared from the eyes of the many orcs. The next second, she appeared behind a werewolf and let out a strange laugh of a saint. Without waiting for the werewolf to react, she then directly grabbed and ripped out the latter's heart. As the other werewolves looked at the first one, Junzi had already disappeared again and quickly appeared behind another werewolf. The same scene played out again. Junzi continuously utilized teleportation and the immunity to physical attacks, swiftly harvesting the lives of one werewolf after another. The many werewolves had never seen such a bizarre situation. Fear instantly rose in the heart of each werewolf. In just a few minutes, several orcs were taken care of. The surviving orcs immediately started to flee. Watching this scene from a god's perspective, suddenly, a smug smile appeared. The eerie power is indeed as strong as you expected. And when you saw the direction the surviving orcs were fleeing, you couldn't help but laugh out loud. Only to see these orcs rushing out of the dry forest, quickly charging towards a huge house outside the forest. And this is exactly the territory of the pig butcher. Due to the lack of your command, so Jinzi did not continue to chase after reaching the edge of the forest. The orcs also calmed down after seeing this situation. It was at this time that a smell of meat suddenly wafted out from the slaughterhouse. The many orcs had just recovered from their fear and were immediately dominated by hunger, rushing towards the slaughterhouse. And it was at this time that the pig butcher walked out from the depths of the darkness. Looking at the butcher with a pig's head and a human body, the orcs instinctively saw each other as half-orcs like themselves. The worry of encountering some monsters has also relaxed at this moment. But before they could even ask, the butcher with a pig's head, however, revealed a sinister smile. Here comes the food. Time to get to work. As the words fell, the butcher with a pig's head walked towards the orcs with a pig-killing knife. At the same time, three demon pigs rushed out from behind him. Pig-headed human. Quickly hand over the food here. And those three piglets, too, all must be given to us. A ferocious half-orc with an unknown identity said fiercely. At this moment, they still hadn't realized that they were the food in the butcher's mouth. Because they were completely unprepared. Suddenly, he was knocked down by the charging orc and began to bite. The other orcs, seeing this, were about to rush forward in a panic, but when their eyes met the pig's eyes, their spirits were instantly contaminated. The next moment, the orc who got hit still thought he was a pig. He let out a deep, painful sound. The orc who hadn't been hit immediately became alert. One of them rushed towards the pig butcher. The orc at the front pounced and swiped a claw, leaving several visible wounds on the butcher's body. But the pig butcher was completely unfazed. But the butcher's pig-killing knife swung wildly. As the blade fell, the orc still didn't feel the pain. Just directly dismembered into piles of meat. Although the orc was shocked by the butcher's swordsmanship. But at the same time, he also realized that the opponent could be attacked. So after locking eyes with each other, he launched a fierce attack towards the butcher again. However, the pig butcher remained unfazed. He actually picked up the pieces of meat from the ground and started eating. The meat was continuously and quickly entering his mouth. The wounds on his body were rapidly healing at this moment. The orcs who witnessed the scene couldn't help but take a sharp breath. Chop off his head. Let's see if he can still survive. As one orc spoke up, another orc quickly picked up a nearby long sword and chopped down towards the butcher's head. Just heard a crack. The butcher's head rolled off. Ha ha, he's dead. He's dead. What on earth is he? Why didn't a drop of blood come out? Too strange. Whatever he is, as long as he's dead, it's fine. The sight relieved all the orcs who witnessed it. But soon they couldn't laugh anymore. Suddenly, the butcher's head on the ground violently shook. Then a huge demonic body grew out from the butcher's neck. This sudden scene scared the orcs present so much that they forgot to run away. As the giant demon rushed forward, the orcs all fell over in a panic, then swarmed by a group of little magic beads, completely turned into a meal for many magic beads. And at this moment, the last orc tribe in this world also declared its demise. You, who saw the scene, nodded in satisfaction, then merged this world into its own world of death. And at this time, the area of the world of death also rapidly expanded soon reaching 29 kilometers. Due to the successful integration of the ownerless world, you also gained an additional duplication attribute card. It can be used to duplicate a life unit, or used as creative material. Create a unit with the duplication attribute, but no matter which usage, this unit will die in three days. And in the moment you see this duplication card, money is known on the blue star. A weirdness immediately emerged in your mind. 
Fujiwang is a special kind of weirdness, because Fujiyang is a flesh and blood creature, but its cells can reproduce endlessly, can create many more Fujiyang, every Fujiyang is Fujiyang, so there is no real or fake, it's like another form of immortality, and the Fujiyang created using the replication card, even if it dies after 3 days, it's only the created one that dies, the rest of the Fu will survive. After making a firm decision, your consciousness leaves the world, returning once again to the land of no owner. The densely packed people around are all here to challenge, but because everyone is a projection, so it won't be crowded. You glanced at the side of Qin Shui. He's currently closing his eyes. His brow is furrowed. It seems the other side's world is still in the midst of battle, and the situation is not particularly optimistic. After all, in Qin Shui's world, there are only initial awakened ability users. The combat power is not very strong, not as mysterious as yours. After more than an hour of waiting, Qin Shui finally opened her eyes. After waking up, she immediately showed an excited smile. Shen Hui, I actually succeeded in the challenge. Well, congratulations to you. The gains must be considerable, right? Qin Shui nodded frantically like little chicken Zhuami. The world I encountered is a world of monsters, and it's currently in decline. The number of creatures inside is already very few. The strength is not strong either. Otherwise, I really can't beat it. Then Qin Shui asked, Shen Hui, how are you? I also luckily succeeded in the challenge. Like you, I encountered a world that is constantly constantly decaying. Then we are both very lucky. Qin Shui's smile became even brighter, then the two of them prepared to leave. Waking up from reality, the staff in the hall immediately noticed. You and Qin Shui came out so early, it should be a failed challenge. While thinking about it, he directly deleted your challenge record. At this sight, he was stunned directly. No way. These two are just awakened world people. The first time, I actually succeeded in the challenge directly. Aren't they all descendants of some big family? Running to the World Association. And after you and Qin Shui said goodbye, quickly returned home and began to create the third strange thing in your world. That is the rich man with unlimited splitting ability. As your thoughts turn, a graceful figure immediately appeared in your world. The other party's appearance is pure and beautiful. Looks like a school flower level existence at first glance. Not only that, he also exudes an irresistible charm. If you weren't the creator, naturally immune to this kind of attraction, I'm afraid you would have gone crazy on the spot. Congratulations on successfully creating a new hero unit. The rare level hero ability of Fumi will always be there to help. Any male who desires women will be tempted by Fumi. Will be tempted by Fumi. Ability 2. Crazy love and hate. Men tempted will be controlled by Fumi. Love will breed hate. Want to kill Fumi. Ability 3. Super regeneration. Fumi's hair, skin, blood, and other body tissues can regenerate a new Fumi. And share with all Fumi. Strong resistance to Fumi's ability can be immune to various special attacks, such as corrosion and gamma rays, etc. Seeing Fumi's ability, confidence, you can't help but burst into laughter. After all, Fumi's ability is like a combination of punches. Whether it's being tempted by Fumi to become a puppet, or killing Fumi, will cause Fumi to begin infinite reproduction, cloning oneself. Even if encountering certain large-scale AV attacks, can also trigger the fourth ability to resist. And as long as Fumi casually hides a hair somewhere else before the battle, even if subjected to an irresistible special attack, she can continue to infinitely regenerate. She's definitely an indestructible cockroach. After providing this person with a matching small house for her peculiar state of mind, you quietly await the arrival of the next round of testing. Time flies by, and soon the day of the school's practical combat test arrives. After a two and a half hour journey, you and a group of awakened students also arrive at the practical training base. At this time, there are already several awakened teams from different schools gathered at the base. You and the school bell Qin Shui just got off the car not long ago. Immediately, a young man walked over. He is Yi Long, the heir of the Yi family. The Yi family is one of the most powerful families in the city. And Yi Long's purpose in coming here is to win over the school bell Qin Shui from your school. After all, Qin Shui's talent is recognized as the best in your school. Just awakened and already broke the initial world area record for awakened individuals. It can be said that he is truly the proud son of heaven. However, regarding Yi Long's attempt to win over, Qin Shui did not agree, however, but recommended you to him instead. Even though your initial world is famous for being trash in the city, but because you immediately created true. So the other party also knows you very well. Plus, Qin Shui's recommendation, Yi Long did not underestimate you either. Instead, he extended an olive branch to you, but after careful consideration, you still rejected the other party. As all the teams from various schools successfully arrived, Lord Wang Xinghai also began his speech before the practical test. This practical test is different from previous years. 
Students who enter the top 10 can not only obtain a large amount of resources but also a chance to enter the world of birth. The world of birth is a special world. It will breed a large number of scarce resources inside. It's a rare opportunity for self-improvement. So at the moment of hearing this news, the crowd suddenly burst into waves of exclamation. At this moment, everyone's hearts burst with unprecedented excitement. After wearing the special equipment, everyone quickly immersed themselves in the live combat test. And you are also controlling three strange, fully armed entities. As the first level opened, a crack appeared in your world of death. Immediately after, a group of human bandits with long knives burst in. However, as soon as this group of bandits entered, they immediately noticed that something was amiss. However, since they were created for the purpose of trial, they had no intention of escaping at all. So, the group of bandits walked into the withered forest of Jinzi. Look quickly, there are humans there. One bandit, upon seeing Jinzi, took the lead. The rest of the bandits immediately looked towards the direction pointed out by their companion. But at this time, Sadako had already disappeared from the original location. Amid the suspicious gazes of the bandits, Sadako suddenly appeared in front of one of the bandits. The startled bandit immediately launched an attack on Sadako, but they were no match for Sadako, so they fell silent in less than 10 minutes. Having passed the first level, you immediately face the second level. This time, it's still a group of bandits, but the number is more than double that of the previous level. However, even so, when they faced Sadako, they still had no power to fight back. In panic, they even fled to the butcher's slaughterhouse and were eventually chopped into pieces by the butcher. At the same time as many students were undergoing practical tests, teachers from various universities also gathered in the square. They are paying attention to the situation of each student on the big screen. And the news of you being the first to pass the second level has also sparked a lot of discussion among the teachers. However, you are unaware of this. Instead, you are immersed in your own world, quietly waiting for the opening of the third level. Unlike the first and second levels, the third level does not feature ordinary bandits. Instead, it is a team of knights clad in armor. Each of them exudes a holy light. Their strength is much greater than the previous two levels. There may be some kind of monster here. Everyone, be careful. The one speaking is the captain of the night team. He cautiously surveys the surroundings. Then he leads the team into the barren forest. Sadako, who was already prepared. At the very moment they entered the withered forest, she teleported directly in front of them. Upon hearing this, many knights immediately launched an attack. However, ordinary sword attacks had no effect on Sadako. This made the knights instantly terrified. But they quickly found a way to deal with her. The captain in the lead first infused his long sword with holy light. Then a burst of divine light struck Sadako. For Sadako, who belonged to the spiritual realm, this divine light clearly had an effect. As the holy sword continued to strike, Sadako's spiritual form gradually began to fade. But Sadako still had the ability to teleport. So, before he disappeared, he also successfully resolved half of the knight's team. Seeing this, the knights thought they had completely dealt with Sadako. But as they continued deeper into the withered forest, they saw Sadako climbing out of the dried well again. Seeing the exact same Sadako, the fear in the hearts of many knights was ignited once again. Facing this monster that keeps reappearing even after being killed, they immediately chose to flee. But at your command, Pig Butcher had been waiting on the outskirts of the withered forest. As the Pig Butcher raised his knife and brought it down, in no time at all, this knight's team had lost all vitality. After passing the third level, you immediately began the challenge of the fourth level. Once again, a team of holy knights has arrived, but the number has doubled as well. Originally, they should have walked into the withered forest. What a coincidence. Someone saw Fumi. Fumi just appeared in front of everyone. Immediately caused a sensation in this team. Where have these knights seen such a beautiful girl before? Each of their hearts was filled with admiration. They couldn't help but want to possess her. And of course, this is deliberately arranged by you. What are you all doing here? Fumi walked up to the knights team with a sweet smile. The senior knight listened to this ethereal female voice as if it were divine music. The captain of the knights immediately turned into a lapdog. There are monsters lurking here. We are here to investigate the monsters. Miss, why did you come here alone? Let me protect you. At this moment, the captain of the knights has already lost his focus. He's obsessed with Fujiang, but he's not the only one who's been bewitched. The knights around immediately became unsettled at the words. Why should I let you protect her? I have the ability to protect her too. You've got nothing. I'm the one who has the ability to protect her. The knights immediately started arguing. They all want to claim Fujiang for themselves. As the argument became more intense, people even started to throw punches. Before long, several knights were killed on the ground. Fumi looked at the scene in front of her. But she just giggled. But at that moment, suddenly, 
A knight went mad and charged at Fumi, his eyes filled with madness. Waving his long sword, he screamed frantically, If you die with me, we can be together forever. His admiration for Fumi has turned into crazy jealousy and hatred. In his frenzied slashing, Fumi turned into a pile of flesh. But soon, he was killed by other knights on the spot. But just as the heavy knight was still immersed in the sorrow of losing his beloved, the dismembered body of the rich man suddenly began to wriggle and started to multiply and grow. In no time, they transformed into a group of living, breathing rich jungs. The reborn rich jungs continued to giggle. But the numerous knights not only were not afraid, but also charged madly towards the rich gen. Each one of them embraced their own rich Jung, just as the knights were immersed in happiness. Yet a crowd of rich Jungs all spoke in unison. Since you like me so much, can you die for me? After hearing the words of the rich Jungs, all the knights had expressions devoid of any doubt. Instead, he raised the long sword in his hand with a happy expression. With the sound of the sword piercing into flesh, many knights fell to the ground completely. He passed the first four levels very easily, unlike you. By this time, 67% of the students had already been completely defeated in the third level. And after they exited the test, they also watched the ranking situation. What surprised everyone was that the current first place is not held by the children of the big families. Nor is it a talented girl like Qin Shui. It's you, who is known as being from the waste world. When they saw you take the lead in challenging the fifth level, both students and teachers were shocked. What the heck? Isn't his world a waste world? How come he cleared it so quickly? Did I see that right? He's actually leading the challenge to the fifth level all by himself. At this moment, the leaders of your school are laughing so happily. Some teachers even started complimenting the principal. They all praised the principal. Meng Tian even conquered the city. The main king, Xin Hai has given you very high praise. The death world you awakened is obviously rubbish. But the current clearance speed. Even some geniuses nurtured by major forces can't catch up. This inevitably makes many family leaders lose face. But more importantly, they all have the intention of winning you over. While on the other side, you are still immersed in the live combat test. With the cooperation of the three mysterious individuals, the fifth level was a piece of cake. But what's different from you is that, due to the significant increase in difficulty of the fifth level, even some exceptionally talented students from certain schools have been eliminated quite a bit by now. At this moment, everyone is staring intently at the big screen. Shin Hui is a bit of a maverick. He actually rushed to the sixth level first. The previous highest record held by someone was the ninth level. I wonder if he can make it to the top. He's definitely going to fail at the sixth level. A student who was eliminated said disdainfully, but in no time, your ranking has directly changed from the sixth level to the seventh level. Not much time has passed, and the number of people still challenging is already less than 100. In the seventh level, the attacking team has added a great mage. Their use of spell attacks is even more powerful. But even so, but still couldn't kill your strangeness. Instead, it made Fumi's doppelgangers more and more. In the end, all died at the hands of Fumi. After entering the 8th level, you still pass through with flying colors, and didn't take long to reach the 10th level. Still in testing at this time, only 5 people left, including you. As for the school beauty Qin Shui, she withdrew after entering the 9th level. When seeing you already open the 10th level, Qin Shui's eyes suddenly lit up with many little stars. The quality of the attacking teams appearing in the current 10th level trial did not improve again. But the number reached 100. There are even holy knights among them. Powerful beings like magic knights and grand mages. As the pride of the top families in the city. Yi Long and Portrait Rock are still in the midst of the trial at this moment. Even though they have already used all their strength. But the previous trials have already caused them to lose many creatures. So the current battle is also extremely difficult. If it weren't for the support of a powerful family's resources behind them, they would probably have been defeated long ago. The portrait rock created by the Xiao family has caused a monster event. Watching their monsters die quickly, while the attacking night team still has more than half of their numbers, portrait rock, who didn't want to harm the world's origin, immediately withdrew from the test. However, in your world, the situation is quite the opposite. The invading night team at this moment all have looks of fear on their faces. They are walking cautiously in the withered forest. Occasionally, Sadako appears around them. If you're not careful, a knight will be abducted and killed. Not only that, one after another, Sadako keeps appearing in front of them. Even though the Grand Wizards are not being charmed, they immediately cast powerful spells to kill her the moment Sadako appears. But there will still be more Sadakos appearing again. So it didn't take long for the invading knights to all die in the withered forest. And at this moment, you also broke the previous record. 
Starting the challenge of the 11th level, witnessing the scene of the city's historical record being broken, a burst of cheers erupted at this moment, but they never expected that after encountering the invader of the 11th level, immediately withdrew from the test. And the reason you did this is because you sensed an incredibly powerful aura from the leader of the invading team, although your strangeness can still be infinitely reborn after being killed, but all of this is based on consuming the aura of death. Therefore, in order not to affect the world's origin, you did not choose to continue to challenge higher levels, you just withdrew from the test in the hall, immediately attracted countless heated gazes. The surrounding classmates all congratulated you, you actually broke the record. That's amazing. I saw that you cleared the levels so quickly. It's simply terrifying. Even the teachers and principal came over at this moment. Generously praised you. Until this moment. Only then did you fully understand what had happened. On the other side. Although Night Dragon is still challenging the 10th level. Maybe the other side can even rush through the 11th level. But after all. You were the first to break the record. That's enough. And Night Dragon is also worthy of being the pride of the big family. Although it has harmed the origin of the world. But he also passed through the 10th level. However. When he arrived at the 11th level, he also quietly withdrew just like you. As soon as Night Dragon withdrew, many people immediately surrounded him. When they heard that you actually broke the record faster than him, Night Dragon couldn't help but be stunned. But soon it turned into a sense of relief. As the last Awakener finishes the test, various forces have also started their own recruitment. At this time, you and Xin Shui can be said to be the targets of all forces. Even the four major families have sent representatives over. Shen, the genius, your strength has amazed everyone. You even snatched away my original second place position. As compensation, I invite you to join us. Xiao family Xiao Zongyang, who was following his own elders, was the first to speak. Just as he appeared, he quickly attracted the attention of many students. But I still haven't heard your answer. Other families have also successively extended invitations to you. Join our Wang family. Our Wang family can offer you generous terms. The Wang family is nothing. Join our Zhang family. Our Zhang family has mastered unique world development technology. We might be able to help solve the problems in your world. Just as the various families were fighting shamelessly for you, a voice came from outside the crowd. Uncles, please stop fighting. He won't join any forces. Otherwise, we would have had him join our Yi family early on. The person who came is the smiling Yi Luo. His appearance also helped resolve the situation for you. And you also straightforwardly refused the invitations from the forces present. Seeing the situation, many families immediately turned to find Xin Shui. Knowing well that you won't join any forces, suggested the idea of being friends with you. Xiao Xiangyan also eagerly ran over to join in the fun. You did not refuse this. Instead, you exchanged contact information with them. After chatting for a few moments, the three of you, you were then invited into the Lord's office. The president of the Overseas World Association branch, Chianyan, is also here with the Lord. And in the subsequent introduction, you learned about the entry quota for the birth world. Due to the incomplete nature of the birth world, it cannot withstand the power of a strong world. Therefore, only low-level worlds can enter. A total of 1,000 people will participate in the birth world this time. At that time, elites from various regions will compete, and you will represent our style here. As a reward for both of you entering the top 10, I have upgraded both of your membership levels from ordinary to high. Listening to Qin's explanation, you immediately showed a surprised expression. After all, the higher the membership level, the cost of challenging the ownerless world will be lower in the future. For you, a poor guy like you, this is a real benefit. Qin Shui is also very excited to hear this. Different from your and Qin Shui's excitement, Huang Jia, who was also invited to the office, had a very dark face at the moment. He didn't make it into the top 10 this time, but the size of the world he awakened is second only to Qin Shui's. And in his eyes, your world is just a waste world. If it weren't for your existence, he would have been the one to receive the reward this time. So he truly believes that your world is not as powerful as his. The reason he was able to enter the top 10 is purely luck. You didn't stay in the Lord's office for too long. You came out after a short while, just walked out of the actual combat base. You just stopped in your tracks and then stared at Huang as she walked past you. Coldly said, it seems you have some opinions about me. From the first time we met, you have always been able to feel the disdainful gaze of the other party. Huang also immediately stopped in her tracks at the words. So what if I have opinions? It's just a world of waste. I'm really taking myself as a bright person. At this moment, Huang Jia's mind is full of the things you snatched from the top 10. I'm not afraid of you, the newly crowned first place, anymore. Oh dear. How did I accidentally blurt out what I was thinking? You are a record-breaking master. I should praise you well. Huang Jia's words immediately caught the attention of the people around. 
Jin Shui wanted to say a few words to help you when she saw the situation, but you directly stopped the other party, then calmly spoke to Huang Jia, what are you barking at? If you have the ability, come to a life and death arena. While speaking, the power of the second level world inside the body also emanated. This sudden scene stunned everyone. The look towards you is full of surprise. No one expected that. You've just awakened for less than a week, and you've already risen to the second level. At this moment, even Huang Jia was too shocked to speak. If he knew that you've already risen to the second level, he wouldn't dare to speak to you like this. Now facing the challenge you've issued, there was no fighting spirit at all, just kept bowing his head. And your dispute has also attracted the attention of those big family members. Yi Long and Xiao Shengyan also walked over at the same time. After learning about the incident, Yi Long immediately expressed his attitude. Wang Jia, right? Jumping around here and there, don't know which force is so foolish, actually took so much from you. As soon as Yi Long's words came out, immediately, several people walked over. They are the supporters of Huang Jie's force. Upon hearing a different voice in Yi Long's words, he was immediately kicked out of the organization. Until this moment, Huang Jia was completely dumbfounded. He never expected to be beaten to this extent. You've only just awakened into the world for a few days to actually possess such a terrifying network of connections. But you didn't choose to kick someone when they're down. After all, the other party has already paid the price for their actions. Continuing to waste time with the other party is clearly not a wise move. So you quickly left the scene with Yi Long and others. After after returning to school, you and Qin Shui were immediately summoned to the principal's office, facing someone who not only entered the top 10, but also broke the city's historical championship record. The principal also generously provided you with resources, helping you once again obtain a bottle of low-grade original source potion and a world card with 1 million credits. In addition to the rewards obtained from the real-world test, two bottles of ultimate world source potion, an advanced terrain construction card, an advanced time flow speed card, an advanced scenario progression card, a world source core and 5 million world coins rewarded by the association. Your total assets now exceed 30 million. After returning home, you immediately projected your consciousness into the world of death. Now the diameter of your world source has reached 35 kilometers. The world level has also reached level 2. As you swallowed 3 bottles of world source elixir, at this moment, you have accumulated a source power of up to 750 points. Just as you integrated the world source core into the world of death, Death, preparing to transform the world. Unexpectedly, an accident occurred. The world of death, after integrating the source core, became even more gloomy and icy than before. It is extremely advantageous for the survival of the three major anomalies, but it has a significant side effect on the development of your world. The stronger the miasma of death becomes, it means that the probability of the birth of this world becomes more apparent. If there is no continuous birth of life in the world, those strange and bizarre phenomena will be exhibited, unable to obtain effective development, not to mention the expansion of any kind. This will lead to you continuously devouring other worlds, although it can elevate your world's level, but it will significantly reduce your leveling speed. After all, it's extremely difficult to challenge the main world directly, even with plenty of resources. Just as you were thinking about how to solve this problem, the setting of a movie from a past life suddenly inspired you. That is the setting of the surface and the inside of Silent Hill. In the world of Silent Hill, the time of whiteness is the normal world. It's the surface world of ordinary human life. But once night falls, you will enter your own world, where monsters and demons will appear. Although your world is extremely dangerous, but there are also ordinary buildings for the survival of ordinary people. This is exactly in line with the development path of your world of death. Immediately, you throw yourself wholeheartedly into the transformation of the world. Although with your current strength, you cannot directly change the entire world, you can still use the journey with the terrain. First, create an area that isolates the aura of death. After using the scenario cards and terrain cards, you immediately begin the terrain construction trial. As you turn your thoughts, the terrain cards begin to rotate continuously. As the power of the world pours in, it crazily floods into the card. The entire world of death feels like it just experienced a massive earthquake. Even the space has suddenly caused a headache that's unbearable. The forehead immediately started to sweat profusely. The strange phenomenon in the world of death was also alarmed. But with your reassurance, you quickly calmed down. At the same time, due to the involvement of world-changing matters. Therefore, at this moment, your world began to develop subtle cracks. The core also started to become unstable. The outside world is affected by the changes in the boundaries. At the same time, 
feeling the pain and pressure in the body and mind. Even the clothes were soaked with sweat. But you didn't give up. You continued with a clear understanding, while causing the world to completely collapse and be destroyed. Even after the simulation of the current scene ends, still unable to change this fact, unable to expand further. Even when the size of the new living area is determined, under your control, a region of nearly a kilometer finally takes shape, and successfully changed the rules of part of the world. As the region fully forms, the world of death has also stabilized. You breathed a sigh of relief when you saw the scene. Early the next day, you, still in bed, received a call from Qin Shui again. The other party immediately asked if you wanted to challenge the unknown land. Although you can't figure out why this little girl always loves. But you were also planning to visit the World Association. So you didn't refuse either. You both just arrived at the World Association. But you found that the city Lord Wang Xinghai and a group of high-level association members were also present. This inevitably made you curious. However, just at this time, a familiar voice suddenly turned the corner from behind. Brother Shen, Qin Shuame has arrived early. The person is none other than Yi Long, whom you met yesterday. Beside Yi Long, there is also Yi Ti, a member of the Yi family. Thinking about these rarely seen big figures actually coming to the World Association at the same time today, you couldn't help but feel that something big was about to happen. After a brief greeting, you and Qin Shuame were then pulled by Yi Long into a meeting room. As Yi Long continued to narrate, you also learned about the turbulence in the Starry Sea. Due to the continuous invasion of a clan, there are faint signs of loosening in the seal of the outermost passage. Wang Xinghai and other members of the Guardian organization came here to discuss solutions. But because your current world level is not high enough, you still can't access the meaning of the alien world. So you didn't pay much attention to it either. Instead, you were with Qin Shui. Yi Long and the others bought what they wanted from the world store. They spent 4.8 million to buy several bottles of aging wine. You then went to the private room alone and began to carry out another world transformation. You planned to start the transformation from the town. Soon, you thought of a legendary creature related to the town with a trumpet-shaped head head and likes to disguise as a siren head on a utility pole. The siren head is a 12 meter tall humanoid supernatural creature, as thin as a skeleton. The color is like rusted metal. Its head is two siren speakers, the siren head speakers. Its sharp teeth are terrifying. Siren head usually appears on deserted streets or in the wilderness. It disguises itself as a utility pole according to the surrounding environment. It lures humans by playing various sounds for prey. Subsequently, you will extract all the information about Siren Head in your mind. The power of the world's origin begins to diminish, forming a huge fog. In the midst of the fog, the thin humanoid figure materializes from the void. Soon, Siren Head is completely created. Congratulations on successfully creating the hero unit Siren Head. The horn on his head has already started to make a sizzling sound. Mysterious and terrifying. You immediately check his information. Siren Head's quality is perfect. Superhuman abilities. Perception endurance and perception power have been greatly enhanced. Ability 2. Disguised Siren Head can perfectly disguise itself as a utility pole or a tree. Ability 3 Special Attack. Siren Head can emit powerful sound waves through the horn on its head. Can make the creature's head explode instantly. Ability 4. Parasitic Siren Head can grow straight out of the prey's body, causing mutations. After Siren Head's death, it will transform into a new generation Siren Head. After seeing the introduction of Siren Head's abilities, overjoyed. Then he created a small forest for him, and the siren head disguised itself in the middle of the forest. At this time, there was a knocking sound coming from the lounge where you were. Opening the door, it turned out to be Qin Shui and Yi Long, ready to call me to challenge the unowned world together. Shan Xiao, what are you doing in there? Are you going to use all the world's personal power you just exchanged with just a nod from you? Almost. Created a hero. Listening to your indifferent tone, Yi Long couldn't help but curse. Holy cow. Is it really that easy to create a hero? Feels like in your world, it's as easy as cabbage. You just smiled faintly. Let's go. Let's go challenge the unknown world. Qin Shui and Yi Long nodded. Then they arrived at the entrance to the unknown territory. Through the connection of the instrument, the three entered the unknown territory. The endless starry sky hung overhead. Stars were constantly shifting. Further away, there was a brilliant nebula. That's the starry battlefield. Although this is your second time, you still feel incredibly shocked. The three of them withdrew their consciousness and headed towards the top of the unknown world without delay, directly connecting their consciousness to test the strength of the speaker head. This time, you directly chose to challenge the second level unknown world. As the system sound began, 
and the two worlds began to overlap and merge. Your consciousness controls your own world. The moment you integrate, you can sense that this challenge is a world dominated by technology. Most of this world is desert, but in the very center of the world, there is a huge city. Neon lights are shining everywhere. The strange flying city flying above the city forms a sharp contrast with the surrounding desert. It is clear at a glance that the desertification around is caused by excessive resource extraction, which is the downside of the technological world. And the moment you integrate into this world, the people of this world also sense, in the very center of the city, there is a supercomputer madly running, quickly computing a piece of information on the large screen. Several people in white lab coats standing in front of the screen. The information they see is extremely clear. One of the young researchers is teaching Professor Yang. There are other spaces connected to our world. It contains a special kind of energy inside. If we could use it, our world could escape the fate of decay and destruction. Professor Yang's eyes are filled with hope. Hmm, but we must not be careless. This space may very likely contain unknown dangerous species. Send a team of fighters to investigate first. As Professor Yang gives the order, some of the fighters in the city immediately pilot fighter jets to investigate the location of your world. The fighter jets quickly arrived over your world. There is a pervasive dark gray fog here. They can't see anything below in the sky at all so they could only land for reconnaissance. But just after they landed, suddenly, a piercing noise came from the forest ahead and cut off their communication devices. The city's control center also noticed this issue. You. Professor Yang noticed a strange communication wave. It disrupted our communication waves. It will take at least half an hour to restore. Professor Yang thought for a moment. Then let's wait. They all carried weapons for half an hour. There shouldn't be any problem. But he didn't know that this short half hour would become a battlefield for the entire reconnaissance team. After losing communication, the reconnaissance team simply began the mission according to the final orders. They arrived at the forest where the piercing sound had just come from. Your consciousness is watching the root of these people's actions. As expected, just as I expected. You also want to test the strength of the alert team. The reconnaissance team is all equipped with exoskeletons, holding special firearms in their hands. It has to be said that the technological world as an early force is powerful. The reconnaissance team quickly arrived at the area where the alert team was located. There is no chaotic fog here. After they approached, suddenly, the sound of people's conversation kept echoing in the forest. The reconnaissance team immediately became alert, but they didn't see anyone, and the source of the sound seemed to come from all directions. But after after thinking for a while, immediately turned into a piercing air raid siren. The reconnaissance team members were highly tense. There must be some kind of device nearby. Eyes all lit up. Find it for me. Quickly. A member of the reconnaissance team saw a pole with a siren ahead at an unknown time. The team member was about to report. But then he saw a scene that he would never forget. Suddenly, the two horns on the pole started to rotate as if they were staring at him. At the same time, strange ringing started in his ears. In his gaze, those two horns suddenly grew sharp teeth, revealing an evil smile. A piercing scream shattered the tranquility of the forest. The rest of the team looked over. At this look, it scared them all. A thin, tall creature, over 10 meters high, stood silently there, turning its horned head. Everyone couldn't help but feel fear. They had never seen such a strange creature before. Fire! Fire! Everyone frantically aimed their laser guns, shooting out white beams. The beams hit the trees and melted them instantly. But when they hit the body of the siren head, it disappeared without a trace, disappeared instantly, and didn't cause any harm. Siren head's long, thin arms ignored the laser rain and grabbed a scout directly. The giant hand gently pinched, crushing the bones and exoskeletons. The people inside turned into a pile of meat patties, and from the horns of the police car, a cheerful melody began to play at this moment. But for these people, the sound was anything but cheerful. The enormous, piercing volume made their ears start to bleed. In just a short moment, several more combatants died again. Their hearts filled with even more fear. Retreat. Control the fighter jets to launch an attack. The only captain who still retained most of his sanity quickly issued the order. All the survivors controlled the exoskeleton. They began to run towards the place where their fighter jets were parked, but the siren immediately started running with its long slender legs. It ran straight towards where they parked the fighter jets. The purpose is to prevent them from piloting the fighter jets. The reconnaissance team, for their lives, had to quickly change course and ran towards the forest where Jinzi was. And at this moment, 
The siren also stopped in its tracks. Of course, this is controlled by your intention. Now the siren's strength has also been tested. Faced with the ordinary weapons in the second level technology world, the siren can be completely immune, and its strength can also crush them. Of course, this is just a major weapon in the ordinary weapon technology world, but various missiles. Although this unowned world has a technological gap, no need to worry about any nuclear explosions. But the rest of the powerful missiles are enough for you to deal with. Just repairing the terrain damage alone will consume a lot of the world's instinctive power. So naturally, you won't let the reconnaissance team go back like this. Otherwise, if you provoke a missile strike, there will be nowhere to go. And you have already understood the power of the response team. So you specifically target the electronic group curse ability that Jinzi, from the technological world, possesses. You already have a perfect plan in your mind. Plan to directly disintegrate the technological city from the inside. The reconnaissance team ran all the way to the forest where Jinzi is located, only to find that the siren at the head is missing. The oppressive feeling of fear from behind has completely disappeared. Damn it. What on earth is that creature? What should the captain do next? Now we can't even contact the control center. That huge monster must be guarding our fighter jet. He didn't follow us wherever we went. This, is there something different here? The captain looked at the barren forest ahead. There was something unusual in his heart. This forest is a bit different. But for safety, it's better not to enter easily. Let's rest here for a while. Think of a strategy again. See if we can lure the giant monster away from the team and into the barren forest. But this didn't disrupt your plan, because you never intended to let Jinzi meet these people. Next, the action should be taken by the butcher. After sitting on the ground for a while to rest, these people didn't feel much better. Instead, their hearts became restless and uneasy. The captain sensed something was wrong. There's something wrong with the air here. Let's go. Don't rest here. They're coming. Just as they were getting up, grunting sounds came from all around. In the mist around them, a circle of blue light heightened everyone's tension. More creatures appeared in their Sight. A dense crowd of people. One person locked eyes with the demon pig. The demon pig grunted on the ground. Fire. Shoot. Not sure who relaxed first. They all started to pull the trigger. A series of lasers directly melted the hit magic bead into a black smoke. Everyone's hearts finally relaxed a bit. At least this time, the monster that appeared can be killed. But they didn't relax for long. A creature with a pig's head and human body appeared with a sinister smile, holding a kitchen knife in its hand and, speaking in a calm and unhurried manner, they could evolve in the moment when the pig-headed butcher appeared. They unhesitatingly pulled the trigger. Soon the pig-headed butcher's body was riddled with bullets and collapsed to the ground. His body turned into a puddle of black liquid. All the investigators were excited, but they didn't stay happy for long. At the place where the pig-headed butcher died, there's also a smiling pig mask. The mask moved. It bred a black tumor. It's multiplying like crazy, just like a balloon. In an instant, it expanded to 10 meters. This left the investigators stunned. They continued to pull the trigger. Strings of laser beams shot out, but after hitting, it only broke a thin layer on the outside. And at that moment, the huge tumor turned around. A giant pig-headed face appeared in front of them. The entire tumor turned into a massive pig. After the pig-headed butcher transformed, he charged straight at them, like a speeding tank, directly crushing one of the investigators. Bite and tear, gnawing, quickly devoured one person, immediately dragging its massive body towards another investigator. Coupled with the unattended demon pig, another large number of casualties, the trembling surviving captain of the reconnaissance team said, run quickly, quickly escape, they immediately fled again. The pig butcher and the demon pig then started to chase, and deliberately controlled the direction of their escape. Before long, they escaped to the hut where Fumi was. The pig butcher then stopped the pursuit. At this time, Fumi walked out of the hut. The members of the reconnaissance team at this time saw a person walking out in front, afraid it might be some kind of strange ghost, prepared to shoot and kill him immediately. But when they noticed Fumi's appearance, in an instant, all the hostility just disappeared. There was only one thought in their minds. This woman is too beautiful. But soon they belatedly remembered the butcher and the magic beads behind them. Turned back to look. Only to find that they had already disappeared. And Fumi also arrived in front of them at this moment. With a sweet smile, she said. You are safe now. Those things won't come here. The remaining reconnaissance team now has only seven people left. Are we safe? Beautiful lady. Do you know about those things? Fumi nodded. They are creatures of this world. Don't worry. I know a safe path that can take you out of here. The members of the reconnaissance team have been completely attracted by Fumi's beauty. There was no suspicion at all about Fumi's identity. Can you take us out of here? As long as we can succeed, there will definitely be a focus on going back. As long as we go through that forest, 
I'll take you there. Saying that, they walked towards the forest where Sadako was. They immediately followed Fumi's footsteps. They soon stepped into the forest where Sadako was. When they saw the captain using a recorder to film the surroundings, Fumi offered to help them record. The captain, who was captivated by Fumi, reluctantly refused. He immediately handed the recorder to Fumi. After taking it, Fumi smiled, taking photos and shining lights everywhere. Later, when passing by a dry well, shining a light inside, suddenly, Sadako was revealed inside. Electric the curse of the videotape begins. Next, we just need to make sure these people take the videotape back with them. Under the leadership of Fumiya, they safely made it out of the forest with some excitement. The communication frequency previously disrupted by the siren returned to normal. The captain immediately reported the situation to the control center. After hearing the description of those strange creatures inside, they were all shocked. They were eager to research what those creatures really were. And this time, they brought back someone who knew the situation inside. It's more helpful for them to understand this mysterious space. As for Fu Jian's identity, since all the members of the investigation team said that she saved them, and she's just a weak woman, if there's a problem, just execute her. So they didn't even care. Fighter jets take off, quickly return to the city. Seeing this, a smile appeared. The Sadako tape they brought back will become the main reconnaissance team to destroy their world. Just return to the city. The recorder's tape was sent to their professor. Fujiyam, on the other hand, was arranged in a room. But all the returning investigators are unwilling to leave Fujiyam. After the chief saw Fujiyam, he decided to be alone with Fujiyam. Build a relationship with the other party. Meanwhile, in the research lab, the videotape's footage has been projected onto the big screen. The footage starts playing from the moment the reconnaissance team members disembark from the plane. Soon, the image of the siren head appears on the screen. All the researchers took a sharp intake of breath. What on earth is this creature? Creature. So massive, and it has two sirens for a head. It emits various sounds. Is this some kind of high tech robot? It's very likely, but I feel it's not just a simple robot. This seems more like a semi biological robot. These researchers have never seen a creature like Siren Head before. They simply classified it as a bio robot. The footage continues to play. Soon they arrived at the butcher's place. What kind of creature is this again? Look. It's a pig-headed human. She can also transform into a huge monster. This doesn't seem like a machine. Even though they're only watching a recording, the transformation of the pig butcher and the appearance of a man-eater still brought them immense fear. However, they suppressed their fear and prepared to continue watching. Soon they saw the project involving Fumi and the reconnaissance team. Even though it's just a recording, but at the first sight of Fumi, aside from the female researchers, everyone couldn't help but sigh in admiration. This girl is so beautiful. She perfectly matches their ideal partner. However, the female researcher immediately raised a question. Her appearance is very suspicious. How could one person live in a place like this? However, male researchers have been rushing to her defense. She clearly looks like a fragile young girl. What could be suspicious about that? And the investigation team was able to escape from there thanks to her. Male researchers were talking one after another, all speaking for Fu Zhang. Although the female researchers felt that they were all a bit unusual, but on second thought, what danger could a young girl pose? According to the investigators' report, they only encountered these things. There shouldn't be any stars in the recorded footage after that. However, just as they were about about to close it. Suddenly, the projected video footage flickered. A black bar appears and quickly flickers into a snowflake pattern, making a sizzling sound. The snowflake screen flickers again. A distant scene appears. This is a black and white withered forest. The center of the screen aligns with a dried up well. All the researchers look puzzled. How come there's still this kind of footage in the recorder? But they continue to watch, to see if there are any other discoveries. And just then, the mouth of the dried up well suddenly showed a pair of hands with sharp nails. It seems like something is about to crawl out from the dried up well. They were all captivated by the scene. They involuntarily held their breath. Just when they thought the next scene must be something crawling out. But the screen suddenly flashed. A disheveled white clad woman with a covered face suddenly appeared in the middle of the screen. All the researchers were startled. Startled. The white clad woman moved forward step by step, and with each movement, she would suddenly disappear and appear at a more forward position. The screen kept zooming in on the white clad woman. Soon the entire screen was left with only the white clad woman, and a strange and eerie laughter was heard, echoing continuously in the room. All the researchers felt a chill down their spines. For a moment, they felt as if the white clad woman in the screen was standing in front of them like a real person. But what horrified them even more was this situation has long exceeded their cognition. It's just too bizarre. How could a person possibly climb out of a video? Could the other party not be human? Then what is it? At this moment, their fear surged like a bursting dam, rushing madly into their hearts. 
Sadako's electronic curse began to take effect. She will start hunting down everyone who sees the video. Sadako's doppelganger appeared from the screen and touched the researcher. At this point, he was completely scared silly and directly controlled by Sadako's telekinesis. He let out an excited scream and then inserted his fingers into his own eyes, falling to the ground dead, and Sadako completely crawled out of the screen. After standing still for a second, she immediately disappeared. All of this happened in less than half a minute. The surviving researchers had not yet recovered from their terror when they saw Sadako disappear. Just as they thought Sadako had completely disappeared, one of the researchers suddenly felt a chill behind him. As he turned around, he saw the last image of his life. He was then killed directly by Sadako. The remaining researchers also immediately noticed Sadako. She didn't disappear, but appeared out of thin air in another place. All the researchers started to flee in panic. Some even activated the alarm to notify the combat personnel to come. However, no combat personnel came. Instead, after they escaped from the research room, they found blood and corpses everywhere in the corridor. They found the bodies of combat personnel and the girl brought back by the reconnaissance team from outside. But the most crucial thing was that they saw not just one, but multiple bodies of the girl. After Sadako was closed off alone, the reconnaissance team members who had been forcibly driven away were ultimately unable to resist their longing and possessiveness for Sadako. They forcibly rushed into the room, killed the leader, and began to fight over Sadako. Finally, Sadako was also tragically killed. But from that moment on, the nightmare began. More Sadakos appeared, and all the arriving combat personnel were bewitched. This was the scene that the researchers had just seen when they came out. After a researcher escaped to another corridor, he saw a living combat personnel, but he seemed to have gone mad. He was holding a weapon and running wildly, as if chasing something, shouting, She's mine. You all should die. We should all die together. Following the footsteps of the combat personnel, the researcher saw him chasing a girl. That girl turned out to be the girl brought back from outside. The combat personnel rudely tackled her to the ground and repeatedly struck the girl's head with his fists. But the girl seemed to feel no pain and instead showed a coquettish smile. Soon, the girl was beaten to death and cruelly dismembered. Then the combat personnel also committed suicide. In the mind of this researcher, apart from fear, there was complete blankness. What on earth happened in this base? What are these creatures? Or what are these things? The white-clad woman appearing from the screen, and the many identical girls, but he had no time to think about it. He immediately rushed to the emergency elevator and hurriedly got in. Inside, it was incredibly quiet, with only an intelligent electronic screen displaying, seemingly isolating everything. The researcher breathed a sigh of relief, feeling like he had escaped, but at that moment, the electronic screen in the elevator suddenly flickered with static. Seeing this, the researcher's heart stopped. The next second, the electronic screen showed a picture of a barren forest. In the distance, there was a dried up well. The next second, a pair of hands appeared at the mouth of the well. The core research members within the base have all seen the image of Sadako. No matter where they escape to, Sadako's doppelgangers will pursue and kill them. The combat personnel within the base have also gone crazy under the enchantment of Kayako. The research base has completely fallen under the invasion of Sadako and Kayako, and this place is also equivalent to the core of the entire city. Under Shin Hui's plan, Kayako uses a controlled researcher to play the footage containing Sadako's image through the supercomputer in the research base. The supercomputer is connected to various devices throughout the city. In this technological world, within the technological city, there are electronic displays of all sizes everywhere. At the same time, they all start playing the same video. A withered tree. A dried up well. A woman in white with disheveled hair. The electronic curse turns into a virus and begins to spread wildly within the city. People who are unaware all look at the electronic screens. Finally, seeing Sadako crawling out from them, they all fall into terror. Fear spreads throughout the city, leading to the city's complete collapse. At the same time, Shinhui also receives a message from the will of the world. The challenging world has been completely controlled, the opposing world will begin to be assimilated and absorbed. The world source of this technological world begins to be absorbed by Shin Hui's death world. It declares Shin Hui's complete victory. After the absorption of the world source is completed, Shin Hui's death world source becomes even stronger and more solid. At the same time, the death aura unique to the death world, like a surging river, covers the area that has been merged with this technological world. 
the vegetation inside withers again, and some of the surviving humans in the city are also unable to withstand it and die. The remaining humans, if they have no way to avoid it, will also be eroded by the death aura and lose their life force within a maximum of one week. The end is near. These humans become fearful, and the entire city becomes even more chaotic. However, Shinhui pays no attention to them at all, because they are nothing more than created life. As a creator, there should be no such compassion. Level 2 Technological Civilization World Challenge Successful The world has been merged, your world diameter has expanded to 129 kilometers, obtained the power of 300 world sources, obtained several primary technological civilization technology cards, obtained several technological civilization buildings, obtained several biological lives. Shinhui looks at what he has obtained after the successful challenge and shows a satisfied smile. The challenge of the level 2 world is indeed quite profitable. The world has expanded to over 100 kilometers, and Shin Hui's world is no longer a small world. The power of 300 world sources obtained is equivalent to two bottles of low-level world source elixir, which is also a considerable amount. The things obtained later are all resources within the technological world, the buildings in the city, those created things, and so on. If Shin Hui were in a technological civilization world, he could directly use them. However, Shin Hui's world is a death world so he doesn't need any of these. Of course, this does not mean that Shinhui cannot develop technological civilization. However, the world's power of the world source is not compatible. Developing in this way is very laborious and takes up a lot of space of the world source. It is a typical model of being laborious and thankless. However, there is one exception. That is, the technology naturally born from the world's biology, and the creator can also guide the direction of the technology. However, such technology often reaches a limit and will be sealed. To break through and develop higher technology, the world source must be used. So these buildings and tools created by the World Association are of no use to Shinhui. They can be extracted later through the operation of the World Association and sold to them. Finally, there is the issue of biological life and low-level technological civilization cards. Biological life naturally refers to the humans and animals living in the city. As for the low-level technological civilization card, it is quite a powerful thing. After a person awakens in the world of technology, their world only fits the development of the technological world. If they want to develop technological civilization and make progress, they naturally have to start from scratch. With the technological civilization card, they can skip from 0 to 1. This is equivalent to using a template, but it's someone else's template. Of course, this kind of operation is not limited to the world of technology. For example, the martial arts inheritance cards in the world of cultivation also have a similar effect, accelerating the development of the world of cultivation. It's just not as absurd as the world of technology. But if there's a shortcut, even if it's someone else's path, most people are willing to take it. And not every time the world of technology is merged. Can such cards be extracted? It's only a very small chance. So these cards are not only rare but also very much in demand. They are something that is valuable but not readily available. At least in the World Association store, Shinhui has not seen anything like this. This can definitely fetch a good price. As for the human biological beings, Shinhui plans to turn some of them into residents of the new land of rebirth. Let them start to thrive in the new land of death. Use the strange tales as seeds and spread them. Shinhui thought for a moment, then directly used the remaining time acceleration card on his body. The world of death began to speed up. One day passed. At the same time, they began to explore the outside world of death, with the idea of being able to live outside and return to the original city. However, after a long period of exploration, it was confirmed that no life could survive outside. So, for the outside world, they had seen Sadako, the pig butcher, Fuchi, and the siren head. They felt more fear and dread. However, some people believe that there was only one strange monster outside, or that there was none at all, because at that time, many people only saw one of the strange creatures, and most of them only saw a vague figure. As for Sadako, who had invaded the city on a large scale, she was considered a high-tech technology. However, there were people who risked their lives to leave the newly born land for exploration and, upon their return, said that they had seen a pig-headed person in a slaughterhouse a utility pole turning into a giant in the outside mist, a white-clothed woman in a dry tree forest, and a beautiful girl in a plane. However, these people, upon their return, 
were either on the brink of death or had already gone mad. No more information could be obtained. So many people were half believing and half doubting, and no one dared to go out to explore again. In the following time, they also labored for their living in this newly born land area. The matter of strange creatures gradually became something uncertain. After some people gave birth to children, they also taught them about these things, treating them as rumors and telling them as horror stories. All of this, Shen Hui, the creator, saw it all. Five years, for him, was just a blink of an eye, and the result of the development was also very satisfactory to Shen Hui. Sadako and the others had begun to become a kind of rumor, a kind of story. Of course, this was just the beginning. What would happen next? Whether these people would all die, or completely forget about Sadako and the others? Shen Hui dared not be sure, but it was a good start. What followed would require Shin Hui's maintenance and the natural development of these humans. After five years, the world of death had become a normal flow of time. There was nothing much for these humans to pay attention to. Shin Hui, on the other hand, turned his gaze to Fuchi. After the second level world challenge, Fuchi's level had successfully advanced to level 2. Fuchi's level has been raised to level 2. Fuchi's ability to love and hate madly has been fully effective. And the temptation effect through non-face-to-face -face means such as photos and videos has been enhanced. Fuchi's level advancement enhanced the effectiveness of her abilities. Now Fuchi could use a shorter amount of time to drive the target completely mad for her. And upon seeing Fuchi's photos and videos, they would also be tempted by Fuchi. However, this temptation had not yet risen to the level of being madly in love. Disregarding everything, at most, it would generate an incomparable fondness for Fuchi. However, with Fuchi's level advancement, Shinhui believed that she would definitely be able to completely tempt the target through these photos. After checking all the changes in his world, Shinhui directly exited his world. His consciousness left the place of the challenge in the land of the unowned. Shinhui felt a bit dizzy and his mental strength was somewhat depleted. This was the aftermath of the fusion of the remaining worlds after the challenge. It was not very noticeable when challenging a level 1 world, but now it was different. So, challenging the unknown world could not be done continuously and crazily in one breath. Rapid expansion was not only unbearable for the world, but also for himself. Xingxue and Yelong were still in the challenge. However, not long after, Yelong successfully came out of the challenge. Seeing that Xin Hui had already woken up, Yelong hurriedly asked, Brother Shen, what world are you challenging? So fast, you came out before me. Shen Hui also didn't hide it. These are all things that can be checked through channels. A second level technological world. Not bad, gain some good things. Yi Long seemed to have guessed it, nodded and smiled. Sure enough, as I expected, Brother Shen will definitely challenge the second level world. You should be too. Shen Hui also smiled. The two looked at each other and smiled. Now the rest of the Awakeners are just coming for the first time to challenge the unknown land today. And Shen Hui and the others have already started to challenge the second level world. Only the two of them know the difference. Not long after, Qing Xue also completed the challenge. But she challenged a first level world, which was much stronger than the world she challenged for the first time. Damn. You two actually both challenged the second level world. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Otherwise I would have tried it too. Qing Xue clenched her fists and grumbled. It seems that Qing Xue is very unhappy that Qin Hui and Yi Long did not invite her to challenge the second level world together. But the main reason is that Qing Xue is also a strong person. She doesn't want her strength to be left behind. After all, she is also the strongest awakener in this year's group. But now, she feels that she has been left behind a lot. Qin Hui comforted her, it's nothing. The first level world you challenged is also in the later stage. Not far from the second level world. The gap is not that big. Yi Long also nodded quickly, yes. Brother Shin and I didn't discuss it. We just acted according to the situation. After all, we can't be reckless. Otherwise it would be a big loss if we damage our own world. Qing Xue thought about it and felt relieved. But then she said, next time I will definitely challenge the second level world. But when you guys challenge higher worlds later, you must tell me. Shin Hui and Yi Long quickly promised. Regardless, they'll just reassure her for now and whether they will tell her later is another matter. In the world I fused this time, many things are not usable. I plan to extract them and sell them at the World Association, Shin Hui said, indicating where he was going next. After hearing this, Yi Long asked, Brother Shen, Qing Xue, did you get any rare items? If you have, you can sell them to me. 
I can represent the Yi family chamber of commerce and offer you a high price. Various forces outside have their own trading channels. Of course, the prices vary, high and low, or fluctuating. However, the prices for selling to the World Association are generally lower in the long term. But selling to the World Association can earn points to improve the World Association's level. So there are pros and cons. Shin Hui thought about it, and he doesn't really need a high level in the World Association right now. The most important thing is to make money. Those ordinary things like buildings can be sold to the World Association. But for the low-level technological civilization card, Shin Hui plans to ask Yi Long about their purchase price. Shin Hui told Yi Long that he had a low-level technological world civilization card. The other party was immediately surprised and then excitedly said, Brother Shen, your luck is really something. You must sell it to me. You can rest assured about the price. I guarantee you will be satisfied. It will definitely be much higher than the World Association's, but the specific price still needs to be reported after I return. Based on market prices, as you know, such extremely rare things are valuable but hard to come by, so the price changes every day. Xin Hui nodded, okay, then I'll wait for you to ask after you go back. I'll sell the rest of the things first. In the trading area, Xin Hui sold all the buildings in the fused technological world. He obtained three. 2 million world coins and 50 world association points. The selling price is definitely very low compared to the cost of producing so many buildings. However, various constructed terrains in the world cannot be recast. It requires the power of the world's origin to modify them. Otherwise, the world can only be scrapped and removed. Only major forces like the World Association have the special technology to extract them. Other major forces also rely on the World Association for such technology. So, Turning waste into treasure this time is already very good. Ching Xue also sold everything, and the three of them wandered around the World Association. At around four in the afternoon, Yulong's father, Etienne, and the branch president of the World Association, Chianyan, found them together. Obviously, the meeting that started in the morning just ended now. Uncle Yi, President, Xin Hui and Ching Xue greeted them. Chianyan smiled and said, You two are really diligent. I heard from Etienne that you two are also here, so I came to see you. Etienne also smiled and looked at Shen Hui and Xing Xue. These two are really talented and hardworking. Unlike my family, who just play every day, to have the current strength, it also relies on accumulating resources. Ye Long, you should study hard. Although Etienne said so, Ye Long's talent is also very strong. Without talent, it would not be possible to improve so quickly even with the accumulation of resources. Ye Long shrugged, but didn't say anything. Then he curiously asked, Dad, what's going on? Can you reveal a little bit of information? Etienne looked at Chianyan, seemingly seeking his opinion. Chianyan said, I can reveal a little bit to you. I came here to tell you. Chianyan's words were similar to the small news that Ye Long had told them before. It seems that the alien race seems to have some plan against the Blue Star. It can now be confirmed as a real event. So Shen Hui and the others were very surprised. Chianyan continued. In short, there may be some unrest recently, and the public security in various regions will be strengthened. Safety comes first, and I have great confidence in you too. If you have any special discoveries, you can report to me, or if you encounter any trouble, you can come to me for help. This is my personal contact information. Chianyan handed two business cards to Shen Hui and Xing Xue, with a phone number on them. Shen Hui and Xing Xue took them and expressed their thanks. It was clear that the branch president Chianyan really valued them and cared about their safety. Don't spread this matter out, to avoid unnecessary panic. After saying this, Chianyan seemed to have something else to deal with and left first. Etian invited Shen Hui and Xing Xue to have dinner with them. Shen Hui, being a straightforward person, did not refuse, and Xing Xue followed suit. The four of them had a meal at a luxurious five-star restaurant. Shen Hui and Xing Xue also gained some insights. After dinner, Ye Long offered to drive Shen Hui and Xing Xue home. The three of them got into the sports car and sped off on the road. In the car, Shen Hui thought about the words of the branch president Chianyan today and said, Although the branch president's message is not very specific, it confirms that something is indeed happening. Ye Long proudly replied, I told you, my small news is very accurate. Hey, you didn't say that today. Ching Xue immediately exposed Ye Long's pride. However, Ye Long didn't mind at all. Xin Hui thought for a moment and continued, but it seems that they really don't know what will happen. Speaking of this, 
There was a moment of silence in the car, only the roaring sound outside, but Yi Long then casually said, What's there to fear? It's been so many years, it's always been safe. Why fear this time? And this is not something we need to worry about. Even if the sky falls, there's still someone to support it. Xin Hui and Shang Shui nodded in agreement, indicating their approval. Their current strength requires protection. Yi Long sent Xing Shui and Xin Hui back home in turn, and Yi Long told Xin Hui about the low level technological world card. He would give Xin Hui a specific price tomorrow. After returning home, Xin Hui tidied up the items in the house. He was preparing to find a new place to rent after the meeting. As for sharing a rental with Yi Long, Xin Hui felt it was better to forget it. The next day, at noon, Yi Long called Xin Hui. He told him the price of the low level technological world card. Brother Shen, if you only want world coins, we can offer you 3 billion world coins. Of course, if you don't want world coins, we can exchange it for a low level world source crystal, plus a low level scenario card. Listening to Yi Long's words, 3 billion world coins were indeed very high. Xin Hui had never had so much money in his life. If an ordinary person got this money, they would have no worries for the rest of their lives. However, Xin Hui was more interested in the second option that Yi Long provided. Both items to be exchanged with the low level technological world card were valuable and rare. You couldn't necessarily buy them with 3 billion world coins, and the combined value of these two items definitely exceeded the value of the technological world card that Xin Hui was exchanging. In this, Yi Long must have played a part in fighting for Xin Hui. There was also the reason why the Yi family valued Xin Hui. So Shen Hui chose the second option without hesitation. Brother Yi, I'll choose the second one. Okay, no problem. I'll bring it to you in the afternoon. Brother Yi, thank you. In the future, if there's anything good, I'll definitely come to you first. In the afternoon, Yi Long brought the exchanged items to Shen Hui and then left. Shen Hui put away the items and returned to his room. He immersed himself in his own world. Shen Hui directly used the low-level world source crystal. The world source crystal turned into world source energy that filled the death world. The aura of death became even more intense. There was also a scenario card, which he would use when needed later. In addition, Xin Hui had 300 points of world source energy. This amount of world source energy couldn't create a very strong hero. The new earth couldn't continue to expand. Xin Hui wanted to use this world source energy to enhance the characteristics of his death world, just like the characteristics of the technological world. It contained various rare minerals, oil, and other resources. By continuing to enhance the world's characteristics, more resources could be produced, or the quality of resources could be improved. The basic characteristic of Shin Hui's death world was the inability to give birth to life. Even if there was life inside, its vitality would be drained. There were also various weak negative emotions, forming a pervasive black and gray mist. If he continued to enhance it, Shin Hui didn't know what it would become. But it was certain that it would be beneficial and harmless to the monsters and creatures created by Shen Hui. Shen Hui extracted the world source energy into the world, turning it into twinkling starlight that merged into the air. This world source energy began to blend and enhance the negative emotions in the air with the aura of death. In an instant, the air in the death world became restless, and the pervasive black and gray mist churned. In the land of the newly born, humans also sensed the changes occurring outside. However, they had no idea what was happening. Everyone trembled and hid in the houses they had built, beginning to pray. They feared that this change would affect the pristine land where they lived. The disturbance in the world of death quickly subsided. The mist formed by death and negative emotions became even denser. Xin Hui also received a message from the will of the world. Enhancement of the characteristics of the world of death. The world of death gains the characteristic of the lost mist, lost mist, effect. The mist in the world of death causes creatures within it to lose their way wander in place, or experience illusions, Xin Hui looked at the acquired characteristic entries. This should be something like hitting a wall, but it should be more advanced, capable of creating illusions. This enhancement is also not bad. The mist in the world of death previously only had the ability to interfere with vision, but now it was different. The strange and eerie creatures created by oneself would not be affected. With this enhancement, Xin Hui would have an advantage in battles within the world of death. After the enhancement, Xin Hui began to stabilize his world of death. Time passed in the blink of an eye, and another day had passed. Today marked the time for the gathering hosted by Yi Long and Xiao Xiangyan. Xin Hui had no idea how many people Yi Long had invited, but through the class group chat, 
he knew that besides himself and Xing Xue, nearly ten classmates had been invited. With this scale, Xin Hui estimated that over a thousand people would participate in this gathering. After getting up, Xin Hui called Xing Xue. The call was quickly answered, and Xing Xue's cheerful and excited voice came through. Xin Hui, are you ready to head to Jiufeng Tower? I'm putting on makeup. Wait for me. Xin Hui heard Qing Xue putting on makeup and was slightly stunned, because Qing Xue had always gone to school without makeup. He had never seen her wearing any. Xin Hui couldn't help but imagine what she would look like with makeup on. Okay, I'll call a car and wait for you outside your community. Xin Hui also changed into a new outfit that he had only worn a few times before. Although Xin Hui was already handsome, as the saying goes, Buddha relies on gold. People rely on clothing. After this change, he looked even more spirited and full of sunshine. Then Xin Hui called a car and waited outside Qing Xue's community. After about half an hour, Qing Xue walked out of the community. Xin Hui widened his eyes when he saw her. Qing Xue was wearing a light blue dress with white high heels. She had light makeup on, and her somewhat inexperienced makeup skills made her look even more pure and charming. Xin Hui had always seen Qing Xue in her natural state and regular clothes, so this new look was truly eye-catching. What's wrong? Is this outfit not good? Seeing Xin Hui's gaze, Xing Xue seemed to think that he was somewhat dissatisfied. Xin Hui shook his head. No, it's just the first time I've seen you dress like this. It's a bit surprising. Hearing Xin Hui's words, Xing Xue smiled somewhat awkwardly. I didn't want to dress like this either, but my mom insisted. She said it's a rare big gathering, so I should dress up nicely. Xin Hui nodded in agreement. Your mom is right. You do look even better like this. Hearing Shen Hui's words, Qing Xue blushed slightly, seeming a bit embarrassed. Okay, don't mind me. Let's go. Let's go to Jiufeng Tower and see. It's been booked for today. Shen Hui and Qing Xue took a taxi to Jiufeng Tower. It was an ancient style building, exuding an antique charm. Above the main entrance, there are nine lifelike phoenixes with outstretched wings, giving the feeling that they could fly into the sky at any moment. Shen Hui had passed by here many times. But today would be his first time entering. Many luxury cars were already parked in the surrounding parking spaces. Among the people invited by Yi Long, there were definitely many influential and powerful individuals. After glancing at the invitations of the students from different schools, Xin Hui and Xing Xue walked towards the entrance of the Nine Phoenix Pavilion. There were staff members at the entrance checking the invitations. Behind them, people were queuing up, all excited and clearly visiting for the first time. They carefully handed over their invitations, which were just plain white paper. Unlike Xin Hui and Xing Xue's golden invitations, Xin Hui and Xing Xue also joined the queue. However, just as it was about to be their turn, a commotion came from behind the line. Humph, a bunch of inexperienced people. Move aside and let us go in first. I really don't know what young master Long was thinking, inviting these people. Xin Hui and Xing Xue turned around and saw three people cutting in line and walking ahead. They were dressed in luxurious attire, with an air of superiority, and spoke without a care. These three individuals clearly came from influential and powerful families. Although the students were unhappy, they didn't dare to offend them and could only step aside. Soon, the line cut in front of Xin Hui. Xin Hui frowned. Were these people really so brazen and disrespectful? Before Xin Hui could stop them, Qing Xue immediately spoke up in annoyance. Hey, what are you doing? Cutting in line like that. The three people immediately turned around, their expressions clearly displeased. No one had stopped them, so how could there be someone so audacious? However, when they looked at Qing Xue, they were visibly taken aback. They hadn't paid attention to these people before, but now they noticed. There was such a stunningly beautiful woman among them. One of them leered and said, Hey, beautiful, do you want to go in with us? I have an exclusive invitation, and my family does some business. If you need any resources, you can find me. As he spoke, he revealed a green invitation and reached out towards Qing Xue. Xin Hui frowned again, as he could tell that these three people were ordinary and not awakened. Although they certainly had some status, they had such audacity. As an awakened, the enhancement of the world also improved their physical condition. So when Xin Hui grabbed the person's arm, it was like holding a small chicken. In broad daylight, what are you trying to do? The person's face turned angry clearly wanting to cause trouble. However, one of them saw Xin Hui and quickly remembered something, and spoke up. These two are Xin Hui and Xing Xue, both of whom ranked high in the recent test. These three people were all ordinary and not awakened. 
but their families had some influence and each controlled different business areas. Although they were insignificant compared to families like Yi Long and Xiao Shangyan, they were still a channel for most ordinary awakened to make connections. This was also the reason why Yi Long invited them. So although these three were not awakened, they were very knowledgeable about awakened matters. Because Qing Xue had put on makeup, they didn't recognize her, but they quickly recognized Xin Hui. Upon hearing this, the person's anger instantly dissipated. This was a popular figure at the moment, and his future position would definitely be high. Although they didn't know if they could develop a relationship, they couldn't afford to provoke him. The person being held by Shen Hui quickly put on an embarrassed smile. Um, ha ha ha, Shen, I was just kidding. I know you. You're the one who broke the combat record. The other two also quickly showed a wry smile. They were not fools, at least on the surface. They couldn't defend each other. Who's your brother? Don't cut in line. Go to the back by yourself. Although the three of them were dissatisfied, they obediently ran to the back of the line. However, they began to plot secretly in their hearts, trying to secretly punish the other party. The people who had been cut in line before were a little excited. If not for some reservations, they would have cheered and thanked Xin Hui. Qing Xue also glanced at Xin Hui, her eyes flashing. Thank you, Xin Hui said indifferently. Thanks for what? If I don't make a move, an ordinary person like him wouldn't even be able to touch you. As he spoke, it was their turn to enter the venue. Xin Hui and Xing Xue took out their respective invitations. The golden invitations were very eye-catching, especially in the current sunlight. They shimmered and reflected a dazzling light. The other students had no idea how many levels of invitations there were, let alone what a golden invitation was. But it was definitely stronger than their invitations, so they all cast envious glances. As for the three people who had cut in line before, after they lined up at the back, they began to quietly discuss how to deal with Xin Hui. But when they saw the invitations that Xin Hui took out, their thoughts about dealing with Xin Hui and Xing Xue instantly vanished. Instead, they all showed surprised and fearful expressions. Damn, how could he have a golden special invitation? Only those with a special relationship with the Yi family, or those who are particularly important, can get one. I heard that no more than 10 golden special invitations were issued for this gathering. Their relationship, is it not ordinary with young Master Long? They knew that Xin Hui and Xing Xue had not joined any forces, so they didn't dare to confront them head on, but they could still play dirty. But now, it seemed that although they had not joined any forces, their relationship with the Yi family was not ordinary. If they provoked them, it would be tantamount to seeking death. Shen Hui and Xing Xue didn't think so much. After seeing the invitations, the staff immediately became very enthusiastic. Two guests, please come this way. Someone will take you inside. Shen Hui and Xing Xue walked through the gate. Inside, it was magnificent, with a mix of gold and red decorations, the bold use of colors, but without any tackiness, instead looked noble. There were many people inside chatting and eating snacks. Apart from the staff, they were all about the same age as Xin Hui. Two sexy attendants came to Xin Hui. They began to lead Xin Hui and Xing Xuai upstairs. The second floor was all luxurious private rooms, which looked very elegant compared to the first floor. At this time, the door of a room in front opened. Yi Long walked out from inside, with Xiao Xiangyan beside him. When they saw Xin Hui and Xing Xuai arrive, they immediately greeted them with a smile. Brother Shen, Qing Xue, I was just about to call you, wondering why you hadn't come yet. Qing Xue hesitated and said, I was delayed by my dressing up, but Xiao Shangyan immediately walked over, holding Qing Xue's hand and said, No problem, we girls need time for makeup and dressing up, let these men wait, what's the big deal? Xiao Shangyan said, and snorted at Yi Long. Yi Long smiled awkwardly, then looked at Xin Hui and showed a look that said, You understand, right? Shen Hui nodded, naturally understanding the boredom and tedium of waiting for girls to dress up. Obviously, today, there had also been such a thing between Yi Long and Xiao Shangyan. Shen Xiong, Qing Xue, let's go in and sit down. I'll introduce the rest of the people to you. Shen Hui nodded, even if he didn't have the strength to be here. The forces behind him were at a certain level. There would be some interaction in the future. At the same time, in a hidden base in the area where Shen Hui and the others were located, dozens of mysterious figures dressed in black gathered. A figure in black stood up, opened his eyes, and said, The operation has begun. You go to different places to cause chaos, and I will lead the attack on the World Association. By the way, 
It seems that the graduates are having a gathering at the Nine Phoenix Tower today. Remember to take care of that place. All the figures in black nodded, then said in unison, to welcome him and create an eternal world. Similar events were happening in every region. A riot was about to begin. Yi Long brought Xin Hui and Xing Xue to a private room. There were five young people about the same age as Xin Hui. He had some impression of three of them. If he remembered correctly, he had seen them in the field of practical tests, and their rankings were not low. All of them were in the top ten. The other two teenagers had no world source energy on them. They were ordinary people, but they exuded a proud aura, similar to Yi Long and Xiao Xiangyan. Yi Long enthusiastically introduced Shen Xiong, Qing Xue. These two are the future successors of the Wang family and the Zhang family. They were the ordinary people here, but their status was anything but ordinary because we are not awakened. We did not participate in the practical tests, but we have heard about Shen Hui breaking the record and also about Qing Xue awakening to the largest world. Now that we've met, Shen Hui and Qing Xue are indeed outstanding talents, truly outstanding among people. By the way, I haven't introduced myself. I am Wang Saiji, because I did not awaken to a world. I could only help with the family business early on. I hope that in the future, we can cooperate. Wang Saiji introduced himself with a beaming face, shaking hands with Shen Hui and Qing Xue. The other young man continued, since old Wang has said almost everything, I won't say much. My name is Zhang Yi, and like old Wang, I am helping with the family business. If there is a chance in the future, I also hope to cooperate with Xin Hui and Qing Xue. Both of them were very approachable. Then Yi Long introduced the other three people. They were also from prominent families, but not direct descendants. They were cultivated. Xin Hui talked to them and got to know them a little. At least in the future, they would know who each other was when they met. Let's go downstairs. The gathering is about to begin. Yi Long called out to everyone and started walking downstairs. As they walked out, Xin Hui saw more people downstairs, all about the same age as them. At this time, Yi Long followed Xin Hui's gaze and said, This is a gathering for our young generation. Xin Hui suddenly understood why he hadn't seen anyone older than them. After going downstairs, someone recognized Xin Hui and came over to chat. Among them were the three people who had cut in line outside earlier. After all, one of the main purposes of this gathering was to establish and strengthen relationships. There were also special fruits that could be eaten. These were collected from various worlds. It was very difficult to bring things or technology from the creator's world into reality. According to speculation, it was the will of the Blue Star's rules that did not allow it. Otherwise, the Blue Star where Xin Hui and the others lived would have been completely transformed long ago. However, this area was still under research, even until now. It's just that the World Association has extracted some technology from the world of science and technology that can be applied in reality, and some fruit can be extracted into the world. As time passed, when everyone inside the Jiufeng building was chatting enthusiastically, outside, five men in black arrived at the Jiufeng building and walked inside. Although the staff outside found their attire strange, they politely asked them to show their invitation. The five men in black stopped, and one of them said, Let me try. As he spoke, Ripples suddenly appeared in the space around the staff. The space seemed unchanged, but it appeared out of place with its surroundings. And the next moment, a huge tiger appeared out of thin air. A deafening roar of the tiger came, and the staff were bitten to death before they could react. Nearby security also noticed the situation. However, faced with the changes, they were completely bewildered. How could a huge tiger suddenly appear here? And this tiger was almost 7 to 8 meters in size its powerful body clearly not that of an ordinary creature. Just as the security guards were about to inform the others, a huge tiger also rushed out beside them and directly bit one of them to death. Inside the Jiufeng building, everyone also heard the deafening roar of the tiger outside. They were all puzzled. How could there be the sound of a tiger here? Xing Xue asked Xiao Shangyan next to her, Did you bring a tiger show here? But Xiao Shangyan shook her head and said, No, I don't know what's going on either. Xin Hui frowned as he had just sensed a slight fluctuation in the space here. It affected his world. Something seems a bit off. Just now my world experienced some kind of vibration. Do you feel the same? Shen Hui asked uncertainly, looking to see if they had the same feeling. Listening to Shen Hui's words, Qing Xuai and the others carefully felt it. Qing Xue, Ye Long, Xiao Xiangyan, and the nearby awakened ones all showed a surprised expression. We do feel something. What's going on? Someone asked. 
but before the words could fall, there was a loud bang from the door. A large amount of broken stones and bricks flew out. Everyone looked over. The door and the bricks above were all destroyed. A nearly 10 meter tall figure stood there against the light. Then came the deafening roar of the tiger, echoing continuously in the building. After seeing the black figure outside, everyone was dumbfounded for a moment. Indeed, there was a tiger outside, but such a big tiger. Was it really from this world? It was still unclear what the situation was. Everyone didn't know what to do. But Shinhui sensed something and whispered, This tiger should be a creature born in the world of creation. Listening to Shin Hui's words, Xing Xue, Ye Long, and the others were both shocked and incredulous. It shouldn't be. How can creatures from the world of creation appear in the real world? But at that moment, five black figures walked in from the destroyed door. They stood in front of the huge tiger, indicating that the tiger was related to them, and they didn't conceal the original breath of their world at all. These five people, three of them were from the second level world, and two were from the third level world. Oh, I didn't expect so many people at this gathering, and they're all flowers. Ha ha, kill them all. This is even more enjoyable than attacking the world association. With these few words, they made their position clear. These people were not coming with good intentions. However, listening to them talk about attacking the world association, many people found it extremely funny. How could this be possible? The people at the gathering immediately shouted, Who are you? What do you want? Do you know how many distinguished people are here? Exactly. There are also people from the four major families here. Are you looking for trouble coming here? Wait until the people from the World Association come. They will take you away. Many people, upon hearing this, felt their worries disappear. Yes, with so many influential families here, would these people dare to cause trouble here? And their world level has not reached level 5. So they cannot forcibly invade someone else's world. The feedback of the world's original source on physical enhancement is also not strong. With so many people, there is no need to be afraid. The five men in black, all smiled confidently. The world association trying to capture us, really doesn't know their situation. Shen Hui frowned, feeling uneasy. He couldn't help but think about the matter of the alien race. He immediately took out his phone, ready to contact the branch leader, Shi Yen, to report the situation here. However, when Shen Hui opened it, he found that there was no signal on his phone. Yi Long also held a phone, ready to contact someone to handle the situation here. But it was the same, no signal. The two looked at each other. Many people were preparing to contact people from their respective families, but they were all in the same situation. Looking at the five audacious men in black and the giant tiger, Shen Hui whispered, Something is not right. We should leave here first. Shen Hui said to leave. But Yi Long said, this gathering here was organized by me. I can't leave. It would be difficult if something happened. The patrols in the streets have been strengthened these past few days. Any anomalies here should be discovered soon. However, Xinhui immediately mentioned the possible bad things that could happen. But I'm afraid it's useless even if they find out. Since they dare to come, and there's no signal here, they must have come prepared. And combined with what they just said, I'm afraid there's more than one place being attacked. There's simply no time to deal with us here. This sounds a lot like the small rumors you mentioned. Shen Hui pointed this out. And Xing Shui and Yi Long's expressions were not good. But how could the plan of the alien race be related to the people on the Blue Star? Could it be that someone is colluding with the alien race? For a moment, they couldn't make sense of the relationship. Xing Shui also said, If there is danger, we can't handle it on our own. It's better to run out and seek help. Xiao Sheng Yan nodded in agreement. And Wang Saiji and Zhang Yi also agreed. Yi Long also nodded. Mainly because the appearance of that special giant tiger here was too strange. After confirming, Xin Hui looked at the five men in black. They were still leisurely there, completely unconcerned about anyone escaping. Xin Hui didn't know where their confidence came from, but there was no time to worry about that. Xin Hui and his group began to move towards the back of the Nine Phoenix Tower, where there was a back door to slip out. The rest of the people at the gathering had not yet realized the seriousness of the problem. They were still confronting the men in black. Only a small number of people, upon finding out that they couldn't contact people outside due to the lack of signal, also planned to leave. However, they had not found a good way to leave, so they had not taken action. However, at this moment, those men in black finally made a move. He he he, it's really like a calf not fearing the tiger. Giant tiger, attack. 
With the words of the men in black, the giant tiger behind them let out another roar. A violent aura emanated, instilling fear in people's hearts. It charged forward directly, creating a fierce and violent gust of wind. At the same time, the space around the giant tiger also fluctuated violently. Vaguely, another different space appeared, overlapping with reality. The giant tiger was so fast that it didn't give people time to react. In an instant, it arrived in front of the people attending the gathering. Its huge tiger claws struck directly. Bang! Blood and broken limbs flew out. Several people were instantly slapped to death. Death was no longer a distant term, but a guillotine hanging over their heads. In the real world, they couldn't manifest the powers of their respective created worlds. Such a scene had never been seen before in the real world. The previous arrogance and the belief that these black-clothed people wouldn't dare to do anything disappeared instantly. Screams, calls for help, and attempts to escape. In an instant, everyone was in chaos. The black-clothed people looked at the scene and let out excited laughter. Finally no to run? But do you think you can escape? It's better to wait for death obediently, so as not to waste our time. World, unfold. With the black-clothed person's final words, ripples began to spread widely around them. A semi-transparent phantom began to cover the surrounding space and spread rapidly. The phantom gradually took shape. The ground was no longer a floor, but a grassland overlapping on top. It looked as if they had each opened at 50% transparency and overlapped. Two worlds were overlapping. As the grassland materialized, several giant tigers appeared around them again. Everyone became even more panicked, completely bewildered by the current situation. And even if they wanted to run, they found they couldn't. The distance they ran seemed to stretch, but they were still within the area of the Nine Phoenix Tower. The space here seemed to elongate with their movements, making it impossible to leave. Even Shin Hui and the others, who had just run to the back of the Nine Phoenix Tower, were now included in this overlapping space. They couldn't escape. Seeing the changes in the ground and the strange spatial fluctuations, Shin Hui felt that his own world of death seemed to be reacting as well. Shin Hui and Yi Long both had serious and shocked expressions. This, the created world has merged with the real world and overlapped. Yi Long exclaimed in disbelief, How is this possible? How did those black-clothed people do it? It had long been a consensus among humans that the created world was extremely difficult to influence the real world. But now, these people not only influenced reality, but directly merged the created world with the real world. In the created world, there were powerful world systems and all kinds of terrifying creatures. If they were to use the created world to fight against them, there might still be a chance. But now, facing the created world with their mortal bodies was simply seeking death. Shin Hui and the others suddenly realized that this crisis was even more dangerous than they had anticipated. And at that moment, the space near Shin Hui and the others extended. There appeared a giant tiger, staring at them with its huge eyes. Damn! Shin Hui couldn't help but curse. Yi Long and the others' faces were not looking good, especially Zhang Saiji and Wangyi, two ordinary people. Their physical condition was much worse, and their faces were already pale with fear. What do we do? What do we do? Damn, what do we do now? Wang Yi was extremely nervous, his legs already trembling. Zhang Saiji forced a bitter smile. Old Wang, why don't you bravely sacrifice yourself to delay them for us? Qing Xue spoke at this moment. As long as we can hold on, someone will definitely come to save us. Run, the tiger is coming. Yi Long shouted, and everyone immediately ran to another room. Xin Hui and the others also passed through the outside hall. The space there was very wide and also more bloody. There were scattered broken bodies on the ground. Several huge tigers were still chasing the remaining survivors. The screams and cries never stopped. The giant tiger chasing Shen Hui and the others was getting closer. And the rooms along the way were all destroyed. They couldn't be stopped at all. Yi Long and the others gritted their teeth. But there was no way. Just then, in this moment of crisis, facing Shen Hui's sudden question, they were puzzled. But they really didn't feel the kind of strange feeling Shen Hui mentioned. Yi Long shouted, What's wrong? Shen, if you have any way, hurry up. Shen Hui also didn't know if that strange connection could merge their death world into reality. But Shen Hui had to try. Otherwise they couldn't escape from here. And they would have no strength to deal with it. They would die here. Facing the imminent danger. Shen Hui calmed down and communicated with the source of his world. Shen Hui guided and connected it with that strange wave to reality. Just like a key successfully inserted into the keyhole, Shin Hui was amazed to find that he had really established a connection with reality. 
At the same time, the huge tiger also rushed over, and Shen Hui and the others had nowhere to hide. Yi Long and the others were pale. Were they going to die here today? Xing Xiuai even closed her eyes tightly. But just as the giant tiger was about to approach them, the space around them suddenly began to ripple. The temperature dropped by more than 10 degrees in an instant, and a cold feeling immediately struck. Not only that, a deathly breath that made their instincts fear spread out. It was mixed with negative emotions, and their hearts were not only filled with fear of death, but also with unknown fears, hatred, resentment, and fear. A series of negative emotions were all brought out. At the same time, the next second, a huge slender arm appeared from behind Shen Hui. It swung rapidly, creating a violent gust of wind, even producing a sonic boom. It directly punched the giant tiger and sent it flying. Bang! The huge tiger body flew out dozens of meters and fell heavily to the ground. Facing this sudden scene, Xing Xiuwe opened her eyes, and Yi Long and the others looked at the already bloody tiger in astonishment. They also looked in the direction of the arm that had appeared, which was behind Xin Hui. When they saw behind Xin Hui, they subconsciously swallowed their saliva. The fear in their hearts was instantly magnified, and they began to retreat, wanting to stay away from Xin Hui. Behind Xin Hui, there was a layer of dark gray mist covering upwards. In this mist, there was a humanoid shadow over 10 meters tall. The specific appearance couldn't be seen, only the rough outline of the shadow. A substantial pressure, far exceeding that of those giant tigers, swept towards them like a tide. They couldn't catch their breath at all, as if they would be killed by that huge creature in the next second. Then Yi Long and the others realized that this huge creature seemed to be created by Xin Hui. The crisis was temporarily averted, and they were immediately excited. However, they still didn't dare to get too close to Xin Hui. Shan brother, is this, is this created by you? Is this a creature from your world? They had never seen such a creature before. It exuded a sense of death, with negative emotions swirling around. It was beyond their understanding. Is this the creature born in the world of death? How did it come into being? Such thoughts appeared in their minds one after another. Xin Hui showed an excited expression and nodded. After successfully connecting with the real world, Xin Hui naturally gained the ability to materialize the creatures from his world of death. However, this materialization did not completely bring the creatures from the world of creation into the real world. Instead, it used the world of creation as a medium and projected them when it overlapped with the real world. Although Xin Hui was also unclear why they couldn't establish contact. But now, Xin Hui had the capital to fight back. The commotion here quickly attracted the attention of the five men in black. They all looked over and felt the spatial fluctuations in this area. That's another world of creation. There is actually someone who can release the world of creation in this domain. But so what? It's just a slower death. Although these men in black were surprised, they didn't care at all, and they were not afraid at all. In their eyes, these were just students. What kind of threat could they pose? The surrounding giant tigers immediately rushed over, and there were other giant creatures as well. Giant pythons, huge crocodiles. These strange creatures from the world of creation came from different worlds. It also indicated that these giant creatures all came from the respective worlds of these men in black, but this was also very special. After all, the five of them each had their own world, but what was now being displayed was the same type of world of creation, and there was only one type of giant creature appearing in each world. This feeling made Shen Hui feel that their world was imperfect, but their world level was clearly not low, and even higher than Shen Hui's. But Shen Hui was not clear about this, and there was no way to find out now. More giant creatures appeared around them. Shen Hui also had no time to care about the others. Xin Hui communicated with his own world again and said softly, World, unfold. As Xin Hui's voice fell, the space around Xin Hui began to tremble, creating ripples that spread rapidly in all directions. The previous siren that appeared to help Xin Hui was just a small overlap of space in the real world. But now, Xin Hui was completely releasing his world of death, overlapping it with the real world. As Xin Hui's voice fell, the space around them began to fluctuate. The world of death began to merge and overlap. In an instant, a thick gray-black mist began to appear out of thin air. A sense of decay filled the air. It made people feel desolate and ominous. This feeling, except for Shin Hui's special world of death, could not be imparted by any other world. The commotion caused by Shin Hui's world unfolding was much stronger than that of those men in black. And the mist that appeared after the fusion of the world of death and the real world also contained the characteristics of mist 
which was the attribute of lost mist that Shinhui had just gained. It directly caused the creatures inside to lose their sense of direction and be affected by illusions. The thick mist completely covered the area of the Nine Phoenix Tower. Although the space inside has been elongated, the fog, this kind of thing, simply won't be dispersed too much. Everyone, regardless of friend or foe, has completely lost their sense of direction. They can only see a range of no more than two meters in front of them. However, this effectively prevents the attacks of those giant creatures. After all, they occupy the home field. And now that they can't see people, they can't launch effective attacks. But the rest of the people have no idea what's going on. Covered by the thick fog, coupled with the withering of life and various negative emotions that have been lured out, especially the fear, which was there before, is now infinitely magnified. They thought they were in even greater danger. They were so scared, some even peed themselves, and dared not run around, only trembling in place. The black-clothed people were also enveloped in the thick fog. Damn it! What kind of world has the other side merged into? It's so strange. Indeed, I have never seen this kind of world aura before. But so what? Do they think they can hide in this thick fog? It's ridiculous. Wait, this mist seems to have a disturbing effect on perception. My connection to the creatures in my own world has become weak. They quickly discovered the extraordinary nature of this fog. Damn it, if the created world is really mine, it definitely wouldn't be affected. I wonder what kind of creatures are in the other side's world. Enough, be careful. I don't believe a student can stir up any waves. Just as the rest of the black-clothed people confirmed this, several figures suddenly flashed around them. They passed by in a flash. Their speed astonishing. Who is it? What is it? It should be those fleeing students. Let's go after them. The black-clothed people immediately chased after them, but after they ran past, they couldn't see anything except for the thick fog. But at that moment, several dark figures flashed past from another direction. They chased after them again, but still saw nothing. And among them, someone was surprised to discover a problem. Are we still in the same place? We haven't moved at all. How is that possible? We ran a long way. But look over there. It's the rubble of a building we were just standing next to. I definitely didn't remember wrong. It's exactly the same. At this, all five of them looked at each other. And Shin Hui, after completely unfolding his own world, although the created world and the real world cannot completely overlap, but Shin Hui can bring all of his characters, like Sadako and Kayako, to the overlapping place. This way, they can appear in the real world. Shin Hui also didn't immediately deal with those black-clothed people. After all, even if he killed them all, their created world wouldn't disappear. It would just become an ownerless world. Still here, and in the real world, the power of the creator is simply not as strong as the creatures in the created world. So the main goal is to kill the creatures in the created world. To defeat the created world. As the first appearing creature, Shinhui directly ordered it to follow behind him to protect himself and the others. The huge shadow lurking in the thick fog followed behind Shinhui. Yi Long, Ching Xue, and the others stood timidly by Shin Hui's side, mainly because the pressure brought by the first appearing creature was too strong. If it weren't for Shin Hui, they wouldn't be able to stay for long. It's hard to imagine that this is actually a hero created by the same age group, and in a world of death. Among them, Wang Yi couldn't help but ask curiously, Shin Hui, what quality is this hero of yours? Quality represents the potential and strength of the awakened heroes created in the world of creation. They were expecting Shin Hui to say it was at the intermediate level, or maybe even at the advanced level. Shin Hui suddenly spoke up. This hero is only of perfect quality. As they listened to Shin Hui's words, they were momentarily at a loss for words. But the next moment, their eyes widened. Their faces were full of astonishment. Even the negative emotions in their hearts were dispelled to some extent. Damn, perfect quality. Shin, are you kidding me? No, did I hear it wrong? Yi Long immediately cursed. Shen Hui, is this really perfect quality? No wonder it's so strong. Xing Xue couldn't help but exclaim in amazement. The rest of the people were also extremely shocked. How was this hero created? I've never seen such a creature before. These giant ferocious beasts live in a world higher than yours, yet they can be crushed by your hero. It's amazing, because according to common sense, the quality of a hero is also its strength proportional to the development and perfection of the world. If Ching Shuai and the others were to create a hero, it would probably be ordinary, at the lowest level of quality. With good luck, maybe it would be at the intermediate level. But now, 
to achieve perfect quality, they simply couldn't even dare to think about it, so they had already speculated upwards, thinking of it as advanced, because according to common sense, it would take at least a world development and perfection level of 5 or above to create a hero of perfect quality, that's why, as people with power and influence who have seen important figures, they were so out of sorts, it was like a revelation to them, Xinhui was actually so abnormal, however, Xinhui could feel that the ferocity of the siren head was so intense, it seemed that these other creatures from different worlds were not as formidable as imagined, a giant python rushed towards Xinhui and the others, but before it could get close, the siren head punched it and sent it flying, leaving it half dead, although there was a difference between heroes and ordinary units, these ferocious beasts were not so weak, but being able to handle them was naturally the best, Shen, what should we do next, Yi Long asked Shen Hui, Shen Hui had a plan in mind, since the strength of these giant creatures was not as powerful as he had imagined, dealing with them directly would not be a problem, and all of Shen Hui's heroes had different undying characteristics, so it was easy, just release them all and let them indulge in slaughter, just kill all these giant creatures, Shen Hui said casually, Ching Xue, Yi Long, and the others were momentarily at a loss for words, but the next moment, they understood, and at the same time, they were plunged into great fear. Behind Shen Hui, the dense fog surged and churned. Apart from the initial siren head, three figures similar in size to them appeared and disappeared in the dense fog. Although they were similar in size to them and did not have the same kind of oppressive feeling as the giant creatures, the dangerous aura they emitted was no less than that of the siren head. And after they appeared, their sense of fear was once again greatly amplified. This was just the aura they emitted, and it had already affected them. If they were to launch an attack on them or use their abilities, they would probably have long since fallen into madness due to fear. They all swallowed hard, very curious about what these figures looked like. Xinhui seemed to see through their thoughts and immediately spoke up. Don't look around randomly. The heroes I created are not what you are familiar with. It might affect your mental state, and it wouldn't be good to become foolish. Ching Xue stuttered. Is this all your hero units? Before, in the initial test on the big screen, that woman in white was also among them, right? Xin Hui nodded. They had seen Sadako during the initial test. When Xing Xue mentioned it, Ye Long and the others were curious and asked what she looked like. Xing Xue hesitated and said, I didn't see clearly at the time, but it was the figure of a woman. It didn't seem human, or rather, like a dead person. When you close your eyes, you can clearly visualize the figure in your mind, but when you look closely, you can't see anything. It feels like the other person is constantly watching you. Xing Xue tried her best to describe the feeling of seeing Sadako, but she still couldn't fully express it. It was a mysterious feeling that could only be understood but not explained. However, Xing Xue's words aroused even more curiosity in Yellong and the others. It completely dispelled their intention to watch Xin Hui's created heroes, seeing them stop their reckless behavior. Xin Hui felt relieved. It was fortunate that they only saw Sadako and the butcher. But if they saw Kayako, Shin Hui wouldn't be able to save them. Even if Kayako didn't harm them, their longing for her would become a disease, leading to their demise. Shin Hui gave orders, and the sirens behind him began to emit a loud sound. The sound pierced through the thick fog and echoed throughout the entire space. For the giant creatures lost in the thick fog and disoriented, it was like a lighthouse in the dark, drawing them towards it. The others also heard the sound, but they were too scared to approach. However, the five men in black began to move towards the source of the sound. Due to the shielding effect of the thick fog, they lost control of the giant creatures, but they could feel that all of them were converging towards the source of the sound. So, for them, that was the safest place. On Shin Hui's side, the nearby giant creatures were quickly drawn over. The siren directly displayed superhuman physical abilities and swiftly killed the oncoming giant creatures. Sadako also used telekinesis and teleportation abilities instantly disappearing and reappearing, manipulating their fear and controlling them. Because they lacked intelligence, they were easily influenced by negative emotions. The butcher also transformed into a demonic state and confronted the giant creatures head-on. A large group of ordinary demonic pigs also appeared, and as the giant creatures died, more demonic pigs were created by the butcher. Among them, Kayako was relatively weak. After all, she only had the physical abilities of an ordinary person. Her charm only affected humans and had no impact on these creatures. However, Kayako's ability to infinitely multiply was also terrifying. 
she directly withstood the attacks of the giant creatures with her deaths. After being torn apart, more Kayakos stood up. There were more and more Kayakos, and the surroundings of Shin Hui and the others were filled with densely packed black figures. Ching Xuan and Yelong, who were beside Shin Hui, couldn't see clearly what was happening in the thick fog. For them, it was a battle without visuals. They could only see the black shadows moving in the fog and feel the surrounding roars, whether of anger or fear, and the increasingly intense smell of blood. They felt like they were breathing not air, but blood. All of this continuously intensified the atmosphere around them, guiding their emotions. Ching Shui and Yelong felt extremely oppressed and gained a bit more understanding of the world of the dead. After taking a few deep breaths, they felt a lot better. This was truly a world where life could not be born. Just the overlapping part of the emitted aura almost made them collapse. In a sense, this death world had already won in the initial stages. It was just unable to create anything. But now, Shin Hui has broken this impossibility. Those students in the thick fog did not receive Shin Hui's protection. Shin Hui also could not fully protect them. Some of them have already started to become mentally unstable in such a repressive and negative emotional situation. However, compared to being directly killed by giant creatures, this situation is already very good. With the continuous attraction of the sirens, more and more giant creatures are coming. After coming, they are mercilessly killed. In the world's confrontation, Victory is continuously leaning towards Shin Hui's side. And at this time, outside, the black-clothed people attacking Shin Hui are not only appearing there, in various major areas, including the branches of the World Association in each place. They have their presence. They can all integrate their created worlds with the real world, releasing giant creatures to cause terror and destruction around. For a while, chaos reigns in various major areas. The ordinary people enveloped in overlapping spaces are completely insignificant inside. They are directly crushed to death by the giant creatures. Immediately, alarms are sounded everywhere, and a level 1 crisis is declared. Whether it is the official awakened of the created world or the awakened of other organizational forces, they are all mobilized to participate in the chaos. However, they soon faced a difficulty. That is, before they can integrate their created world with reality. They are not much stronger than ordinary people. Those who can directly integrate their created world like Shin Hui are very few, so they mainly rely on awakened individuals with a world level of 5 or above. They can forcibly invade the world of the black-clothed people and defeat them. However, this leads to a shortage of manpower. At this time, in the area where Shin Hui and the others are located, black-clothed people appear in densely populated streets and important places. The number of black-clothed people attacking here is large and powerful and the world level is around 5. If they had not prepared in advance and dispatched a large number of World Association members to patrol various places in the major areas, including the backbone of their branches, including the Guardian organizations, waiting in the branches of the World Association, this place would have been lost. For their area, that would mean losing a place to command the battle. However, the ordinary World Association members distributed everywhere do not have enough strength to handle the crisis. This has led to a very precarious situation in other places. This situation was completely unexpected for them. After handling the crisis of the World Association, Akeo immediately began to dispatch personnel to different places where the black clothed people appeared, and at the same time, began a large scale investigation. There were also quite a few places invaded by the black clothed people but not reported. At this time, Yi Long's father, Yi Etian, was also here as a guardian. Yi Tian looked worried and said in a deep voice, My son held a gathering at Jiufeng building today, inviting many students to attend, including Xin Hui and Xing Xiuwei. I can't reach them. Something might have happened there. Akea's face changed when he heard this. If something happened there, it would be very bad. Not only are there many from the new generation, but also those with great potential. Let's hurry over. Hopefully nothing has happened to them. Five black-clothed people continued to advance towards the source of the sound. Finally, they were no longer standing still. It didn't take long before they were close to the place where the sound was coming from. However, they also smelled the strong smell of blood. I'm afraid those students have been killed. Just a student. In the world of creation, they must be very ordinary creatures. And they must have been killed. These black-clothed people said, completely mistaking the bloody smell they emitted as the scent of death from other creatures. After all, in their understanding, they were invincible in the domain of fusion world. These were just a group of students who hadn't even grown their hair. But as they walked a short distance ahead, 
they saw a large dark shadow motionless in the thick fog ahead. It extended tens of meters high and continuously in all directions, with no end in sight under the cover of the thick fog. A more intense, almost substantial, choking bloody smell emanated from there. And at some point, the loud voice that had been guiding them disappeared. In an instant, it was terrifyingly quiet. An indescribable emotion surged in their hearts. It seemed that in this space, there was only them and the dark shadow ahead of them. The five black-clothed people looked at each other, their faces very unnatural. Through the complete disappearance of the giant creatures from the world of creation, combined with the form of the dark shadow ahead, they had a vague feeling that something was not right. What? What is ahead? You go. Take a look. Shall we? Go together? The five black-clothed people took another step, but at that moment, a dark shadow flashed in the fog in front of them. In this oppressive, negative emotional environment filled with unknown fog, any movement would startle them. Who's there? One of them shouted. In fact, he didn't realize that such a shout was instinctive to relieve the fear in his heart. But there was no response from anything. Did we see wrong? This kind of fog seems to interfere with perception. Combining their previous encounters with similar situations, someone among them boldly speculated. It, it should be. The five of them moved forward again, unconsciously shivering, feeling inexplicably cold, as if the temperature had dropped again. But they did not notice that less than three meters behind them, a woman in white was watching them with one pitch black eye, her face covered by her hair, revealing a miserable smile. When the black clothed people approached the huge dark shadow and saw it clearly, their hearts suddenly sank, and their expressions became ugly and frozen. Their previous bad guesses were now confirmed. The huge dark shadow was not a single entity. It was made up of various different giant creatures. All of these were creatures they had released from the world of creation. Now they were gutted, with many signs of being eaten alive. A horrifying sight. From the eyes of these creatures, one could still see the fear that had frozen in their eyes at the moment of death. It was hard to imagine what they had experienced before dying. How? How did they all die? The black-clothed people's faces were extremely ugly, and they were incredulous. Could it be that the people from the World Association have come to support us? No, it's impossible. How could they have come so quickly? Could it be the student who released his own world? The level of the world of creation is not the only criterion for judging the strength of a world, but a higher level world of creation would naturally be stronger. Even if their world of creation was not their own world and could not fully exert its strength, they still couldn't believe that they had been defeated by a student. However, apart from all the impossibilities, the situation that recently approached the truth seemed to be just like this. The atmosphere froze again. A subtle emotion circulated among the five of them, gradually eroding their rationality. But they were unaware. Before they could make the next decision, a white figure flashed in the sight of a person in black. Something just passed by there. The black-clad person who saw it subconsciously shouted then felt the temperature around them drop even lower. Their spine chilled, as if in an ice cellar, and they could feel a strange gaze staring at them intently. The other four black-clad people did not notice any dark shadows. They immediately looked at the black-clad person, ready to ask what was wrong. But when they turned to look, they were dumbfounded. The black-clad person also saw the other four black-clad people, and immediately showed a frightened expression when they turned back to look at themselves, and they kept backing away. Moving away from themselves, the black-clad person was puzzled. What was wrong with them? Or what was wrong with themselves? How could they be afraid of themselves? But they soon realized that the other black-clad people were pointing in their direction. But in fact, they were not pointing at themselves, but at their own back. They immediately realized that the cold feeling they had just felt was only behind them, not in front of them. What was behind them? The black-clad person's heart sank. A creepy feeling surged up. Goosebumps covered their body. They slowly looked behind them. Their head turned little by little. When they turned to 35 degrees, the corner of their eye could already see their shoulder. But with just that corner of their eye, they directly saw a pair of eyes as black as ink, with a strange glint, staring directly at them. The eerie feeling they had just experienced came from here. Then, a scream of losing sanity, extreme madness, and tearing of the throat echoed around. And the other black-clad people, due to the accumulation of fear and other negative emotions, had reached a threshold. Stimulated by the sudden appearance of Sadako, they directly started to run away without paying attention to the fact that there were different dark shadows following behind or beside them. And their fate. Yi Tian and Qi Yan arrived at Jiufeng building at the fastest speed, 
After arriving, as they expected, it had already been attacked by the black-clad people. There was extensive damage outside Jiufeng building. There were spatial fluctuations from the world of creation inside, but it was different from what they had encountered. There was a dense gray-black fog covering it, making it impossible to see what was inside. And this kind of fog had an ominous aura, making them instinctively want to avoid it. Yi Tian and Qi Yan's faces were extremely gloomy. The situation here might be even more serious than they had imagined. If they were lucky, there might be a few people left alive. But if they were unlucky, it was possible that everyone had died. However, just as the two of them were preparing to rush in to check the specific situation, the dense fog here suddenly began to dim. Several figures rushed out from the dim fog. Yi Tian and Qi Yan were both stunned, then showed a surprised expression on their faces. The ones rushing out were Xin Huialong, Qing Xue, and others, before they could ask what had happened. Xin Hui saw Yi Tian and Qi Yan also coming over. He immediately shouted, President, you came just in time. Call an ambulance. I feel like some of our classmates are in bad shape. At this time, the dense fog behind them completely disappeared. The situation inside also became clear. And when Yi Tian and Qi Yan saw the situation behind them, they were petrified on the spot. The ground was covered with the bodies of giant creatures. Many students sat helplessly on the ground, their eyes vacant. Some were screaming and shouting like mad, while others were laughing or crying foolishly. This situation was completely different from what they had expected. What on earth had happened? In the World Association at night, Xin Hui and a group of students, as well as ordinary people, were placed there. A large part of them were students who had participated in gatherings with Xin Hui, the ones he had saved. These people who had been saved by Xin Hui looked at him with complex expressions. They later learned that they had survived thanks to Xin Hui's counterattack. However, they also learned that the dark gray mist was also released by Xin Hui. They were all in the mist, suffering from negative emotions and various terrifying hallucinations. Those who had serious mental problems had already been sent to the hospital, but they were considered to be in relatively good condition. However, they still felt uncomfortable. As if they were back in that environment when they closed their eyes, they felt extremely oppressed. So, they felt grateful to Xin Hui, but also a little fearful. However, Xin Hui paid no attention to their situation. After all, this situation had been going on for the whole afternoon. After Xin Hui defeated the black clothed people and escaped, he had just met Yi Tian and Qi Yan who had come to support. Although Yi Tian and Qi Yan were very curious about the situation there, the situation was urgent at the time and there were still many places that needed support. They would talk about it after the matter was over. So, they only briefly inquired about the situation and arranged for Xin Hui and the others to hide in the World Association. Those who were mentally affected were arranged to be taken to the hospital. Xin Hui believed that he had the ability to help. After all, there were not enough people, so it was best to do what he could. However, Xi Yan directly said that Xin Hui's world was too dangerous. He was afraid that the people he rescued would become mentally unstable. They were originally alive, but after Shin Hui's help, they became half dead, so he refused. Of course, this was just Qi Yan's superficial reason for preventing Shin Hui from acting on his own. The real reason was that he was afraid that Shin Hui would encounter danger. After all, he was just a student. Seeing that it was already dark, Shin Hui sighed helplessly. It's not over yet. I really don't know how many places have been affected. Ching Shui Yi Long and others beside him also looked gloomy. The incident had happened suddenly, and if it weren't for Xin Hui, they would have already died. Yi Long was also worried that Yi Tian would encounter danger outside. It was fortunate that Ching Shui's parents' place had not been affected. Seeing that no one was speaking, the atmosphere was a bit oppressive. Lao Wang Yi Wang opened his mouth and said, What are the identities of these black clothed people? They are all human. How could they attack us? Could it be that they are really gangsters? Listening to Wang Yi's question, this was indeed a very unusual situation. After all, for so many years, nothing like this had ever happened. Then Xing Xue thought of something and said, According to history, in the early stages of the invasion by the alien race, many people regarded those aliens as gods. It was only when those aliens began to invade that they broke their illusion and recognized those aliens. But I wonder, is it possible that those who worshipped the aliens at that time did not completely disappear? Xing Xue organized her thoughts and said it out loud, and after saying it, she realized that it was a bold idea. Even she was startled and immediately covered her mouth. However, upon hearing Xing Xue's words, 
Shen Hui and the others did not show any expression of disbelief. Instead, they all had thoughtful expressions. This is very possible. Yi Long seemed to have figured out the connection and shouted loudly, clenching his fist, or exclude all impossibilities. Then these two are the most connected. Shen Hui also nodded, but this is just our speculation. The specific situation has to wait for the investigation after this incident is over. Then Shen Hui spoke, saying that he had been contemplating all afternoon today. It is also a matter of great concern to the rest of the people. I just don't know how they managed to release the created world. Shen Hui felt that this was the core issue. If those people couldn't do this, there would naturally be no turmoil today. But listening to Shen Hui's words, Yi Long immediately said, Brother Shen, you have released your own world. We haven't, so you should be very clear about this issue, right? Qing Xue also interjected, Did you really not feel anything strange at that time? Xin Hui said that this was the sixth time he had said this today. It's that strange fluctuation. I mentioned it to you at the time, but you didn't feel it. But they also didn't know. After all, they didn't feel it at all. Xin Hui could only give up, and the specific situation could only be seen from the messages of the branch leader Qi Yan and the others. But if this ability could be released at will, it would directly break the traditional concept of the created world. This would be a revolutionary change in the era of the created world. In the evening, there was finally some movement. The awakened people who had gone out to support the attacks by the black-clothed people in various places began to return to the World Association one after another. They were all disheveled, with injuries and a tired look on their faces. Before long, Shi Yen, Yi Etian, and the other members of the Guardian organization appeared together. Shi Yen explained some things, and then they all dispersed to rest. Shi Yen and Yi Etian walked towards Shen Hui and the others. Yi Long rushed over first and asked anxiously, Dad, President, are you okay? Yi Tian coughed twice and said slowly, We're fine, just a few minor injuries. Shen Hui and the others also walked over. President, has everything been resolved outside? Shen Hui asked. Shi Yan nodded, Everything has been resolved, but the damage is severe, and it's not just in our area. Every area has had such incidents, and we're considered relatively fortunate here. Saying this, Shi Yen sighed, looking tired. Today was unforgettable for them. After hearing this, Shen Hui and the others looked at each other. They thought it was only in their area, but they didn't expect that such incidents had occurred in every area. Shen Hui asked again, President, do you know what's going on? This question not only piqued Shen Hui's curiosity, but also Qing Xue, Zhang Yi, and the others pricked up their ears. As expected, they did not receive any information. The matter is still under investigation, and there have been some clues, but we'll have to wait until tomorrow for the specifics, Shi Yen said, looking at Shen Hui with admiration, you did well today, otherwise the losses in our area would probably have been the most severe, hearing this, Yi Long and Xiaoxianjian felt a little embarrassed, because this gathering was organized by them, otherwise today's incident wouldn't have happened, but Shi Yen didn't blame them, since you faced those black clothed people head on today, and Shen Hui, you can release your created world. Come with me and tell me in detail about what you encountered today. Shen Hui and Yi Long each spoke about the gathering at Jiufeng Tower. However, the latter part about the invasion of the black clothed people was mainly recounted by Shen Hui. When Shen Hui described the feeling of the created world connecting to the real world, Qi Yan and Yi Tian both nodded thoughtfully. And in Shen Hui's rough depiction of the battle after the release of the fused death world, with Yi Long, Xing Shui, Xiao Shangyan and others describing their feelings, as well as the mental state of the remaining students. Both Yi and Shi Yun had a strange look on their faces. Shen Hui, your world is indeed. Shi Yun spoke, but didn't know how to describe it in the end. After some thought, he blurted out, Indeed unique, especially those creatures you created? Should they be called creatures? But Shen Hui shook his head. I call them eerie. Although it's not known how Shen Hui came up with this name, but after all, he is the creator of this world, so naming it casually is not a problem. Your eerie heroes are indeed peculiar, but be more careful when using them in the future. Shen Hui naturally knew what Qi Yun was referring to, fearing that it would affect others and make them mentally unstable. President, I will be careful. Yi said it this time with a grateful tone. But Shen Hui, you really deserve credit this time. If it weren't for you, Longer would have made a big mistake today. In a few days, I will definitely thank you properly. Yi Long's expression also became a bit uneasy. There are many awakened individuals nurtured there, 
or their successors. Even though their Yi family is powerful, facing the blame of various forces is a huge threat to their Yi family if not handled properly. Uncle Yi, you're exaggerating. No one could have predicted that something like this would happen today. Shen Hui waved his hand to indicate that it was nothing, but polite words still had to be said. And it's also lucky that the strength displayed by these black clothed people's created worlds is not as strong as imagined. Shen Hui touched on a key point today. The strength displayed by these black clothed people is basically not on par with their world level. Shi Yun and Yi also nodded one after another. They had already felt something in today's support. Shi Yun thoughtfully said, These black clothed people are definitely unusual. Not only is their strength not matching the world level, and no matter where the black clothed people attack, the creatures released in the created world are all giant creatures. Shin Hui and the others who were not attacked in other places really didn't know about this. Shin Hui initially thought that the five black clothed people released giant creatures by coincidence. But now, they were all filled with surprise, because according to Chi Yun's words, the worlds released by these black clothed people feel like the same world. But how could one world have so many owners? And the world aura emitted by them is different. Isn't the original world's power? Very terrifying? Many of the things that happened today have already exceeded the cognition of Shin Hui and the others. More accurately, it should be beyond the traditional cognition of almost everyone. Shi Yun looked at Shin Hui and the others' expressions. Not surprised, because they had already had such thoughts. Although Chi Yun didn't want Shin Hui and the others to worry too much, this basic intelligence would definitely spread everywhere tomorrow. It's better to tell them now. At this time, Xiao Sheng Yin tentatively asked, President, this incident is about the alien race, right? Shi Yun looked at her and didn't immediately deny it. The conclusion hasn't been reached yet. Don't think too much about it, and don't talk nonsense. All right, all of you go back and rest, and prepare well for the newborn world you will enter in two days. If there are any problems later, I will contact you. Shi Yun had understood almost everything he needed to, and there was no need for them to intervene in the subsequent handling. However, the crowd did not intend to leave, but instead looked at Qing Xue. Qing Xue immediately stood up and spoke to Qi Yin. President, regarding this matter, we actually have a guess. Qing Xue told Qi Yin her bold idea. Qi Yin and Yi Tian both looked a bit strange after hearing it. Then Qi Yin spoke seriously. Understood. Don't spread this matter. I'm afraid you might be in danger if you do. Seeing Qi Yin's serious expression, Shen Hui and the others dared not say anything more and immediately nodded in agreement before leaving. However, when they reached the door, Shen Hui suddenly turned back to look at Qi Yin. After hesitating for a moment, Shen Hui asked, President, about the integration of the created world into the real world. Before Shen Hui could finish, Qi Yin understood the others' thoughts. Don't worry, you are not the only one in this situation. We will definitely inform you once we have researched it. Of course, if you have any further anomalies, you must also inform me. Shin Hui nodded and then left. Under the escort of the World Association personnel, Shin Hui and everyone else were all sent back to their homes. On the way, Shin Hui saw the previously bustling areas. The earth was cracked and filled with deep pits. Tall buildings collapsed and leaned. Some World Association members and security personnel were dealing with the aftermath. In the areas that were not attacked, security personnel could be seen patrolling. It wasn't until Shin Hui arrived at the old and remote residential area where he currently lived that such situations became less frequent. After getting out of the car and walking towards home, Shin Hui couldn't help but think. Although this place was old and remote, with few people and mostly elderly gossips, it seemed to have its advantages now. At least it was a relatively safe place. Under various attacks, such locations were at least not the first choice. I guess I won't move. It's relatively peaceful here. And it saves money too. Shin Hui thought to himself as he returned to his room and lay on the bed. His mind was immersed in the world of death for a while. After the battle during the day, his hero was not affected in any way. However, the head of the alarm had an unusual change. The tall body of the alarm had curled up into a substantial black mist. However, Shin Hui showed no signs of worry. Instead, he was filled with excitement because this was the alarm head undergoing an upgrade. After the battle during the day, the alarm head was upgraded to level 2. However, still in the midst of mutation, Shin Hui didn't know what enhancements it would receive. Then Shin Hui checked the territory of the New Earth, and the ordinary people were also fine. Everything was good. Only then did Shin Hui relax. He then fell into a deep sleep. Until the next day at noon, Shin Hui was awakened by a phone call. 
It was Yi Long who called Xin Hui. As soon as the call was connected, a voice came from the other end of the phone. Shen, are you at home? Shen Hui yawned. Although it was already noon, he still felt tired. It seemed to be related to the battle from yesterday. What's wrong? Is something happening again? However, it was not what Shen Hui had expected. Shen, didn't we agree to thank you yesterday? I and Xiaoxianjian are coming over to bring you something. Shen Hui didn't expect the gratitude that Yi Yitian mentioned yesterday to arrive so soon. Naturally, Shen Hui wouldn't refuse. After all, he was also a poor guy. He only had a little over 3 million on him. Okay, I and Xiaoxianjian will come over later, and we'll call Qingxue as well. Let's go out and have some fun in the afternoon. Okay, I'll freshen up first. You guys go pick up Xingxue. Xin Hui said and hung up the phone. Xin Hui's original intention was to continue challenging the ownerless world to improve himself after the gathering. However, after what happened yesterday, there's no way to continue. It's better to go out with Yi Long and the others to relax and see if they know any news. After washing up, Xin Hui's mind sank into the world of death, ready to check the situation of the Siren Head. In the desolate and lifeless world of death, the Siren Head stood motionless in the thick fog like a utility pole. However, the length of this utility pole is at least 20 meters. After yesterday's level upgrade, the Siren Head's body size has clearly increased. Shin we checked the information about the Siren Head's upgrade displayed by the World Will. Siren Head level upgraded to level 2, superhuman physical abilities have been enhanced, strength and speed have been greatly improved, the fear-inducing oppressive feeling has increased, and has slightly changed according to the Siren Head's body size increase, Shin Hui checked the information prompt of the Siren Head. Now the combat power of the Siren Head will be even more terrifying. The information behind the fear spread is related to the current increase in the Siren Head's body size, and the Siren Head can freely reduce its body size. The minimum can be reduced to about 10 meters before the upgrade, and the maximum can be increased to the current 20 meters. Shen Hui thought, this is also a kind of hidden ability, right? At the same time, Xinhui also felt that his original source of death world is about to break through to a third level world. An hour later, Xinhui saw Yi Long driving a cool sports car at the gate of the community, and Xiao Shangyan and Xing Xue were sitting on it. Seeing Xinhui, Yi Long and Xiao Shangyan warmly greeted him, and they were also holding a box in their hands. Shen brother, this is a gift prepared for you by our Yi family and Xiao family. I really have to thank you. Before the other party could continue. Shen Hui interrupted them directly. We are all friends, and we are young people, so let's not be polite. Shen Hui said, taking the box with both hands. The box was a bit heavy. Since it was a gift from two big families, it shouldn't be bad. Shen Hui hadn't eaten yet, and he was too lazy to see what was inside for the time being. He directly used the world's origin to take the box in. Let's go. Let's have lunch. I haven't eaten yet. Yi Long drove the car away from where Shen Hui and the others were, and came to the previously lively street. However, the liveliness was only before. Now it was dilapidated. Looking at the battle traces from yesterday, Yi Long couldn't help but sigh. I feel these places are so dangerous. Think about it, Shen brother, Qing Xue, where you live, there's no trouble. That's safe. Yi Long then thought of something and immediately asked. Otherwise, I'll move in with you guys. Xiao Xiangyan, sitting in the passenger seat, gave Yi Long a sideways glance, and Yi Long also realized that he seemed to have misspoken. He quickly corrected himself. It's right to live with Xin brother. However, Qing Xue did not feel offended by Yi Long's words. She then smiled and said, I say, Yi Long, a rich kid like you coming to live in our place. I'm afraid you won't be used to it. Xin Hui also nodded. Can you cook? Can you do laundry? There are no fancy restaurants where we live. Although they are all human, these things are very distant for someone like Yi Long. But for them, Yi Long didn't mind at all. What's the big deal? If there isn't, I'll just open one outside your community. Listening to his words, Shen Hui and Xing Xue fell silent. Is this the thinking of a second generation rich kid? Truly heartless. Sensing the awkward atmosphere, Xiao Xiangyan was the first to break the awkwardness. Yi Long, did Uncle Yi tell you anything about yesterday's incident? When it came to this matter, everyone's faces became serious. At this time, Yi Long's car also arrived at a restaurant that had not been affected. While eating, I overheard some things my dad said. In the elegant room, the table was filled with a bountiful feast. However, 
No one had any intention of picking up their chopsticks. Instead, they all looked at Yi Long. Why are you all staring at me? Just eat. It's not anything particularly special, said Yi Long as he started eating. This morning, my dad came back from the World Association. Not long after he returned, I overheard him talking to someone and got some information. It has been confirmed that the recent unrest is related to the foreign races. As for the identities and organization of these black clothed people, it is still under investigation. However, it seems to be related to the group of people who used to worship the foreign races. As Shen Hui and the others listened, they realized that this would likely involve a lot of complications. After all, it had been many years since the original group of people. Shen Hui and the others continued to look at Yi Long, waiting for him to continue. However, Yi Long looked embarrassed and said, Why are you all looking at me? I only know this much, and my dad caught me eavesdropping. You all know that they don't want us to know, and we really can't intervene. After Yi Long finished speaking, he immediately added, But my dad warned me that this unrest is just the beginning and has not yet subsided. He told us to be more careful. He also told us not to speculate and to focus on preparing to enter the primordial world. Indeed, there was no point in thinking too much about it, as this was beyond their reach. Let's eat. We'll search for opportunities to enhance our own worlds in the primordial world. No matter the danger, we must improve our strength. Shen Hui picked up a piece of meat with her chopsticks and put it in her bowl as she spoke. Qing Xue and the others felt that there was nothing wrong with this and that thinking too much would only add to their troubles. They then joined in the hearty meal. After spending the afternoon with Yi Long and the others, Shen Hui returned home in the evening. She couldn't wait to immerse herself in the world of death and see what Yi Long and Xiu Sheng had sent her today. Shen Hui had a premonition that her death world might break through to become a third level world today. Two bottles of high level world source elixir, a high level time flow speed card, and there's even a world source crystal. This is a same source card. What is this? I've never heard of it before. Shin Hui returned to her dorm and lay on her bed, immersing her mind in the world of death as she opened the items sent by Yi Long and Xiu Xiang. There were a lot of things inside, and the quality was also very good. Overall, it was even better than the reward Shin Hui had obtained by breaking records through practical tests, and there were things in it that Shin Hui had never seen or heard of before. Of course, it was also possible that Shin Hui was ignorant, but these things were definitely not common. Shin Hui first placed the time flow speed card and the terrain modification card aside. Then she began to look at the information of the things she had never owned before. World Source Elixir, Quality, High Level, Effect, After taking it, you can gain 400 points of World Source Power, 400 points. That's really powerful. Shin Hui couldn't help but exclaim. The quality was one level higher. And it was so powerful. Without hesitation, Shin Hui directly uncorked the bottle and gulped down two mouthfuls. The elixir merged into Shin Hui's body. However, this time it was not as comfortable as she had imagined. Instead, there was a hint of pain. Shin Hui subtly realized that this was due to absorbing too much world source power recently. Of course, the root cause was that Shin Hui's world level had not yet been raised. However, the level of the death world was about to be raised soon. Then Shin Hui took out the world source crystal. As expected, it was the same as the low level ones she had obtained before. No matter how low level it is, this is also a good thing, which can further stabilize the world and enhance its potential. With Shin Hui's control, the crystallization of the world's origin turned into a gray mist that merged into the surrounding fog, and at this moment, the fog in the entire world also thickened. Shin Hui felt that the distance to break through the dead world was getting closer. The people in the new land also noticed the changes outside and became unusually fearful at this moment. Shin Hui ignored them and looked at the last card a card that Shin Hui had never seen before. Same source card, quality, special, effect, after use. Certain same source creatures created in the created world will gain additional bond abilities. Shin Hui looked at the effect of this card and felt a little confused. Same source creatures? Does it mean creatures born from the same place? Or is it the kind born from the same mother? Shin Hui didn't know, but he could confirm the subsequent effect. Gaining additional bonds is equivalent to gaining additional abilities. And the quality of this same source card is actually special. This was the first time Shin Hui had seen it. Shin Hui first exited his own world and searched for information online, but he did not find anything about the origin card. It seems that this is really very rare. So Shin Hui didn't hesitate. Since this is an effect for the dead world, he used it directly. The same source card gradually dissipated in the air, and there were no changes in Shin Hui's world. 
However, an additional information bar appeared on his world's information sheet. Dead world, world size, 129 kilometers, world level, level 2, creation units, 4, hero units, 987, ordinary life, birth special area, new land 1 kilometer, same source level, 1, world origin, 800, an additional same source level appeared, compared to what was gained from using the same source card. By inference, although the same source card is of special quality, it also has levels. Continuing to use more same source cards will surely increase the same source level. But for now, Shen Hui didn't know exactly what it could do. But tomorrow, he could ask Yi Long's father. And now, Shen Hui focused on the 800 points of the world's origin power. With so much world origin power, it was enough for Shen Hui to use it once. There was nothing else he could create now. Shen Hui decided to create another hero to break through the level 2 dead world. Shen Hui thought about creating a mysterious existence. Then his gaze fell on the siren head, who was currently his highest quality hero. With 800 points of world origin power, it was enough to create such quality. But what kind of strange and mysterious creature could reach this level of quality? Soon, Shen Hui thought of a creature similar to the siren head, a creature known as the slender ghost shadow. Since it was already determined, Shen Hui directly extracted the memories from his mind and began to construct the appearance and background of the slender ghost shadow. The slender ghost shadow, a powerful urban legend. It had a tall and slender body similar to the siren head's body, but even thinner and weaker. It looked very human, but its body and limbs were disproportionate. Long arms and legs, like rubber. The slender ghost shadow had a blank face with no expression. As for the facial features, it was as if they were covered by a layer of mosaic. They were there, but always unclear. And it had no hair, as if it were covered by plaster. But the slender ghost shadow did have a mouth. Every time it wanted to open it, a distorted crack would appear on its face, gradually enlarging into a mouth. And he was always wearing a full black suit, with a red tie, and shiny black leather shoes. He looked like an elegant gentleman, but when he saw the thin and long ghostly figure, he wouldn't think so. Several pairs of black tentacles grew on his back, looking like strands of seaweed swaying with the current. Very creepy. The thin and long ghostly figure, just like the siren head, likes to appear in forests, abandoned areas, and the wilderness. Memories of the thin and long ghostly figure were slowly being extracted from Shen Hui's mind. The power of the world's origin that Shen Hui had just obtained was rapidly decreasing at this moment. It all condensed in the sky of the death world, forming a huge fog, similar to when the siren head was created. As the last bit of memory about the thin and long ghostly figure was extracted, the entire image of the thin and long ghostly figure immediately became three-dimensional. In the black fog formed by the power of the world's origin, a human-shaped black shadow gradually appeared, but it looked at least 5 meters tall, with long limbs disproportionate to its body. Then the fog began to slowly disperse. A huge humanoid creature with a blank face and wearing a suit appeared in front of Shen Hui. The figure began to walk towards Shen Hui, like a giant spider. Shen Hui was not afraid, but rather extremely excited. At the same time, in Shen Hui's death world, a muffled thunder suddenly sounded. At the same time, the entire world began to shake violently. Along with the deafening sound like thunder in the death world, the fog of the entire world began to churn, like boiling water. The aura of death and negative emotions also began to rise continuously. Sadako, the pig butcher, and Fumi Jiang, Shin Hui's heroes all felt such changes. However, according to Shin Hui's understanding, they were all absorbing different negative emotions or death auras that they could merge with. In addition, the range of the new land of birth was also affected. The various powers contained in the enhanced death world began to impact the alternative area of this world, the new land of birth. Like waves crashing on the edge of the new land of birth, they were directly blocked by an invisible wall of air, but it also caused a very loud commotion. Wailing and howling, as well as the sound of a woman crying, continued to be heard with the impact. The temperature in the new land of birth dropped sharply. At this moment, without exception, the faces of all survivors turned pale. The buried deep fear in their hearts was once again aroused, especially for some people outside. Seeing the boundary between the new land of birth and the outside death world, different figures appeared. And these figures, just like those creatures rumored a few years ago, lived in the outside world. What on earth are they? But as time passed, the outside finally calmed down and the area where they were located was not affected. Now everyone breathed a sigh of relief, but the fear still did not disappear. 
because the outside seemed to become even more terrifying. Xinhui paid attention to those humans in the new land of birth for a while and then stopped. The death world had such a terrifying commotion, which was after Xinhui created the thin and long ghostly figure. The level of the world finally broke through the critical value and reached level 3. A third level world meant that Xinhui could create more things, and the range of the new land of birth could finally expand again. As long as it reached a certain scale, Xinhui would completely create a world like Silent Hill. But for now, these could be put aside. Not urgent. Xinhui looked at the thin and long ghostly figure right in front of him. The effect of a terror valley immediately spread, making people feel very uncomfortable. Xinhui directly checked the information of the other party. Thin and long ghost shadow, type, hero, quality, perfect, level, 1, ability 1, tentacles. The thin and long ghost shadow can freely extend 4 pairs of tentacles, and can also transform its limbs into tentacles, which can extend indefinitely. The tentacles have super hardness and penetrability. Ability 2, unreasonable movement. The thin and long ghost shadow's movement does not conform to common sense. It can teleport, move horizontally, or float in the air. Ability 3, special dimension. The thin and long ghost shadow exists in the space of thought, and after death, it will be reprojected from the four-dimensional space to the three-dimensional space after a period of time. Ability 4, shape-shifting. The thin and long ghost shadow can freely change its shape, features, and body shape, lasting up to 5 minutes. Ability 5, Disease Implantation. The thin and long ghost shadow can make the target sick, causing coughing, bleeding from the five senses, vomiting, and confusion. As time goes on, memory will also be impaired. Xinhui looked at the information of the thin and long ghost shadow, which was also very powerful. The thin and long ghost shadow is actually the projection of a four-dimensional creature, which is the biggest difference from other heroes. Relying on this, as long as the thin and long ghost shadow does not die in the space of thought, it will be an existence that can be resurrected indefinitely. It truly lives up to its perfect quality as the siren head, and Xinhui also checked the information of his own world. The previously obtained same source effect now had an additional bond entry. Death world, world size, 148 kilometers, world level, level 3, creation units, 5, hero units, 987, ordinary life, birth special area, newborn land 1 kilometer, same source level, 1, world origin, 650, bond, giant creature, effect, the attack and defense power of the giant creature will be increased by 50%, only effective for heroes with a body size greater than 5 meters, bond composition, siren head, thin and long ghost shadow, Xinhui saw that there was an additional bond called the giant creature, composed of the siren head and the thin and long ghost shadow. This was obviously an additional ability provided by the same source. And now, Xinhui could roughly guess how the bond effect of the same source was triggered. It was mostly based on some characteristics of the created heroes. Both the siren head and the thin and long ghost shadow were giant creatures. But in Xinhui's heroes, the pig butcher, after transforming into a demon pig, also had a body size of over 5 meters. However, it was not included in this bond. This also indicated that it must be viewed based on the characteristics of the original body. But at least after knowing this, the heroes created by Shen Hui in the future could have some similar characteristics. This time, creating the thin and long ghost shadow almost completely consumed all of Shen Hui's world origin power. As for the remaining 600 or so on Shen Hui's body, they were provided after the death world was upgraded to level 3 provided by the will of the death world. This just allowed Xinhui to expand the range of the newborn land. By raising it, a folklore world that could develop on its own could be created. Just do it. Xinhui's mind directly focused. He took out an advanced terrain construction card. This was also one of the items gifted by Yi Long and the others. With the assistance of the terrain construction card, it would be easier to open up the newborn land, relying on the identity of the creator. Xinhui extracted the world origin power from his body and integrated it into the surroundings of the newborn land. With Xinhui's control, he was rewriting the rules of those places, slowly dispelling the power of death and transforming them into a safe place. This was a long and meticulous operation. With the continuous operation of Xinhui, the death breath and negative emotions around the new soil began to thin out. The dense fog also began to dissipate. The survivors who had just recovered from fear quickly noticed the changes outside. When they saw the fog outside thinning, they became extremely excited. Someone shouted frantically, Come and see. The fog outside is dissipating. It seems. It seems like the fog is disappearing. 
This world is going to be safe. Watching the almost disappearing fog, many people excitedly embraced each other. It's okay. This world is finally back to normal. We don't have to huddle here anymore. But these people didn't stay happy for long. When they slowly ventured out to explore the expanded area, they soon saw the distant dense gray black fog again. Despair once again enveloped these people's hearts. The world was not safe. It was just that the safe area had become larger. For them, it was like being in a larger birdcage. Some people knelt down in despair, completely losing their minds. Finally, they ran towards the dense fog. Some comforted themselves and walked back to the camp like puppets, at least with a larger area to move around in. Shen Hui, as the creator, watched the changes in these people from a god's perspective. There was not much emotion in his heart. At the same time, he did not care about the people leaving the new soil. It was not surprising that they would die in a few days. Then Shen Hui looked at the expanded range of the new soil. On the basis of the original one kilometer, it expanded another four kilometers in all directions. Compared to the range of the new soil created for the first time, this increase was very significant. Death world, world size, 148 kilometers, world level, level 3, creation units, 5, hero units, 987, ordinary life, birth special area, new soil 5 kilometers, homogeneous level, 1, bond, giant, world origin, 0, Shin Hui checked the information of his world. As expected, all the world origins had been exhausted. However, Shin Hui still had a few cards given by the Yi family and the Xiao family that he could use. With the expansion of the new soil, the resources inside naturally had to increase. Shin Hui took out an advanced resource construction card. Under Shin Hui's mental control, a winding river was created to the east, and a forest was created to the west. At the same time, some animals living in the water in the forest were born. Until the resource construction card was completely exhausted, Shen Hui felt it was almost enough, and he had basically got what he needed. Next, it was time to see the results. Shen Hui directly took out the last advanced time flow speed card and began to accelerate the time in the death world. The humans in the new soil, upon discovering that the outside was not safe, began to explore after the safe area they were staying in expanded. After spending a few days, they discovered the river and the forest, especially with fish and animals inside. It brought a little color to their desperate lives. With the expanded range, they also began to build larger houses distributed in various places. Two years passed and a village gradually formed in the new soil. Many new lives were also born among them. Three years passed. The events that had occurred before were gradually being hidden in their hearts and were beginning to be forgotten. Seeing this, Shen Hui saw that their lives had become stable. Now it was necessary to implant a strange story to test its feasibility. Shen Hui thought for a moment and directly sent the slender ghost shadow to a place near the boundary between the new soil and the death world outside. A family of three lives here and their little one was born five years ago, becoming their only hope in life. One evening, as they were happily having dinner, the little one sitting by the window suddenly pointed outside and loudly exclaimed, Mom, Dad, there's someone outside. The parents thought someone had come to visit, but when they looked, they saw no one outside the window. They thought their child had made a mistake and didn't pay much attention, continuing to eat. However, the next day, at dinner time again, their child once more pointed outside and shouted that there was someone there, and that the person was getting closer. When the parents looked outside, they still saw no one. They began to feel uneasy and worried. They asked the people living around, but found nothing unusual, which eased their minds a little. During dinner that night, their child didn't mention anyone outside, which relieved them. However, their child started inexplicably having nosebleeds and coughing, seeming to be ill. They gave the child some medicine during the day, but the situation didn't improve. After a few days, the cough became more severe, and the child's facial features started bleeding, accompanied by frequent fainting spells. One evening, as they were at a loss about how to treat their child, their child once again raised a finger and pointed outside, exclaiming that there was someone there, standing outside the window, listening to the child. The parents immediately turned to look, but still saw nothing. Suddenly, they felt a strange fear and goosebumps all over their bodies. They realized that their child had fallen ill right after claiming to have seen someone outside the window for the first time. They quickly closed the window and asked the child to draw the person they had seen. The child drew a black figure with equally long arms and legs. Looking at the strange, abstract figure, they pointed to the face drawn by the child. There was only a circle with nothing inside. 
and they asked why the eyes and mouth weren't drawn. The child blurted out, the person doesn't have eyes or a mouth. Shocked, the parents immediately looked at the closed window, feeling a strong, penetrating gaze through it. The father angrily rushed to the window and shouted outside, but still saw nothing. Several days later, the child's symptoms had not improved. Instead, their memory seemed to be fading, and they couldn't remember some things. One night, the child insisted that the parents accompany them to bed, claiming that they had done so the previous night. The parents were startled, as they hadn't been with the child the previous night. They anxiously asked who had been with them, but the child couldn't remember anything. That night, the parents, suppressing their fear, decided to keep watch in the child's room to see what was happening. They stayed up until midnight, but nothing happened. When the child woke up and asked to go to the bathroom, the parents took them and then brought them back to bed. However, as they approached the bed, they saw a small figure lying on it. It was their child. The child on the bed also woke up, rubbing their eyes and asking where the parents had been. The parents felt a chill in their hearts. What was the thing behind them? They immediately looked at the child behind them. The child had disappeared, and in their place stood a person in a suit with unusually long limbs and no facial features. Suddenly, a huge mouth split open on the face of the featureless person, forming a terrifying smile. The next day, the house near the border was surrounded by people. They all looked pale as they gazed at the house. Some couldn't help but feel nauseous and started vomiting. Inside the house, blood and flesh covered the walls and floor, resembling a slaughterhouse. In the center of the house, a child sat on the ground, holding a piece of paper and swaying from side to side with a smile. They all recognized the child as belonging to the family. It seemed that both of the child's parents had died, leaving only the child behind. A man rushed in and carried the child out, urgently asking what had happened and where the parents had gone. The child seemed clueless, as if suffering from amnesia. However, when asked about the whereabouts of the parents, the child seemed to remember something and pointed to the drawing in their hand with a smile. Everyone followed the child's finger and saw a black, slender figure drawn with crayons on the paper. It was the same figure the child had drawn at the request of their parents a few days earlier, but this time it was accompanied by something else. Next to the black figure, there was a drawing of a laughing child sitting, surrounded by red crayon marks. It looked like what they were seeing now, except that the black figure was missing from the scene. However, this absence sent shivers down their spines, as they felt intense gazes from the dark corners around them, as if the black figure represented a creature watching them nearby. Unable to bear the fear welling up inside them, someone screamed and fled the scene. Those who remained had even more fear written on their faces, contorting their expressions. Now they knew that this area was not necessarily safe. Shin Hui, witnessing this scene, nodded in satisfaction. Their fear was once again triggered, fueling their terror of the slender, dark figure. This fear could continuously nurture the growth of the slender, dark figure. Therefore, Creating a city of strange tales was a way to keep those people in a perpetual state of fear of these creatures, constantly absorbing their terror. The appearance of the slender, dark figure had been recorded for the first time by these humans. In the form of the child's drawing, Xinhui once again accelerated the passage of time. A year passed peacefully, but everyone's hearts became more and more apprehensive. In the second year, someone went insane, shouting, I saw the black shadow in the crayon drawing, and a few days later, they completely lost all memory and died from bleeding from their facial features. In the third year, another family had all the adults die except for the child. At the same time, someone found an old-fashioned film camera brought from their original city in their house. Inside the camera, there was a black and white photo. The photo showed their three-year-old child playing and laughing outside. However, next to a tree several meters away from their child, there was a blurry, slender, human-shaped black figure captured in the photo. Upon closer inspection, it was clear that this figure had no facial features and was wearing a suit. The slender, dark figure had been recorded for the first time by a camera. Once again, the fear in the hearts of those who saw it was triggered. That thing had always been around them. Everyone launched a large search, but there were no strange creatures in their living area. In the fourth year, several people went insane one after another, all claiming to have seen that kind of creature. Gradually, the name of that creature, the slender, dark figure, began to spread. In the fifth year, several more people continued to die. However, there was one person who was frantically shouting that they had seen a tall, thin ghostly figure. Not only had they seen it, but they had not fallen ill. 
lost their memory, or died. This person, both excited and fearful, recounted their experience to all the survivors. Finally, after everyone's analysis, it was concluded that they had only seen the body of the tall, thin ghostly figure and had not seen its face, so they had not been affected. This was the first incomplete record of the tall, thin ghostly figure by a living person. Subsequently, someone immediately began analyzing the previous incidents. In the end, they deduced information about the tall, thin ghostly figure, it was about 5 meters tall, had no face, and wore a black suit. It mostly appeared in the evening and at night in sparsely populated areas, but sometimes it would also appear near houses. Its method of movement and action was unknown. Anyone who saw the face of the tall, thin ghostly figure would contract an incurable strange illness, which would progress from bleeding from the facial features to vomiting and memory loss within a few hours to a few days, ultimately leading to death. The longest surviving after falling ill were children. The incidents involving the tall, thin ghostly figure appearing near the wooden houses where only the children survived led to the inference that the tall, thin ghostly figure seemed to want to play with children. It would not actively attack children, but the children would die from contracting the strange illness. After integrating the events of the past few years, the surviving humans received this information. Although not very specific, they also found ways to avoid the tall, thin ghostly figure. They were to avoid going to remote places alone, especially in the evening and at night. Those with children were to watch over them and keep the doors and windows closed in the evening and at night. If they unfortunately encountered the tall, thin ghostly figure, they were not to look directly at its face and were to immediately run to a crowded place. After summarizing, the remaining humans all followed these points. Five years later, no one had encountered the tall, thin ghostly figure again. It was as if such a creature had never appeared. However, everyone still adhered to the unwritten rules. Moreover, during those five years, many new lives were born. The existence of the tall, thin ghostly figure and those rules were also instilled in the minds of these children by their parents. Don't run around in the evening and at night. Don't go to remote places alone. And if you see a disproportionately black figure, don't look at its face. Otherwise, you will contract a strange illness and die for getting everything. Dad, what is that thing? It's a frightening thing that specifically preys on people, called the tall, thin ghostly figure. The advanced time flow card has been used up. Xinhui looked satisfied at the humans in the new land. They would continue to adhere to the rules regarding the tall, thin ghostly figure. Inadvertently, starting from each new generation, they would instinctively fear the tall, thin ghostly figure. Although they had never truly seen it, no one dared to break these rules or question the tall, thin ghostly figure. Of course, if there were such a person, they would see a faceless, thin, suit-wearing figure on a dull and oppressive evening. After that night, their facial features would start bleeding. They would begin to lose their memory and become insane. This would serve as a reminder to the rest of the people. The tall, thin ghostly figure was not a fictional entity, they should fear it and adhere to the rules. Now, the tall, thin ghostly figure had truly become a legend among them. Shinhui cast his gaze toward the tall, thin ghostly figure. At this moment, in Shin Hui's field of vision, many semi-transparent black lines passed through space and merged into his body. The source of these semi-transparent black lines was the people in the new land who regarded the tall, thin ghostly figure as a legend and thus felt fear. And these black lines naturally represent their fear of the slender ghost and other emotions. At this moment, they transformed into energy, continuously nourishing the slender ghost's body. In this way, the slender ghost's strength will continue to be enhanced. As for the other heroes, Shinhui can also use this method to turn them all into ghost stories that spread among these people's lives. However, Shinhui temporarily dismissed this idea. First, the number of humans in the new earth is not large. There is not much fear and other negative emotions to provide. After all, to create a real ghost city, the population must be in the tens of thousands or even millions. Second, the current population is also small. And if strange creatures like Sadako, Pig Head, and others are added, Shinhui is afraid that these people will not be able to bear it and will go from fear to despair and directly commit suicide. Then Shinhui would be foolish. The foundation that was so hard to create would be lost. So there is no need to rush. Take it step by step. After finishing, Shinhui left the world of death. Then he felt a sudden dizziness and headache. This was another manifestation of excessive mental exhaustion. After taking a few deep breaths, Shinhui felt a little better and went to sleep directly. 
time passed in the blink of an eye, and it was the day to participate in the birth of the world. Early in the morning, Xin Hui and Xing Xue met and went to the World Association together. They called a car and sat in the back, looking at the scenery outside the window. The damage caused by the turmoil of the past few days is still being repaired. However, in these few days, those black-clothed people have completely disappeared. There is no more turmoil. It's as if the matter has been settled. Many people have returned to their normal lives. However, Xin Hui and Xing Xue know that this is just a surface phenomenon. Many pieces of information about those black-clothed people have not been spread. At least the one related to the alien race is among them. This is also to prevent ordinary people from panicking. Later, Xin Hui and the others also learned from the news from Qi Yin and Yulongs that the World Association had captured some black-clothed people and was interrogating them. However, up to now, there has been no useful information, so no one knows when the next incident will occur. And what Xin Hui cares most about, the news of the integration of the created world and the real world, has not yet been concluded. When they arrived at the World Association, Xin Hui and Xing Xue went to the waiting hall. By this time, more than 10 people participating in the birth of the world had arrived. Yelong and Xiaoxianjian were also among them. Xin, Xing Xue, Yelong greeted Xin Hui and the others and pointed to the empty seats next to him. Xin Hui and Xing Xue sat down, and then they waited for everyone to arrive before setting off. However, as soon as Xin Hui and the others sat down, Yelong immediately spoke up. Xin, Xing Xue, how about we team up this time? Yelong gestured with his hand, indicating that he, Xin Hui, Xing Xue, and Xiaoxianjian should form a team. Team up? Xin Hui didn't quite understand when he heard this. Did they need to team up for this? Xing Xue also looked puzzled, but Xiaoxianjian continued. Didn't the recent turmoil happen? So there is a sense of urgency for the improvement of strength. The competition for resources in the birth world this time will be extremely intense. We have learned that everyone from the other major regions will most likely team up to compete. This will naturally lead to more resources being contested. Listening to Xiaoxianjian's words, Xin Hui suddenly understood. No wonder. I'm afraid that if I act alone this time, I will most likely end up doing nothing. Yelong nodded. Yes, Shin, you're right. There may not be any rules by then. If you act alone, it's possible that the resources you get will be directly snatched by others. This world has always been a survival of the fittest, and this fundamental nature will not change. However, after thinking for a moment, Shin Hui directly refused. If you want to team up, I'll pass. You guys go ahead and team up. Shin, you know the situation. How could you refuse? Yi Long couldn't understand Shin Hui. He knew that going alone would put him at a disadvantage, but he still refused. However, Shin Hui smiled and said, Do you want to go crazy? This statement left Yi Long, Xiao Xiang Yin, and Xing Xue speechless for a moment. It made them realize that Shin Hui's world was a bit different. Xing Xue thought for a moment and said, Shin Hui, you should try to control yourself a bit so we can take care of each other better. But before Qing Xue could finish, Xin Hui immediately interrupted her. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I'll let you in on a secret. I've already reached the third level of the world. Hearing this, Yi Long, Qing Xue, and the others were wide-eyed and wore expressions of disbelief. Damn, Xin, am I hearing this right? You've reached the third level of the world? Xin Hui nodded and released a bit of his world's energy. After sensing it, their expressions became even more exaggerated. After a brief silence, they all gave him a thumbs up. Xiao Shengyan held back from asking, Xin Hui, how did you manage that? I've only just reached the second level of the world. Xing Xue and Yi Long nodded, they were both at the second level. Except for Yi Long, who had advanced some time ago. Xing Xue and Xiao Shengyan had both advanced in the past two days. It's nothing, just a matter of improving one's own world. Xin Hui casually stated this truth that everyone understood. All right, Xin. You can go solo, but if you need anything, you can always find us. You can inform the members of the Yi family about it, and I'll let the members of the Xiao family know as well. Yi Long didn't insist further and simply followed Xin Hui's suggestion. Xin Hui nodded. No problem. Qing Xue readily agreed without hesitation. However, Yi Long thought of something and said to Xin Hui again. By the way, Xin, I heard that there are many strong individuals from other major regions participating this year. After some thought, Yi Long compared himself to them. I don't know how strong they are specifically, but my father told me that they are all stronger than me, and there are forces even stronger than all of us. 
so we should be careful. Xin Hui nodded thoughtfully. It wasn't just Xin Hui and the others, the rest of the people were also whispering to each other. Looking for team members, some people came to find Xin Hui and the others, but they were all turned down. Before long, all the participants in the primordial world had gathered. Most of them were from the four major families, and the branch leader, Shi Yen, also appeared at this time. She scanned everyone and finally fixed her gaze on Xin Hui, showing a slightly surprised expression. However, she concealed it well, and no one noticed. Everyone, get ready to follow me. Shi Yen led all the participants in the primordial world towards the depths of the World Association. Finally, they stopped in a hall that Xin Hui and the others had never been to. There was a huge device that looked like a crystal ball placed there. The crystal ball was circulating with colorful lights, emitting a palpable aura. Shi Yen stood in front of the device and addressed everyone. You all know about the Starry Sea and have been there. However, the way you all went there was through spiritual transmission, without physically arriving there. At this point, the crowd below became restless, knowing what was coming next. Xin Hui and Xing Xue were also filled with anticipation. The primordial world we are about to enter is special and cannot merge with other worlds in the same way. Therefore, using the spirit as a carrier may be rejected. This time, all of you will personally enter. So the level of danger has increased significantly. If something goes wrong, it won't just be the destruction of the created world, but the loss of human lives as well. So, everyone participating this time should prioritize their own safety. With that, the people below all answered in unison that there were no issues. Everyone had some advanced knowledge of this. When they enter this world, they can manifest the creatures and heroes from their created world, as well as various abilities. It's similar to the abilities used by the black-clothed individuals during the recent unrest. This is to combat various dangers. Seeing everyone nod without objection, Chayan turned to look at the instruments behind him. He reached out and touched them directly. The light emitted from the crystal ball on top began to shine brightly. The colorful light inside shimmered and turned faster and faster. When it reached its peak, a spatial crack appeared there. It was pitch black inside, but it felt tumultuous like flowing water. Follow me, everyone, Chayan said, taking the first step into the spatial crack and disappearing. The others followed suit. Sheng Hui also followed closely, but just as he was about to leave, Xing Xue seemed a little afraid and grabbed Xing Hui's hand. Sheng Hui didn't say much, turned to look at Qing Xue, and then stepped into the spatial crack with her hand in his. Upon entering the spatial crack, they immediately felt dizzy, and a stinging sensation spread through their bodies. It seemed like a long time had passed, yet it also felt like just a second. When Xing Hui saw the scene in front of him, he realized that he had arrived on a bare rocky ground. There were other students all around, with Chayan at the forefront. Xing Hui looked around at the environment which seemed similar to the challenge of an unclaimed territory. Within the sea of stars, the sky was filled with huge stars, giving a sense of being within reach and bringing a strong sense of oppression. However, compared to entering as a spiritual entity before, now that he had come in person, he felt a more tangible sensation. After everyone had entered, Chayan addressed them. This is one of the dead worlds in the sea of stars. These worlds are usually naturally formed, but died midway due to various reasons. Chayan briefly mentioned the reason for the formation here, then led the group forward. As they continued, a magnificent building appeared in the distance. Based on the architectural style, Sheng Hui could confirm that it was the house of the World Association. Sheng Hui hadn't expected the World Association to have built here, but thinking about it, it made sense. After all, the World Association is the main force resisting the alien races. Therefore, it was reasonable to establish a stronghold in the Sea of Stars. When they entered the building ahead, people from other major regions were already waiting there. Currently, there are five major regions on the Blue Star. They are named according to the five elements, and Xing Hui and the others are in the Water Region. The person leading the other group was a middle-aged man of about 40, whose status was obviously similar to Chian's. He saw Chian and immediately greeted him with a smile. President Chian, long time no see. Chayan also smiled in response. President Yuncheng. The person known as Yuncheng looked at Xing Hui and the others following Chayan. President Chayan, I heard that the combat record of your major region was broken by someone this time. I wonder how it compares to our region. Xing Hui heard this and looked at the other team. Could it be that someone in their team also broke the combat record? But thinking about the hundreds of thousands of people in each major region, it made sense. 
Before Red Smoke could answer, a strong female voice came from behind them. Cloud City Leader, you just arrived and you're already causing a stir. Do you have to be so imposing? Xin Hui and the others turned around to see a woman about two meters tall, similar in age to Red Smoke, leading a group towards them. What caught their attention the most was her physique. Although she was as beautiful as Red Smoke, she also had well-defined muscles. With her height, she looked like a female version of a giant, or rather, a female giant. Victory leader, it's rare for everyone to gather like this. Let's catch up. The Cloud City leader replied with a smile, but then changed the subject. I wonder who broke the record in your gold area. Since the Cloud City leader wants to compare, let's wait until everyone is here before we discuss it. After all, this year there's a potential stock in each area. The female giant victory leader said nonchalantly, walking towards Red Smoke. It seemed like she had a good relationship with Red Smoke and they started catching up. However, from what Shin Hui gathered from their conversation, it seemed that there were record breakers in each major area this year. Just as Yi Long had told him, there were indeed many formidable individuals in the other major areas. Soon, two more groups arrived, one from the wood area and the other from the earth area. Now that everyone is here, let's see who broke the records in their respective areas, the Cloud City leader said, and the other leaders did not object. Shin Hui thought to himself that there was indeed strong competition in each major area. It made sense, there would be no progress without competition. Now, the individuals who broke the records in actual combat would be introduced, essentially representing the strongest individuals in their respective areas this year. However, Shin Hui had no idea what this so-called star ranking list was. Just as Shin Hui was lost in thought, Red Smoke's voice came through. Yi Long, come here. Yi Long was puzzled. Shouldn't Red Smoke be looking for Shin Hui? How did she find him? It was clear that Red Smoke was calling Yi Long to represent their major area, although Yi Long had also broken a record. It was in their water area. The strongest person was clearly Shin Hui, and he was the first to break the record. Why is she calling me? Yi Long was a bit confused. However, at that moment, Red Smoke approached and, looking at the puzzled Yi Long and the calm Shin Hui, whispered, the representatives who are being called out this time are the ones who broke the records in actual combat, and they are basically the strongest individuals in their respective major areas this year. So, from now on, you will basically become each other's strongest competitors and the easiest targets. Red Smoke continued. Upon hearing this, both Yi Long and Shin Hui understood what Red Smoke meant. Being called out meant declaring oneself as the strongest and inviting others to challenge and target them. It was a form of mockery. And by sending Yi Long out, the person inviting mockery would undoubtedly be him. As for the real strongest, Shin Hui would not be targeted. After understanding this, Yi Long muttered in a slightly aggrieved tone, Leader, are you using me as a pawn? Red Smoke chuckled and patted Yi Long's head. Good. Who told you to break the record too? It was clear that Red Smoke was joking. But then she became serious, without any surprises. The other major areas will also have similar operations and will be reserved. Remember, you are now representing our water area, so be sure to strive for better resources. Red Smoke said, looking at Shin Hui. Shin Hui nodded earnestly, more resources would not only benefit their major area but also himself. The look of grievance on Yi Long's face immediately disappeared. No problem, leader. It is said that if I don't go to hell, who will? Let Shin brother quietly shoot. Don't make a sound. Yi Long followed Qi Yan and showed his face. The rest of the major areas also came out one by one. Beside Shin Hui and Qing Shui, Xiao Xiang Yin, who knew something about those people, introduced them to Shin Hui and the others. The one from the fire district is called Ji Kailiang. It seems that his father is a high-ranking member of the World Association. The one from the gold district is called Sun Jingjing, the disciple of the Shangnan Association's leader. The one from the wood district is called Zhuge Hongjing, a member of a powerful family in their district, even more influential than our own. The one from the earth district is called Tu Xingqin, also a member of a powerful family in their district. Listening to Xiao Xiang Yan's words, both Shen Hui and Xing Shui were amazed. They all had status and background. If Shen Hui were to show his face, he would just be an ordinary person with no status or background. It's difficult for ordinary people to make it. Shen Hui muttered and Sheng Shui nodded in agreement. After all, they all have various resources to support the development of their world, but their potential is limited. As long as our potential is strong enough, we will be able to make it in the future. Xiao Shengyan expressed her understanding. However, 
Shen Hui knew that without enough resources to support them, even if they had potential, they might not be able to make it. But Shen Hui did not argue, that's just how the world is. After a brief exchange, they finally set off again. People from each major area left the World Association's stronghold from different directions. After crossing a tall stone mountain, they reached their destination. When they saw the scene behind the stone mountain, everyone's eyes widened. In the sky behind the stone mountain, there was a huge gray planet. Compared to the other planets, this planet was closer to Xin Hui and the others. The oppressive feeling of that giant object was like someone holding a fist in front of your eyes, making it hard to breathe. At the same time, it emitted a very strange vitality. No, it shouldn't be just vitality. If you were to compare it, it was similar to the feeling of one giving birth to two, two giving birth to three, and three giving birth to everything. At the same time, it stirred their respective worlds of creation, making it impossible to resist being devoured. This was the world in its infancy, a world in the process of creation, and the most amazing thing was the world they were standing on. There were tens of thousands of huge chains extending into the world in its infancy. Although they couldn't see the appearance of the world in its infancy, it was obviously bound and locked. Although the world in its infancy is in the initial stage of creation, it must have created something, what exactly it is, and whether it poses a danger. We do not know. But when you enter the world in its infancy, the world's will of creation will protect itself. At that time, it will definitely form something with attack capabilities. So I emphasize safety once again. If you can't beat it, run. Safety first. President Qi Yan emphasized to Xin Hui and the others once again. The rest of the major areas also emphasized this issue. However, all the students below seemed impatient and had no time to listen to them slowly talk about safety. Finally, the process was completed and they were ready to enter the world in its infancy. The five branch presidents of the World Association gathered together in front. They emitted a white light and a powerful aura of the world of creation emanated from their bodies. This was the aura of a seventh level world. The power they extracted from the world of creation converged and rushed towards those black chains. Tens of thousands of huge chains began to tremble, and the world in its infancy began to approach them at a visible speed. The world in its infancy was directly dragged by the chains. As it continued to approach, the overwhelming feeling of palpitations became stronger and stronger. After the distance between the initial world and them was halved, they finally stopped. A hazy light projected from the initial world ahead of them, forming a domain gate. The gate to the initial world is open. Everyone, set off. Now everyone rushed eagerly towards the direction of the domain gate. Those who had formed teams before also walked hand in hand. Only Shen Hui had his hands in his pockets, walking alone in a carefree manner. Because after entering the initial world, they would be randomly transported to different places. Walking hand in hand could lead to the same place. Shen, be safe, and if you meet our people, don't be polite. Yi Long and the others walked ahead, reminding Shen Hui once again. Qing Xue also cast a worried look at Shen Hui. When they entered the domain gate, it was like entering a world without any constraints. Anything could happen. Don't worry, maybe we'll meet again soon. Shen Hui waved to them, watching as they disappeared into the domain gate. Shen Hui also did not hesitate at all, and walked into the domain gate alone. After Shen Hui stepped in, there was a feeling as if a long time had passed, yet it also felt like only a second. When the picture appeared before him, Shen Hui was standing in a gray mist. This feeling was just like his world of death. The only difference was that the world of death exuded a sense of death and decay, while here, it exuded a sense of birth and creation. Shen Hui carefully observed the appearance of the initial world. Although there was mist here, it did not obstruct the view. It just made everything appear hazy, as if it were real and illusory at the same time. At the same time, Shen Hui could feel that his created world had established a connection with the initial world. This feeling was similar to when he encountered the black clothed people during the previous turmoil. With a thought, Shen Hui began to generate fluctuations within a space with a diameter of 200 meters, which was the range of his created world that he released. Of course, as long as Shen Hui wished, he could also make his created world descend over a larger area. However, this would rapidly consume his mental power. So under normal circumstances, it was most appropriate to maintain this defensive distance. Several black figures of different sizes appeared behind Shen Hui. These were all of Shen Hui's heroes, all gathered for standby. After making safety preparations, Shen Hui closed his eyes and carefully sensed the fluctuations around him. Soon, 
Xinhui locked onto a direction where he felt a sensation that made his created world uncontrollably want to devour it. This was the method of searching for resources within the initial world. Xinhui immediately set off in that direction. As he shuttled through the hazy mist, he had not gone far when he immediately felt a dangerous aura coming from one side. The mist surged not far to the left. Then it condensed directly, and a large amount of flesh and blood began to burst out from it, continuously breeding. It condensed into a mass of black-red flesh with tentacles, looking extremely disgusting. This mass of flesh wriggled its tentacles and pounced directly towards Xin Hui. However, before it could approach Xin Hui, a slender, ghostly figure in a suit appeared out of thin air in front of the mass of flesh. The tentacles behind the slender ghostly figure extended like strands of hair, directly piercing the mass of flesh. It tore apart directly from the middle, becoming fragmented. However, the mass of flesh did not turn into a corpse, but directly turned into mist and disappeared, just like the surroundings. Shenhui watched the mist formed by the mass of flesh merge with the surroundings. Shenhui roughly understood the protective mechanism of this initial world, truly worthy of being the initial world. Everything is in the midst of creation. The fog around should carry the creative characteristics of the world's origin, directly used by the world will of the newborn world to create something aggressive to attack us. But the thing created is too ugly. Shin Hui muttered. This purest world origin is very tempting to them. It is not an exaggeration to say that in this early stage of the world's origin, there are not too many rules to restrict, and incredibly powerful beings can be created directly. It is not impossible to completely wipe out all the invaders. However, the cost of doing so would directly deplete the world's origin of the newborn world. It would be impossible to create anything else to support the development and formation of the world, directly leading to the death of the world. Therefore, this naturally born world will of the world will not make such a decision. Moreover, the creatures created by the world will now attacking them are truly just for attacking. There are no emotions or will, so fear and negative emotions cannot disturb them. However, Shin Hui's hero's frontal attack ability is also not weak, especially the siren head, the slender ghost shadow, and the pig butcher. After confirming that there are no other dangers around, Shin Hui continues to move forward. Not long after, Shin Hui arrived at the place he had sensed before, where he could obtain resources. A faint light the size of a fist appeared a hundred meters ahead. Shin Hui carefully walked over and, after finding no danger, reached out directly. The faint light directly entered Shin Hui's body, making him feel extremely cool all over. Then it was absorbed into the world of creation. Absorb the world's origin of the newborn world and gain 300 points of world origin power. Shin Hui immediately checked his information and indeed gained an additional 300 points of world origin power. Dead world, world size, 148 kilometers, world level, level 3, creation units, 5, hero units, 987, ordinary life, special birth area, 5 kilometers of new soil, same source level, 1, bond, giant, world origin, 300. Shin Hui was a little excited. This fist-sized world origin of the newborn world can be said to be the smallest source of energy condensed in the newborn world, but once absorbed, it can provide 300 points of world origin power to Shin Hui's world of creation. It can be imagined how many resources can be obtained from this. Moreover, absorbing this kind of world origin of the newborn world is not like using world origin potions. World origin potions not only have restrictions on purchase, but the amount of use is also related to the level of the world of creation and excessive use can cause mental burden. However, this pure world origin of the early stage does not have such side effects. As long as it can be found, as much can be absorbed as possible. After the absorption was completed, Shin Hui closed his eyes again to feel the fluctuations of the surrounding breath. But this time, Shin Hui did not sense anything. He randomly chose a direction and continued forward. After walking for a few hundred meters, Shin Hui once again sensed the breath of the world origin power. And this time, the induction was very strong. It meant that there was quite a bit of world origin energy in that place. Shin Hui immediately moved forward. But not long after, the world will of the newborn world once again launched an attack on Shin Hui. The fog around surged again, and three meatballs with long tentacles condensed into entities and rushed towards Shin Hui. And Shin Hui also found that this time, there were something similar to eyes growing on the meatballs. But before he could observe carefully, the siren head directly took action. With a superhuman physique, its huge and slender arms were like tennis rackets. It directly swatted the three meatballs, sending them flying and smashing into the ground, creating three craters. After landing, the meatballs also turned into fog and disappeared. 
After this little episode, Xinhui continued to move forward. Along the way, he did not encounter anything else that attacked him. Xinhui arrived at the front of the world source he had sensed. In front of him was a ball the size of a basin, emitting a hazy light. Compared to the fist-sized one Xinhui had obtained last time, this one was several times larger. Xinhui smiled, feeling lucky. However, as Xinhui approached the ball of world source energy, four figures appeared in another direction. Found it. It's right there. Wow. It's so big. Ha ha. This is enough for the four of us. Wait. There's someone there. He got here before us. What's there to fear? It's just one person. Let me handle it. Xinhui looked in the direction of the voices and saw the symbols on their clothing. These four people were students from the fire zone. Xinhui looked at them, and they looked back at him. However, Xinhui just glanced at them. Although he heard their conversation, he didn't want to engage with them. He continued to walk towards the world source energy, but the four immediately took action. One of them loudly called out to Xinhui, brother from the water zone. We saw this source energy first. It's a matter of first come, first served. I see you're alone. You should just leave. As their words fell, ripples began to appear in the space around them. Their created worlds began to overlap. Three first level worlds and one second level world. Mages in long robes, vigorous warriors, strange looking beastmen, and jelly like slime creatures appeared one after another. These were the created worlds of the mage, warrior, beast man, and monster systems. Their intentions were clear. The world source energy in front of them was already seen as theirs. Even though Xinhui was the first to find it. Here, not only the first to find it, but even those who had already found and absorbed it might spit it out. If Xinhui didn't obey their orders, it seemed they would not hesitate to attack him directly. At this moment, the four people from the fire zone were all smug. They couldn't help but think that there was still someone acting alone. This was simply a gift. At this point, Xinhui also stopped and turned to look at them. Yes, you're right. If you leave, I'll pretend I didn't see you. The four of them were stunned by Xinhui's words. Did he misspeak? Or did he not understand his own position? Then one of them immediately thought of something and looked around very cautiously. At the same time, he muttered quietly, Is there still a companion lurking around us? Hearing this, the remaining three also became alert. It's very possible. Otherwise how could he be so confident? So assured. One of them immediately shouted at Shen Hui. Brother, let your companions lurking around us come out. It's not necessary to resort to sneak attacks, right? If not, we can have a face-to-face -face duel. And the loser leaves. How about that? Seeing them imagining imaginary enemies around them and their ridiculous appearance. Shen Hui couldn't help but find it amusing. But Shen Hui didn't want to waste any more time with them. With a single thought, the defensive state of the created world began to be completely released. In an instant, the space around them began to fluctuate violently. The temperature also dropped rapidly, and the hazy mist around them turned into an obstructive fog. Sadako, the pig butcher, Fuchi, the siren head, the slender ghost, completely materialized around Xinhui. In an instant, strong negative emotions surged around them like waves constantly hitting the four people. The four of them immediately focused all their attention on Shen Hui. Their faces showed a shocked expression. Damn, it's actually a third-level world. There's already a third-level created world. No wonder he's so confident. The people in this water area are very strong. The dark shadows appearing around him. That feeling. They're not ordinary creatures. They're all hero units. He's releasing the aura of the created world. It's so strange. I've never seen a world like this before. Yeah, such a strong aura of death and negative emotions. Can a person really possess such a created world? Their gazes towards Shen Hui became strange again. It seemed like Shen Hui was not human, but Shen Hui had no intention of wasting time with them. With a wave of his hand, the heroes behind him all began to attack. Seeing this, the four of them couldn't help but raise their voices and shout, What are we afraid of? He's just one person. Let's go. Their respective creatures from the created world also began to attack. Sadako disappeared and appeared among the warriors, directly using telekinesis. She controlled a warrior, causing him to fly out and start self-harming after landing. The remaining warriors attacked Sadako, but Sadako was a spirit. Low-level warriors were just people with physical strength far beyond ordinary people. Their attack methods were still just punches and kicks. They directly passed through Sadako's body. Their attacks were ineffective against Sadako, 
and the warriors who died at Sadako's hands died in a very tragic manner. These warriors began to feel afraid. Their fear magnified infinitely. They were scared out of their wits and fled. The same happened in other areas of the battle. The butcher pig transformed into a demon pig and led a group of smaller demon pigs into the ranks of the mages. These mages were like human-shaped watermelons, being devoured frantically. The surviving mages were already scared half to death and fled. The sirens emitted strong ultrasonic waves, causing the jelly-like slimes to burst one after another. Even more cruel, the four people from the fire area were completely dumbfounded. Even if the opponent's created world level was higher than theirs, and they were hero units, their strength must be very strong. But no matter how strong, their attacks should still be effective. However, they were completely overwhelmed. Just because of the opponent's strange attack methods, how could the battles of the hero units in the opponent's created world be so bizarre? What kind of hero units were they, and what kind of created world was this? At this point, Sadako had already broken through the warrior's defense line and teleported to the side of the four people from the fire area. Sadako stood calmly behind one person, staring at him with her pitch black eyes. When they belatedly came to their senses, they felt the temperature drop around them and an indescribable sense of unease as they looked at Sadako. At a glance, that kind of hair-raising feeling of fear immediately occupied their minds. They shuddered and let out a hoarse, desperate scream. Then someone came to their senses from the fear and shouted, Surrender! We surrender! Big brother! Don't! Don't scare us! What are you? Wah! The created worlds they released were all retracted. The creatures still alive in the created world all disappeared together. But that kind of fear, it's probably going to follow them. Shinhui then ordered all the heroes to stop. After all, they weren't enemies. They were just competing for resources here. A clash of created worlds. Determining a winner was enough. At most, it would cause damage to the created world. But there was no need to go too far. The unclear fog around disappeared and turned into a hazy mist again. Shinhui carefully looked at the four people. Their faces were still filled with fear and trepidation. The four of them wanted to leave this place with weak legs. They had encountered someone they couldn't afford to provoke. However, just as they turned away, Shin Hui's voice came from behind them. Who told you to leave? The faces of the four people stiffened, but Shin Hui's following words relaxed them. Hand over the original source of the newborn world that you found. Compared to finding the world's original source himself, Shin Hui actually preferred to plunder others. Big brother, we don't have it. This is the first time we've found it. Big brother, please believe us. If you don't, then carefully sense our world. Seeing that they didn't seem to be lying, and considering that they had only recently entered the newborn world, they probably weren't lying. But the four of them looked at Shin Hui, feeling tense once again. Because at that moment, Shin Hui revealed a strange smile as he looked at them. Be big brother, can we leave now? Shin Hui grinned at them. Yes, he he, but I need your cooperation. The four of them tensed up. Thinking that Shin Hui had some improper intentions, suddenly, a faceless man in a suit appeared in front of them out of thin air. The four of them quickly glanced at the slender ghostly figure. Knowing that this was the other party's hero, they hadn't yet unleashed their own created world. If they were to face an attack from the rest of the created worlds, it would be extremely dangerous. Just as they thought Shin Hui was preparing to launch a surprise attack on them and were planning to unleash their created world once again, the faceless man in the suit standing in front of them disappeared. At that moment, Shin Hui waved his hand. You can leave. The four people felt puzzled, but immediately left the place. After all, the person in front of them and his world were too strange. After they left, Shin Hui withdrew his gaze. Just now, he had made the slender ghostly figure appear in front of them, using the ability of the slender ghostly figure to make them sick. However, under the control of the slender ghostly figure, they wouldn't become sick and die. They would only lose their most recent memories within a dozen minutes. After all, Shin Hui didn't want the situation of the heroes in his created world to be spread. Shin Hui felt that the biggest advantage of his created world was that no one else knew about it. Not long after the four of them, dragging their weak legs, left quickly, blood began to flow from their facial features. All four of them were greatly shocked, as their bodies had suddenly started bleeding without any apparent cause. They couldn't help but think of the strange actions Shin Hui had taken against them just now. Could it be him? They were burning with anger, thinking about whether they should go back to find Shin Hui. The next moment, their demeanor changed abruptly. Hey, who were we just talking about going to find? Um, it's that. Um, 
that guy who made us, um, bleed, it's so strange, why do I feel extremely angry, do you guys feel the same way, yeah, it's weird, hey, why are all your facial features bleeding, are you sick, ah, uh, no way, I see that you're also bleeding, I didn't expect that I'm bleeding too, what are we doing here, Shinhui walked to the side of the fist-sized world source and absorbed it into his body. Absorb the origin of the newborn world and gain the power of the world's origin 800 Absorb a part of the newborn world's blank will. And your death world characteristics will be enhanced expanding the range of the death world will increase. And the consumption of spirit will decrease Shinhui looked at the appearing prompt, rubbed his hands, and showed a surprised expression. I didn't expect such an effect. Absorb the blank world will to enhance the world will of oneself. I'm afraid this can only be obtained in this kind of newborn world. With the enhancement of the world's characteristics, the death aura in Shin Hui's death world naturally became more intense. If this continues to increase infinitely, Shin Hui would not doubt that his created world would truly become a forbidden zone of life. Stepping into it would directly drain life. Secondly, the expansion of the world and the decrease in spiritual consumption mean that in the newborn world, Shin Hui's expanded world range can be larger. Moreover, Shinhui felt that as long as he mastered the fusion of his created world and the real world, the same effect could be achieved. After the absorption was completed, Shinhui carefully felt the world's origin aura around him again. However, as soon as he closed his eyes, mist suddenly began to churn around Shinhui. The attack of the newborn worlds will came at Shinhui again. Those flesh balls once again condensed from the mist. There were more than 20 of them, and Shinhui also found that these flesh balls were covered with eyes, staring at him. The sirens once again launched an attack, and with the help of the pig butcher, they cleared away these flesh balls in a few minutes. The flesh balls turned into mist and disappeared, encountering danger again. However, Shin Hui frowned. If he remembered correctly, during the last encounter with the flesh ball attack, he vaguely saw eyes on them. And now, it was not vague, but densely packed. In addition, the time of the battle had increased compared to before. This indicated that the attack of the newborn world's will on these invaders would continue to strengthen. Of course, Shin Hui also thought of a possibility. That is, the will of the newborn world would launch a stronger attack on those who obtained more world origins. Because both times he was attacked, Shin Hui had absorbed the world's origin. But no matter which way, it meant that the longer he stayed here, the more resources he obtained, the more dangerous it became. Shin Hui didn't think much about it, closed his eyes again and carefully felt where the power of the world's origin was. However, he did not feel it, so he randomly chose a direction to move forward and began to search. This time, Shinhui walked for almost an hour. Shinhui finally found something in the newborn world that looked exactly the same all around. However, what he found was not the power of the world's origin, but four human corpses. Shinhui frowned, pinched his nose, and stood in front of the four bodies that were almost turning into pulp. From the clothes barely preserved on one of them, it could be distinguished that these four people were from the gene district. Are these the people killed by those flesh balls? How could it be such a death state? It cannot be ruled out that it was killed by others, although it is the least likely. Shin Hui muttered, shook his head, and prepared to leave. After all, death is normal here. However, just as Shin Hui was about to leave, a group of people came from the front towards here. Shin Hui immediately recognized the leader among them. It was Sun Jingjing, the disciple of the leader of the Jin district, Shang Nan, the first person in this generation. Sun Jingjing was also a great beauty, but the exposed limbs were not delicate and weak, but slightly bulging, with strong muscles. But compared to the leader Shang Nan, it was much better, at least within the range that Shen Hui believed humans could understand and accept. Sun Jingjing came with three people, walking through the mist. She looked at Shen Hui with a strange look in her eyes. Then her gaze fell on the corpses. Sun Jingjing frowned, pinched her nose, and took a few steps back. The people behind her did the same. At the same time, Sun Jingjing seemed to see the identity marks on these corpses representing their status in the Jin district. A surge of anger rose between her eyebrows, and she immediately looked up at Shin Hui and asked, Did you kill these people? As Sun Jingjing's voice fell, ripples began to appear in the space around her. A three meter tall, half naked, muscular man with a mountain-like feeling appeared behind her. This was a hero unit in the opponent's created world. This was also the first time Shin Hui had seen a hero from someone else's created world. The strong man exuded a strong blood force, obviously belonging to the world of warriors. However, 
There was one very conspicuous thing that did not match the identity of a warrior. That was the opponent's mechanical eye and left arm, which was also a mechanical arm. This was different from the system of the warrior world, and it seemed more like the system of the technological world. The opponent's created world actually develops two systems at the same time. Shin Hui muttered to himself, this situation was rare. Developing a single world system was already very slow and difficult, let alone two. Even if you have the intention to develop, you still have to consider the compatibility of your created world. Just like Shin Hui's created world, it was compatible with the world of death. So, it was necessary to have compatibility with two world systems in order to develop both. This kind of development generally made the world much stronger than worlds of the same level. And the collision of two different systems might give birth to some unexpected things. Sure enough, as the top people in each major district, none of them are weak. However, Xinhui was not afraid at all. His world was even more unique. Ha! You say it's me, so it's me? Then I'll say it's you who killed them, and now I'll turn the tables and accuse you. The opponent's questioning tone made Xinhui very unhappy. As Xinhui's voice fell, ripples began to appear in the space around him. It also entered an attack state, but no hero appeared. The teammates behind Sun Jingjing, at this time, tried to mediate, saying, Jing Jie, he's alone. I don't think it's him. But Sun Jingjing stared at Shen Hui and said, I know you. Your world is a world of death. Since it can grow and develop, who knows if it will give birth to creatures that feed on life. Hearing the other's words, Shen Hui was stunned. How could she know about him when it was clearly Yi Long who had been taken as a gun? When Sun Jingjing's teammate heard this, they were also visibly stunned, and then reacted. All of them looked at Shen Hui with a hint of hostility. Shen Hui felt a bit speechless, feeling like he had become a big villain, but he hadn't done anything. If you don't believe it, then let's fight. I want to see what a dual system world is like. A mud man still has some fire, not to mention the hot blooded Shen Hui. Being so wronged, Shen Hui didn't bother to explain further. As Shen Hui's voice fell, his world of death began to unfold. It instantly enveloped them, and the cold and chilling breath of death circulated around them, making them shiver uncontrollably. A. A third level world. This strong death breath. It really is a world of death where life cannot be born. When they felt the breath emanating from Shin Hui's world of death, they were all shocked. Even Sun Jingjing was surprised, apparently not expecting that Shin Hui's world had already reached the third level. The rest of the people couldn't help but hesitate. But Sun Jingjing seemed to have grasped something. She said coldly, You have the strength to deal with those four people, right? Sun Jingjing was even more convinced that those four people were killed by Shen Hui. Shen Hui was too lazy to argue with such a stubborn woman and decided to teach her a lesson directly. Sun Jingjing said to the people behind her, Let me handle this alone. If I can't hold on, then you can come and help. Sun Jingjing fully unleashed her secondary dual system world. A hot feeling that resonated with her body's blood and energy began to flow. However, she still couldn't suppress the unique cold breath of Shin Hui's death world, and it quickly faded away. Many warriors appeared around her. These were all ordinary warrior units in her created world. However, compared to the ordinary warrior world, these warriors were all armed with guns, or some parts of their bodies had been modified, and some were even wearing close fitting exoskeleton armor. Shin Hui sneered. Did she really think she could handle him alone just because of her dual system world? The death breath around Shen Hui intensified again, and various sizes of dark shadows appeared behind him. Junzi, the pig butcher, Fu Jiang, the siren, and the slender ghost shadow, they all appeared one after another. The first thing Sun Jingjing noticed was the largest figure, Junzi, whose oppressive feeling was like a mountain pressing down on them. The black shadows with human like figures looked even more eerie. Those who were not involved in the fight all stepped back and moved away from the area. At the same time, the surprised expressions reappeared on their faces. Although the opponent had only summoned five creatures from the created world, all of them were hero units, and judging from their appearance, it was very likely that there were no ordinary units in the opponent's created world at all. The woman with the pig head, the pig butcher, the girl with her back to them, and even their backs were all very beautiful. They all murmured in their hearts. Wondering what kind of existence was born in the opponent's death world, where life could not be born, what was originally supposed to be a waste world, how did it become so powerful? Sun Jingjing frowned, the opponent had now revealed his strength, instantly giving her a strong pressure. The opponent was very strong, 
even stronger than she had imagined. However, although Sun Jingjing was afraid, she did not retreat at all. Attack! As Sun Jingjing's voice fell, all the creatures she had summoned rushed towards Xin Hui. All the hero units on Xin Hui's side also began to attack. Jinzi emitted a piercing noise that echoed around. Many warriors covered their ears, looking extremely uncomfortable. They endured the attack, but Jinzi's physical qualities were completely on par with these warriors. The warriors with guns started shooting. Bullets flew, attacking all of Shin Hui's hero units. However, the bullets had little effect. In the eyes of Sun Jingjing and the others, the bullets hitting the giant creature with a trumpet for a head made a clanging sound. Unable to penetrate its defenses, the bullets hitting the woman in the disheveled white clothes passed straight through her. The beautiful woman with her back to them was killed, but her body quickly wriggled and turned into two. The pig butcher transformed into a giant demon pig, with wounds from the bullets opening up on its body. However, it pounced on a warrior and began to devour him madly, and its wounds were instantly healed. As for the faceless man in a suit, he was completely untouchable, appearing here in an instant and then in another direction the next moment. Damn it! What are these things? Can't physical means cause effective damage to them? Sun Jingjing's heart was filled with a hint of anger. Her brows furrowed tightly. Then she said to the hero unit that had been following her all along, Tiger Fool, attack! The burly man known as Tiger Fool leaped up directly. White gas sprayed from the soles of his feet, making him even faster. Then the energy in Tiger Fool's body ran rapidly, and a faint red mist spread around him. His eyes also turned crimson, and the power of a warrior's energy diffused on the surface of his body. Then Tiger Fool's mechanical arm continued to extend. Fine parts began to assemble and piece together, and his left hand directly turned into a huge hammer. Shin Hui looked on in silence, thinking to himself that the dual system world really had something to it. Tiger Fool charged directly at the siren head and the huge hammer struck the siren head directly, sending it flying and causing its black torso to bend. At this moment, Jinzi also appeared behind Tiger Fool. However, feeling the coldness behind him and the inexplicable emotions stirring in his heart, Tiger Fool let out a roar, and his energy surged, directly overwhelming Jinzi. Sun Jingjing saw this and revealed a smug smile. Now Shin Hui's two heroes had lost their fighting power. It seemed that his remaining heroes would also be easily dealt with. Sun Jingjing's teammates couldn't help but praise her. Sister Jing is really powerful. The dual system of martial arts and rest. So terrifying. Yes, the heroes of the third level world are simply no match for Sister Jing's heroes. It's just so. Shin Hui, I advise you to give up resistance. After we leave, let the president. Sun Jingjing's words were cut off at this moment. The siren head, lying on the ground, suddenly grabbed its own neck. With a strong pull. It tore off the horn on top of its head, then it threw it with such speed that it impaled a warrior who was unprepared. The impaled warrior's body instantly twisted and deformed, being constantly stretched. Starting from the position where the horn was impaled, it stretched into a huge and slender torso. Parts of the torso continued to twist, and long limbs grew out. The human skin color faded and quickly turned into a dead black. Another intact siren head was born. The previous body of the siren head directly turned into flying ash and dissipated in the air. This was the parasitic ability of the siren head. Meanwhile, the dimming Jinzi was about to dissipate. A strong resentment emotion was gathered from the death world opened by Shen Hui. These resentful emotions merged into Jinzi's body. In an instant, Jinzi returned to her original state. This scene dumbfounded Sun Jingjing and her team once again. They thought the opponent's fighting power had been lost, but now it was fully restored. It was completely indestructible. What was the point of fighting it? What on earth was this opponent's death world? Why was it so elusive? What followed was without suspense. A large number of warriors were killed by the heroes on Shin Hui's side. The methods were extremely cruel, and if there had been a place to escape, they would have fled in fear long ago. Even now, these warriors' eyes were filled with numbness. Resistance? There was no need. It was more painful to live under the manipulation of these things than to die. Even the hero unit Tiger Fool was seriously injured, and the mental damage was even greater. Sun Jingjing clenched her fists, gritting her teeth. His three teammates were about to open their own worlds to help when another voice came from another direction. We are all on the same side. Why fight? Shin Hui turned to look, and a young man with long hair and a wooden hairpin walked over from that direction. Zhuge Hongjing, looking at the approaching person. It was indeed Zhuge Hongjing from the wood zone. Not only are they powerful, 
but the Zhuge family behind them is a force even larger than the Yilong family. Sun Jingjing turned her head and frowned, feeling unhappy. What's it to you? Whether this unhappiness was due to the interruption of their battle with Shen Hui or Zhuge Hongjing's appearance was unknown. He he, Sun Jingjing, I see you bullying the weak, which doesn't seem right. Zhuge Hongjing's words made Sun Jingjing even more angry. She only came to help because she couldn't defeat her teammate. But indeed, they seemed to be bullying the weak. Otherwise, why not admit that they couldn't win and have their teammate help? But this seemed even more embarrassing. What's it to you? Xinhui laughed at the angry Sun Jingjing. Zhuge Hongjing found this interesting. Listening to Sun Jingjing's words, Zhuge Hongjing also became displeased. Anyone who can participate in the birth of the world is not weak in the future. We came to compete for resources, and in a battle without resources to compete for, I personally think it's unnecessary. Otherwise, if there's a problem in the world, or if someone else dies, can you take responsibility? Zhuge Hongjing's words were very pertinent. Upon hearing this, Sun Jingjing immediately pointed to the four bodies that looked like minced meat and shouted, Then tell them, he did it. Sun Jingjing pointed at Xin Hui. However, Zhuge Hongjing frowned at the sight of the four bodies. No, it couldn't have been him. I've seen this kind of body before. Sun Jingjing was clearly stunned by Zhuge Hongjing's words. Then she reacted. What? Where? Just recently, so he didn't have enough time to finish this battle here. Zhuge Hongjing said, expressing his previous doubts about Xin Hui. And isn't this the will of the newborn world? Zhuge Hongjing raised the question that Xin Hui had not asked before, but Sun Jingjing quickly denied it. No, this is definitely not the will of the newborn world. I have seen those flesh balls kill someone. That's just a normal death. It wouldn't turn the body like this. With Sun Jingjing and her teammates' explanation, and Zhuge Hongjing's previous sight of the bodies, Xin Hui had been listening with a seemingly indifferent expression. At the same time, he looked at Sun Jingjing with a strange look. Sun Jingjing knew that it was because her master, Shang Nan, was friends with the leader of the Red Smoke, and Shang Nan seemed to have mentioned Xin Hui to her, which Sun Jingjing had also learned from Shang Nan. Soon, they finally reached a conclusion. That is, I'm sorry, I misunderstood you, Shen Hui. Sun Jingjing twisted and turned, speaking like a big man imitating a girl, making Shen Hui doubt whether she was actually a man. Behind her, her teammates sighed slightly, as if they had known it would turn out this way. They also spoke up for Sun Jingjing. Um, Shen Hui. Sorry, Jingjie is just like this. Straightforward, a bit stubborn, and speaks like a man. Hearing this, Shen Hui and Zhuge Hongjing both spoke at the same time. Who's like her? The person also realized that he seemed to have said the wrong thing, smiled awkwardly, and fell silent. Shen Hui continued. Humph, an apology? If apologies worked, then why don't you apologize to those who were beaten? Sun Jingjing also knew she was in the wrong. After all, she had forced others to take the blame and even laid hands on them. Of course, whether she could win or not was another matter. If not, I'll give you the source of the newborn world that I just obtained. As compensation for you, Xin Hui glanced at Sun Jingjing and said, Are you trying to dismiss me? Do I look like someone who lacks the essence of the world? In fact, Xin Hui did lack it. But as a man, he had to toughen up. So, what do you suggest? Sun Jingjing was clearly not good at handling such conversations. Shen Hui snorted. If you ask me, after this initial world is over, give me half of the resources. Hearing Shen Hui's words, it was clearly a bold request. Zhuge Hongjing couldn't help but want to advise Shen Hui to settle for less. But at that moment, Sun Jingjing's firm voice came. Okay, no problem. It's my fault this time. I'll give you half of the profits as you said, after it's over. Hearing this, not only Sun Jingjing's teammates but also Zhuge Hongjing were surprised. Xin Hui was also taken aback. Although he had said it, it was just a casual remark. Searching for resources in the initial world was a matter of life and death, and half was not a small amount. Xin Hui never expected Sun Jingjing to agree directly, but there was no reason not to take advantage, one should take advantage when possible. Since the other party agreed, and Xin Hui was indeed the victim. Then, so be it. I'll forgive you generously and selflessly. Since it was a mutual agreement, Zhuge Hongjing and the others had nothing to say. Zhuge Hongjing then looked at Xin Hui and realized that Sun Jingjing had lost to Xin Hui. Xin Hui dares to act alone. Indeed remarkable. I wonder about your world. Before Zhuge Hongjing could finish, Xin Hui interrupted. Brother Hongjing, 
you also act alone, and it's better that way. With more people, the resources obtained will be less. Shen Hui wouldn't casually reveal information about his own world, especially in the initial world where everyone was a potential competitor. It was just that there were no resources to compete for at the moment. Ha ha, my apologies. Our Zhuge family has some knowledge of the created world, so I was curious. Zhuge Hongjing chuckled and didn't continue the inquiry. Shen Hui and Sun Jingjing glanced at Zhuge Hongjing. Their family actually had some knowledge of the created world. As far as Shen Hui knew, none of the four major families in their water area had touched on this. The Zhuge family was indeed a large family, possibly having some form of cooperation with the World Association. Sun Jingjing looked at Shen Hui, hesitated for a moment, and then asked, Compared to you, isn't Yi Long from your water area stronger? Hearing Sun Jingjing's question, Xin Hui wondered if her master, Shang Nan, hadn't told her about the theory of the spear. Since Sun Jingjing wasn't a spear, she was the strongest among their group in the gold area. You'll know when you meet Yi Long and have a showdown with him. After Xin Hui's response, he saw Sun Jingjing looking eager and spirited. If Yi Long were here, she would probably challenge him on the spot. This person must be a fighter. Xin Hui muttered to himself. Deciding to keep his distance from such a person, the three parties then began a discussion about those who had died. It was now certain that the group entering the initial world would resort to killing their own in the struggle. However, Shen Hui had another perspective. It wasn't just a simple competition for resources, as one could wait and then take the resources obtained by others. How much could one gain by acting now? Moreover, in such battles, there was a risk of getting injured or even killed. Taking such risks was not worth the gains. As for the reason, Shen Hui was not clear about it. All right, we're going our separate ways now, Zhuge Hongjing said with a light smile. As creators, we are all one of the most precious resources in humanity, so I hope you all cherish your own lives. Until we meet again, Zhuge Hongjing said, choosing a direction and leaving. Shen Hui watched his departing figure and couldn't help feeling that his way of speaking was strange, but perhaps that was just his personality. Otherwise he wouldn't have stood up for Xin Hui in the battle with Sun Jingjing. Xin Hui glanced at Sun Jingjing, had nothing more to say to her, but still decided to wish her well before leaving. In accordance with our agreement, I wish you to live until the end of the primordial world. Farewell. Xin Hui also chose a direction and left. Sun Jingjing snorted, and her teammates shook their heads when they saw her. What are you shaking your head for? If I can't beat him, can't I beat you guys either? Heading west. Shen Hui didn't know how long he had been walking this time, because in the primordial world, the concept of time didn't really exist. Along the way, Shen Hui encountered a few attacks from the will of the primordial world, and saw two different teams from different regions, but found nothing else. It seems that resources are not as abundant as I imagined. Just as Shen Hui muttered to himself, suddenly, mist began to churn in the distance ahead. A large amount of mist gathered together, forming a huge vortex. The vortex, formed by the condensation of mist, kept spinning and compressing inward. In just a few breaths, it condensed into a black spherical mass. The black mass continued to wriggle, like a soft-shelled egg with something inside about to break out. However, the eggshell did not break, instead, the edge of the black mist ball twisted and stretched, forming strange tentacles. At the same time, various sized hemispheres protruded from it. All of those hemispheres split open from the middle forming strange eyes. In the midst of this constant distortion, in the middle of what could not be called any kind of creature, a huge crack opened, directly forming a giant mouth. Inside, there were layers of mouth parts overlapping, like a blooming flower. Shen Hui frowned. What kind of creature has the primordial world conjured up this time? After all, this was completely different from the meatball encountered before. Just as Shen Hui was puzzled, a surge of primal power from the primordial world poured into the creature's body. The monster's black body began to become translucent, and a ball of light appeared within its body. This was the ball of light containing the primal power of the primordial world that Shin Hui had obtained before. However, it was now not exposed, but enveloped by the creature conjured up by the will of the primordial world. Has the will of the primordial world upgraded? Will all resources appear within the bodies of these creatures? If Shen Hui had not witnessed the birth of this creature with his own eyes, he might have been surprised to see it. But now, Shen Hui had his own speculation. The will of the primordial world was constantly being deprived of resources. In order to protect these resources, they were integrated into the bodies of these creatures. If you want to take them, 
you have to kill these creatures, which increases the level of danger. Interesting, but no matter what, there's no reason to refuse resources that appear in front of me. Xinhui looked at the fully born creature. He directly unfolded his world and went to kill the creature, extracting the primal power of the world from it. A ripple from Shin Hui's side suddenly rushed to the creature. The death world unfolded by Shin Hui directly enveloped the creature. The shadows representing heroes appeared one after another behind Shin Hui. The monster also noticed Shin Hui and looked over with all its eyes. Its huge mouth opened and emitted a hoarse roar. This was the first time Shin Hui had heard these created monsters make a sound. Would these monsters created by the will of the newborn world continue to evolve in such a short time? This thought appeared in Shin Hui's mind. However, it was just a fleeting thought. The monster waved the tentacles that covered its entire body towards Shin Hui. It was unclear whether it was crawling or wriggling over. As the tough guy, Klaxon head charged straight at it. The giant palm came down like a sledgehammer. Bang! A loud noise, and the mist rolled around. If nothing unexpected happened, the monster would be smashed to death just like the previous flesh ball. However, an unexpected event occurred. The struck monster did not die, but became like a puddle of mud including all its eyes. They were twisted like rubber mud. They directly attached to Klaxon Head's fist. The previous tentacles, like suction cups, held on tightly. Klaxon Head tried to shake them off, but couldn't, and the attached fist was swelling and distorting at this moment. Soon, tentacles broke open from it, directly drilling out of the arm, and eyes also grew on the skin near Klaxon Head. No, that severed arm no longer belonged to Klaxon Head. It was directly eroded by the vitality of the monster, growing into a part of the monster. And this strange vitality, at this moment, crazily surged upwards. It wanted to completely replace Klaxon Head with its own body. Without hesitation, Klaxon Head took out its own head with another hand and threw it with force, embedding it in Fu John's body. It split into two directly. The upper half parasitized by Klaxon Head twisted and formed Klaxon Head's new body and a complete Fu Jian was born from the lower half of Fu Jian. Klaxon Head's original body turned into ashes and disappeared. The blob-like monster fell to the ground. However, its size had increased significantly compared to before. It indicated that it had indeed assimilated Klaxon Head's body as a part of itself. This thing has improved its strength by more than just a bit. It should be the effect brought by the source of the newborn world's power. Xinhui was not at all flustered. Analyzing the opponent's changes. The blob monster charged at Shin Hui again, but Klaxon Head's horn started directly. A strange frequency of subsonic waves came out, and the blob monster exploded directly. Drop by drop, it fell to the ground and turned into mist, disappearing. However, there was still a small group enveloping the source of the world. Moreover, the opponent's actions surprised Shin Hui a bit. The opponent did not launch another attack, but fled with the source of the world's power. However, just as it ran out, the subsonic wave came again. The remaining small piece exploded again, completely turning into smoke and disappearing. The source of the world's power emitted a glow and fell to the ground. Shin Hui walked over and picked it up, obtained the source of the newborn world's power 500, obtained a trace of the essence of life's breath, this time. Shin Hui obtained something different again, and it was something Shin Hui had never seen before. A green crystal, the essence of life's breath. Life's breath, quality, special, effect, when integrated into the created world, it will bring the endless power of life, enhancing the vitality of the creatures in the created world, this thing, is it useless for myself? Shen Hui thought, trying to put this green life's breath into their own world of death. Sure enough, in the instant it was put in, the death world was met with a great rejection, the breath of death swarmed over, wanting to extinguish the breath of life, Shen Hui immediately took it out, although he couldn't use it himself. This thing was definitely not ordinary. Whether it was taken out to exchange for other things or to sell for money, it was a good choice. After finishing, Shin Hui's gaze turned to the distance. Now it's not just about finding resources, it should be about hunting resources. When Shen Hui was thinking, suddenly a huge wave of his death world came. It pointed in a direction where there was more original power of the newborn world, making the death world unable to resist wanting to devour it. Shin Hui immediately moved in a direction based on the perception of the death world. The transmitted original power of the newborn world was definitely very abundant. As Shin Hui moved, the transmitted original power of the newborn world also kept moving. It seemed that Shin Hui's previous guess was correct. These resources of the newborn world were all enveloped and constantly moving by those monsters. However, 
The distance between Xin Hui and the other party was constantly getting closer. When Xin Hui felt close enough, he found that there was finally a change in the environment in this uniformly newborn world. A grassland appeared on the ground here. These grasslands swayed constantly with the wind, giving a sense of tranquility. Of course, this was all the picture that Xin Hui imagined in a positive way. In fact, there were no green grasslands here. There was no wind either. So the things swaying on the ground like grass were actually a large number of black tentacles extending from the ground. It just looked like grass from a certain angle, and it was very peaceful, because when you saw them swaying constantly, a feeling of peace, happiness, and satisfaction arose. Is this the appearance of this newborn world? Or are all newborn worlds like this? Seeing the scene in front of him, Shin Hui couldn't help but have this question. Shin Hui really couldn't imagine what kind of world would be born if this world developed further. Would it be a distorted world full of tentacles? Shin Hui slightly opened his world and let the heroes enter the black grass area to see if there was any danger. After some testing, these tentacles were indeed not dangerous at all. They were really just like grass. Shin Hui, with caution, stepped forward. Because the place where the huge world power was coming from was right ahead. Stepping on the soft tentacles, Shin Hui quickly saw the target he was looking for. In front, there was a distorted creature about 20 meters in size. It looked like a lump of mud thrown on the ground at will. It was covered with tentacles, eyes, and mouths. Where it moved, those grass-like tentacles would grow. A ball of light about 2 meters in size was shining inside its body. Shin Hui couldn't help but swallow his saliva. Such a large lump. How much resources would that be? However, Shin Hui also felt a dangerous aura from the other party's body. This was the first time Shin Hui had such a feeling. Under the blessing of the world power, the other party was very powerful. But without any hesitation, Shin Hui directly unfolded his death world to envelop the other party. Shin Hui planned to end the battle quickly, because the aura of the world power emitted by the other party was very strong. There might not only be Shin Hui nearby, but also others. The world unfolded and enveloped the other party. Before the other party could react, the siren's head directly materialized. Two horns emitted a huge sound, and the monster's body began to crack inch by inch. Eyeballs, tentacles, and mouths fell to the ground. A huge life force spread out in the opponent's body. The previously shattered parts began to regenerate. This recovery speed is a bit abnormal. Shin Hui directly ordered all the heroes to attack. The siren played sound waves while charging in for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Sadako teleported over and used telekinesis to attack the opponent's eyes. The pig butcher used butchering techniques to strip off large chunks of black flesh. Fumi started to commit suicide. Repeatedly, a large group of Fumi charged forward. The slender ghost also teleported over, and its tentacles crazily pierced into the monster's body from behind. The monster, without pain sensation, showed no fear and directly counterattacked. A huge life force surged out again, but this time it was not injected into its own body, but into Sadako's, originally a spirit. Sadako was actually given a physical body. A tentacle struck down, directly breaking Sadako in half. However, with the accumulation of grudges and emotions, Sadako reappeared. The remaining heroes, relying on their respective undead characteristics, launched a relentless attack. However, the opponent, relying on its continuous life force, was gradually consuming the heroes on Shin Hui's side. It actually withstood the attack from Shin Hui's side. Although it would still die at this rate, Shin Hui felt it was a bit slow. Is there a faster way to kill this monster? Shin Hui pondered this question and suddenly realized something. What the opponent possessed was vitality that was opposite to the death aura contained in Shin Hui's world. Since the opponent could use vitality to consume Shin Hui's heroes, could Shin Hui not do the opposite? Could he use the death aura to directly suffocate the opponent's vitality? Thinking of this, Shin Hui acted on it. This method was both simple and difficult. The death aura was all in Shin Hui's death world, but he had to pull the opponent into his world. In the real world, besides the connection between worlds, it was basically impossible to bring anything else into the created world. However, this was another world. Shin Hui and the others could unfold their created world here. They just needed to. This time, Shin Hui focused all his mental attention on unfolding his death world. The range remained the same, but the death world would become more real. Previously, the unfolding only allowed the creatures in the created world to materialize and form combat power. But now, with Shin Hui's world unfolding, a part of the created world would completely appear in the original world. 
As Xinhui continued to concentrate, the materialized hero figures became dim. However, within this area, Xinhui's death world became more real. There was no trace of vitality in the soil, withering air, thick death aura, and various insane negative emotions. This area had completely become the appearance of the death world. At the same time, the huge monster seemed to sense something. It went crazy and tried to break out. However, after sensing the strong vitality, the thick death aura crazily surrounded it from all directions, causing the huge body to deflate like a deflated balloon. In an instant, it collapsed. After a few seconds, it completely lost its movement. A two-meter-sized world source power fell down. Shin Hui withdrew a part of the death world that had descended. Then, with a smile, he walked towards the world source power. However, at that moment, a flash of white light behind Shin Hui, and a long sword flew towards him, directly towards Shin Hui's head. A young man with starry eyebrows and sharp eyes appeared not far behind Shin Hui. Beside him stood dozens of cultivators in blue robes. Among them was a very agile little brat holding a sword sheath in his hand. The flying sword heading towards Shin Hui was obviously from the hands of this little brat. The flying sword turned into a cold light, carrying a killing intent, flying towards Shin Hui's head. But just as it was about to hit Shin Hui's head, a huge faceless man in a suit appeared out of thin air behind Shin Hui. The tentacles behind him directly grabbed the flying sword. Seeing this, the young man behind Shin Hui shook his head slightly and sighed. What a pity! What a pity! Shin Hui's eyes were filled with anger as he turned around. The previous battle with Sun Jingjing was just a sparring without threatening lives, but this time, it was a naked intent to kill Shin Hui, and it was also an ambush. If it weren't for the slender ghost shadow happening to have the ability to move unpredictably, and could freely teleport to intercept this blow for Shin Hui, Shin Hui would have met his end here today. Turning to look at the other side, seeing the group of cultivators beside the other party, the other party's world was a world of cultivation. The world of cultivation is considered one of the top and most advanced systems among all world classifications. After all, once it truly develops, any cultivator inside can move mountains and seas, and hold the sun and moon. Of course, it's unknown how long it will take to reach that stage. Shin Hui's gaze locked onto the creator of the other party. The clothes on his body had the mark of the fire zone. He was from the fire zone. What a pity. What a pity. If you had died just now, you would have felt no pain at all. The other party looked at Shin Hui with a calm and elegant demeanor, as if he didn't care about him at all. But your world is indeed a bit special. It's still a third-level world. Are you Yi Long? You look different. Forget it, I won't waste my breath on you. You're just a nameless pawn. Obediently hand over the power of the world's origin to me. I can give you a quick death. Otherwise, the taste of being tortured to death by 10,000 swords can let you experience it. The world of cultivation displayed by the other party was a third-level world. Just like Shen Hui's world of death, the other party's strength was definitely not weak. But if Shen Hui remembered correctly, the first representative sent by the fire zone before was called Ji Kailiang. Either Ji Kailiang was stronger, or he was in a situation similar to Shen Hui's. Ji Kailiang was just a pawn. This person was the strongest. Otherwise, he wouldn't be acting alone. Ridiculous. A person who only knows how to ambush, dares to speak so arrogantly? I advise you to bring Ji Kailiang from your district over. You're simply not worth my attention. Shin Hui suppressed his killing intent, preparing to trap the other party with his words first. The other party directly laughed without any hesitation. You're talking about my useless little brother? He just likes to show off. Don't compare me to him. This time it's not your fault. It's just bad luck. Who told you to discover such a large piece of the world's origin power? By the way, my name is Ji Kaishan. Remember my name after you die. Come find me for revenge. Ha ha ha. As expected, Shen Hui guessed right. This person's strength was stronger than Ji Kailiang. But the two names were similar. And they called each other brothers. But they looked different. They should be half-brothers. But this person was just too arrogant. Shen Hui sneered in his heart. Even if the other party had a background and a father from the World Association's high level, anyone who threatened his life and harbored killing intent towards him, no matter who they were, must be killed. The other party's voice came again. You can also tell me your name. After we go back, I can take care of your family for you. Shin Hui squinted at the other person, full of murderous intent. A dying person, no matter how much they know, it's useless. World, unfold, with a shout. Shin Hui's world of death rapidly expanded, 
directly engulfing the other person. The disdainful look in Ji Saishan's eyes immediately turned serious. World, unfold. With his shout, his world also expanded to envelop Xin Hui. The two expanded worlds overlapped, the withering deathly negative emotions and the solemn sword aura constantly colliding and neutralizing each other. Among the group of the other party's cultivators, the hero unit, the little kid, called out in a childish voice, Take care of yourself. Jinzi charged forward, slashing through the body with several strikes. Be careful. This should be some kind of demon, a cultivator reminded the others. However, in the next instant, Jinzi disappeared in front of them. A cultivator who felt a cold sensation on his back looked around to find where Jinzi had appeared, but seeing several nearby cultivators looking behind him, he immediately turned around to look, only to see nothing behind him. Just as he was puzzled and turned back, he saw a pair of pitch black terrifying eyes peeking out from the scattered black hair, staring at him from less than an inch away. Fear and resentment entered his mind, and the cultivator was immediately controlled by Jinzi. The cultivator let out a strange laughter and began to use his techniques recklessly, seeing that he was about to explode. Nearby cultivators, although feeling fearful, hurriedly shouted, Not good, he's been possessed by a demon. Dispel the demon. A spell energy entered the body of the cultivator controlled by Jinzi. Jinzi's control immediately lost its effect, and the cultivator returned to normal. However, his meridians were in chaos, and he was still unable to exert his combat power. The other cultivators realized that ordinary attacks could not harm Jinzi, so they immediately activated their cultivation techniques, and their spiritual energy covered their bodies as they once again slashed down with their swords. Jinzi's spiritual body directly turned into fragments and disappeared. Seeing Jinzi being killed, they immediately rushed to support the other areas. Quick, come, this pig demon is extremely fierce. Several cultivators facing the pig butcher shouted frantically. At this moment, on the ground nearby, lay a body that had been eviscerated, skinned, and had its tendons pulled out, and a giant demon pig, accompanied by a group of little demon pigs, was frenziedly devouring another cultivator. In the other divided battlefields, those cultivators were also not faring well. In Fujin's area, dozens of cultivators were gathered together. All the cultivators there were infatuated, and under Fujin's whisper, they took up weapons and charged towards the other cultivators. Su Kaishan saw the scene and frowned slightly. He spoke to the little kid who had not acted all along. Lingzi, release the heaven opening sword. The little kid in the red belly band nodded and raised the spiritual sword in his hand. The little kid infused spiritual energy into the spiritual sword, and the symbols engraved on the scabbard began to glow. The spiritual sword trembled violently. Whoosh in an instant, the spiritual sword left its sheath, turning into a radiant light suspended in midair. A strong sense of pressure emanated from the spiritual sword. At this moment, Su Kaishan revealed a knowing smile, as if he was about to win. The little brat's index finger and middle finger on her left hand were together, and the spirit sword followed her movements continuously. As she swung with force, the spirit sword flew directly towards the pig butcher. The spirit sword pierced through the pig butcher's body and then directly chopped off his head as it flew out. The spirit sword did not stop and continued to move. Passing over the area where Fu Jiang was, the spirit sword burst with sword intent, turning into a powerful gust of wind, tearing everything in Fu Jiang into pieces. Then it arrived next to the head of the siren, and the huge sound waves turned into substantial gas, enveloping the spirit sword. For a moment, the spirit sword stopped moving and began to fall towards the ground without contact with the spirit. However, it was only a matter of two or three seconds before the spirit sword reconnected with the spirit. The spirit sword burst with sword energy, colliding with the siren's skin, sparking. However, the siren's body was still directly cut open. At the same time, Ji Kaishan had secretly watched Shen Hui's battle before, witnessing the siren's injury. He relied on changing heads to exchange for a new body. So under his name, the spirit controlled the spirit sword to directly cut the siren's two big horns into pieces. The spirit sword flew towards the last slender ghost shadow. Seeing that the slender ghost shadow was about to use teleportation to create distance, the little brat's spirit voice shouted in a childish tone, thousands of swords open. As his voice fell, the spirit sword split directly into two, then into four. In an instant, thousands of spirit swords covered the surrounding space. After using this move, the spirit's face turned pale, and his spiritual power was almost exhausted. However, the effect of the move was also very strong. 
When the slender ghost shadow appeared after teleporting, it landed directly in the pile of spirit swords. The spirit swords around all slashed, tearing the slender ghost shadow into pieces. Ji Kaishan let out a loud laugh. Ha ha, is that all? It's really just a nameless pawn. In less than a minute, Shin Hui's heroes were all killed by Ji Saishan's spirit. The cultivators also exclaimed excitedly, The spirit is amazing. The spirit is a genius. Facing these demons is like taking candy from a baby. The little brat's spirit also laughed happily. However, soon, Ji Kaishan noticed that the opponent, Shin Hui, was different from what he had expected. The opponent did not show any fear, fear, tears, or even beg for mercy, but looked at them with a calm expression mixed with some mockery and playfulness. For a moment, Ji Kaishan felt that he couldn't see through the opponent, and a hint of unknown fear arose in his heart. However, he soon thought that he was in the world of cultivation, and the opponent had already been defeated by him. What was there to fear? Killing the opponent would make the opponent's world constantly decay. However, just as Ji Kaishan was thinking about this, Shin Hui's cold voice came. Have you had enough fun? The first round is over. So now it's time to start the second round. Ji Kaishan clearly paused at Shin Hui's words. The first round? The second round? What second round? Just as he had no idea what Shin Hui was talking about, a sudden change occurred in the place where the previous battle had taken place, and more resentment and death energy descended from Shin Hui's world of death. The temperature dropped again, and the piercing cold crawled up everyone's bodies like ants. The phantom of a dry well flickered and appeared on the ground, the gathering place of resentment and death energy. A disheveled woman in white clothes was born at the gathering place. It was Sadako who had been killed. Ji Kaishan saw this scene. His eyes widened. This, wasn't she already killed by the spirit sword? Then Ji Kaishan quickly thought of something. However, soon, the movement that appeared where the pig butcher had died before once again caught his attention. The huge pig head that was chopped off. The pig face fell off like a mask. Behind the pig face mask, a large mass of black substance kept condensing and expanding. Like a balloon, it instantly transformed into a human shape. With the pig face mask at the top, the black substance began to condense and take shape. A middle-aged man wearing a pig head mask crawled up from the ground. The pig face mask had a harmless smile, holding a blood-stained pig killing knife in his hand. The pig butcher was resurrected. In the torn-up area where Fu Jiang was, all the fragments were squirming and multiplying. Each fragment turned into a separate life form. Hundreds of Fu Jiangs climbed up with a haunting smile. The cackling laughter echoed around. Even the siren head. Who knew about the ability to change bodies and deliberately cut the horn into pieces? Underwent a transformation. In Shin Hui's world of death, a deformed mummy was directly materialized. The mummy's body was twisted, like cooked noodles, especially with an unusually large head. Something was constantly squirming in the mummy's belly. In the next moment, the mummy's head burst open, revealing a pair of horns. Then the mummy's body kept stretching and changing, turning into a giant with long limbs. 10 meters tall, mocking laughter played from the horns. A new siren head appeared. The body of the previous siren head dissipated into ashes at that moment. As for this mummy, it was a challenge to the ownerless technological world by Shin Hui. At that time, the siren head was chasing the reconnaissance team, including those who fell behind. They were all taken away by the siren head and used for multiplying and hosting backups. This was the true parasitic ability of the siren head. Although there was only one siren head, there could be many multiplying host backups. Seeing this, Ji Tsaishan's heart sank, his face extremely ugly. He understood and confirmed what Shin Hui meant by first round. Second round, the enemy's heroes were not killed by him, but had a strange resurrection ability. The last slender ghost shadow also reappeared as expected. However, the slender ghost shadow appeared even more dim, with a semi-transparent feeling. It was like a projection from a projector. This was because the resurrection of the slender ghost shadow was special. It should not be called a resurrection. It was a projection from the four-dimensional world. And now it was just starting to project back into their world. And it would take some time for the true reprojection to come. But for Ji Kaishan, all the heroes that Shin Hui had just killed had been resurrected. And on his side, not only had most of the cultivators died, even the most powerful spirit particles were about to be depleted. They were simply unable to withstand the second round of attack. A deep sense of despair and powerlessness surged into Jeet Saishan's mind under the amplification of negative emotions. His face was pale. His previous proud look was gone. 
Like a bereaved dog, Ji Kaishan covered his chest with a pale face, feeling unable to breathe. He kept muttering, No, it's impossible. How could he not be defeated by me? What are those creatures? What kind of world is that? I cannot be defeated. Ji Kaishan, with a strong background, grew up in an environment where he was highly regarded from a young age. He awakened in a very powerful cultivation world, coupled with his own strong talent and powerful resource support. In a short period of time, Ji Kaishan made great progress in the world of creation. He became the strongest in their region this year. Even compared to the strongest in other regions, Ji Kaishan felt that he was not weaker than them. Relying on such a background and strong abilities, Ji Kaishan has developed an arrogant and overbearing personality. Without any surprises, he will rise to the top and become a top powerhouse. As for the others, they will only be his foil. But, unexpectedly, today, he feels despair and failure here. Shin Hui waved his hand, and all the resurrected heroes rushed forward. The dense fog rolled around them, concealing their figures, leaving only a vague outline. The withering aura of death and various negative emotions turned into substantial waves of air, overwhelming the cultivators. Their previous negative emotions were only suppressed. But now, facing this scene, all the negative emotions burst out uncontrollably. They screamed frantically, their eyes filled with fear or numbness, their minds began to go awry, and even their senses were distorted in this collapse. And that little brat Lingzi sat on the ground and cried loudly. After all, he was just a child, a child with special talents. Jeet Saishan's eyes turned red, clenching his fists as he watched the scene. If he were to retract the created world now, he would expose himself. If he didn't, he could only watch as the lives in the created world were slaughtered. Regardless of the process, the result would be his demise here. Ji Kaishan, gritting his teeth, no longer cared about his pride and dignity, and shouted frantically at Shin Hui. Stop, I surrender. Since you know I am Ji Tsailian's brother, you should know who my father is. Stop now, and I will pretend this never happened. Otherwise, I'll make sure you meet an accident when we get out. With the fall of his words, all attacks ceased. Seeing this, Ji Kaishan finally felt a slight relief. He thought to himself, thank goodness I have an awesome dad. Otherwise, I would have really failed this time. I must find a way to avenge today's humiliation in the future. However, at this moment, a mocking laughter rang out. Ha ha, is this your way of begging for mercy? It's too insincere. How about this? Kneel down and kowtow to me three times. Call me grandpa, and I will generously spare you. Shin Hui looked at the other party with a playful smile. Now, the other party was like a lamb to be slaughtered. Hearing Shin Hui's words, Ji Kaishan trembled all over. He thought Shin Hui would spare him, but he never expected such an insulting demand. No, not only did it insult him, but it also insulted his father. Ji Kaishan trembled all over, not knowing if it was from anger or fear. Do you, do you know the consequences of insulting me and my father like this? Shin Hui scratched his ear. I don't know about any consequences, but I do know that if you don't do as I say, that will be your consequence. With Shen Hui's words, a cultivator who was cowering on the ground was directly smashed into a pulp with a punch. Ji Kaishan gritted his teeth, his eyes turning red, trembling all over. He had never been so insulted from childhood to adulthood. After taking a few deep breaths, he said with a trembling voice, Okay, okay, I'll do it. Although he agreed verbally, Ji Kaishan began to swear in his heart. After this, he would definitely flay and cripple the other party, making them wish they were dead. Shin Hui naturally saw the hatred in the other's eyes, but he only wore a cold, playful smile on his face. Thud thud Ji Kaishan knelt down, closed his eyes in the direction of Shin Hui, and buried his upper body in the ground. What kind of kowtow is that without a sound? Listening to Shin Hui's voice, Ji Kaishan fiercely banged his head on the ground. Bang 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 three crisp sounds. Ji Kaishan raised his head and stood up, looking at Shin Hui with a numb and angry look in his eyes. Finally, he mustered up the courage to shout two words that made him feel extremely ashamed. Grandfather, grandfather. Upon hearing these words, Shin Hui burst into laughter. Ha ha ha, interesting. Ji Kaishan felt like his lungs were about to explode as he clenched his fists, nails digging into his flesh. Just as he was about to leave, Shin Hui immediately stopped laughing his face turning cold as he sternly shouted, since I am your grandfather, daring to lay a hand on me is simply unfilial and disrespectful, today, I will personally eradicate your existence for your father, 
Ji Saishan's mind was struck by Shen Hui's words like a bolt of lightning. Having suffered such humiliation, the other party actually had no intention of honoring the agreement. No, your words mean nothing. As long as I die here, you will also die after you leave. Seeing the heroes belonging to Shen Hui once again preparing to attack, Ji Kaishan began to scream frantically. My father is a high-ranking member of the World Association. You can't do this. Ha ha. So what if he is your father? What's there to boast about? Even if your father is the king of heaven, today you will die here. Shen Hui rebuked sharply, filled with killing intent. Shen Hui would never let go of someone who had murderous intent towards him, let alone someone who had attempted to assassinate him. No, no, you. Before Ji Kaishan could finish his words, Jinzi teleported in front of him, directly controlling his body with her mind. In the despairing look in Ji Saishan's eyes, he hugged his own head. Crack! With a crisp sound of bones breaking, Ji Saishan's head was twisted off by himself. With wide eyes, he fell to the ground. At the same time, after his death, a huge white light ball emerged from his body. This was the power of the world's origin obtained in the world of birth. It could not be used before leaving the world of birth, and after the death of the recipient, it would return to the world of birth. The mist around surged towards the light ball. This was the will of the world of birth, intending to envelop the world's origin that had been condensed. Shinhui quickly approached and touched the light ball before the monster had fully condensed. He absorbed it into his body, obtained 1,100 units of world origin power, obtained essence of life breath asterisk 2. A strand of wool from the world of birth has been deprived by you. After absorbing the resources that fell from Jit Saishan's body, Shinhui couldn't help but click his tongue. He actually possessed 1,100 units of world origin power, more than what I have. It seems that someone has already fallen into his hands. Shinhui didn't believe that all these resources were found by Ji Kaishan alone. Among the things he obtained, Shinhui's gaze locked onto the last prompt. A strand of will from the world of birth has been deprived by me? What does this mean? Shinhui had never heard of such a situation. However, at this moment, Shinhui suddenly noticed something unusual around him. He was on the tentacle grassland. Now, the tentacles that had been swaying around him were withering and dying. They turned into black skin, not dissipating into mist, but completely dead. And this kind of anomaly, after carefully observing, within the range of his death world, all the tentacles were withering and dying. Shenhui was greatly surprised. What was going on? Since this was related to his own world, Shenhui carefully sensed it. Suddenly, he discovered that his death world had established a strange connection with this world of birth. This kind of connection, Shenhui can be sure, can make his death world easier, more complete to unfold, and bring about the arrival of the newborn world, including everyone, including Shenhui. It is impossible for them to truly unfold their created world in the newborn world. After all, they are in the midst of the newborn world. They can only slightly unfold the created world and materialize what is created inside. Or, like before with Shin Hui, weaken the materialized heroes to more fully unfold the world. All of these have great drawbacks, and for any creature created in a created world, that world is their home field. Shin Hui's death world is the home field of Sadako and the others, and their strength will be even stronger in the death world. This means that Shin Hui's unfolding death world will be more complete and more real, and Sadako and the other's strength will also be stronger. Shin Hui smiled inwardly. This is a good thing, making his world even stronger. I just don't know if the others are in the same situation as me. Shin Hui muttered, retracting his thoughts. He focused on the body of Ji Kaishan in front of him. The background of the other party's identity is indeed not something Shin Hui can currently confront, but no one knows that he killed Ji Kaishan. Of course, the body cannot be left here and must be disposed of. Shen Hui thought for a moment and directly had the pig butcher eat Ji Saishan's body. The pig butcher chuckled and, wielding a butcher knife, opened his mouth wide, revealing sharp yellow teeth and pounced. Being eaten by the pig butcher would directly become the nutrients needed by the pig butcher, not even leaving behind excrement. Now it's impossible to find Ji Saishan's body. Shen Hui clapped his hands in satisfaction and started on the road again. After a long search, Shen Hui, feeling a bit tired, found a place to sit and rest. Although there is no concept of time here, the surroundings are always the same. But based on his fatigue, at least a day has passed. And during this time, Shen Hui found three resources. This allowed him to obtain a world's original power of 2700. This is the first time Shen Hui has obtained so much. 
and if he could use it now, his world would definitely receive a great boost. But for now, he can only wait for the exploration of the newborn world to end and return before using it. By then, if Sun Jingjing didn't have any accidents, plus her half, it would be a considerable resource. Xin Hui thought gleefully, but his thoughts quickly turned to analyzing another matter. During this time, Xin Hui also found human corpses that had died and turned into a pile of flesh. Other people's life and death naturally have nothing to do with Xin Hui, but he found something wrong with this, because Xin Hui has also encountered other teams, including their water area team. When Xin Hui chatted with them and asked for some information, he received a message. They had also seen such corpses, and not just the corpses, they also saw the suspected perpetrators. At that time, they were also wandering around and felt the spatial fluctuations of a created world ahead, so they ran over to take a look. Just as they arrived, they saw three teenagers there, with several bodies turned into flesh lying around. On those bodies, the resources they had obtained before their deaths had dropped. They initially thought it was a struggle for resources, or someone was killing to plunder others' resources. But when those three teenagers saw them coming, they seemed to want to rush towards them. However, another team appeared at that time, and in the end, the group of people all ran away, and the resources that had dropped were not picked up at all. In the end, these resources naturally became cheap for them and were divided equally between the two teams, so this also impressed them. After all, in this life and death struggle, what are they fighting for if not for resources? When Xinhui asked them which region those few teenagers were from, they didn't see clearly and didn't know which region they were from. Recalling the information they had told Xinhui before, Xinhui frowned slightly. In the world of birth, there is a group that kills not for resources, but specifically for the sake of killing? What do these people want? No student should have such a perverted mindset, right? Even if the tactics used against themselves were good, it was still to compete for resources that they were targeted. Wait, Xinhui suddenly realized that he had preconceived a concept. That is, everyone who entered here was a student. But there is a possibility that not only students entered here, or, on the surface, they are students. But in reality, they have another identity? Thinking of this, Xin Hui thought of the previous turmoil and the black-clothed people. Could it be people from that organization? Thinking of this, Xin Hui suddenly felt enlightened. Because there is such an organization, they would enter here without needing any resources, just wanting pure slaughter. After all, the people here are the elites of their human future. Shin Hui's eyes carried a hint of coldness, and it seemed that the danger here was even greater than they had imagined. The world of birth has not ended, and he cannot contact the outside world. But as long as those people provoke him, Shin Hui will not easily let them go. During his rest, Shen Hui felt quite hungry. After all, he hadn't eaten anything for more than a day. Although he didn't have any food on him, Shin Hui had his ways. He released all the heroes to be on guard. While Shen Hui, in the form of an incarnation, entered the new land in his world of death. Shen Hui had used this trick before, when he created the tall and thin and the ghostly shadows as the new land in the world of death. At that time, the people inside didn't know the names of the tall and thin and the ghostly shadows, but someone spread the name of that creature, calling it the tall and thin ghostly shadow. The one who didn't know was Shen Hui, who spread it in the world of death. Then, using his identity as the creator, he blurred the memories of those people. Although they had not seen Shen Hui, they would subconsciously feel that there was such a person, so they wouldn't be suspicious, and Shen Hui used this identity to sneak a meal in the new land. The staple food eaten by the people in the new land is a strange plant. Similar to potatoes, it grows underground, and the fruit it bears is as big as a watermelon, with a gray skin. After cutting it open, it looks like sesame paste when cooked. Shen Hui speculated that these people brought the plants from their original technological world. After sneaking a meal, Shen Hui didn't stay long and left the world of death directly. However, just as Shen Hui had just left, sudden anomalies arose all around. The mist around Shen Hui began to roll suddenly. It wasn't gathering to form monsters to attack them, but it was drifting around as if a strong wind was blowing. At the same time, the earth began to tremble. What's going on? Shen Hui looked around vigilantly, afraid of any danger appearing, but no danger was found and Shin Hui was soon attracted by the anomalies in the distance, on the distant horizon, or rather, there was no concept of space, because of the mist covering it, Shin Hui could still see that in the farthest distance, a white pillar of light shot up into the sky, the white pillar of light carried a tremendous sense of oppression, 
In a trance, Xinhui felt as if he were right next to that pillar of light. The world was filled with densely packed world wool inscriptions, and the space was thus distorted. In this distorted space, there are constantly growing black tentacles, or forming eyeballs, sharp teeth, and big mouths. Xinhui even stopped breathing. Xinhui then came to his senses, squinted his eyes, and then widened them suddenly. This aura is the original power of the newborn world, unexpectedly so strong. Looking at the light column, feeling the constantly restless world of death, Xinhui can be sure that the light column is condensed from the original power of the newborn world. But the intensity of this kind, Xinhui hesitated without doubt. It is as if the newborn world has concentrated all the remaining world's original power together. Otherwise, it would not be possible to have such a huge movement. Could it be that the consciousness of the newborn world has realized the irreversible deprivation? In order to resist? Just as Xinhui was pondering carefully, the light column split directly, forming ten smaller light columns, and these ten light columns began to move in different directions. Obviously, a powerful monster was born there to guard the original power of the newborn world. From randomly searching for resources, to resources being guarded by monsters turning into hunting. And now, their positions seem to have been reversed, gathering all the original power of the world, actively attracting everyone. It seems simpler, and there is no need to search everywhere. And if obtained, the resources will naturally be extremely rich, but this is also more dangerous. The monsters formed there will definitely be even more powerful. Everyone will also rush to it, competing with each other. Among them, there is also a black-clothed organization that seems to specialize in hunting human lives. It seems that this is more like a trap, but it is a conspiracy within the trap. Even if you know the danger, you still have to go and compete. Interesting, I don't know if this is specially planned by the newborn world, or just a lucky coincidence, but it should be the second possibility. After all, it is just a newly born world. Xinhui stood up from the ground, regardless of which kind it is, he has to go there himself. The light column has already dissipated. All the visions have completely disappeared, and the newborn world has returned to calm again. However, in the air, there is a strong aura of the original power of the world, which agitates the created world, proving that everything just now was real. Xinhui closed his eyes and carefully felt it, then opened his eyes in a certain direction. The aura of the original power of the world emanating from there was closest to him. Xinhui immediately set off. As he continued on the way, Xinhui did not feel any other aura of the original power of the world emanating. This also confirmed Xinhui's guess just now. Before long, Xinhui saw the others on the road. This is also a team, also rushing towards the location of the original power of the world. However, Xinhui and the others just glanced at each other, didn't say much, and distanced themselves to continue forward. As they continued forward, Xinhui encountered more people. The strong aura of the original power of the world became even more intense. Long tentacles grew on the ground all around, and the tips of these tentacles were either with an eyeball or a mouth. It looks just like flower buds or blooming flowers. However, these tentacles have no attack power at all, and they really look like plants in this world. But where Xinhui passed, those tentacles began to wither and die. However, everyone was focused on rushing, plus the concealment of the mist, and no one noticed this place. When approaching again, Xinhui felt a strong fluctuation of the created world ahead. Obviously, someone had already arrived there in advance. The tentacles growing on the ground all around were also very tall and forked, just like trees. Soon, Xinhui saw in the mist not far away, a huge black pillar tens of meters thick and nearly a hundred meters high. As he continued to approach, his vision became clearer. Xinhui's pupils shrank, and he finally saw what it was. The huge black pillar was a monster created by the will of the nascent world. The monster's entire body was covered with floating tentacles that danced like hair. From the top to the bottom of the pillar, there was also a huge black crack. At that moment, the crack began to slowly expand, revealing a huge eye with a cold tone and a strange purple-red light. Where the giant eye gazed, several humans were unfolding their own created worlds, summoning a large group of various creatures to launch attacks. The first to arrive began to unfold their own worlds. Various systems of worlds overlapped. Creatures from different systems appeared one after another. Orcs, monsters, spirits, mechs. They all began to launch attacks. Chaotic energy and various attack methods intertwining. The attacked pillar emitted a huge smoke. As the saying goes, where there's smoke, there's no harm. When the smoke dispersed, 
there were no particularly obvious wounds on the pillar's body, or rather, if there were wounds, they had basically all healed under the high-speed self-healing power, because Shin Hui saw that on the giant pillar, there were densely packed, hair-raising black fleshy buds constantly wriggling, it had to be said that the strength of this monster was more than a little stronger than before, the monster pillar that was attacked stared at them with its huge and strangely colored eyes, an inexplicable fluctuation emanated from the eyes gaze, even Shin Hui, who had not yet passed, felt it, ripples began to appear in the space around the monster pillar, a rich, intense, and strangely vital force filled the area, large black tentacles emerged from the ground, like wildly growing plants, constantly thickening and lengthening, eyes and mouths grew on them, soon, they turned into a tall grass of tentacles, extremely frightening, not only that, the space within this range began to distort, mouths, like flowers, bloomed in mid-air, or a mass of tentacles emerged from mid-air and hung down to the ground, it looked like a dream, surreal, it was too dreamlike and bizarre, the people within that range, faced with the sudden scene, were completely bewildered, when they reacted, the creatures summoned by their created worlds also began to undergo mutations, the bodies of those creatures suddenly began to swell with lumps, large and small, at the same time, they continued to wriggle, as if something was moving beneath their skin, the next moment, those lumps began to burst, and black tentacles with blood emerged from them, eyes, mouths, nostrils, and even the anus, wherever there was a hole, black tentacles emerged, wrapped in a powerful vitality, these tentacles grew wildly, directly filling the bodies and leaving them riddled with holes, this was the first time Shin Hui had seen such a bizarre scene outside of his own world, the people inside were even more dumbfounded, they had never seen such a scene before, in an instant, almost half of the creatures summoned from their created worlds were submerged and killed by the tentacles, quick, 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 get out of here, someone shouted, taking advantage of the protection of their own world and quickly running outside, otherwise, they wouldn't be able to escape later, however, even so, there were still a few people who ran slowly, all the creatures from their created worlds died, in the next moment, their bodies were also pierced by the wriggling tentacles, leaving them riddled with holes, they died there, Shin Hui and the others who arrived later also reached the area outside the distorted space created by the giant pillar monster, those who ran out of the distorted space were all sitting on the ground, gasping for breath, their faces were pale with fear, and if they had been any slower, they would have died there too, the rest of the people who arrived were all looking at each other, the strength displayed by the giant pillar monster had exceeded their expectations, or rather, the distorted space created by the giant pillar monster left them unsure of how to respond, Shin Hui, with a calm expression, half squinted at the motionless giant pillar creature, it seemed as if his own world of death was just not afraid, at the same time, Shin Hui also felt several pairs of eyes watching him, looking around, Shin Hui saw a plain looking young man from the earth district team staring at him, the other gazes disappeared, the faces of the other team members were not calm, but this young man was very composed, seeming somewhat out of place among the crowd, when the young man saw Shin Hui looking at him, he averted his gaze, Shen Hui didn't think much of it, but he kept an eye on him, at this moment, it became very quiet, with only heavy breathing and the wriggling of tentacles breaking the silence, Although more than 10 teams from different districts had gathered here, there was no fighting, they were all thinking of ways to deal with the giant pillar monster, otherwise, any fighting would be in vain if the resources could not be accurately obtained, however, soon, those who had survived the disaster and were sitting on the ground suddenly began to panic and shout, world, world, my created world, damn it, how is this possible with these tentacles, their faces turned pale, and they stood up in a panic, shouting in confusion, Shin Hui and the others looked bewildered, hadn't they all escaped already, why were they suddenly so agitated, just as Shin Hui and the others were puzzled, those people, after escaping, began to recall the creatures from their created worlds, when these creatures reappeared, Shin Hui and the others were shocked, because those creatures were covered with tentacles, and they were constantly proliferating and spreading outward, everyone kept their distance from them, and their faces didn't look good, escaping didn't mean they were safe, it seemed that the creatures that had been in the distorted space before all had tentacles inside them, which had not yet erupted, after being recalled to their created worlds, if they erupted again, not only would the created units be beyond saving, but they might also cause some damage to the created worlds, 
The vitality released by the giant pillar monster was too corrosive. Just a moment ago, some people were thinking if they could briefly enter and see the situation inside. Now it seemed that it was not advisable to try. Without finding a way to defend against it, no one dared to enter rashly. However, seeing the abundant resources right in front of them but unable to obtain them, and knowing that more people would come later, everyone was anxious. Soon, some people couldn't bear it. In the area where most of them were standing, they began to unleash attacks from their own created worlds, allowing their creatures to approach the edge of the distorted space and launch attacks inside. The tentacles turned into smoke and dissipated after being attacked, then grew back to fill the void. The attack on the distant giant pillar monster was even weaker. Some people also sent robots from the technological world inside. These robots do not have tentacles growing from their bodies. However, not long after advancing, they were firmly wrapped up by those tentacles and unable to move. Seeing that the others were unable to do anything, they didn't even dare to step into that area. Shin Hui revealed a knowing smile. Not fearing these tentacles in his world of death, he could even say he was able to restrain them. Previously, he had thought that competing for resources would lead to huge competition with the others. But now, what others couldn't do, he could. So, wouldn't these huge resources be given to him? Shin Hui walked directly towards the distorted space. However, just as Shin Hui moved forward, the young man who had been watching him also moved forward at the same time. Among all the people who were far from the distorted space, Shin Hui and the young man who suddenly moved towards the distorted space immediately attracted the attention of everyone around them. They all turned their gazes towards them. Shin Hui and the young man looked at each other again and stopped. At this moment, the other two teammates of the young man also stepped forward and stood behind him. Looking at Shin Hui with suspicion and asking cautiously, What do you want to do? Shin Hui glanced at them, feeling a bit amused, and directly countered with the same question, What do you want to do? The two of them were suddenly at a loss for words, realizing that the question they had asked was too strange. At this point, the young man waved his hand, indicating for the two of them to step back. Then he turned his gaze to Shin Hui and asked with a hint of curiosity and thoughtfulness, Brother, I'm sorry, my people were a bit abrupt. I saw you facing the monsters here very calmly just now. Do you have a way to deal with these monsters? Shin Hui once again countered with the same question. I saw you were the same just now. Don't you also have a way to deal with these monsters? Upon hearing Shin Hui and the young man's conversation, everyone around them immediately perked up. They all pricked up their ears, ready to listen carefully to see if they really had a way to deal with the situation. In response to Shin Hui's counter question, the young man nodded earnestly. Without any hesitation, he answered Shin Hui's question. Yes, but it's not really a method. I just want to launch an attack with my created world and see how it goes. This time, Shin Hui was slightly surprised by the other's decisive response. And the other's words were very sincere. Not like a lie. This could only mean that the other's strength was not weak, but rather very strong. This also explained why the other had been as calm as Shin Hui earlier. And when the other had been watching him before. Shin Hui had thought he was a member of the suspected organization of black-clothed people with the intention of killing. Now it seemed very likely that he was not. However, at that time, there were still several other sources of gazes that Shin Hui had not discovered. Shin Hui remained very vigilant of his surroundings. After the young man answered Shin Hui's question, he continued to look at Shin Hui, seemingly waiting for Shin Hui to answer his question. And Shin Hui had no intention of concealing anything. After all, everyone would see it later. So Shin Hui answered the other's question with the same response. Yes, but it's not really a method. I just want to launch an attack with my created world and see how it goes. Hearing Shin Hui's response, the young man seemed thoughtful and did not feel there was a problem. It was the people around them who were all murmuring in disappointment. What's with this guy? The questions he asks are the other's questions. And the answers are also the other's answers. I got excited for nothing. I thought they really had a way but it turns out they're just using their own world to confront each other. Who are these two? Are they not the representatives of each major area before? Do they have that kind of strength? Isn't this seeking death? Why do you care about others? Let them go in and explore. Isn't this excellent material? I'm afraid they might actually succeed in taking the resources away. You're overthinking it. If we can't do it, how can they? The people around them lowered their voices and spoke in twos and threes. Shin Hui ignored these people and looked at the young man with a smile, saying, Since you want to give it a try, then go ahead. Shin Hui was ready to see if the other party could really do it. If not, then he would step in. 
If they could, then he would start looting. That's the correct approach. The other two people in the opposing team seemed to have also realized this. They were afraid that Xin Hui wasn't lying and actually had enough strength. If they went first, wouldn't it be very dangerous? Since you said you also want to give it a try, then you go first. Otherwise, I'm afraid our leader will have the resources taken away, and you won't even have a chance to try. However, the young man waved his hand at the two and said, It's okay. Then he looked at Xin Hui and smiled, although he looked ordinary and honest. But he wasn't foolish and naturally knew the ins and outs of the situation. He didn't beat around the bush and directly said, I'll go first as this brother said. Whether I can succeed is another matter. Of course, if I can obtain it, it's my ability. If this brother can take the resources from me, it means his strength surpasses mine. Naturally, that's his ability, and I have no complaints. But, if my strength is not enough, then I can only offend. Xin Hui looked at the other person and it seemed that he wasn't as simple as he appeared, and he was very confident in his own strength. These words were very clear, so he carefully assessed his own strength. Otherwise, the consequences would be severe. If it were someone else, they might have been intimidated by such words. However, Xin Hui just smiled. The young man began to walk towards the distorted space, and as he walked, he unfolded his world of creation that he had not yet revealed. The aura of a third-level world suddenly overflowed. Everyone looked at the young man with a higher regard, as a third-level world represented considerable strength. However, all the people were even more surprised afterward, because as the world unfolded, ripples appeared in the surrounding space, and the sound of rustling came from all directions. In theory, it was unknown how many unfolded worlds overlapped here. The anomalies caused by the unfolding worlds were almost completely suppressed and did not show up at all. But the other party was not affected in the slightest. This indicated that the other party's strength was extraordinary. The two teammates of the young man wore proud expressions, as if to say, look at how awesome our leader is. The young man, however, paid no attention to the others and focused all his attention on the giant pillar creature. When he reached the edge of the distorted space, he stopped. The rustling sound around them became even more intense. A large group of dark, cloud-like entities emerged from his unfolded world, appearing like a swarm of insects. What is that? It doesn't look like ordinary life. Everyone was initially very puzzled, but then someone saw clearly and immediately exclaimed, Those are all insects. The other party is from the insect race world system. The people around them suddenly burst into exclamations. No wonder these young men were so confident. Shen Hui also raised an eyebrow, feeling a bit surprised, because the world of the insect race system was considered the simplest and yet most difficult world to cultivate. Simple in the sense that the insect race system world did not require deliberate development of a worldview. It also did not require the development of technology or the cultivation of a practice system like other worlds. It only required constantly feeding the insects, and they could reproduce indefinitely. They could also create different insects through reproduction to adapt to different environments or enemies. The difficulty lay in this aspect. Cultivating the insect system world requires resources far beyond the rest of the world several times or even tens of times more is normal. Of course, the cultivation is also extremely powerful. Just the sheer quantity alone can crush most other worlds of the same level. Having such world power, it's no wonder they are so confident. At this moment, the young man turned back to look at Xin Hui, as if he wanted to see a shocked expression on Xin Hui's face. However, he still saw a calm face. Everyone looked at the young man with different thoughts and complex eyes. The appearance of the insect system world has brought them too much shock. With such power, it's possible that the other party can really take down this giant pillar monster alone, enjoying such vast resources. However, they can only watch. After all, they do not have the strength to compete. But in the hearts of many, the thought arises that if the other party really takes it, they might as well directly snatch it when the time comes. Even if the other party is stronger, they have more people and they don't believe they can't take advantage of the situation. Maybe the lucky one will be themselves. The young man withdrew his gaze from Shen Hui and waved his hand, gathering around him like a dark cloud. The densely packed flying insects all flew towards the distorted space. After flying in, these flying insects did not rush towards the giant pillar monster. Instead, they began to gnaw at the surrounding tentacles one after another. Like locusts passing through, the tentacles began to decrease rapidly. However, among these flying insects, many also began to burst and die. Obviously, 
They couldn't bear such strong vitality, giving birth to small tentacles. However, the flying insects that swallowed enough tentacles began to undergo mutation and division, splitting into completely new flying insects. They looked like octopuses without heads. These mutated flying insects were no longer affected by the rich and distorted vitality inside. They began to fly towards the giant pillar monster and launch an attack. This scene made everyone sigh. These insects are indeed abnormal. They directly split and give birth to insects that can adapt to this distorted space environment. Yes, this evolutionary speed, this adaptability, is top-notch among all worlds. But these are not just insects that died. These are resources. It's heartbreaking to watch. This person definitely has a big background. Otherwise it would be impossible to create such a world of insects. The flying insects released by the young man soon died almost completely. However, many mutated flying insects that could adapt to the distorted space environment were also split. The quantity was probably about one-tenth of the original. The originally densely packed area became less dense. But these flying insects were not afraid of the twisted vitality inside. They swarmed towards the giant pillar monster and began to attack. The survival of the fittest. Shin Hui muttered, then shook his head. It's a pity. There are too few of them. They can't make a difference at all. Shin Hui said this for a reason. Because Shin Hui noticed that the young man's brow furrowed. Obviously, he himself didn't have much confidence. The headless octopus like flying insects, flapping their wing like tentacles, buzzed towards the giant pillar. Like a tide, they surrounded it from all sides. At the same time, they revealed a mouth with sharp teeth at the base and began to gnaw at the giant pillar monster. The ability of the giant pillar monster seems to be only to create such a distorted and rich space of vitality. But this does not mean that the giant pillar monster has no other means of attack. All over its body, the tentacles danced like seaweed swaying with the tide, quickly striking those flying insects. After being struck, they burst open directly into a puddle of black water. And where they were gnawed, a large amount of vitality also surged in, repairing the injury. The damage caused by this is far less than the speed at which the giant pillar monster recovers. And the number of these flying insects is also decreasing significantly, which is obviously not enough. The young man's face fell, and he waved his hand and said softly, Come back. Those flying insects that had not died flapped their wings and flew away from the distorted space. When these flying insects returned, the number was less than 1% of the number summoned at the beginning. The young man then withdrew these flying insects into his own created world. At the same time, he also declared his failure. The people around him sighed. This is indeed a method, but it's only a method for himself. It's a pity. If there were more mutated flying insects, maybe it could have succeeded. This damn monster, why is it so difficult? If the young man is so powerful and can't handle it, how can we? Let's think of other ways. There are so many of us, we can't give up. Everyone shook their heads and began to think of other ways. They all ignored Shin Hui who had previously mentioned another method. After all, this young man was so powerful that he should be considered top tier among them. It's just that it's unclear why he wasn't considered the representative of their earth district before, or why the Tuxing's Tuxing Xingqin was stronger. In any case, such a powerful person probably did not exceed 10. If this young man couldn't do it, what about the rest of them? It seemed even more impossible. After the young man withdrew his world, it seemed that he was lost in thought and forgot about Shin Hui. But at this moment, Shin Hui took two steps forward and softly said to the young man blocking the way ahead, Excuse me. With Shin Hui's movement and words, everyone regained their focus and turned their attention to Shin Hui. For a moment, the air was momentarily quiet. Then someone spoke up with a question. What? What does he want to do? Does he want to challenge that monster? I don't know. Didn't he say he wanted to try before? It should be a trial. Is there a possibility that he is very strong, or has some other method? This, is uncertain, we'll know when we see it. The young man listened to Shin Hui's voice, turned around and looked back, with a hint of surprise on his face. He had displayed such strong power, and the other party still dared to go. Combined with the other party's calm expression earlier, the young man couldn't help but think, could the other party's strength be even stronger than his own? But is this, possible? He, Ba Fan was the strongest person in their earth district this year. Ba Fan believed that compared to the strongest person in the other major districts, his insect world, because of its uniqueness, could at least fight evenly. It should be impossible for someone to be stronger than him. However, Ba Fan still stepped aside, ready to see what the other party was up to. 
Xinhui walked directly to the boundary of the distorted space and stopped. Just when everyone thought Xinhui was going to open his created world and let the creatures enter the distorted space for exploration, Xinhui lifted his foot and stepped into the distorted space, apparently preparing to enter it. Now everyone was dumbfounded, completely puzzled. They had all seen the horror of the distorted space before. Entering it without the protection of a created world was suicidal. And opening a created world to enter it would cause the creatures in the created world to die, and even affect their created world. There were precedents for this. In any case, it was unwise for the creator to enter the distorted space personally, a very dangerous act. Otherwise, their previous explorations and Ba Fan's explorations would not have been conducted from outside the distorted space. The other party actually wants to enter the distorted space in person. Isn't that seeking death? What is he doing? However, at this moment, a calm voice accompanied by the footsteps of Shinhui falling to the ground appeared. The world unfolds. A ripple in space suppressed all the overlapping created worlds, enveloping everyone. In an instant, everyone unconsciously shivered. A feeling of cold, oppression, decay, and abnormality involuntarily surged into their hearts. After Shinhui uttered the words the world unfolds, everyone subtly felt that there seemed to be some strange and subtle changes around them and this change also affected them. However, they couldn't say exactly what it was, but they were soon deeply shocked by the changing scenery around them. In the hazy fog, there was an additional kind of black-gray mist, making the surrounding vision unclear, and for a moment, they couldn't distinguish the directions. At the same time, they also saw in the dense fog not far away, a vague shadow representing a forest. In another place, there was even a building shadow resembling a factory. But whenever they tried to look closely, they found nothing. Taking a deep breath, the choking smell of decay and corruption immediately rushed into their nostrils, making them unable to help but feel nauseous. Even their perception of the created world they unfolded became weak. Everything here, even the air, became unfamiliar. It seemed that this was no longer the primordial world, they seemed to have entered another world. A fear of the unknown, a primal instinct to avoid it, an unnamed atmosphere that made them shudder. Slowly, it crept into their minds. However, this feeling only lasted for the second when Shen Hui unfolded the world. But for the others, it was undoubtedly a long second. When they came to their senses, their whole bodies were already soaked in cold sweat, and the smell of decay and the weakening of their perception of their created world were still present. It proved that everything just now was not an illusion. What? What's going on? That feeling just now. It's, it's terrifying. Is this the anomaly caused by the other party's world unfolding? It directly suppressed all of our created worlds. It's even more powerful than the insect world that was unfolded just now. What kind of world is the other party from? How have we never seen it before? Everyone's faces were filled with shock and fear. Even by fan was the same. With an incredulous expression, the anomaly caused by the world unfolding directly suppressed him completely. That feeling, rather than unfolding their own created world, seemed more like the area they were standing in had become the other party's created world. Everyone suddenly remembered something, even if the anomaly caused by the other party's world unfolding was so powerful, he had entered the distorted space. Then what about him? Everyone suddenly turned their attention to the distorted space. As they looked, their eyes widened like bells. It was completely different from what they had expected, Shin Hui unfolding his own created world and releasing the creatures inside to launch an attack. Instead, Shen Hui was still alone. Although he had unfolded the world, he had not materialized any creatures, but just this one person, without any created creatures to protect him, as a powerless creator, stood unharmed in the distorted space. How is this possible? How is he unharmed? How can he not be affected by the distorted space? This is not scientific. No, look, look around his feet. This time, everyone noticed, as Shen Hui took a step forward. The tendrils sprouting around him wilted instantly, transforming from plump, round shapes to shriveled, black husks, completely withered and dead. Shin Hui was like a beacon in the darkness, causing the surrounding darkness to dissipate as he moved. The expressions on everyone's faces turned from shock to numbness, even feeling a bit breathless. They were still reeling from the previous situation when they witnessed an even more unbelievable scene. Simply by unfolding the world, Shin Hui could fearlessly walk within it. It was as if everyone were ordinary people who could take a leap, while Shin Hui could walk on air with just one foot. Wasn't this absurd? It was beyond absurd. It was outrageously absurd. It is by unfolding the created world that those tendrils wither. 
allowing him to walk within it. Bai Fan looked at Xin Hui with a complex expression, revealing how Xin Hui was able to stand unscathed in the distorted space based on his own observations. He could also sense that the other party was a third level world, indicating that their strength was indeed not weak. However, he couldn't understand why the phenomenon that occurred after the world was unfolded was so special, not to mention suppressing their created world. The sense of reality was as if they had entered the other party's created world. What puzzled him even more was the other party's created world. It was a world system he had never seen before. The previous feeling still made his heart race when he thought about it. And now, he could protect the other party's safety in the distorted space. What kind of created world is the other party? And what is his identity? Bai Fan was not the only one with such thoughts, everyone else did too. But everyone could be sure of one thing, the other party was extremely powerful. After Xin Hui entered the distorted space by unfolding the world of death, as he expected, the overflowing aura of death directly corroded and killed the vitality of the tendrils. Xin Hui was their forbidden zone. The eyes of the giant pillar monster stared at Xin Hui intently. Xin Hui also stared back, without flinching. With a thought, figures of various sizes emerged from the surrounding mist. All the heroes were summoned by Xin Hui. People outside the distorted space were very curious to see Xin Hui finally summoning creatures. However, they couldn't see clearly under the mist of death that permeated the death world. Only seeing dark figures constantly moving around Xin Hui. Xin Hui already had a way to deal with this giant pillar monster. With a wave of his hand, all the heroes charged at the giant pillar monster. Meanwhile, Xin Hui remained in place, concentrating on controlling the descent of the death world. Junzi, the butcher, Siren. All the heroes attacked the giant pillar monster in their own ways. The monster retaliated with its tendrils, and the injuries on its body quickly healed. However, this recovery speed visibly decreased within a few seconds. At the same time, a clear boundary appeared in the space around the giant pillar monster. Within this boundary, the ground turned into decaying black soil, and a mist that shielded perception rose, exuding a thick, deathly aura. All the heroes found their attacks significantly enhanced within this boundary. Shin Hui's world of death had completely descended upon the area where the giant pillar monster was located. Or one could say that this small area was Shin Hui's world of death. If it had been before, Shin Hui would definitely not have been able to do this. But relying on the strand of nascent world wool that he had plundered before, it was completely feasible within a small range. The giant pillar monster also noticed the changes around it. The vitality that nurtured it was gone, replaced entirely by the corrosive vitality of death. It wildly writhed its entire body's tentacles, but these tentacles began to wither in large patches. The entire giant pillar monster at this moment was like butter in a hot pan. Different parts began to melt, turning into black juice that splattered on the ground. The attacks of all the heroes could directly divide a large chunk of the giant pillar monster's body. The giant pillar monster was visibly shrinking at a rapid speed. From hundreds of meters in size, hundreds of meters, tens of meters, a dozen meters. Although the people outside were not clear about what was happening inside, they could see the huge figure of the giant pillar monster. The giant pillar monster disappeared completely from hundreds of meters in less than two minutes, right before everyone's eyes. For a moment, the air was quiet. Everyone felt a sense of unreality, as they had no way to deal with the monster. Was it really so easily destroyed? Where's the monster? How? How did it just disappear? Did anyone see how it fought? Um, was there a fight? It melted. Such a huge one just completely melted. Could it be an illusion? It disappeared so easily? Everyone was still a bit confused. In their view, Shin Hui's created world could cause such a commotion, and it could also confront the strange vitality within the distorted space without fear. Such a powerful world. Such a powerful force. They had to have a direct confrontation with that giant pillar monster. They needed an earth-shattering battle that would leave them utterly shocked. For a moment, many people still couldn't believe that the giant pillar monster had died just like that. But in the next instant, a beam of light, like the moon dispelling the darkness, emanated from where the giant pillar monster had originally been. The strong aura of the world's origin also accompanied it. There was no doubt that the beam of light was the power of the world's origin resources. Now everyone could be sure that the giant pillar monster was dead. At this moment, the light representing the power of the world's origin suddenly began to move in another direction. Someone realized what was happening and immediately shouted. The other side is running away with the power of the world's origin resources. This was the goal of everyone present. And someone immediately shouted. 
Brothers, let's go together and chase after them. However, soon someone looked at him with a dumbfounded expression. Then you go. You run into the distorted space and chase after them. Suddenly, the person was speechless, and the others were also gritting their teeth. The giant pillar monster was dead, but the twisted space did not collapse. It was just slowly weakening. This was a process, and they dared not enter until it had completely disappeared. And during this time, Shinhui could escape from the other side of the twisted space, realizing that there was no way. Some people immediately began to leave, since they couldn't seize it here. They had to hurry to the other places. However, some of those leaving turned their gaze in the direction Shinhui had fled. Then they began to bypass the area of the twisted space and chase after Shinhui. Bai Fan and his teammates were still in place, watching everyone leave. The two teammates looked a bit unwilling and said to Bai Fan, Boss, are we just going to let the resources go to waste? Shouldn't we go after them and find an opportunity to snatch it? Yes, the pure resources are needed for the world system of Boss's insect race. By Fan's honest expression changed, and he showed a cold look at the two. This person is very powerful, and the world is also very special. Before we have absolute certainty, there is no need to create a powerful enemy for this resource. Understand? Then by Fan added, at least for now, in the nascent world, we must not provoke him. The two teammates did not speak again, or rather, they dared not say anything more. Let's go, since there's nothing left here. Let's go to the rest of the places. The special flying insects that I reclaimed before have started to breed in my created world. After Shin Hui killed the giant pillar monster, or more accurately, after the giant pillar monster was melted by the world of death, Shin Hui immediately felt a slight change in his world of death. That feeling was as if a breath representing life had suddenly merged into the world of death and negative emotions. However, that breath representing life was very strange. There was no time to carefully examine the specific changes that had occurred. The enormous world source power resources wrapped within the body of the dead giant pillar monster fell out. The emitted light and breath were equivalent to a group of one seeing a seductive zero. Shenhui directly absorbed it, but this time the resource energy was too vast. It required Shenhui to concentrate to refine it, which would take some time. Fortunately, the giant pillar monster died, and the distorted space was gradually disappearing. If they stayed here, Shinhui had no reason to believe that these people would not rush over to snatch it. One person wouldn't dare, two people wouldn't dare, three people wouldn't dare, but a group, dozens of people, would be different. Shinhui was not yet arrogant enough to deal with dozens of different worlds at once. Otherwise, if these people dared to come over and snatch it, Shinhui would dare to kill. So for now, it was better to avoid the edge, and discretion was the better part of valor. With a huge ball of light, Shinhui left the crowd in the opposite direction. He unfolded the world of death, allowing all the heroes to manifest around him for protection. After moving a certain distance away, Shinhui found a place and immediately began to absorb the enormous power of the primal world source. As the energy poured into him more and more fiercely, the ball of light gradually dimmed. Before anyone else could find him, Shinhui successfully absorbed the entire energy, obtained 5000 world source power, obtained a high-level world source crystal, obtained 10 strands of essence of life, plundered a portion of the primal world will, obtained world characteristic, distorted vitality, Shin Hui couldn't help but show a surprised expression after thoroughly absorbing what he had obtained. This is too generous. It's simply amazing. With 5000 world source power, he could definitely completely transform the world of death or greatly expand the range of new life. The second was a high-level world source crystal. Shin Hui had obtained two before once as a reward for practical testing, and the second time as a gift from the Yi family and the Xiao family. But those two times were both low-level world source crystals. And now, it was high level. It directly raised the quality by two levels. This was the cornerstone attribute to stabilize the created world. And it probably wouldn't be long before the world of death was upgraded to a fourth-level world. There was also the essence of life, which was temporarily useless to Shen Hui and the primal world will that he had plundered once again. The world that Shin Hui had unfolded could now become even more real and thoroughly descend with an even larger range. The last thing he obtained was very unexpected to Shin Hui. He hadn't expected to directly obtain a world characteristic. The world characteristic that Shin Hui had obtained before was the Lost Mist, obtained by spending world source power to enhance it. It could shield perception and even create illusions. And this distortion of vitality. Vitality distortion, effect, consumes a certain amount of the world's original source power.
distorts the vitality within the created world, and condenses it to form special creatures, looking at this vitality distortion effect, it reminded Shen Hui of the phenomenon distorted by the giant pillar monster. It's probably related to the characteristics of this world. However, Shen Hui's death world has no vitality, which is completely useless to him. Shen Hui couldn't help but shake his head, feeling a bit regretful. However, as Shen Hui was shaking his head, he immediately stopped. Then he thought of something. Wait, didn't I feel a strange vitality merging into my death world before? Thinking of this, Shen Hui quickly checked what had happened before. Shen Hui briefly projected his consciousness into the death world. The death world was still the same desolate and withered death world. It seemed that nothing had changed, but Shen Hui did feel a hint of life within it. It was very weak, and it emitted a strange and decaying feeling. This feeling was very contradictory. Clearly it was vitality, but it carried decay. Shen Hui immediately checked the feedback information that appeared when the anomaly occurred in the death world. A large amount of distorted life force has merged into the death world, fused with the rules of death, giving birth to the force of decayed vitality. A hint of the rule of decayed vitality has appeared in the death world, looking at the feedback information that appeared before. Shen Hui widened his eyes in surprise. Vitality has indeed been born in my death world. But this is not just vitality, it's decayed vitality. This kind of vitality is between life and death, and cannot give birth to life, or rather, it cannot give birth to conventional life. Shen Hui carefully felt the rule of decayed vitality that had merged into the death world and came to this conclusion. However, just as Shen Hui was thinking about whether this rule could be utilized, a piece of information immediately appeared in his mind. World Characteristic, Vitality Distortion Detecting the vitality contained in the death world as decayed vitality, change to decay vitality distortion, decay vitality distortion, effect, in the death world. When living creatures with vitality die, they will be distorted by decayed vitality, giving birth to entirely new decayed creatures. With this change in the world characteristic, the death world of Shen Hui immediately underwent a transformation. In different places of the death world, within the mist, lay the bodies of those who had died in the death world. These remains were left behind by the creatures of the unknown world who had died in battle. At this moment, the decayed vitality that the death world had just gained began to flow into these bodies. The sound of bones and joints colliding came from these bodies. At the same time, all of these bodies revived and climbed up from the ground. The skeletal remains, with decaying flesh, originally as dead entities. At this moment, they were endowed with decayed vitality and experienced a different kind of rebirth. Shen Hui was ecstatic. He had been wondering if this decayed vitality could be utilized, and now it had given him such a huge surprise. These revived creatures had the ability to move and a certain level of consciousness, but they couldn't be considered living creatures because they had already died. However, they couldn't be considered lifeless creatures either because they didn't originate from the eerie or supernatural. They were like entities given the ability to move by decayed vitality, existing between life and death. If Shen Hui feels no surprise, this decaying vitality rule will bring a completely new race to the world of death. True life cannot survive in the world of death, only in the new land opened up by Shen Hui. The strange creatures created by Shen Hui, the legendary creatures, are all powerful individuals, unable to form a race. But these creatures are different, born from death, unafraid of the breath of death. As long as there are enough dead bodies, a huge number can be created. Even in the future, it will form a unique civilization pushing the development of the world of death from another direction. Shin Hui can also feel that these resurrected bodies have an infinite thirst for flesh and blood, killing living beings, transforming them into their own kind to constantly strengthen their groups. This is truly an unexpected huge gain, and it also makes up for the shortcomings of the world of death, the lack of a large number of living beings. Since it is a race, then I will give them a name. Shin Hui began to contemplate. This kind of creature does not exist in this world. However, there are similar creatures, such as puppets in the cultivation system world, zombies created by drugs and genetic modification in the technological world. However, they are only similar, not the same type. Shen Hui, combining memories from his previous life, thought of a race that best suited these creatures. Since you are born from death, clearly you are corpses but resurrect as such creatures, then I will call you undead. With the confirmation of the name of Shen Hui's race, all the resurrected bodies were immediately affected by a certain kind of induction. In their still-growing consciousness, they gained a new appellation for their existence, the undead. All the undead creatures once again turned into skeletons lying on the ground. 
However, once they sensed living creatures, or under Shin Hui's call, they would get up without hesitation and rush to devour the other party. World of Death, World Size, 148 kilometers, World Level, Level 3, Creation Units, 5, Hero Units, 1325, Ordinary Life, Birth Special Area, New Land 5 kilometers, World Characteristics, Lost Mist, Decaying Vitality Distortion, Same Source Level, 1, Bond, Giant, World Origin, 6600, Now, compared to before, Shen Hui's World of Death has undergone a great change. Moreover, according to the characteristics of Decaying Vitality, Shin Hui has already thought of the next hero that can be created. Just waiting for the end of this first journey of the newborn world. Withdraw his mind and exit from the world of death. Shin Hui scanned around and then looked into the distance. From this direction, Shin Hui sensed the closest world origin power. All the world origins are divided into 10 shares. And one of the shares obtained by Shin Hui has made this trip worthwhile. However, more is always better. And Shin Hui's world of death is quite restrained here especially after seizing more wills of the newborn world. The world that will unfold will be even more terrifying. Without hesitation, Shin Hui directly headed towards that direction. This time, the distance is much farther than the last time. I don't know if the monsters in the other nine places are the same, but it can be confirmed that they are all very tricky. There should be enough time. As Shin Hui continued to advance, he encountered the rest of the teams again on the way. However, it was not the teams that had gathered in the distorted space before. After all, Shin Hui set off from the other side of the distorted space. So even though the destination is the same, the route is different. He passed by the other party and continued on. However, not long after this advance, a team appeared from behind Shin Hui. This team consisted of four people. And Shin Hui thought it was another team passing through here. Shin Hui directly changed direction to avoid them. However, when Shin Hui changed direction, he found that they had also changed direction. They were chasing behind Shin Hui. Shin Hui squinted and looked back at the team following him. As the other party approached a certain distance, their speed slowed down. Shin Hui seemed to have some impression of the fire zone symbols on their bodies. Then he remembered that these people were present when he distorted space outside. However, he didn't know them, so why would they bypass the distorted space to specifically look for him? To plunder the resources he had obtained before? Or was there something else? Why are you following me? Shin Hui asked in a deep voice. If the other party did not give a satisfactory and reasonable answer, Shin Hui would not hesitate to take action. The four of them immediately laughed and surrounded Shin Hui. One slightly chubby teenager said in a muffled voice, Shin Hui, you were hard to find, but now you're finally alone. But it was not in vain for us to successfully find you, someone who can create a world within the real world. Your strength is indeed not weak. No wonder the previous group all failed. Hearing the other party's undisguised words, Shin Hui was suddenly shocked. The other party actually knew about the turmoil that had occurred on his side at that time. Even in their water zone, only a very small number of people knew. As for the larger area outside the water zone, it was even less likely. The identity of the other party was becoming clear. They were part of the same organization as the previous black-clothed individuals. Shin Hui sneered. Are you members of the organization that caused the turmoil? The other party laughed heartily and directly confirmed. Quite clever. It seems we left a deep impression on you. Ha ha ha. Shin Hui's previous speculation was indeed correct. These people had infiltrated the world of the newly born. And the people who had died before could be confirmed to be their doing. Among the gazes that had been watching him before. They must have been among them. I didn't expect this organization to be so relentless. Just starting to implement various plans from the shadows. Shin Hui muttered with a cold look in his eyes. Don't stare at us with that look. Your life has long been targeted by us. Your name is on the death list of the high priest. There's nowhere to run. The other party looked at Shin Hui with a cold gaze, showing no fear. Someone among them interjected. Wrong. It should be said that no one has anywhere to run. When the world of the giants arrives, you will all die. Ha ha ha. Enough. Let's take care of this person first to avoid any accidents. Hearing their casual conversation. Shin Hui was suddenly shocked. There was a huge amount of information contained in it. First, he had already been targeted by the other party's organization. It was probably because he could create a world within the real world. Secondly, it was about the world of the newly born. The other party's goal was not simply to find opportunities to kill more people or to specifically target him. Instead, they intended to rely on the arrival of the world of the giants to cause the deaths of all those involved in the world of the newly born. 
As for how they planned to do this, aside from the four of them, Xinhui had no idea, but a huge conspiracy vortex was slowly forming, and these four people seemed very confident. They seemed to have no regard for Xinhui at all. Xinhui felt that he could still extract some useful information from them. Just you four, dare to oppose me. You also know that I have previously wiped out members of your organization. You'd better kneel and surrender. Listening to Shin Hui's sarcasm and threats, someone among them couldn't help but sneer. Humph, they were just given the power to use the world of creation by the high priest. Those people were just a bunch of cannon fodder who didn't have their own world of creation to begin with. Don't compare us to them. Listening to this, Shin Hui received another astonishing piece of news. No wonder all the giant creatures released by the other side's world were so weak and completely mismatched with their world level. They were just ordinary people. However, they had the power to summon other worlds. But Shin Hui had never heard of ordinary people borrowing the power of another world. The technology mastered by the other organization was extraordinary. So these four people probably had something special, or could also summon those giant creatures. Shin Hui was ready to continue the conversation, but someone among the other side couldn't help it. Stop the nonsense. What's the point of talking to a dying man? Just kill him and go find the others to gather. The other three people nodded in agreement. Then, their previously carefree expressions turned serious, with a murderous look in their eyes, and they all spoke in unison. Kill you, offer your world as a sacrifice, and welcome him. As their words fell, the four of them each began to unfold their own worlds. For ripples with different but similar auras spread from their bodies, rapidly expanding. They enveloped Shin Hui. They all shouted, Come out, my. But before they could finish, they forcibly held back the rest of their words. A loud sound entered their ears. World, unfold. As Shin Hui's words fell, not only did they enter their ears, but a strange wave directly suppressed the ripples produced by their unfolding worlds. It was like a wave that was about to splash but was engulfed by a hundred meter wave. Not only did it suppress the surface phenomenon, but even their perception of their own unfolding worlds became weak. So weak that they couldn't manifest any creatures from their worlds. So just as they were about to summon creatures from their own worlds, they abruptly stopped. It was like being on the verge of climax, only to be cut off. Their faces turned red, and without their worlds, they were just ordinary people. What's going on? Why can't I contact my own world? It's, it's being suppressed. But this kind of suppression, how is it possible? It's too strong. What did the other side do? We've all seen them unfold their worlds before, and it wasn't like this. The four of them were frantic. When Shin Hui distorted space to unfold his world, although there was a suppression of the phenomenon, it didn't cut off their connection to their own world of creation. But just as the four of them were in a panic, a cold laugh came from the front. Welcome, everyone, to the world of death. As Shin Hui's words fell, the environment around them suddenly changed. A forest of withered trees decaying land covered with a layer of yellow leaves. The strong smell of death and decay formed a vast expanse, engulfing them. P.S. The title of this book is National Creation, I Create a World of Strange Tales, and all other titles are plagiarized, the environment where Shin Hui and the others were suddenly changed. A sense of oppression, coldness, and decay instantly took over. The four of them widened their eyes, passively sensing the changes around them. This feeling was three parts familiar and seven parts unfamiliar to them. Familiarity is because when Shin Hui distorted space to unfold the world, that moment also gave them a similar feeling. And the unfamiliarity lies in the fact that it is not just a moment now, but a real and tangible change. Dead trees emitting a decaying smell beside them, stepping on decaying fallen leaves underfoot. They were surrounded by a dark gray mist, like an abyss enveloping them. Everything here is shrouded in uncertainty, withering, and death. Where is this place? This is not the newborn world. What kind of space have we entered? What have you done? Their negative emotions surged, and terrible thoughts forcibly invaded their minds. Even though they knew the answer, they still couldn't believe it. Their eyes were filled with pain, distortion, madness, and a hint of doubt as they looked at the blurry figure of Shin Hui ahead. It seemed as if they were waiting for Shin Hui to respond again. And now, Shin Hui, hidden in the mist, was both real and illusory. It seemed as if he was still standing in the same place without moving, yet also seemed to be overlooking everything as their master. A hollow voice came from all directions. This is your graveyard. As Shin Hui's words fell, the mist behind them surged. One of them felt a weight on their shoulder, and then a pair of pale hands emerged from behind, embracing them. 
A cold suffocating feeling surged from the soles of their feet to the top of their head, subconsciously looking at their shoulder. They saw a disheveled head with lifeless black eyes staring at them. A tide of fear rushed into their minds. In a daze, they felt as if they were trapped at the bottom of a dry well, and it seemed like they had been there for a long time. Feelings of hunger, loneliness, and fear intertwined in their bodies, like pigments seeping into water and unable to be separated. This place made them want to collapse, to escape. Looking up from the bottom of the well, a small beam of light shone down from the well's opening. As long as they could reach there, they could escape from the bottom of the well. Without any climbing tools, they began to insert their fingers into the crevices of the well wall. Gripping with their fingernails, they supported themselves as they climbed upward. With each inch they moved up, the friction of their fingers against the rock wall caused excruciating pain. Until their ten fingers were bloody and mangled, they finally reached the well's opening. Just as they were about to escape in excitement, they suddenly shuddered. In an instant, they found themselves back at the bottom of the well, as if their previous climb had been an illusion. However, the excruciating pain in their fingers and the bloodstains on the well wall proved that they had indeed climbed. Refusing to believe it, they shakily climbed upward again with their painful hands. As they climbed inch by inch, their entire body trembled with pain. But when they reached the edge of the well again, the next moment, they were back at the bottom of the well. The small beam of light had become an unreachable place. Despair and hopelessness broke through the cage, but at this moment, a faint white figure appeared at the bottom of the well. Sadako's ethereal and eerie voice came, tell me what you know, and you will escape from here. Among the four people, when this person fell into Sadako's mental illusion, the other three were also facing similar experiences. They first scattered and fled on their own because of Sadako's appearance. Then, they became lost in the mist due to the nature of the lost fog. One of them vaguely saw a factory-like building ahead. Just as they approached, they heard the grunt of a pig behind them. When they turned around, they saw a strange-looking pig standing behind them. The rows of eyes growing on its head were so striking, but at the sight of it, they immediately lost consciousness. When he woke up again, he found himself naked, tied up, and lying on a cold slaughter table. He opened his eyes in terror, but before he could look around, he heard the sound of metal rubbing. He awkwardly turned his head to see where the sound was coming from. In the dim light of the incandescent lamp, a person wearing a black apron and rubber gloves, holding a sharp knife and a sharpening rod, was there. It seemed that the person sensed his gaze and slowly walked a few steps forward. The incandescent lamp revealed the person's appearance. His pupils suddenly dilated as he saw that the person had a pig's head, and he even showed a strange smile. Don't worry, there will be food soon, the pig-headed butcher said calmly. However, he realized that the person was not talking to him, but to another direction. When he looked over there, he was covered in goosebumps. A dense crowd of strange piglets squeezed together, all quietly staring at him, as if they were looking at tempting food. Where am I? What are you going to do? He shouted in panic, trying to connect with his surroundings. But he couldn't establish any contact. The pig-headed butcher ignored him and put down the sharpening rod. The flashing blade of the butcher knife shimmered in the light. The pig-headed butcher walked slowly to the side of the slaughter table. Try my butchering technique. Don't worry, you won't die, and it will be very painful, the pig-headed butcher said, ignoring his fearful screams. The butcher knife slowly cut across his chest, and blood flowed from the shallow cut. The exquisite knife skills only caused the skin to be cut. Then the strong hands directly reached into the wound between the skin and muscles. The skin and muscles were peeled apart. The agonizing screams echoed throughout the slaughter table. All the piglets were excited, and the pig-headed butcher's smile widened. After the chest, it was the abdomen, limbs, and head. The pig-headed butcher peeled off all the skin and muscles from his body, leaving him completely naked. And yet, he did not die, his muscles, unprotected by skin, were exposed to the air. The pain was unbearable, like being eaten alive by ants, making it hard to breathe. The miserable screams continued. The pig-headed butcher looked satisfied at his work. The skin is removed. Next should be the meridians. And then the muscles, the pig-headed butcher said, taking out a long, thin knife and adding, Don't worry, you still won't die. Then he gently picked at the meridians intertwined in the muscles. Another round of heart-wrenching screams. Death had become a luxury. From the perspective of the creator of the death world, Shin Hui observed the four observers who were brought into the death world. They were all experiencing extreme pain and suffering, either mentally or physically. 
Their facial features were distorted and almost melting together. At this moment, death became their greatest happiness, but it also became the most unattainable thing. Xinhui did not have a strange fetish for torturing people for pleasure. He just wanted to get more information about this organization. Under such excruciating torture, by exchanging their desire for death, he could make them reveal the most truthful answers. And by questioning the four individuals separately, he could also determine if their answers were reliable. In fact, it was so. At the same time, the four tortured individuals nodded without hesitation. Under the will of Xin Hui, Jinzi the pig butcher began to ask them questions. What is the name of your organization? The four gave the same answer. The cult of the great god. The cult of the great god. Xin Hui murmured softly, an organization he had never heard of before. Xin Hui suddenly remembered that these four had mentioned him before. He must be the foreign deity behind them. The next question was directed at the four. Who is he? He is called Tai. Once again, the four gave the same answer. But just as they were about to reveal who he was, a sudden change occurred. The four began to convulse without warning. Their words were abruptly cut off. Xin Hui was certain that this was not due to their injuries or mental instability. Just as Xin Hui was still pondering, a ripple of spatial fluctuations suddenly spread from the bodies of the four. These ripples traversed space and coalesced in the realm of death. As the master of this world, Xin Hui immediately sensed that another world was unfolding within his realm of death. Xin Hui's eyes widened with astonishment and suspicion. These four were unable to manifest their own created world because they had been absorbed into the realm of death. But now, clearly within his own realm of death, how could there be another world unfolding? And if it wasn't the world of these four, then whose was it? The gathered ripples of space tore open a rift in the sky of the realm of death. A palpable aura emanated from the rift, and it continued to expand. Although the inside of the rift was not visible, it was undoubtedly another world. It seemed as though this world wanted to connect with Shin Hui's realm of death. Just as when Shin Hui challenged the unclaimed world, the earth of the realm of death began to tremble, and the mist began to churn. A piercing hum emanated from the rift. The unease even spread to the newly born land. The people inside thought that another change had occurred and huddled in their homes, trembling. However, at that moment, the will of the realm of death began to reject it. Combined with the power of the world's origin that had been previously used to crystallize, the foundation of the world became even more stable. Various forces of the rules intertwined to halt the continuously expanding rift. The trembling earth ceased, the churning mist calmed, and the piercing hum disappeared. Even the rift torn open in the sky began to slowly heal. Shen Hui finally relaxed his tightly clenched hands. His realm of death had almost been destroyed. However, in the instant that Shen Hui relaxed, he suddenly felt a strong sense of being watched. Shen Hui abruptly raised his head and looked at the almost disappearing crack. The previously indistinct crack had now turned into a giant eye. No, that wasn't an eye. It should be a giant eye. Looking at Shen Hui through the crack, it was just that the crack had shrunk, revealing only the eyeball within the eye. Being watched, Shen Hui felt his breath and blood freeze, his entire body tingled. An unparalleled pressure came over him, as if he had a hundred thousand mountains on his back. In a daze, Shen Hui felt like an ant. Everything around him was so immense, and he was so small, small enough that a grain of sand or a pebble here could easily end his life. However, soon the crack in the sky completely healed, and the eye disappeared. The feeling of being watched vanished, and Shen Hui suddenly woke up. Belatedly, he let out a sigh of relief, realizing that he was still in the realm of death. The feeling just now was all an illusion. Shin Hui took a deep breath and looked again at the location of the crack. But at this point, it had already been repaired, and the crack had completely disappeared. Could the owner of that giant eye be the deity worshipped by the cult of the giants? The feeling of being as insignificant as an ant just now. Is that their world? Shen Hui calmed down his chaotic inner thoughts. No matter who he is no matter how powerful the other party is. But in this world where he cannot harm himself, then he has nothing to fear. When his world of death rises, he will directly kill him. Shin Hui looked again at the four people in the world of death. They were all dead by now, their bodies and flesh shattered inch by inch, like glass being crushed. This should also be related to that giant eye. There's no way to get more information now, but it's not a complete loss. At least I know what their organization is. After confirming the situation in the world of death, Shin Hui retracted the expanded world. The mist with blurred vision disappeared, turning into a faint mist. The forest, the factory, and the corrupt smell of death dissipated. 
The surroundings once again became the appearance of the newborn world. Shinhui felt a bit dizzy, although the world of death could completely descend in a small area. But the consumption of the spirit has also increased. But it's okay, after plundering the will of the newborn world here, the consumption of the spirit will also decrease. Everything is within the tolerable range. After resting in place for a moment, and confirming that his body was unharmed, Shinhui stood up, but Shinhui's gaze became increasingly cold. He is safe now, but only temporarily. There is still a greater danger, and it is not only directed at himself, but at everyone in the newborn world. Shinhui hasn't forgotten that these people said before, to bring about the descent of the giant world. Shinhui finds it hard not to suspect that the giant world is the world that wants to connect with his world of death, but it shouldn't be as twisted as the feeling he experienced in the illusion before. Otherwise, such a world would have appeared during the previous turmoil. But even if it's only a part of the world's power, it should not be underestimated. But Shinhui already has a way to resist in his heart. The first is for everyone to unite and resist together. But Shinhui feels that this is somewhat impossible. The second method, which is also the method Shinhui is about to implement. He can plunder the will of the newborn world here. As long as he plunders enough, then his world of death can completely descend. And even covering the newborn world is not a problem. At the end of the intersection of heaven and earth, a black tide surged and surged without rules, moving in all directions, undulating, striking, and raising huge waves. And on this tide, within the huge waves, there are different points moving, or following the waves, being submerged. The monsters here have changed in form and ability, but the core ability is still related to vitality. Shinhui moved towards the black tide in the distance. And of course, that is not a real tide but a monster formed in the newborn world, and the vitality emitted by the other party has been slowly weakening since a long time ago, so much so that when Shinhui sensed it while resting, he immediately set off, afraid that after he arrived, the monster had already been killed, and he would have made the trip for nothing, but now it seems that Shinhui's worry was unnecessary. As he approached, Shinhui also saw the specific situation there in the black tide, the monster now looked more like a thick paste than water. There were more people there than Shinhui had imagined, at least over a hundred. The overlapping worlds unfolded, enclosing the monster in the tide. The distribution of creatures from various different world systems is everywhere, launching frenzied attacks against the tide monsters. Within the tide, the meatball monsters that Shinhui first encountered continue to leap out and attack. They are densely packed, enough to make one's scalp tingle. It seems that the tide is composed of these meatball monsters. Any creature struck by the tide will be engulfed. They are directly devoured, not even leaving a single hair behind. However, the aura of the tide monsters has weakened, and their aggressiveness has significantly decreased compared to before. It can be said that they are at their last gasp. As long as all these people unite and launch a joint attack, it will not be long before the monsters are annihilated. However, it is interesting to observe that regardless of distribution or attack, there are issues among the hundreds of people. People from the same major region are all within a small area. The battlefield has been divided into five small areas. Although the people from these five major regions are all launching attacks against the tide monsters, they are also secretly attacking the other major regions created worlds. Moreover, there is a very obvious disparity in strength among them. The gold region and the wood region are relatively dominant, and it seems that there are powerful individuals reigning within them. Within the same major region, People are divided into groups of three or four, and they are wary of each other, keeping a hidden card. Obviously, they want to seize the resources that will drop after successfully killing the monsters in their own major region. So, although they could kill the tide monsters, they have not done so yet. However, Shinhui is quite happy about it, otherwise the tide monsters probably wouldn't have lasted until he arrived. As Shinhui is about to enter the battlefield, he immediately attracts the attention of many people. Among them, the people in the water region area immediately recognize Shinhui. They all know that Shinhui is not weak, although some people do not admit it. He is indeed the top person in their major region. They believe that as long as Shinhui joins them, their side will immediately become strong. They can secretly have enough strength to confront the gold region and the wood region, with a greater chance of seizing resources. Shinhui, over here, Shinhui turned to look, showing a smile, but did not go over. People from the other major regions noticed the excitement of the people in the water region, and couldn't help but wonder what they were so happy about. 
Could it be that this person from the water region who arrived is very powerful? However, some were puzzled, while others were surprised. A familiar voice immediately came from the area where the wood region was located. Shen Hui. We meet again. Upon hearing this voice coming from the wood region, Shen Hui knew who it was. Turning to look, as expected, it was Zhu Go Hongjing with his long hair tied up. Based on the connection established by the other party, Shen Hui looked at the creatures in Zhu Gu Hongjing's created world. It turned out to be a group of soldiers wearing armor and wielding long spears and broadswords. The murderous aura emanating from these soldiers was terrifying, forming a sinister atmosphere. Each of them seemed to have emerged from a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood. Although they were ordinary people, they had already surpassed the category of ordinary people. This was the first time Shen Hui had seen Zhu Go Hongjing's created world, and he was a little surprised. Shen Hui knew this type of created world. These were soldiers, belonging to the world system of the Yellow Dynasty Emperor. This is a very niche and rare created world. If developed well, it could create emperors of the dynasty, establish a dominant position for a thousand years, and gather the power of destiny to seize the world. There were also various strong soldiers and divine generals in battle, but if it did not develop well, it would be just an ordinary world. It seems that those who are ranked at the top in their respective major regions all have their own outstanding qualities. When Xu Go Hongjing saw Shen Hui cast his gaze over, he immediately waved and approached. Shen Hui, how about the two of us teaming up to seize these resources? Xu Go Hongjing's strength was at the very top. They occupied the advantage in the wood area because of him. Although Zhu Ge Hongjing has not seen Shen Hui's strength, he knows that he can win against Sun Jingjing. His strength must not be weak. As long as he teams up with himself, the probability of seizing resources is higher than the chaotic looting by the people from the five major areas. Shen Hui was a bit puzzled as to why Zhu Ge Hongjing would want to team up with him. He could easily find someone from another major area to team up with. Although those currently weak major areas may not want to team up with him. After all, there is a gap in strength and it would be like seeking a tiger's skin. However, the strength of the gold area is quite comparable to that of the wood area, so why not find the gold area first? Just as Shen Hui was thinking about this, a familiar voice came from the gold area. Shen Hui, instead of teaming up with him, why not team up with me? Shen Hui looked towards the source of the voice, and it was Sun Jingjing with well-defined muscles. Sun Jingjing looked at Zhu Ge Hongjing with a very displeased expression. There was a bit of awkwardness in this but it was not directed towards Zhu Ge Hongjing. It was about the initiative to team up with Shen Hui. Shen Hui also immediately understood the reason. Sun Jingjing was not interested in Zhu Ge Hongjing himself, and because of the previous matter involving Shen Hui, their relationship was even worse. So even if Zhu Ge Hongjing was willing, Sun Jingjing was not. Sun Jingjing also knew Shen Hui's strength. After all, he was a defeated subordinate. If Zhu Ge Hongjing teamed up with Shen Hui, then he would be directly at a disadvantage. Although he did not want to team up with Shen Hui, he still stepped forward. Shen Hui did not respond immediately, but people from all the major areas around were stunned. They all knew that Zhu Ge Hongjing and Sun Jingjing were representatives of the wood and gold areas, respectively. In the battle against the wave monsters, they had witnessed the powerful world created by the other side, but such powerful individuals were actually inviting someone they did not know to team up. What was the identity of the other party? Could it be a hidden master with strength comparable to Zhu Ge Hongjing and Sun Jingjing? However, in the next moment, they were directly stunned. Sun Jingjing saw that Shen Hui did not answer, fearing that he would team up with Zhu Ge Hongjing, especially since Zhu Ge Hongjing had helped Shen Hui before. She quickly said, Shen Hui, don't forget, I will share half of the resources with you, so teaming up with me is also helping yourself. Apart from Shen Hui, there were also Zhu Ge Hongjing and Sun Jingjing and her teammates. The rest of the people did not know exactly what had happened between them. They all looked at Sun Jingjing and then at Shen Hui with a suspicious look, thinking that there might be something unspeakable between the two of them. A representative of a major area actually giving half of the resources they obtained to another representative of a major area. How much resources would that be? They dared not even think about it. Many people envied Shen Hui, looking at him with jealous eyes. If Shen Hui really had strong strength and teamed up with Sun Jingjing, even with the help of others, he would either get half or the majority of the resources. With Sun Jingjing's half, he would obtain about half of the resources here. Zhu Ge Hongjing had already prepared to deal with Shen Hui and Sun Jingjing to compete for resources. Unnecessary fighting did not need to happen, but it was different when it came to competing for resources. 
Sun Jingjing also looked triumphant, looking at Zhu Ge Hongjing with pride. Zhu Ge Hongjing, give up. The resources here will not be given to you if I team up with Xin Hui. As long as Zhu Ge Hongjing did not succeed. However, just when everyone thought that Xin Hui would agree, they began to doubt if they had misheard. They saw Xin Hui looking at Sun Jingjing with a puzzled look on his face. Uh, when did I say I wanted to team up with you? Ha, huh? Sun Jingjing didn't react for a moment. In terms of reason and emotion, it was the best choice for Xin Hui to join forces with her. She couldn't think of a reason why Xin Hui would refuse. Zhu Ge Hongjing smirked. Sun Jingjing, it seems that Xin Hui has made a decision. However, before Zhu Ge Hongjing could finish his sentence, Xin Hui interrupted directly. I never said I wanted to team up with anyone. Isn't the competition for resources based on individual abilities? I can obtain all the resources by myself. So why should I join forces with you and share? Of course, Xin Hui only thought about the last sentence in his mind and didn't say it out loud. With Shen Hui's words, everyone felt choked and speechless. Indeed, the competition for resources was based on individual abilities. But who had the capability to deal with the monstrous wave creature alone? Isn't that just nonsense? However, Shen Hui didn't have time to fool around with these people. He didn't know if there were any members of the giant god sect among them. However, seizing the resources here and then rushing to the next location was Shen Hui's goal. Shen Hui fell silent and, while everyone was still in shock and confusion, charged towards the enormous wave creature. The wave creature was now restrained by everyone's created world. As long as they were careful, they would be safe. But this was based on them maintaining a safe distance from the wave creature. When they first fought the wave creature, many of them were swallowed by the giant waves. Approaching the wave creature was seeking death, and it had become a consensus among them. At the same time, this was the result of their joint resistance against the wave creature. Even if the opponent's strength had greatly declined, it was not something that could be dealt with alone. Shin Hui's sudden movement towards the wave creature caught everyone's attention. Everyone looked at Shin Hui with extreme incomprehension and shock. What is he doing? How did he just charge at the wave creature without even unfolding his world? Is he trying to commit suicide? Shan Hui, someone in the water area shouted Shin Hui's name, trying to get him to stop. Zhuge Hongjing and Sun Jingjing also shouted, Shin Hui, don't be impulsive. That's not something you can handle. What are you doing? However, Shin Hui did not respond to anyone and did not want to cause too much commotion here. He slightly unfolded the world of death to envelop himself. It seemed that Shin Hui was outside, but he was actually protected by the world of death. He directly passed through the battlefield formed by various biological systems and approached the wave creature. Surging strange vitality came rushing, and the enormous wave spread out in front of Shin Hui. Black, fleshy monsters kept rolling and leaping out from inside. It seemed that they sensed Shin Hui. A giant wave directly surged towards Shin Hui, engulfing him in the black wave. In an instant, the entire battlefield seemed to quiet down. Everyone stared in disbelief at this scene that they couldn't comprehend. He's dead. Definitely dead. There's no saving him once he's been engulfed in that black wave. Alas, what a pity. Sun Jingjing was willing to share half of the resources with him, and he just couldn't bear it and committed suicide. Do you think it's related to Sun Jingjing? Look at all that muscle. Who could handle that? Zhuge Hongjing also shook his head and sighed in a voice only he could hear. What a pity. Xin Hui was a special world, and now he's dead, with so much research value. I wonder if we can find the other party's world through the unclaimed land later. Sun Jingjing looked at the place where Xin Hui disappeared with a complex expression. She didn't feel happy about not having to pay half of the resources due to Xin Hui's death. Her feelings towards Xin Hui were more of guilt. However, just as Sun Jingjing was lost in her strange thoughts, she suddenly noticed that the giant wave monster had started to boil. She wasn't the only one who noticed, more and more people were becoming aware of it. The body of the giant wave monster, like boiling water, was constantly bubbling and jumping. It was as if a tortured person was writhing in pain. A dark green smoke rose from the waves. The waves were continuously shrinking. No one knew why this anomaly was happening. Their previous attacks had never caused such powerful damage. However, some immediately thought of Xin Hui, who had been swallowed by the giant wave. This phenomenon had occurred right after Xin Hui was swallowed. A bold and seemingly impossible idea appeared in their minds. Xin Hui had not died but was still alive within the waves. The waves were rapidly shrinking before their eyes. And even the jumping fleshball monsters were dying. When it had decreased by a third, a struggling figure emerged from the waves. Everyone widened their eyes, thinking it was Xin Hui. 
only to realize that it was not him, but a decaying and broken body writhing. Then, more bodies emerged from the waves, some with rotting flesh and others with only bare bones. They should not have been alive. But at this moment, they were coming back to life. The waves had turned into a sea of corpses. After Shen Hui was engulfed by the black waves, thick mucus, composed of living creatures, continuously flowed into his body. Among them were numerous fleshball monsters formed by tentacles, moving through the mucus like fish in water, trying to devour Shen Hui completely. However, Shen Hui, enveloped in the world of death, was like a sun falling into water. Once the mucus and fleshball monsters approached Shen Hui, they were immediately evaporated and decomposed by the power of death. Within a one-meter radius centered on Shen Hui, it became an absolute forbidden zone. More and more mucus and fleshball monsters died. The giant wave monster instinctively realized that it had swallowed something it couldn't handle. However, as the saying goes, it's easy to invite a god but hard to send one away. It wanted to expel Shen Hui, but it was impossible. Shen Hui allowed the other party to wriggle within the waves. As steady as a rock, a large amount of strange vitality flowed into the world of death, quickly decomposing into decaying vitality that filled the world of death. Shen Hui was amazed to find that, as the decomposition continued, different looking and different bodied creature skeletons appeared in the world of death. These were all creatures from other created worlds that had been swallowed during battles with the wave monster and had formed the same black, thick substance as the waves. After decomposing in the world of death, they were twisted and revived by decaying vitality. A large number of undead were born, and from a certain perspective, they were also of the same origin as the strange vitality in the original world. Therefore, they were not afraid of the erosion of strange vitality. They were more advantageous than Shin Hui's heroes in dealing with these monsters composed of strange vitality. Shin Hui released the newly born undead. A large number of corpses instantly filled the waves. This was what the others saw, the waves had turned into a sea of corpses. Everyone was greatly shocked by this scene. Many of them even recognized features on the corpses as belonging to creatures from their own created worlds. The creatures that had been swallowed before were now being revived within the waves. However, they had already lost their connection and were no longer their creatures. For a moment, they did not know whether this was the doing of the wave monster or some other reason. However, it was soon discovered that these corpses were actually devouring the body of the tidal wave. Everyone thought of the impossible idea again. Shen Hui is still alive. All of this was caused by Shen Hui. If that's the case, what kind of world and power does Shen Hui possess? He can actually resist the vitality erosion of the tidal wave monsters and even revive the dead creatures. Zhuge Hongjing's previous expression of lamentation disappeared. His eyes shone with a gleam, revealing a somewhat strange smile. Not bad really good. This kind of created world is simply amazing. From the moment Shen Hui was actively swept into the tidal wave by the giant wave until now, it had only been two minutes. Now, someone reacted. Once the tidal wave monster dies, Shen Hui is the closest. Wouldn't that mean the resources could be easily obtained? No wonder the other party refused to join forces with Zhu Ge Hongjing and Sun Jingjing. It turns out they truly have such power. However, they would not give up the opportunity to fight for it. They began to prepare and wait for the moment when the tidal wave monster died. They would directly launch a full-scale attack to seize it. However, just as they were waiting for Shen Hui to single-handedly kill the tidal wave monster, the floating corpses in the tidal wave stopped attacking and began to disappear continuously. The tidal wave also stopped shrinking, as if all attacks had ceased. Everyone looked at each other. Why have all the attacks stopped? Could it be that person died again? Probably. We may have all underestimated the other party. After all, the difficulty of dealing with these monsters is simply impossible to handle alone. Then let's continue the attack. The tidal wave monster is about to die. Let's not delay it any longer. The final fight will be based on individual abilities. Just as the people outside were planning to continue attacking the tidal wave monster, Shen Hui, inside the tidal wave, was still safe and sound. The reason they did not launch another attack was because Shen Hui found a resource sphere within the tidal wave. Unlike the giant pillar monster, which could not enter the body, it could only be killed and taken. Shen Hui was inside the body of the giant wave monster and did not need to kill it. He could obtain the resources now. Such a huge resource required a certain amount of time to refine. If the tidal wave monster was truly killed, Shen Hui would still have to face the encirclement of the others. Shen Hui did not know whether the death world that had completely descended now could suppress the created world of so many people. However, 
There was no need to take this risk. Shinhui directly began to refine the resources within the body of the tidal wave monster. Just as the others were launching another attack from the outside, Shinhui had already placed his hand on the resource sphere and began to absorb and refine it. The pure power of the world's origin rushed into Shin Hui's body and then entered the created world. Obtained 5,000 units of the world's origin power, obtained an advanced world's origin crystal, obtained 10 strands of the essence of life, plundered a portion of the nascent world will, just like when he killed the giant pillar monster before. Among them, the most crucial was the plundering of the nascent world will. The tidal wave monster, which had lost the resource sphere, did not die. Shinhui slowly moved to the edge of the tidal wave monster's body. Seizing an opportunity, he directly launched a small-scale death world and rushed out. Shin Hui, who emerged from the body of the tidal wave monster, immediately attracted everyone's attention. That person is not dead yet. How did he escape? Where is he going? In the eyes of everyone, Shin Hui did not stop at all and dashed away, apparently wanting to leave this place. However, the people outside had no idea that what they were fighting for had already been taken by Shin Hui. The tidal wave monster was still here, so there was naturally no intention to chase after Shin Hui. However, there were still many people who directly launched attacks on Shin Hui using the created creatures nearby. Shin Hui had long expected that all the heroes would emerge from the unfolding world of death. He took the brunt of all the attacks for Shin Hui. At the same time, Shin Hui secretly remembered those who had tried to kill him and their world's aura. Enduring all the attacks, Shin Hui disappeared into the hazy mist. No one chased after him, and at a certain distance, Shin Hui stopped. After confirming his safety, Shin Hui took the first look at his world of death. Compared to before, there were thousands of new undead inside. They came from different world systems, and Shin Hui found that among them, some still possessed abilities from their previous world system. If this continued to develop, it might yield unexpected gains for Shin Hui. However, there was no time to study it carefully now. Shin Hui, who stayed behind, felt the increasingly weak aura of the tide monsters. Under the attack of everyone's created world, the vitality of the tide monsters grew weaker and weaker. Seeing that the tide monster was about to die, everyone was ready to seize the resources. With the last trace of vitality of the tide monster extinguished, everyone prepared to fight. But the next moment, everyone was dumbfounded. The dead tide monster evaporated directly but no resources appeared in its place of death. When the tide monster died, it simply died. Nothing at all came out. It was a waste of effort. So many people gathered to fight a team boss. Logically, after killing it, there should have been a rich loot. Although the result was the same, their mentality exploded. After the boss was killed, there wasn't a single hair on the ground. Everyone present was in a state of confusion, including Zhu Gu Hongjing and Sun Jingjing. They had clearly rushed over because they sensed the powerful world source. They could be very sure that the rich world source was protected within the body of the tide monster. Damn, what the hell is going on? Where are the resources? Where are the things? Someone shouted angrily at the sky. But for a while, no one could answer him. Some people were sorting through various possible thoughts, ruling out all impossibilities. Soon they noticed Shin Hui, who appeared in the second half of the battle. He began to show his powerful unknown strength and world, capable of resisting the tide monsters. But in the end, he was suddenly overwhelmed, stopped attacking, and found an opportunity to escape. At first, everything seemed normal, but his escape seemed very abrupt. A thought appeared in everyone's mind at the same time. That is, Shin Hui had taken the world source from the tide, so he ran away directly. This was very reasonable and the only most likely thing. Damn! We've worked so hard for so long, and we've been intercepted. Such a big resource, obtained by just one person. Isn't that too cool? No, we have to find him and snatch the resources back. Well, I think it's better to forget it. The other party is quite strong. I'll hurry to the next location. After confirming the facts, everyone had different thoughts and began to leave. Some people started to head to the next place where the world source appeared and some were also hoping to meet Shin Hui and find an opportunity to snatch those resources. And after they left, Shin Hui quietly returned. According to the world aura of those who had tried to kill him before, Shin Hui tracked them down one by one. Using thunderous means, he enveloped them in the world of death, making them unable to resist. Then, he used mental torture to interrogate their true identities. He was ready to find out if there were any members of the giant god sect among them. For now, 
The others should still be unaware of the giant god sect, and Shinhui had no intention of spreading the news everywhere, because it is impossible to distinguish them at all. The other party even has their own created world. It could be anyone from the five major regions, lurking among them. Recklessly spreading the news will only alert the enemy and be more detrimental to oneself. And Shen Hui knows them, but they do not know that Shen Hui knows them. The enemy is clear while I am in the dark. Shen Hui is in the atmosphere. Through his interrogation methods, he questioned everyone thoroughly. Unfortunately, he did not find any members of the giant god sect among them. Shen Hui did not kill these people, but instead had the thin, long ghostly figure use its abilities to make them lose their memories. However, they had murderous intent towards him before. Shen Hui could not simply let them go like that, before erasing their memories. In order to free themselves from torment, Shen Hui made them hand over all the resources they had obtained previously. In total, it was over a thousand units of world source power, as well as a few strands of life essence. At the same time, their subconscious, tormented by fear, was filled with instinctual fear of Shen Hui. As long as they saw Shen Hui again, they would feel inexplicable fear. They instinctively wanted to escape and dared not show any hostility. After dealing with them, Shen Hui immediately rushed to the next location with world source power. He closed his eyes and carefully sensed it. The world source power, divided into ten parts, had been taken by Shen Hui, leaving only six parts now. This indicated that the world source power in two other places had already been taken. Shen Hui immediately set off, quickly heading towards the nearest world source power. After nearly an hour, Shen Hui arrived at the next location. Just as he arrived, the monsters there had just died. A huge ball of light formed by world source power was shining on the ground. There were more people here, all scrambling and chaotic. Shen Hui directly unleashed his death world, controlling a certain range and rushing towards the resource ball. With the suppression of the death world, Shen Hui was unstoppable on the battlefield. The resource ball was divided and formed into smaller light balls, which were taken away. Fortunately, the total amount taken was less than 10%. The largest resource ball was still in place. Relying on the crushing force, Shen Hui rushed in from behind and grabbed the largest resource ball to retreat. Now Shen Hui had become the target of everyone's attacks. All creatures in the world were launching attacks on Shen Hui. Damn it! We didn't see you attack before, but now you're here to snatch resources, leaving some for me. Brother, give me half. I'll help you leave this place. Faced with various threats and attempts to establish connections, Shen Hui paid no attention. He directly expanded the death world at high speed. With the initial world will he had plundered from the wave monsters, the death world that could now descend had been enhanced in both range and reality. In an instant, the death world enveloped all the worlds and people close to Shen Hui. First, their connection with the created world was interrupted. Various negative emotions rushed in, immediately distorting their rationality. Coupled with the mist of lost senses, it made them feel like they were being suffocated in water. However, this feeling came and went quickly. The interrupted created world re-established its connection. The negative emotions disappeared, and the mist that blocked perception dissipated. All of this felt like an illusion. It was so unreal. But when their gaze searched for Shin Hui, who had taken the largest resource, they found that he had already disappeared without a trace, as if he had never existed. However, the disappeared resource ball had already proven everything to be true. But all of this happened so suddenly that they didn't even get a clear look at Shin Hui's appearance. At that moment, everyone was furious and cursing. However, after a moment of calm, they felt a wave of fear. Just now, they had actually lost contact with their created world. The terrifying feeling, which made their thoughts dull and suffocated every pore, frightened them. Who was that person just now? And what was their identity and world? Shen Hui, who left safely, also found a place to absorb the world's original power. Although it had been divided, the obtained world's original power had decreased to over 3,000. However, they successfully plundered the will of the nascent world. There were still five scattered world's original powers remaining. Shen Hui hurried to the next one without stopping. However, before reaching it, the world's original aura there disappeared. But Shen Hui was not far away, still planning to go and see. Maybe there was still a chance to compete for resources. As they approached, a strong smell of blood permeated the air. A small mountain faintly appeared in the mist. Shen Hui thought it was a monster that had not completely disappeared. But when they got closer, Shen Hui widened their eyes and looked at the small mountain in front of them. It was not a monster at all. 
but a small mountain made of flesh and mud, flesh, tendons, organs, and blood were squeezed together into a pile of flesh and mud, like mashed potatoes mixed with ketchup, pale, yellow, red, and extremely foul smelling. It assaulted their visual and olfactory senses, making them unable to help but feel nauseous. Shen Hui frowned, pinched their nose, and took a deep breath through their mouth to calm their turbulent heart. But even with their nose pinched, the strong foul smell still rushed straight to their brain through their mouth. Cough, cough after a dry cough, suppressing the urge to vomit. Shen Hui once again surveyed everything in front of them. This pile of flesh and mud was composed of humans and creatures from the created world. There were no other living creatures nearby, and most likely, everyone had died here. This appearance could not have been created by the will of the nascent world. It's the people of the giant god sect. I didn't expect them to be so brazen. Shin Hui speculated that the people of the giant god sect should have started to gather. The four people they had encountered before had also said such things. Once they gathered, they only needed to rush to the place where the world's original power appeared and seize the opportunity to attack the monsters from behind. They could easily annihilate the rest of the people. But why were the bodies here specifically piled together? Shin Hui suddenly realized something and quickly walked to the other side of the flesh and mud mountain. On the ground here, some twisted and irregular patterns were formed with flesh and mud. But from certain angles, those flesh and mud spread out on the ground looked like the earth. The towering flesh and mud looked like mountains, and the gathered blood looked like rivers. As Shin Hui continued to watch, a strange spatial fluctuation emanated from here. In an instant, the entire flesh and mud mountain decayed into a black and yellow stinking water, as if it had experienced decades in a moment. Shin Hui was startled but did not perceive any danger. There were no other anomalies here. However, in this place, there was another kind of world's aura coming out. This aura was from the world on the other side of the crack in the dead world. This, this is a sacrifice. The people of the giant god sector summoning it? No. They are using the sacrifice to bring about the descent of the giant world. And this place is a coordinate for the descent. Shin Hui thought of the giant god sex plan. Perhaps similar sacrifices were happening in other places. Shin Hui tried to use their own world to expel the coordinates here. But it had no effect. After confirming, Shin Hui decisively left the place. There's no time to waste now. The giant god sect has already started to act. He must quickly plunder more of the world's primordial will. At least half of it must be plundered before Shin Hui feels confident. Although three portions have already been plundered, another source of world origin power has just disappeared. That leaves three portions remaining. Shin Hui immediately headed to the next location. Upon arrival, the people here were still attacking the monsters created by the primordial will of the newborn world. Zhu Go Hong Jing, Sun Jing Jing, and Bai Fan were among them. Shen Hui directly unleashed the death world rushing over to cover the monsters and dissolve them in the death world. The monsters almost died instantly, catching everyone off guard. Shin Hui had already grabbed the resource sphere and started running. Immediately, some people recognized Shin Hui and reacted. Damn, it's that kid again. Last time he snatched the resource sphere. Isn't that Shin Hui? He secretly absorbed the resources from the body of the wave monster before. Damn it, what kind of strength does that person have? And what kind of world is it? I heard people from the water district say that his world is a death world where life cannot be born. Nonsense. Damn it. Hurry. He must have a lot of resources on him. A large group of people chased after Shen Hui. However, Shen Hui immediately let the mist of confusion descend around him. Those people quickly lost track of him, not even knowing where he had gone. Shen Hui absorbed the resource sphere. There were still two sources of world origin power left, and once these two disappeared, the newborn world would begin to collapse, and then they would be able to return to the sea of stars. However, returning might not be that simple. As the world's origin power decreased, everyone would gradually gather together. At that time, the giant god sect would definitely take action. Shen Hui began to rush to the next location of the world's origin power. When he was about to approach, he once again smelled the scent of blood, but it wasn't as strong as before. Shin Hui thought he had encountered members of the giant god sect again and hurried his pace. However, when he got closer, it wasn't as he had expected. The monsters here had already been killed. The source of the bloody smell was a large number of creatures from the created world, along with some creator corpses. However, they were normal corpses. Here, some people had resorted to violence in order to seize resources. Anyone who stands in my way will die. If you don't hand over the world's origin power, I don't mind killing you all. 
A loud voice came from the battlefield. Xin Hui looked over and was momentarily stunned. He thought that Ji Kaishan had been killed by him, and even his body was gone? How did he end up here? However, when Xin Hui saw that the world being displayed by the other party was a technological world, he suddenly realized that this was Ji Kaishan's younger brother, Ji Kailiang. He was also the first person in the fire district on the surface. There were several people beside him, one of whom Xin Hui still recognized, Tu Xingqin, the first person in the earth district on the surface, and on the ground nearby. There were several bodies that had been killed. They were all people from the water district. Obviously, they had just been killed by them. And Jeet Sileon's words were related to this. Further away, they were divided into three groups. One group was scattered and watching the show. Another group, consisting of more people, was composed of the fire district and the earth district, with Ji Kailiang and Tu Xingqin at the forefront. The fire district and the earth district had joined forces here. The third group was smaller and consisted of people from the water district, all of whom were glaring at Ji Kailiang and his group. However, they didn't dare to approach rashly. After all, the opponent's world power was on display, and the people leading them were in another direction, and they were Xin Hui's acquaintances, Yi Long, Xing Shui, and Xiao Xiangyan, and the resource ball they were fighting for was also in their hands. However, the current situation was not favorable for them, as there were more bodies of people from the water area around them. The world they had opened up had also been damaged. There were also many casualties among the creatures they had summoned. It was obvious that they had already fought and lost. Yi Long looked at Ji Kailian with anger and shouted, You are shameless. We agreed that our water area contributed the most, and we would split the resources in half, but you want to take it all for yourselves. You even laid hands on our people from the water area. Xiao Xiangyan also exclaimed, Do you know what the consequences will be when we go out like this? If Xin Hui were here, would you dare to be so arrogant? Qing Xue was also indignant. If the strongest Qin Hui were here, they would have been able to suppress the other side. When they were about to launch an attack on Yi Long and the others, Qin Hui appeared at this moment, walking in from outside. Qin Hui's appearance immediately attracted everyone's attention, especially Yi Long and the others, who were extremely excited. Just as they had mentioned Qin Hui, he appeared. Brother Shen, finally, we see you. Shen Hui, Shen Hui, Shen Hui walked towards them. Ji Kailiang and Tu Xingqin looked over. Is he Shen Hui? They had heard Ji Long and the others mention Shen Hui's name more than once. Ji Kailiang also mostly knew that Shen Hui should be hiding in the water area. A more powerful person, similar to his brother Ji Kaishan. However, he believed that compared to his brother Ji Kaishan, Shen Hui was definitely not as strong. Maybe not even as strong as himself. After all, Yi Long's strength was a bit weaker than his own. The person who was flattering Ji Kailian directly looked at Xin Hui with killing intent. Are you Xin Hui? I advise you to let Yi Long and the others hand over the resources and then leave quickly. Ji Kailiang stared at Xin Hui with a threatening tone. What's the point of our boss talking to them? He's just a nobody, and he has no background. We have the advantage here, so we can just take him out. The flatterer urged Ji Kailian not to waste time and to act directly. At this time, someone recognized Xin Hui and began to whisper. That guy called Xin Hui has at least two places worth of resources on him. Yes, I just rushed over from another place, and he took our resources, and I heard the same from other places. This kind of discussion quickly reached Ji Kailian in Tu Xingqin's ears. When Ji Kailian heard that Xin Hui had resources from at least two places, his breathing suddenly became rapid. The resources from two places were all the purest world source power. It also contained some other precious resources. How much would that be? Even Tu Xingqin? who had originally wanted to advise against being too impulsive, dispelled the thought. His gaze toward Xin Hui was filled with greed. When Yi Long and the others heard this, they were also surprised. Brother Shen, do you really have so much on you? And Xin Hui not only nodded in agreement, but also directly admitted it without any reservation. It's not just two, it's four. Xin Hui's voice was not loud, but it clearly reached the ears of everyone present. For a moment, everyone quieted down leaving only the sound of rapid breathing and naked greed. Xin Hui seemed like a huge treasure, with four resources on him and the one in Yi Long's hand. That makes five. Here, we have half of the resources in the newborn world. Upon hearing Xin Hui's words, Yi Long immediately pulled him back and looked at him with a regretful expression. Brother Shen, why didn't you say so earlier? No, don't say it out loud. If you really have four, 
keep it low key and don't reveal it. I can just give them the one in my hand. Or should we run away and hide? Qing Xue suggested quietly. However, Xin Hui shook his head and lowered his voice. There are people from the Black Cloth organization here. Upon hearing Xin Hui's response, Yi Long and the others did not show too much surprise on their faces. As expected, Brother Shen also found something special? We had already anticipated it. But Brother Shen, what does this have to do with the present? Xin Hui did not continue to answer. We'll talk about these later. Give me the resources. I must obtain them. Upon hearing Shin Hui's decisive words, Yi Long and the others no longer had the idea of escaping. They handed over the resources in their hands to Shin Hui. Since Brother Shin said so, then we, before Yi Long could finish, Shin Hui interrupted directly, Stay away from me, I'll handle it myself. At this moment, Ji Kailiang stared at Shin Hui and said, Shin Hui, hand over all the resources on you, or you won't leave here today. Tu Xingqin also echoed, Don't blame us for taking action, you only have yourself to blame. Shin Hui sneered, You're not trustworthy, you killed people from the water area, and now you want to play tough? Since you said life and death are irrelevant, let's see if you have the ability. In an instant, both sides were at a standoff. The world created by Ji Kailiang enveloped Shin Hui and his group. Yi Long and the others did not leave as Shin Hui had suggested. Instead, they also enveloped the world. The onlookers were no longer just bystanders, but were preparing to take advantage of the situation. At this moment, Shin Hui established a connection with the death world. A terrifying danger surged out making everyone shudder. Just as he was about to unleash the death world, a voice came from afar. Tu Xingqin, what are you doing? Shen Hui, there must be a misunderstanding in this. The voice from afar once again drew everyone's attention. A large group of people came from a distance. It was the group that had come together after the death of the previous monster. Zhu Go Hong Jing, Sun Jing Jing, and Bai Fan were among them. The one shouting loudly was Bai Fan. The others might not know Bai Fan's identity. But Tu Xingqin certainly did. Bai Fan was the strongest person in their earth area. Even stronger than him. Bai Fan and the others already knew what had happened here. He immediately rushed over. Amidst the bewildered gazes of everyone. With a thud. He directly punched Tu Xingqin on the head. Tu Xingqin. Holding his head. Was puzzled and in pain. Brother Bai. What's going on? This person called Xin Hui has four resources on him. As long as we. Thud. Another punch causing Bai Fan to see stars. The force was visibly heavy. Speak. Not keeping your word is your fault. Wanting to attack others. You deserve to be hit. Tu Xingqin still didn't understand. Bai Fan's strength was obviously so strong. Even if he kept a low profile, it shouldn't be like this. However, he didn't dare to ask, as he feared for his safety. Bai Fan pulled Tu Xingqin and apologized to Xin Hui with a smile. Sorry, Xin Hui. We were in the wrong. We will withdraw from the competition and will not be your enemy. All people from the Earth District, follow me and retreat. Although all the people from the Earth District were confused, they knew that Bai Fan was very reliable. Since he asked them to do so, they followed his instructions. Now, it can be said that the top figures from each major district have arrived here. However, Zhu Go Hong Jing, Sun Jing Jing, and others from their district stopped their people, warning them not to have any evil intentions. The situation instantly turned around, leaving everyone puzzled. Especially for Ji Kailiang, doubts arose in his mind. Despite the abundant resources, why did no one want to seize them? Zhu Go Hong Jing, Sun Jing Jing, and Bai Fan, when they first encountered the initial wool creatures, recognized each other's top strength. Later, when Xin Hui appeared again and took away the resources, they found out that both sides had encountered Xin Hui before. They had either fought against him or witnessed him in action. After exchanging information, they discovered a fact about Shen Hui. He was extremely powerful, so powerful that they didn't know his limits. Every time they encountered Shen Hui, they found that the world he displayed was much stronger than before. This kind of strength was not just an improvement in power, but the world became more real. If a metaphor were to be made, it would be that after entering the initial world, the strength of the created world would be suppressed to 1% of its original power. Everyone was at 1% which meant there was no change. The strong remained strong, and the weak remained weak. However, Shen Hui directly broke through this limitation. Although he was still suppressed, he was only suppressed to about 40% of his original power. Compared to them, this created an insurmountable gap. 
This level directly severed the connection of the created world they had unfolded. Once they were included in the other's world, they would become ordinary people. It would be fine in a relatively normal world, but Shen Hui's world was extremely abnormal. He could directly rely on his created world to annihilate the initial will creatures. Of course, all of this was speculation based on the information Zhu Gu Hongjing, Sun Jingjing, and Bai Fan had gathered. Although it felt close to the truth, no one dared to be certain. However, regardless, the current Shen Hui was someone they dared not provoke. At least someone had to test Shen Hui and understand his specific strength. So, when they encountered Shen Hui again, they immediately ordered their people from the district to stay away and not to lay a hand on Shen Hui. Tu Xingqin was also directly pulled away by Bai Fan and apologized to Shen Hui. They didn't understand why, but the strongest in their district dared not act. Weren't they being foolish and seeking death? At the same time, they began to speculate on who Shen Hui really was. Yi Long and the others also looked at Shen Hui in surprise, relieved that so many people were not scrutinizing him. However, they didn't expect that they would be somewhat afraid of Shen Hui. Brother Shen, what's going on? What's wrong with them? Should we leave here first? This time, it was Yi Long who suggested to Shen Hui that they should leave first. However, Shen Hui still shook his head, paying no attention to everyone's focus on him. You guys retreat first, or else I'm afraid you'll become mentally ill. This time, Yi Long and the others immediately retreated, moving away from Shen Hui. In the battlefield now, only Ji Kailiang and a few others are confronting Shen Hui. However, at this moment, Ji Tsailiang's heart is already filled with doubts, and he is considering retreat. Although he is proud and arrogant, he is not a fool. He doesn't understand Shen Hui, but even a discerning person can see that Shen Hui is definitely problematic. What do you want to do? Ji Kailiang looked at Shen Hui. Breaking the tense atmosphere, Shen Hui smiled and glanced at him, then shifted his gaze to the people beside him. Shouldn't you be asking that? The resources are with me. Don't you want to take them? Killing people from our water district, regardless of life or death, right? With each word Shen Hui spoke, he took a step forward. In this atmosphere, a tremendous sense of oppression struck Ji Kailiang. He couldn't help but take a few steps back, knowing that this matter couldn't be easily resolved. But he still forced himself to shout, You are the true strongest in your water district, right? Yi Long is just a decoy. Hearing this, Ching Shui and Xiaoxianjian's eyes both turned to Yi Long. Yi Long felt a bit embarrassed and muttered softly, Being said like this, why do I feel inferior to ordinary people? Don't think I'm afraid of you. Like Yi Long, the strongest in our big district is my brother, Ji Kaishan. He, Ji Kailian looked around and found that Ji Kaishan had indeed not arrived. He's not here now, but if he comes, he will be the existence that you fear. Hearing Ji Kailian comparing himself to Ji Kaishan, Yi Long felt a lot more balanced. And as Xin Hui listened to Ji Tsailian's words, he was really afraid that he would burst out laughing. If he knew that he had already taken care of Ji Kaishan, what kind of expression would he have? At this moment, the people around Ji Kailian could see that he had no intention of continuing to fight here. Immediately someone shouted, Boss! What are you afraid of? They don't dare to come up because they are cowards. But we are not afraid. So many resources. If we grab them, they are ours. As he spoke, a large number of half-beast people appeared in the world created by Shen Hui. Surrounding him, in the absence of their leader Ji Tsailiang's command, they directly launched an attack on Shen Hui, opening the curtain. Seeing this, Ji Kailiang also directly materialized creatures from his created world to attack. Even if they were not a match, he didn't believe they couldn't escape, and when Ji Kaishan arrived, he would have nothing to fear. Seeing them launch the attack, Shen Hui immediately sensed a hint of a strange aura and confirmed it. He locked his gaze on the person next to Ji Kailiang, and the people around saw that Ji Kailiang and the others had summoned creatures to launch an attack. Shen Hui, however, stood still as if he had been scared silly, not even opening his own world. Immediately someone shouted to remind Shen Hui. But just as the attack was about to come, with Shin Hui at the center, a ripple spread out and, like an eraser, caused the creatures and the overlapping created world to dissipate. Ji Kaishan immediately sensed that he had lost contact with those disappeared creatures, but before he could confirm what had happened, the ripple directly enveloped them. In an instant, as they were enveloped, the scenery in their field of vision was no longer the appearance of the original world, but a desolate forest, unfamiliar and lifeless. He instinctively felt fear, loneliness, his body growing cold, 
Unable to help but want to curl up, some crazy yet fearful thoughts floated in his mind. He was completely cut off from his created world. He shouted in terror, Where is this place? All of this looked inexplicable to the people outside. Ji Kailiang stood there, his expression changing rapidly in a short period of time, but there was no expression of joy, only confusion, only pain. However, Zhuge Hongjing and others have seen that the space around Shenhui has completely distorted. It is no longer the newborn world, but has twisted into another world. They can now confirm that their previous speculation was not wrong. Shenhui revealed an evil smile and said in a low voice, This is hell. As the words fell, a thin and long ghostly figure appeared out of thin air. Its tentacles pierced directly into the limbs, causing sounds of painful screams. However, in the world of death, it formed a wonderful melody, causing the air to vibrate with excitement. Ji Kailian looked at his limbs in astonishment, feeling sore all over, but also feeling fortunate because the one being attacked was not himself, but the person who had just fought alongside him. At this moment, a woman in white appeared behind Ji Kailian and embraced him. The cold sensation immediately made Ji Kailian feel uneasy. Shin Hui's voice came again, Don't look back. If you don't want to die, tell me your relationship with him. In the death world where various negative emotions were amplified, Ji Tsailion's hidden malice, murderous intent, and greedy expression emerged in his eyes without his knowledge. Ji Tsailion's character was similar to Ji Tsaishan's, proud, arrogant, and vengeful, but with a bit more restraint. Shin Hui had reason to believe that even if they left the newborn world, the other party would definitely target them. Shin Hui did not want to leave any hidden dangers for himself. This person must not be left alive. Although he had a powerful background and was now in the sight of everyone, he couldn't just kill him without anyone knowing, like he did with Ji Kaishan. Killing Ji Kailiang would definitely be known to his father, unless there were no witnesses left, that is, to kill the person. Shin Hui was not yet so desperate as to be driven to such extremes, but there were other reasons to take action against Ji Kailiang, such as his collusion with the followers of the Giant God Sect. As for who the followers of the Giant God Sect were, it was the person whose limbs were pinned down by the thin and long ghostly figure. When mentioning Shin Hui's name and his subsequent actions, Shin Hui found that he was very hostile towards him, and when the world of creation launched an attack on him, Shin Hui finally confirmed that the other party was indeed a member of the giant god sect, because in it, Shin Hui felt a hint of the unique aura of the giant god world. Although he dared not be sure whether Ji Kailian was colluding with the followers of the giant god sect, the charge had already been established. Junzi, who was embracing Ji Kailian from behind, was like a boneless snake, directly entwining and facing Ji Kailian. The other party was instantly pulled into an illusion. Shin Hui decided to interrogate him. If there was indeed collusion, it would be even more interesting. Soon, Ji Tsailian's body began to convulse. Various negative emotions appeared on his face, and his distorted features merged together. And now, it was time for everyone to know about the giant god sect. The person pinned down by the thin and long ghostly figure saw Shin Hui looking at him and let out a loud laugh. Ha ha, it seems that you already know of our existence, but it's too late. Ha ha, kill me, and you will accompany me in death later. Shin Hui walked up to the other party, patting his face with his hand, and revealed a harmless smile. Do you know? Death is not the most terrifying thing. There is a pain far beyond death. Shin Hui clapped his hands, and the figure of the pig butcher appeared beside him. The slender ghostly figure used its tentacles to strip off the other person's clothes and hoist them up. The pig butcher opened a rolled up leather bag around his waist, inside of which hung a pig killing knife, tweezers, steel needles. This time, it was not for interrogation purposes, as they all had similar protective mechanisms within their bodies. It would trigger the giant world, just like last time, and nothing useful could be extracted. So the purpose this time was very simple, without concern for his death. It was just to unleash the giant world with extreme pain, for everyone to see. Among the crowds surrounding them, they were a bit far from Shin Hui, and it was unknown what they were saying inside. However, some information about Shin Hui spread. For example, being close to Shin Hui would disconnect one from their own created world. So in front of Shin Hui, people like Ji Kailiang had no resistance at all. However, many people also believed that Shin Hui only dared to threaten Ji Kailiang and would not dare to harm him. After all, his identity was at stake. But when they saw Ji Tsailiang's features twisted like a twisted dough due to various negative emotions, they realized that it might not be as simple as they had imagined. 
Even if they didn't kill him, it would cost him half his life. And those heroes of Xin Hui, what kind of creatures were they? They had never seen such a type before. It even added a hint of unknown fear to his created world. Even in Ji Tsilian's large area, those who wanted to help him dispelled the thought. Tu Xingqin was sweating profusely. If it weren't for Bai Fan pulling him away, he might have endured immense pain there. Those two punches were simply too valuable. He would even be willing to take a few more. They were quickly attracted by the people of the giant god sect who were stripping off their clothes. They didn't know why Shen Hui was taking off the other person's clothes. Did he have some special fetish? But not long after, a heart-wrenching scream appeared. It made them all gasp. Many people covered their eyes with their hands, and some even vomited on the spot. They saw the pig butcher cut open a seam on the other person's navel with a pig-killing knife. He used tweezers to pull out a piece of intestine, then wrapped it around a sharpening rod. With a sudden force, a large piece of intestine was pulled out from the belly. The people of the giant god sect instantly felt their bodies being emptied, emitting a miserable cry. The pig butcher wiped the bloodstains on his apron and put the large intestine into his mouth. With a sudden inhalation, just like sucking up noodles, he began to eat the fresh raw intestine. Everyone shuddered, feeling both disgusted and afraid. Even the gazes towards Xin Hui became strange, because Xin Hui was still so calm, as if this was completely normal. Yi Long covered his mouth, enduring the sourness in his throat. Brother Shen, Brother Shen, how did he become so perverted? Does he have such a fetish? And Qing Xuan and Xiao Xiang were busy vomiting, not even able to speak. At this moment, Shen Hui's calm and contented expression suddenly turned into an excited look. Just when everyone thought Shen Hui was perverted, simply wanting to torture the other person for enjoyment, Shen Hui released his own world of death. Sadako, the slender ghostly figure, and the pig butcher disappeared instantly. Ji Kailian was freed from the mental torment, but his eyes had become numb and lifeless as he collapsed to the ground. The people of the giant god sect were left with only half a breath, still not completely dead. A strange spatial fluctuation emanated from the person of the giant god sect, forming a newly unfolded world around them. Boom! With a thunderous sound, many tens of meters or even hundreds of meters tall giant creatures appeared all around, and the emanating familiar creatures immediately brought people's thoughts back to the chaotic day. Many people unconsciously shouted, It's the Black Cloth Organization! Some had already noticed the anomalies in the newborn world, such as Sun Jingjing and Zhuge Hongjing, although they had only speculated about it. But now, with the confirmation, they couldn't help but feel surprised. Now everyone understood the cruel and disgusting scene from earlier. After all, they had all witnessed the chaos caused by the Black Cloth Organization. Some of them, if not for their good luck, would have died back then. Xin Hui once again opened the world of death, and the world of giants collapsed under pressure. All the giant creatures disappeared one after another. Xin Hui looked around at the people and lifted up Ji Kailian like a dead dog. After questioning, it was confirmed that he had not colluded with the giant god sect, but under the instigation of the giant god sect, he had killed many people in order to compete for resources. Police sirens appeared behind Xin Hui, and his voice was broadcast through two large speakers into everyone's ears. Ji Kailian colluded with the giant god sect. Today, I will act on behalf of the heavens and kill him. Ji Kailian saw his brother go, witnessed by everyone. Amid cheers from the crowd, he was slapped by the police sirens and turned into a pulp. Even if their father knew about it, at least he wouldn't dare to do anything to them openly. However, everyone's thoughts were immediately drawn to the appearance of the members of the giant god sect. Even Shin Hui's vast resources were not enough to attract them. At first, they didn't know what the giant god sect was, but under Shin Hui's explanation, they learned about it. The giant god sect was the black cloth organization that had caused the previous chaos. The appearance of a member of an organization capable of causing such chaos indicated that this was a planned action. Fear and suspicion began to arise in everyone's hearts. There might even be members of the giant god sect among them. They no longer wanted to compete for resources in the newborn world, they just wanted to leave as soon as possible. After all, no matter how many resources there were, they still needed to have their lives. And Xin Hui had not told them about the giant god sect, the conspiracies he had learned about, and his own experiences. Xin Hui was afraid that they would fall into even greater panic and scatter to escape. Next, there was only one resource base left. As long as they obtained it, the newborn world would close, and they would be able to leave. Most of the members of the giant god sect would probably take action at that time. 
Although Shenhui had already made preparations, and with the resources they had plundered here, they had already gathered half of what they needed. He didn't know what kind of situation he would face when he unleashed his world of death in this state. Shen Hui didn't know, and the others didn't know either. But this was not something that Shen Hui could face alone. Moreover, if they were to split up, the members of the giant god sect might pick them off one by one. So going together was the best choice. Shen Hui looked at the crowd, didn't say much, and waited for them to finish their discussions. At this time, Yi Long and the others walked over. Seeing Shen Hui's gaze, they couldn't help but think of the cruel scene from before and shudder. Feeling awkward, they hesitated a bit. What? Are you still afraid I'll eat you? Shen Hui said somewhat speechlessly. Ha ha, of course not. It's just that I have a clearer understanding of Brother Shen's world. Yi Long said, then thought of something and said to Shen Hui, Brother Shen, about Ji Kailiang, don't worry, I'll talk to my dad about it when we get back. After all, he's one of the higher ups in the World Association. Shen Hui understood what he meant and nodded. Thank you. At this point, Xing Xue interjected. Shen Hui, what's going on? And what about those people from the giant god sect? Shen Hui did not provide specific details. Let's talk about it when we get out. The last resource point may be dangerous. Remember to stay close to me. They all nodded earnestly, knowing this was no joke and must be taken seriously. Zhuge Hongjing, Sun Jingjing, and Bai Fan were all discussing with their own group. Soon, everyone came to a unanimous decision. Just as Shen Hui had thought, they would set out together. No more fighting, to resolve the final resource point and end their journey in the primordial world. They also found Shen Hui and asked him to temporarily lead them. However, Shen Hui declined directly, seeming powerful and domineering, insisting that everyone must listen to him. In reality, it was a thankless task. Shen Hui didn't have such a strong sense of goodwill. The group set out together to the final resource point. However, after they left, a group of people in black appeared. The bodies on the ground were crushed into pulp by an invisible force, which gradually gathered to form a mound of flesh. As they walked, Shen Hui absorbed the resources in his hand. Many envious or jealous gazes were cast his way, but no one dared to act on it. Ignoring them, Shen Hui said to Yi Long and the others, You obtained this resource sphere, but I will absorb it first. After we leave, I will share the power of the world's origin that I obtain with you. However, Yi Long, Qing Xue, and Xiao Xiang all shook their heads. No, if it weren't for you, we might have been robbed by Ji Kailian and the others. So this is yours. Xin Hui didn't mind having more resources. Since they all said so, Xin Hui shamelessly took it. All right, I won't be polite then. With a somewhat heavy atmosphere, Xin Hui and the others soon arrived at the final resource point. Everything here seemed normal. A huge monster created by the primordial world stood in the distance, resembling a giant snot worm. Many people around were launching attacks. They had come from other places, ready to kill and seize the resources here. Unaware of what had happened with Shin Hui and the others, seeing so many people coming over, they couldn't help but show a helpless expression. This place had become the last resource point, making the competition even fiercer. However, as people from different regions told them what had happened, they lost their will to fight and just wanted to leave quickly. But Shin Hui's brow furrowed slightly. This was different from what he had expected. Since everyone had come, why hadn't the people from the giant god sect made a move? Once this monster died, they could leave. Facing this final monster containing the power of the world's origin, everyone wanted to seize it. Together, they had the strength to quickly defeat the other side. However, when Shin Hui approached the monster, everyone stopped. Competing with Shin Hui wasn't called seizing, it was called being reckless. Everyone was on guard both against their surroundings and against unfamiliar people nearby. Shen Hui also carefully approached the monster. He directly enveloped the monster with the power of the death world, which was the same size as the monster. Without fully exposing his strength, he decomposed the monster with the power of death. As the monster gradually melted, the resource sphere inside dropped out. Once this last resource sphere was absorbed, the primordial world would collapse. Shen Hui held the resource sphere in his hand and everyone looked at him with different expressions. They could return immediately. However, the doubt in Shin Hui's eyes grew stronger. Was everything going too smoothly? Had the people from the giant god sect all died? Or was their plan unable to be implemented? Or is there some other reason? But since it didn't appear and we were able to leave smoothly, that's the best outcome. 
Xinhui began to reach out and touch the power of the world's origin inside the resource sphere, which crazily poured into his body. Another newborn world will was plundered. After the entire resource sphere disappeared, there was still no change. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief, and it was time to return. However, as time passed, a full five minutes later, the newborn world still did not collapse, and the return passage did not open. Everyone was confused. According to reason, they should have returned immediately after the last resource sphere was absorbed. But five minutes had passed, and nothing had changed. They were still in the same place, and the newborn world still had not changed. Chaos began to appear among the crowd. Some even said that they might be trapped here and unable to leave. But at that moment, a sudden change occurred. The earth suddenly began to tremble violently. The thin mist around them began to dissipate. Cracks appeared in the sky as if glass was shattering. An uneasy feeling instantly filled the air. This scene, like the end of the world, startled everyone. Ha ha, want to leave here? Impossible. This is no longer the newborn world. At that moment, a loud voice came from a distance. Everyone turned to look, and a group of dozens of people dressed in black walked over. Everyone was shocked, these were the people of the Black Robe Organization, the followers of the Giant God Sect. They even recognized some of the people from the Giant God Sect, who they had met and spoken with before, and teamed up with, but they had separated for various reasons. They hadn't expected the other party to be right there with them. And what did the other party mean by saying this was no longer the newborn world? Where were they now? Most people looked confused, gazing at this broken world. There seemed to be something different indeed. Xinhui squinted at the appearance of these followers of the giant god sect. Unable to return, it was indeed related to them. But was this really no longer the newborn world? Only the final sacrifice is needed to welcome the miracle, to welcome the great him, and the world where he and they are. The followers of the giant god sect who appeared had a mad look in their eyes. They all prostrated themselves on the ground, as if embracing the earth, and as if worshipping something. As their words fell, columns of light rose into the sky in the distance. There were a total of nine, emitting a terrifying power. Looking at those columns of light, Xinhui suddenly felt small and insignificant, as if everything around him was so vast. Coming to his senses, Xinhui realized that these nine columns were the spatial coordinates of the giant god world, and the positions where these columns of light appeared. Xinhui opened his half-closed eyes, and many of them were the directions where he had previously plundered the world's origin. So the positions from which these columns of light emanated were exactly the nine resource locations where the world's origin had been taken. Xinhui immediately understood why they had not returned, why the followers of the giant god sect would say that this was not the newborn world and that only the final sacrifice was needed. The followers of the giant god sect, through sacrifice, had the will of the giant god world replaced the will of the newborn world. When the will of the newborn world was completely replaced, the giant god world would completely descend. No, it shouldn't be said to descend, but the newborn world would be completely transformed into the giant god world. And now, all that was left was their sacrifice here and the will of the giant god world could completely replace the will of the newborn world. This was not just a matter of them being wiped out here. Perhaps this place would also be turned into a springboard for the invasion of the alien race on the blue star. The severity of the situation was beyond their imagination. Nine pillars of light converged, and the sky was collapsing. However, instead of revealing the darkness representing nothingness, another sky was revealed. That sky was so magnificent and huge. No! There is still a chance. The will of the nascent world has not disappeared. It has just been plundered by me. Shin Hui's eyes were cold, and he still had the capital to fight. Welcome him, and begin the sacrifice. The people of the giant god sect suddenly shouted. Among the crowds in the five major regions, someone suddenly unfolded their own created world, releasing the creatures inside to start attacking those still in shock around them. Unprepared people began a massacre. They all had a fanatical look on their faces. All of them were members of the giant god sect lurking among the crowd. The sound of screams was continuous. Some people immediately reacted and unfolded their own created world to counterattack. In an instant, the crowd was in chaos. Whether it was the dead created beings or the creatures in the created world, their bodies were all subjected to some kind of force and directly turned into a pile of flesh, slowly gathering together. The sacrifice had begun and Xinhui could not sit idly by. World, unfold. As Xinhui's words fell, the world of death did not completely unfold. 
It just expanded the range of the death world, encompassing all the people here. In an instant, all the created worlds were suppressed. They all, regardless of friend or foe, turned into ordinary people, and the created worlds also disappeared one after another. Xinhui successfully prevented the continuation of the sacrifice. The surrounding environment also began to transform, becoming the environment of the world of death. Giant figures appeared everywhere, and skeletal bodies emerged from the mist. The battlefield was instantly under Shin Hui's control. Next, it was time to settle the members of the giant god sect. Although it would cause irreparable mental trauma to many people, it was no longer a concern. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief, thankful that Shin Hui was there. Although it made them extremely uncomfortable and unable to suppress thoughts of bad or fearful things, at least they wouldn't die. This scene also shocked the members of the giant god sect immensely, because Shin Hui had never completely unfolded the world of death before. It was only when he plundered resources earlier that he expanded the range of the death world to the extent of melting monsters within a hundred meters, not to mention that he had plundered so much of the will of the nascent world afterwards. So now, Shin Hui's range of the death world had exceeded a thousand meters, which greatly shocked them. This is another world here. You can actually bring your own world to a large area. The members of the giant god sect shouted madly, but as they shouted, they began to laugh heartily. But, ha ha ha, do you think this can stop us? Self-sacrifice. With the shout of a member of the giant god sect, the rest of the members echoed. They all had a short knife in their hands, with fanatical eyes, and without hesitation, they directly cut their own throats. All the members of the giant god sect committed suicide at the same time. After they died, a strange spatial fluctuation appeared in their bodies, which could unleash a part of the power of the world of giants. Their bodies also turned into a pile of flesh, gathering together to form strange patterns resembling mountains, rivers, and the earth. The tenth pillar of light rose from the flesh mountain. Under the power of the world of giants, it tore a rift in Shin Hui's world of death. The pillar of light successfully merged with the other nine pillars through the crack. Ten pillars of light assembled. The sky of the nascent world instantly shattered and turned into another incredibly vast sky. The earth and space were infinitely magnified. The nascent world completely disappeared and became what the giant god sect called the world of giants. All the members of the giant god sect have died, and Shinhui has temporarily withdrawn from the world of death. They all broke free from the world of death. Everyone stared wide-eyed, looking around at the unfamiliar new environment. Is that, is that a mountain? What kind of tree is that? It's so huge. Someone looked at the distant surroundings and asked in confusion. But soon someone tremblingly replied, No, no, that's not a mountain. It's just a pebble. That's not a tree. It's just a blade of grass. Everyone suddenly realized that everything here was so huge. They seemed like ants in this world. In the World Association headquarters that opened the passage to the newborn world in the Sea of Stars, it has been almost three days since the newborn world was opened. The heads of the branches in each major area are waiting here for the end of the newborn world. However, at this moment, there was a loud and intense noise coming from outside. All the branch heads showed a hint of joy. Is the newborn world about to end? It's two days earlier than we expected. Ha ha, this just shows that they are much stronger than we expected. I wonder which major area plundered the most resources this time. We should compare. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's go and meet them. The five branch heads each with a different smile on their faces, walked out of the headquarters and arrived beneath the newborn world. The iron chains that bound the newborn world were shaking violently at this moment. This was a sign that the newborn world was about to collapse and the return channel was opening. However, the branch head of the water area, Shi Yen, immediately noticed something unusual. She pointed at the star chain and asked with a hint of unease, Has such a phenomenon occurred before in the star chain? The other four branch heads looked to where Chi Yen was pointing, their faces changing. Such a phenomenon has never occurred in the star chain before. The inscriptions on the star chain began to flicker continuously and dimmed more and more. Soon, the inscription on one of the star chains went out completely. Countless cracks spread across it. Bang! The star chain broke with a loud sound, turning into countless tiny fragments that scattered in the sea of stars. And with the breaking of the first star chain, it was as if it triggered a chain reaction. Tens of thousands of star chains broke one after another at the same time. A large number of star chain fragments spread across the sky. Not good. Something's wrong with the newborn world. The five branch heads of the World Association's faces turned serious. The star chain bound the newborn world. 
preventing it from escaping and establishing a connection with the sea of stars to open the channel. Even if the newborn world collapsed, it would not affect the star chain and could be recovered. But now, all the star chains had broken. What on earth had happened in the newborn world? Most of the elites of their generation were gathered inside. Before they could recover from the shock of the star chain breaking, the newborn world, freed from its constraints, began to expand violently. The rapid expansion distorted the surrounding space. It seemed to have only doubled in size, but judging from the distorted and folded space, the newborn world had expanded by at least tens of times. All the branch heads noticed the changes in the newborn world and realized that the situation was very bad. Damn, the newborn world has been replaced by other worlds. We must open the channel and let everyone return. But the star chain has already broken. The newborn world has changed. If we forcefully break it from the outside, once the world's will inside rejects it, it may cause the world to collapse directly and annihilate everyone. But the situation is urgent. We can't care about that much. Let's try. There's still a chance. Level 2 alert. No. Level 1 alert. Immediately notify the World Association in all areas. The orders were given. And the members at the World Association headquarters here immediately sounded the alarm. Five branch presidents stood attentively beneath the distorted, drastically changed newborn world. Each of them had a small spherical ball floating above their brows. These spheres emitted a terrifying aura, immediately causing the surrounding space to collapse. Upon closer observation, one could see various strange creatures and natural features within these spheres. This was a complete miniature of the worlds created by these branch presidents. These five miniature worlds merged into the space, guided by their masters. The will of the worlds and the power of the rules began to envelop the newborn world undergoing a transformation. Because their worlds were too powerful, they had to be extremely cautious to avoid rejection by the will of the world. Otherwise, the transformed newborn world would completely collapse. However, while it was easy to say, it was incredibly difficult to execute. After careful perception, there was simply no opportunity to invade it. They could only take a risk and attempt to forcefully open a passage for everyone to return. As for how many people could return from it, they dared not be certain. The five wills of the worlds forcefully attacked the transformed newborn world. However, when the wills of the worlds collided and the rules began to intertwine, their combined efforts were unable to shake it. This transformed newborn world was protected from the outside by an even more powerful will and rules. To dismantle it, they had to break it open from the inside. The faces of the five became even more grim. This was undoubtedly a premeditated plan. Everyone within the transformed newborn world were students, how could they possibly break it open? If they couldn't find a way, not only would they die within it, but the changes in the newborn world might bring about even more disastrous consequences. No one had anticipated that this journey to the newborn world would bring about such serious consequences. However, just as the five branch presidents were at a loss and preparing to consider other options, another transformation occurred within the transformed newborn world above their heads. The enormous, Distorted newborn world now resembled a withering flower. A black aura of death overflowed from within, causing the protective will and rules of the newborn world to begin to disintegrate. The world was also continuously shrinking. However, this change did not last long, and the two forces began to stalemate. But the five branch presidents were delighted in the face of this change. Someone is launching an attack from within the world. This aura is unfamiliar. Who could have such power? Although the others did not know. Shi Yen was very familiar. He was shocked, as this unique world aura was none other than Shen Hui's world of death. He actually had such power, but now was not the time to think about these things. Shi Yen quickly spoke up, regardless, this is a good thing. Find the opportunity and prepare to guide them. Returning to the newborn world that had just transformed into the world of giants, everyone looked around in confusion and fear. Smooth and angular giant mountains, giant trees with green trunks, turned out to be pebbles and small grass, and they, like ants. Where is this? Isn't this the newborn world? Someone murmured. Is this the doing of the followers of the giant gods? Has the newborn world turned into another world? Ya Long nervously clenched his fists and looked at Shen Hui with a trembling voice. Brother Shen, do you know where this is? Xing Xue, Xiao Xiangyan, and the people around them all looked over. Shen Hui nodded, this should be the world of giants the world believed in by the followers of the giant gods. Upon hearing Shen Hui's words, someone immediately looked around vigilantly. Thinking of something, they immediately launched their own world of creation to be on guard. Fortunately, 
The world of creation was successfully launched, and their created creatures could come out. However, at this moment, a shadow descended from the sky and covered everyone. Looking up, a pair of wings covered the sky and passed over them. Then the owner of the wings landed in front of them, and a huge bird beak pecked down. It directly ignored the attacks of creatures in the world, and swallowed them whole. A common little bird placed in their world, an existence that could have been easily crushed underfoot. In the world of giants, it became something unshakable. The world they created was subject to the rules of the giant world, and their strength became incredibly small. They were completely powerless. It felt like hitting a rock with an egg. A sense of powerlessness overwhelmed them. Everyone became extremely panicked in an instant. The world they created lost its ability to protect them. Here, they were like fish waiting to be slaughtered. The giant bird wanted to continue pecking at them, but then there was a sudden earthquake. The giant bird flew away, and an even broader shadow was cast. A towering pillar that couldn't be seen to the end appeared in front of them. As the pillar moved, the earth trembled even more violently. The powerful oppression felt like suffocating under a towering wave. Their skin stung, feeling like they were about to burst. It was then that everyone realized that it wasn't a pillar at all. It was a giant leg. The owner of this leg stood tall and majestic, like a god. It was impossible to see the whole body. This was him. No, it wasn't him. He lacked divinity. And even the world of giants couldn't bear his presence. He was just an ordinary creature in his world. But even as an ordinary creature, he was still terrifyingly powerful, possessing the ability to destroy the world. Everyone panicked fearing that if he took one step, they would all be crushed into pulp. Among them, Shin Hui felt a chill. The powerful gaze struck him, freezing him in place. The indistinct giant was looking at him. Shin Hui shuddered and came to his senses. He had encountered this so-called world of giants before. It was time to break free from here, or there would be danger. A huge hand, like the sky, reached down from above. Even if everyone tried to escape, they couldn't escape from this sky. Some resigned themselves, standing dumbfounded or weeping in place, but others looked to Shin Hui, hoping for something from him. At this moment, Shin Hui silently uttered, world of death, fully unfold. As Shin Hui's silent utterance fell, the world changed in an instant. The will of the original world, mixed with the rules of death, swept through and impacted the world of giants. The giant's movement stopped, and its body flickered continuously, accompanied by a furious, ear-piercing roar, the giant's figure disappeared like a bubble. The entire world seemed to be covered in a layer of black shadow. The sky began to shatter, revealing another sky that was pitch black and heavy. The earth turned into black, putrid mud, and the tall grass in front of them withered instantly. The breath of death filled the air, and everyone's negative emotions began to be pulled. The rules of the two worlds began to collide. Their bodies began to grow larger. Or rather, everything around them began to shrink. Soon, Compared to everything around them, they became normal in size. The world of giants was transforming into Shin Hui's world of death. This time, everyone didn't feel afraid because of the terrifying negative emotions. Instead, they felt incredibly familiar and excited. Because this was the breath of Shin Hui's created world that they were familiar with. Shan Hui, you are so powerful. You are our savior. If it weren't for you, we might have all died just now. How did you do it? This world has actually become your created world. The people around started shouting in excitement, their voices echoing in the aftermath. Shen Hui's actions shocked them, as he was able to bring his world to such an extent. They thought they were safe now. However, Shen Hui's expression was not excited at all. Instead, it became serious. Shen Hui's plan was to rely on the plundered will of the newborn world to bring about the complete arrival of the death world, in order to drive away the giant world. However, the death world did not arrive directly through summoning, but by modifying the world through changing the will. So, when Shin Hui's death world arrived halfway, it was deadlocked with the will of the giant world. The two world rules mixed together, each occupying half, evenly matched. The abnormal changes in the world stopped. The others also noticed this problem. They, who were just excited, immediately became irritable or afraid. Some even started questioning Shin Hui loudly about what was happening. In an attempt to cover up their inner unease, Shin Hui ignored them, as their state was caused by the amplification of negative emotions, and if this continued, their situation would only get worse, they might even lose their sanity and be deprived of life. But Shin Hui had no time for them, because in the distance, 
Several huge figures interwoven in the sky were approaching, and these giants were surrounded by the death aura unique to the death world. This made them immune to the withering of life in the death world, as well as the amplification of various negative emotions. Xin Hui knew that this was the result of the fusion of the power of the two rules. But if the other party could have the characteristics of their own world, then they could also have the characteristics of the other world. With a thought, several equally huge figures interwoven in the clouds appeared beside Xin Hui. The figures of Sadako, the pig butcher, and Fumi's figure were hundreds of meters tall, and the head of the siren and the slender ghost shadow were even thousands of meters tall. Looking up from below through the lingering mist, only a huge black shadow could be seen, like a walking evil god in the world. It brought unknown fear, washing away the rationality of all who looked at them. The huge siren head played a piercing audio, pulling everyone back from the overwhelming fear. Those who woke up were all panting heavily, as if they had been pulled back from the brink of life and death. However, in such a short time, some people's spirits had suffered great damage, and they became insane, without paying attention to these people. All the heroes on Shin Hui's side confronted the oncoming giants and began to fight each other. At the same time, the undead in the death world also appeared in huge forms from all around. However, even if they continued to fight and win, it would be useless if they couldn't break the giant world. They would definitely need to think of other ways. Shin Hui suddenly realized that his death world was deadlocked with the giant world, but he had not completely plundered the will of the newborn world. As long as he could fully plunder it, there would be hope and the rest of the will of the newborn world was hidden in the resources plundered by the others. Shin Hui's voice echoed through the horn of the siren head. Everyone, help me. Release all the resources you have plundered to me. Everyone looked up with slightly distorted faces at the siren head where the voice was coming from. Those who still had their wits about them immediately understood. They directly released the resources of the newborn world they had obtained. When a light ball appeared on the ground, it was like triggering a chain reaction. More and more light balls appeared on the ground, adorning it like a starry sky. The death world greedily absorbed the stars on the ground, with a trace of the world's original power. It merged into the world of death, mixed in with the weak will of the newborn world. It began to slowly peel away. The power of the world's origin was replenished, and the vision of this world began to change once again. The sky, which had not yet collapsed, began to crack once more. The mist of loss also began to appear. Shrouding the world in an unknown veil, Shin Hui previously controlled six shares of the will of the newborn world. The remaining four shares had almost completely returned to Shin Hui from the rest of the people. As the will of death and the power of the rules intertwined in this world, the will and rules of the giant world began to decay and wither. The two worlds were no longer in a mixed state, but were being suppressed by the world of death. The power of death on the giants began to be deprived. Without protection, they immediately felt suffocated uneasy, and fearful. Their figures began to flicker like foam shadows. Bang! With the sound of an explosion, the giant's figures began to dissipate. In the distance, within the dense fog, a withered forest and a huge factory were situated on the earth. A sacred place different from the pollution of death and negative emotions gradually appeared. All of these changes indicated that this world was about to truly become Shin Hui's world of death. However, there was no one cheering anymore. Outside, they could be the creators of their own world. But here, they were just ordinary people in the world of death. Stronger negative emotions washed over them, causing their rationality to collapse, their emotions to become abnormal, and their spirits to become distorted. Only a small number of people could barely maintain their composure. Shin Hui had no way to take care of everyone. He only allowed Yi Long and the others to enter the sacred place, the land of rebirth. As for the rest, all Shin Hui could do was to quickly end everything here, let them leave before causing permanent damage. However, it was almost over, with only the last trace of the will of the giant world remaining. Once it decayed, everything would return. But at this moment, another change occurred. In the sky of the world of death, a point suddenly appeared. That point rapidly expanded, carrying an unstoppable and indestructible force, disregarding the rules of the world of death. No! It should be said to transcend the rules of the world of death. In the blink of an eye, it turned into a spherical shape covering the sky with angular edges. The sphere stretched out, transforming into a huge palm, and it continued to rapidly expand. It grew so large that it even surpassed the size of the world of death. Within the world of death, it was impossible to even glimpse the full appearance of a single finger. The world of death was enveloped by a huge palm, 
sinking into eternal night. A powerful, terrifying force that made the world of death tremble appeared. Blood oozed from every inch of everyone's body. Their internal organs were almost bursting from the pressure. If it weren't for the protection of the world of death, they would surely have turned into a mist of blood. This power was extremely overbearing, carrying a destructive force that crushed and disregarded everything. This was a power with a hint of divinity. Coming from him, it was just a negligible trace, yet it surpassed everything. In front of this giant hand, Shin Hui's world of death was like a grain of sand. Cracks began to appear in the sky of the world of death, showing signs of collapse. Shin Hui's expression instantly became extremely serious. The other party wanted to directly shatter and annihilate his own world. Let all those who followed the world's destruction be buried in nothingness. However, just as Shin Hui felt that there was no way to save everything, five forces from the other created worlds surged in. They directly helped the world of death resist the powerful pressure. Then, even more forces poured in. The collapse was stopped. At first, these five forces guided Shin Hui. When Shin Hui was accepted by the world of death, a huge spatial channel appeared in the sky. Everything around began to blur. The world of death of Shin Hui also began to be forcibly closed. They seemed to turn into water, and everything around disappeared, including the giant palm. Finally, only the spatial channel above the sky remained. Shin Hui felt like he was being flushed away like a toilet, sucked into the spatial channel. Everything went black, and his consciousness became hazy. In a daze, Shin Hui turned into an ant standing in the giant palm. With a slight movement from the other party, Shin Hui's whole body began to crack. However, just as it was about to completely collapse, a large amount of black substance, like mist but solid, gushed out from the cracks all over the body. These substances fell on the giant palm, began to penetrate, breed, divide, and multiply, and began to devour. In an instant, it turned into a vast ocean, directly swallowing the giant palm. In a moment, Shin Hui felt like he had become a towering and magnificent giant. His consciousness began to dissipate. After an unknown period of time, perhaps a minute, perhaps decades, his consciousness recovered. A fragrance scent wafted to his nose, and his head felt incredibly soft. However, Shin Hui's head was extremely heavy, and he could not fully appreciate this wonderful feeling. He reluctantly opened his eyes and found himself lying in the arms of Qi Yen. She was half squatting, using her legs as a pillow for Shin Hui. Seeing Shin Hui wake up, she exclaimed with excitement, Thank goodness, you're awake. Shin Hui shook his dizzy head and briefly stopped his thoughts. Suddenly, he remembered everything that had happened before. He wanted to break free from Qi Yen and stand up, and asked urgently, Captain, how long have I been unconscious, and what happened before? Qi Yen helped Shin Hui stand up and said, Don't be agitated. It's safe now. You were only unconscious for more than 10 minutes, and everyone has returned. Shin Hui stood up and suddenly realized that he was in the sea of stars. The others who were still unconscious were lying around, including Yi Long, Xi Ying Shui, Xiao Xiang Yin, Zhu Ge Hong Jing, Sun Jingjing. Everyone was here. There were also many World Association staff members here, checking everyone's injuries. Some senior members of the World Association had also arrived, including the guardian organization where Yi Etian was. Representatives from the major families in each region had also come. Soon, Shin Hui was captivated by the scene in the sky. A desolate planet, like a meteorite, was disintegrating and slowly turning into powder, dissolving into the starry sky. That planet is the previous primordial world. Shin Hui looked up and realized that it was the power that had helped and guided him before. It must have been Qi Yen and the others, without their support. He and everyone else would probably have been slowly disintegrating into nothingness along with this desolate primordial world. It's really hanging by a thread. Shin Hui sighed, but was soon attracted by a loud shout nearby. Where are my sons? Jitsai Shan and Jitsai Liang. Jitsai Shan. Jitsai Liang. Watching the middle-aged man shouting and searching everywhere among the people lying on the ground. Shin Hui knew that he was the father of Jitsai Shan and Jitsai Liang. There was a sword-like symbol on his clothes, which should be the organization he belonged to in the World Association. However, Shin Hui did not know the specifics. After searching around, he did not see the figures of Jitsai Shan and Jitsai Liang. His expression suddenly became sorrowful and resentful. Why haven't my sons come back? How could they have died in there? Soon, a small group of people walked over from the side. They were all wearing clothes with the same sword-like symbol as him. G-X-I-N-Fong. Let's go. 
Things here are not finished yet. We'll ask about the specific situation after everyone wakes up. One of them, who seemed to be the leader of their group, patted Gxin Feng on the shoulder. They then left the area. Shenhui watched their departing figures and asked Qi Yin, who was supporting herself, President, what organization are they? And who is that person with Ji Kailiang and Ji Kaishan? Shi Yen looked at Shen Hui and answered his question. They are the sword organization of the World Association, which is opposed to the Guardian's organization in protecting the Blue Star. Their main responsibility is to explore the Star Sea and destroy worlds that pose a threat. The person called Ji Xian Feng is the father of Ji Kaishan and Ji Kailiang. I heard that the talents of those two brothers are not weak, but they have not come out of the primordial world, so they have obviously died in it. It's no wonder he's like this, Shi Yen said with a sigh. The number of people returning this time was about one third less than those who entered. This death rate is already very terrifying. But Shen Hui's words at this time directly pulled Shi Yen out of his sadness. And with a shocked look, he looked at Shen Hui. President, I think it's necessary for you to investigate GXIN Feng. He may be colluding with the Black Robe Organization. Shen Hui, this is not something to be said lightly. How do you know? And what exactly happened inside? Shi Yan's eyes became serious. They had already guessed that this incident was related to the Black Robe Organization. However, the specific situation still needed to be asked of Shen Hui and the others who experienced it. Shen Hui naturally knew that Gxin Feng probably did not collude with the cult of the Great God. After all, when interrogating Ji Kaishan before, there was no suspicious information in this regard. However, he had already killed Ji Kaishan and even used the pretext of colluding with the cult of the great god. Whether or not there was collusion, he would first shift the blame and then prove his innocence. Soon, Shen Hui recounted what had happened when they entered the primordial world. Of course, some things about himself were omitted, such as Ji Kaishan being killed by him. Listening to Shen Hui's account, Shi Yan's expression became more and more serious. Just from the events that Shen Hui had not yet explained in detail, it was clear what kind of danger they had experienced the cult of the great god, so that's the name of their organization, Shi Yen muttered, as if she had realized something, then she looked at Shin Hui, since you said that Ji Kaishan was with the people from the cult of the great god, it's very possible, I will immediately report this matter for investigation, then Shi Yen noticed Shin Hui's concern, don't worry, even if this matter is not true, with your successful rescue of these people, Ji Xian Feng wouldn't dare to do anything to you, you have made a great contribution. When I report this, you will definitely be rewarded. However, Shen Hui's expression became a bit strange, and then he whispered, President, these people may have been in a prolonged coma because of my world. Is that okay? Shi Yan suddenly remembered the special nature of Shen Hui's world, and during the previous turmoil, the mental state of those who had also entered Shen Hui's world. Suddenly, she felt a little overwhelmed. Among this group of people, Many of them might have suffered mental trauma, but this was much better than the result of all of them dying. Don't worry, being alive is always better than being dead. With follow-up treatment, they should be fine. Then Chi Yen said with a meaningful tone, Your world is very extraordinary, to be able to reach this level. Be careful, it's best not to reveal the situation in your created world to others. Shin Hui nodded, You continue to rest, I'll go handle other matters. Chi Yen left. Shen Hui sat against a huge piece of rubble, watching everyone busy around. Before long, someone else woke up. It was Yi Long and the others. After all, they had been placed in the new world by Shen Hui, so their mental state was relatively normal. People from the Yi family and the Xiao family were there taking care of Yi Long, Xiao Xiangyan, and Qing Xu Wei. Yi Yitian was also among them. Seeing them wake up unharmed, everyone breathed a sigh of relief. After waking up, they quickly looked around. Upon hearing the accounts of those around them, they knew they were safe. Finally, when they saw Shen Hui's figure, they also breathed a sigh of relief. Yi Long said something to Yi Tian, and the people from the Yi and Xiao families cast grateful glances at Shen Hui. Then they began to walk over. Shen Hui could roughly guess that Yi Long had also told them about the general events in the New World. It was Shen Hui who had saved everyone. Shen Hui was about to get up and go over to greet Yi Long and the others when suddenly he felt a dizzying pain in his head. Shen Hui went limp and collapsed on the ground. An abnormality had occurred in his death world. Before Shen Hui could investigate, his consciousness immediately began to dissipate, and he passed out again. When Shen Hui woke up again, 
he felt something very soft beneath him. Of course, this time he wasn't lying in someone's arms. He was lying on a hospital bed. Shen brother, you're awake. Yi Long's voice came from beside him, and Shen Hui turned to look. He was sitting by the bed, peeling a banana. Where is this? How long have I been unconscious? Yi Long handed the peeled banana to Shen Hui. This is the World Association's base in the Starry Sea. You've been unconscious for about three hours. The others have all been brought in as well. Shen brother, are you okay? Shen Hui didn't immediately answer Yi Long's question, because he didn't know if he was okay. Shen Hui closed his eyes and began to immerse his mind in his death world. As soon as he entered, Shen Hui realized that his world had changed. The world level had been raised from level 3 to level 4. There were also some other new things, but what caught Shen Hui's attention the most was the most obvious. That was the sky in the death world. It was full of dense cracks. He had escaped from the giant hand, but before escaping, he had caused the sky to crack, damaging the death world. But Shen Hui was relieved. The cracking of the sky only meant that the rules of the world had been damaged, making the world unstable. But this did not harm the fundamental world, that is, the will of the world. As long as the world's original power was spent, or some special items and materials were used, the world could be repaired. Anything that could be solved with the world's original power was not a big deal. After all, all the world's original power obtained in this trip to the new world, from the beginning when he plundered it himself, to later when he made others hand it over to fight against the giant world, was now in Shin Hui's possession. As for giving it back to others, only if Shin Hui's head was caught in a door would he do such a thing. This was the money they used to shelter Shin Hui. Shin Hui had become the biggest winner of this trip to the new world. Death world world size, 287 kilometers world level, level 4 creation units, 5, hero units, 2425, normal units, birth special area, 5 kilometers of newborn soil world characteristics, lost mist, decaying vitality distortion homogeneous level, 1 bond, giant world origin, 50, 000 with a full calculation of 50,000 world origins. Even if the death world is repaired, at most only half will be spent. Not to mention that Shen Hui still has the essence of the breath of life that has not been exchanged, temporarily relieved. Shen Hui did not rush to repair the world. He began to check the people inside the newborn soil, who were quite frightened but still relatively safe. Next, it was Shen Hui's heroes. Shen Hui found that their levels had actually started to rise. Sadako's level has been raised to level 3. Telekinesis control is no longer triggered by eye contact and can directly control the opponent through the invasion of fear emotions pig butcher's level has been raised to level 3. Consuming raw meat not only restores injuries but also increases body size and strength, and the toughness of the pig mask has been enhanced Fu Jen's level has been raised to level 3. The source of obsession no longer targets males, and can also seduce females, but the seduction time has been extended Siren Head's level has been raised to level 3. The spread of fear effect has been enhanced, Units affected by fear will have their consciousness blanked out Slender Man's level has been raised to level 2. The special dimensional effect has been enhanced, reducing the time it takes to project from a higher dimensional space to the world the level increase of all the heroes has enhanced their abilities in various ways. Coupled with the death world reaching level 4, the overall strength of the death world has been raised to another level. After confirming everything was correct, Shin Hui began to sense another kind of power permeating the death world. That feeling. Shen Hui suddenly opened his eyes, sitting on the edge of the bed. Yi Long, who was about to peel another banana for himself, was startled by Shen Hui's sudden movement, and the banana in his hand fell to the ground. Before he could pick it up, Yi Long hurriedly asked, What's wrong? What power? Shen Hui calmed down from his excitement. Nothing, just talking in my sleep. You continue eating the banana. Shen Hui directly took the banana that Yi Long had just peeled for himself and handed it back to him. Without waiting for him to come to his senses, Shin Hui closed his eyes and returned to the death world. This power is the same source as the giant world. This feeling, could it be the illusion that appeared when my consciousness was fuzzy before? Shin Hui carefully felt it. He remembered the illusion that appeared when his consciousness was fuzzy before he returned. He was about to be crushed to death by a giant hand, but turned into countless black substances that devoured the other party. He gained the other party's power and became a giant. Could it be that those were not just illusions? The power of devouring is the power now scattered in the death world. Shin Hui began to gather the power of these scattered giants and gathered them all in one place. The gathered power turned into a radiance, gradually condensing into a card, 
falling into Shin Hui's hand. Titan's power level, special effect, contains special power. In turn, can be used to create giant individuals Titan's power. A special card. Titan, is that the creature in the giant world? Shin Hui remembered that when he was first interrogated by the giant god sect, the other party mentioned the word Titan, combined with the name of the scattered power. It was confirmed that those were the Titan creatures. However, Shin Hui was not clear about how these Titans were. However, after telling this information to Qi Yin, they should be able to know what. These scattered powers can be used to create huge individuals. Should be just like those giants. Very large and very strong. Shin Hui began to mutter and think about what kind of huge creature he could create. In a normal world, Shin Hui could just create a giant. But unfortunately, he couldn't. However, Shin Hui quickly thought of the bonds he had with the giants. Siren had in long thin shadow. Although their sizes were not very exaggerated, they were also giants. And with them of the same type. Shen Hui thought of a special cosmic worldview. This cosmic worldview includes monsters like Siren Head. And Siren Head's size is considered the smallest in it. There are even larger monsters. The name of this universe is called the Trevor Henderson Monster Universe. And these huge monsters also have another name, called Titan Monsters. Of course, this Titan is not the Titan believed by the giant god church, but they all have the most superficial meaning of the word Titan, which is incredibly huge. Shin Hui confirmed the abilities that this Titan power card could unleash. Then he confirmed the amount of world source power needed, which should not affect the world's restoration, and some development of his own world. Finally, he determined the range that the dead world could bear. Shin Hui estimated that he could use the Titan power card to create a monster of about a thousand kilometers in size. The size of long thin shadow and siren head is usually over 10 meters, at most reaching over 20 meters, about a thousand kilometers. This is a world of difference. The strength is naturally beyond doubt. Once created, the strength of Shin Hui's dead world will undergo a qualitative change. When facing the world of giants, even the ordinary creatures inside are so powerful. At that time, Shin Hui felt the need for a force to counter them. And Shin Hui planned to use the power of the Titan to create a monster, called the 18th Day. At the same time, he also had another name, called the Wandering Misfortune, the 18th Day. However, Shin Hui prefers to call it the Wandering Misfortune. He also has a brother, called the Seventeenth Day, who also has an alias, known as the Wandering Faith. The two of them have opposing natures. The Wandering Faith represents angels, while the Wandering Misfortune represents demons. So the Wandering Misfortune is more in line with Shin Hui's dead world. Information about the Wandering Misfortune quickly appeared in Shin Hui's mind. The origin of the Wandering Misfortune is unknown. But there are rumors that he was sent by the heavens to cleanse all the evils in the world. Or he came from the overlapping alternate space into reality. But it can be certain that the wandering misfortune is by no means a usual creature. A life form. He has never truly appeared in front of the world. There have been sightings of the wandering misfortune. Basically only at dusk. Appearing at very distant distances. But there are no specific sightings. But there are specific written records. And from the distant sight of the form. It is also possible to know what kind of giant monster the Wandering Misfortune is. The Wandering Misfortune is over 1, 200 meters tall and about 5, 000 meters long. Overall, it looks very thin, similar to a canine animal, but the body structure is more like a human. The Wandering Misfortune's skin is very thin, light brown, revealing uneven ribs under the skin. These ribs protrude from the skin, forming sharp marks on the back. His neck is very thick and unusually long, extending forward on the same plane as the back. At the end, there is a strange spherical head. Or, the wandering misfortune doesn't have a head at all. There are no specific features on top, only protrusions like spikes. And this round ball can extend to form shapes like bone spurs. On the chest of the wandering misfortune, there are also two strange bone protrusions, forming a crescent-shaped circle. Some people think this is a horn, while others think it's his mouth and he has four to eight very thick legs, usually four in general. The other four, basically extend from the top of the round ball into bone spurs, accompanying them falling from above the body. Each leg has very sharp spikes on top, entwined with sinewy flesh-like ropes. His whole body, except for the legs, is shrouded in shadow. Only the outline of the body is revealed. As Shin Hui began to construct the wandering misfortune, the power of the titan card in his hand turned into a light floating in the air of the world of death. 
A large amount of pure world source power began to flow into it. The light began to expand continuously and began to be constantly pulled. Finally, it turned into thousands of meters. Gradually, a black shadow described by Shen Hui began to form within it. It looks like a gaunt giraffe. It's just that the upright neck and head become parallel to the spine and extend forward. A huge breath emanated from the black shadow, carrying a sense of immense dread, and there was also a sense of mystery that could not be fully understood. The form and origin were completed. Looking at the nearly exhausted 10,000 world source powers, Shen Hui gritted his teeth, and the next step was about the information of the wandering misfortune. Having a huge body, it is a member of the Titan Monsters. The Wandering Misfortune possesses a terrifying power to crush everything, and the Wandering Misfortune does not have specific tentacles or tendrils, and cannot accurately grasp a living being. Even when attacking a target, it will cause a large area to be destructively affected. So the Wandering Misfortune is a titan monster with destructive capabilities, and the target of the Wandering Misfortune's attacks is the misfortune in its name. However, this misfortune is not simply misfortune. It refers to bringing misfortune to others or bringing misfortune to oneself, to unworthy people. At the same time, the wandering misfortune is also the misfortune of these creatures. The wandering misfortune will destroy and consume them. And the appearance of the wandering misfortune always occurs in a twilight-like scene, like the giant shadow of a mountain gradually appearing in the distant darkness. And whenever you see him, it also means that the misfortune you bring will receive physical redemption. With more specific information confirmed, the black shadow and the huge light began to be given meaning to its existence. It moved, like the trembling of the earth. The rushing sound of the river came from inside. The light gradually disappeared. A giant monster like a mountain appeared far from the shadow of Xinhui. The tremendous pressure turned into substantial airflow, making Xinhui feel small again, and in the emanating breath. It brought about moments when Xinhui couldn't help but recall doing something wrong to others, or to himself, even as small as ignoring others or not eating enough, mistreating his own body, such small things began to surface in his mind, believing that he is a misfortune, is unfortunate, it even stirred up other negative emotions, making this misfortune even greater, longing for redemption, the wandering misfortune has been successfully created, wandering misfortune type, hero quality, extraordinary level, one ability one, power of destruction, Wandering Misfortune possesses a destructive ability with a certain set of rules ability too, Misfortune Redemption. Witnessing the existence of Wandering Misfortune will evoke a sense of guilt in the hearts of living beings, desiring redemption, and even actively committing sinful acts to obtain it quickly ability 3, Misfortune Aftermath. The redeemed Misfortune will appear alongside Wandering Misfortune, rendering the nearby sky into a twilight-like scene causing unfortunate events for all targets hostile to Wandering Misfortune Ability 4, Demon Form, Wandering Misfortune extends bone spurs, drops 4 additional legs, and assumes a demonic form, significantly increasing aggression Ability 5, Misfortune Rebirth, Wandering Misfortune to some extent represents misfortune and will be reborn from it note, the current world state cannot allow Wandering Misfortune to function normally at the extraordinary level. Wandering Misfortune will enter a dormant state and can only briefly awaken Shinhui looked at Wandering Misfortune. A look of immense excitement on his face. Ha ha, it's actually at the extraordinary level. The extraordinary level is the highest level of hero Shinhui currently knows. Shinhui's previous creation, the slender ghost shadow, was at the perfect level. Compared to his peers, even if they created heroes, they were mostly at the intermediate level. Shinhui has already surpassed them. And now, he has created a hero at the extraordinary level. It's two levels higher than the perfect level. This is simply a downgrade. But the only drawback is that Shin Hui's death world does not support the normal activity of wandering misfortune. It can only be summoned at critical moments. The wandering misfortune in the distance, in the shadows, gradually fades. It finally disappears into the shadows, and the twilight-like scene around it disappears completely. Wandering misfortune begins to fall into a deep sleep. Wandering Misfortune is Shin Hui's trump card now. However, Shin Hui is also very self-aware. For him now, Wandering Misfortune is indeed very powerful. But compared to the giant hand he faced before, it's probably not even as good as a finger. Of course, this is not because Shin Hui is weak, but because the other party is too strong. The world of that giant creature has existed for who knows how long. Even the projection that appeared in the newborn world is just a negligible part of the real giant world. The real creatures inside, the real him, 
are even more unimaginably powerful. If it weren't for relying on the will of the newborn world, Xin Hui would have already fallen there. Now, relying solely on his own strength, he is definitely unable to deal with such an existence, but being prepared for danger. With this experience, he needs to create an existence that can confront it. At least he needs to determine this goal first and make long-term plans to slowly create it. However, Xin Hui hasn't figured out exactly what to create yet. Xin Hui begins to condense the remaining world source power of wandering misfortune. Originally, there were a total of 50, 000, and now there are over 20, 000 left. Creating wandering misfortune used half of it. The remaining world source power is guided by Xin Hui to start repairing the cracks in the sky. As the specks of light enter the cracks, the damaged world rules begin to mend, and the cracks gradually heal. It cost a total of 20, 000 world source power to complete the repair. Now, there are still 4, 500 units of world source power left. Xin Hui checks the undead wandering in the death world. As creatures born from death, they no longer have any emotions and are not frightened by the newly appeared wandering misfortune. He then looks at the humans inside the newly born land. But they are different. These humans were quite frightened after witnessing the plight of the wanderers. The mountainous figure brought immense oppression upon them, causing some to even kneel and pray for safety. Outside, unknown creatures and tales of slender, ghostly figures circulated among them. They could only survive in this small area and were unable to explore beyond. This world was too unfamiliar for them. Despite the absence of negative emotions in the newly born land, they still lived in fear and suppression. The remaining world's original power and various resources were already planned to be used by Xin Hui to continue building the newly born land and develop their own worldview, creating a broader living space for the surviving humans inside. At the same time, they began to create a space similar to Silent Hill, plunging them into deeper fear. Outside the newly born land, there were the undead who could truly survive in the world of death. Some of them retained certain abilities from their previous lives, offering unlimited possibilities. Xin Hui had already constructed a hero belonging to their race. However, just as Xin Hui was about to create a hero among the undead, a disturbance from the real world woke him up. How is he? Is he okay? President, there shouldn't be any problem. Xin Hui just woke up. Xin Hui opened his eyes to see Qi Ying coming in and chatting with Yilung. Qi Ying saw Xin Hui awake and knew he wasn't sleeping. How are you feeling? Any discomfort in your body? Xin Hui shook his head. I'm fine. President. How are the others? They're almost awake too. Although, they seem to have some issues, but nothing major. Sheen's expression turned serious as he continued. Regarding what you said about Jukai Liang, our investigation results are out. It's confirmed that Jisun Fong has no connection with the giant god sect. Yulung, who was nearby, knew what Sheen and Xin Hui were talking about and quickly interjected. President, Jisun Fong is fine, but that doesn't mean his son is. Jikaliang and the people of the giant god sect have killed many of us in the past in their pursuit of resources. I almost fell victim there. And it's not just me who saw it. Everyone saw it. Xi'in glanced at Yulung. Yulung immediately realized his mistake and felt embarrassed. It seems someone is itching for a fight. I'll have a word with Yell later. Yulung's face turned sour. But he dared not say anything more. Xi'in then turned to Xin Hui, who was deriving pleasure from Yulung's discomfort, and said, I've also learned about this matter from the others who have awakened. You are certain and have done the right thing. However, there are still some details that only you know. And it's important to explain the specific situation in the newly born world. All the awakened people have started gathering together. And everyone will share what they have learned. You two should come along as well. Xin Hui and Yulung nodded and began walking with Qi Yin. On the way, Yulung couldn't help but ask. President. What exactly are the alien races that the giant god sect worships? And those immensely huge giants, are they the ones? Shi Yan thought for a moment and then answered Yi Long's question. You two will know sooner or later. So I'll tell you. The foreign race that the giant god sect worships is a race from an ancient world. They are called the Titan Gods, a group of immensely huge giants, the children of the earth. Yi Long was shocked to learn this information for the first time. Shin Hui had already guessed it before and was not too surprised. Shen Hui thought for a moment and asked Qi Yan a question. President, who is he? Is it a specific creature or a group? Yi Long did not understand his meaning and asked in confusion. Brother Shen, what do you mean? But Qi Yan understood. She stopped, looked at Shen Hui seriously, and then continued to lead the way without looking back, saying, 
since you have already faced him, you should know, he is a special existence, which can be said to be a specific creature or a group, because no one knows who he really is, but there are three possible beliefs. First, he is the incarnation of the will and rules of the world, the lord of the heavens and the earth. Second, he is an incredibly powerful hero unit in that world. Third, he is like us, the creator of that world. Xin Hui nodded thoughtfully. Only Yi Long, with a puzzled expression, was still thinking about who he really was. Under Qi Yan's guidance, Xin Hui and Yi Long arrived at a large conference room. There were already many people there, including members of the World Association, people from various major regions and families, and those who had awakened from the initial world. However, many of them had a numb or dazed look in their eyes, especially when they saw Xin Hui. Their expressions seemed to distort again showing both fear and gratitude toward Xin Hui. Full of contradictions, Xin Hui found a place to sit down, and angry shouts came from the door they had entered. Xin Hui, how dare you kill Ji Kailiang? Xin Hui turned to look, and it was Ji Xin Feng. His face was full of ferocity, as if he wanted to skin Xin Hui alive, but Xin Hui retorted without fear. Ji Kailiang colluded with the giant god sect. If I don't kill him, how can I justify those who died in the chaos and in the initial world? Or are you also colluding with the people of the giant god sect? Shin Hui's stern words startled Ji Xin Feng. The others present also began discussing with Ji Xin Feng. Shi Yan's previous investigation of Ji Xin Feng had been conducted in secret, so Ji Xin Feng himself did not know. Then he realized and angrily retorted, You're fucking talking nonsense. You're framing us. With that, Ji Xin Feng charged directly at Xin Hui. A powerful world aura spread out, trying to forcibly invade Xin Hui's world. Qi Yan immediately shielded Xin Hui behind her. The people with Ji Xin Feng also quickly restrained him. Ji Xin Feng, mind your manners. The restrained Ji Xin Feng then stopped. Xin Hui remained calm. At this moment, he spoke timely. I don't know if you're being framed, but Ji Kai Liang's actions were witnessed by everyone. As Shin Hui's words fell, Yi Long immediately shouted, Yes, we all saw it with our own eyes. Then Cheng Shui and Xiao Shengyan, who had arrived earlier than Shin Hui, also echoed his words. Then Sun Jingjing, Zhu Gu Hongjing, Bai Fan, Tu Xingqin, more and more people spoke up for Shin Hui, until everyone was recounting what had happened at that time. Ji Kai Liang is indeed colluding with the people of the giant god sect. If it weren't for Shin Hui, we wouldn't have known. If it weren't for the people of the giant god sect, would we be in such a sorry state? We would have almost lost our lives. Some people became more and more agitated, starting to shout loudly. It seemed like they were venting their fear. On the other side, Yi Yitian also spoke to Xin Hui. Xin Hui, tell us the specific details of what happened. Okay. Xin Hui directly described how he was attacked by the people of the giant god sect, how he fought back and how he discovered their existence when he met Ji Kailiang. He also forced the other person to reveal their true identity in front of everyone. Everyone only knew the general events that had occurred, but now they were getting more specific details from Shen Hui. They all sighed in amazement, as if they had just escaped from the gates of hell. At the same time, their faces became grim. There were so many people from the giant god sect lurking among them. This time, even a student who had the opportunity to enter the primordial world was involved. It indicated that the other side had been planning for a long time. Among them, they had definitely been infiltrated. And there were people from the giant god sect. After this incident, there would definitely be a major cleanup operation. Ji Xinfeng's expression gradually became more somber. Okay, 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 he said three times, then stared at Xin Hui. So, let's just leave it at that. Ji Kailiang has a corrupt conscience and colluded with the people of the giant god sect in the primordial world. He deserves to die. But Ji Kaishan also died in it. Didn't he collude with the people of the giant god sect? I will definitely investigate the cause of his death. With that, Ji Xinfeng left the meeting room. Xin Hui watched him leave with a calm expression. However, he was clear in his mind that although the other party said to leave it at that, the fierce look in his eyes indicated that it was not over. They should be more careful in the future. As for the latter part of what the other party said about Ji Kaishan, Xin Hui was not afraid at all. Apart from himself, no one knew about Ji Kaishan's death. The matter concerning Ji Xinfeng came to a close. Under the leadership of the heads of the five major regions, everyone began to report any unusual events they had encountered in the primordial world. 
Xinhui also recounted his encounters with the Giant God Sect. President, I was targeted by the people of the Giant God Sect. After this incident, who knows when they will come after me again? Xinhui complained to Qi Yen. In the primordial world, those people from the Giant God Sect wanted to take his life. Now, he had disrupted their plan once again. His name was probably already on their urgent list. Naturally, Shenhui had to seek shelter and help from the World Association. Otherwise, it would be foolish to confront such a deeply hidden organization alone. Shi Yan naturally saw through Shen Hui's thoughts. Don't worry, I've already considered this. When we go back this time, you can stay in the World Association. Shen Hui felt good about this. At least it was safer than staying in the residential area. Then, with a sly smile, he asked, President, didn't you say that I had made a great contribution this time and applied for some rewards for me? What rewards will I get, even in a safe place? It was important to improve his own strength. Xinhui naturally wanted to secure more resources for himself. You, rest assured, you won't be left out. You'll find out in a couple of days. And as for the research on the world and the real world, there are some clues now. When the time comes, you can come and help with the experiment. Xin Hui became even more excited upon hearing this. As the long meeting came to an end, everyone spent a sleepless night. Under the leadership of their respective regional heads, the people from the five major regions returned to their respective areas. Before leaving, the president of the Jin district, Shang Nan, brought Sun Jingjing to find Xin Hui. Hey, kid, Qi Yu mentioned you before. I didn't expect you to bring surprises as she said. Xin Hui looked at the Barbie in front of him. I'm not called Hey, kid, I'm Shen Hui. However, President Sheng Nan ignored Shen Hui directly. Sun Jingjing has told me about the things between you two. After President Sheng Nan finished speaking, he looked at Sun Jingjing, who seemed a little hesitant. Beside him, Sun Jingjing then spoke. Shen Hui, about what happened before. I'm sorry, I will fulfill the compensation I promised you before. Shen Hui waved his hand. The compensation is enough. No need to apologize. At this time, President Shang Nan walked to Shen Hui's side, patted Shen Hui's shoulder, and suddenly pointed to Sun Jingjing, asking, Hey, kid, what do you think of Sun Jingjing? Upon hearing this, Sun Jingjing was obviously very surprised, and a hint of blush immediately appeared on her face. However, Shen Hui had not reacted for a while. Subconsciously, he said, She looks good, just has a bit of a bad temper. Temper is a small issue, as long as the person is good. Look at Sun Jingjing. Before President Shang Nan finished speaking, Shen Hui immediately realized and exclaimed, Sun Jingjing is great. I have a friend named Ji Long, the young master of the Yi family. I heard that he is in need of a girlfriend. How about I set you two up? Yi Long, not far away, seemed to hear Shen Hui calling him. He immediately walked over, with a bewildered look, and asked, Shen brother, what's up? Did you call me? Yi Long looked at President Shang Nan and Sun Jingjing, who had left, with a resentful expression. Holding his arm that was pinched red by Xiao Shang Yan, Shen Hui suppressed a smile and patted Yi Long's shoulder. After Sun Jingjing and the others left, Zhuge Hongjing also came to see Shen Hui. Shen Hui, thank you for this time. Our Zhuge family will also express our gratitude to you in the future. Zhuge Hongjing exchanged contact information with Shen Hui and was about to leave when he seemed to remember something. He turned back and looked at Shen Hui with a hint of a smile. By the way, you were able to completely bring your created world into existence because of the plunder caused by two extreme rules. This kind of situation is extremely rare because there are not many pure rules. Your world is very interesting. I hope to truly experience it in the rankings of the starry sky next time. After Zhuge Hongjing finished speaking this time, he left with the people from the Zhuge family. Watching their figures, Shen Hui's mind was filled with thoughts. The Zhuge family's research on the created world is indeed profound. However, Shen Hui did not pay too much attention to it and was quickly attracted by the last words of Zhuge Hongjing. But what is the starry sky ranking? If Shen Hui remembered correctly, someone mentioned it before entering the primordial world. Not long after Zhuge Hongjing left, Bai Fan and Tu Xingqin also arrived. They also thanked Shen Hui and decided to give their respective thanks later. Shen Hui naturally did not refuse and, after exchanging contact information with them, also prepared to leave. On the side of the water district, under the leadership of Chi Yu, they returned to the World Association's base in the water district through the connecting passage. Back on the blue star, looking at the dimly lit sky, 
Shinhui felt a sense of loss. The others all left one after another, preparing to return home safely. Yi Long, Xiao Xiangyan, and Qing Xiwei also went back. In the end, only Shen Hui was left, just needing to ensure his own safety, without the need to report. Under Qi Yu's leadership, Shen Hui arrived at a luxurious room. It exuded a faint fragrance, with a soothing effect on the mood and emotions, releasing the exhaustion that had been building up in Shen Hui for so long. His eyelids began to droop, and he wanted to take another nap. This is my room in the World Association. You can stay here for now. If there are any minor issues, you can find the staff here. Every morning I come over, and if there's an emergency, you can contact me directly, and I can be here within five minutes. Chayan introduced to Shen Hui. By the way, don't wander around, just stay within the base. We might need to confirm some things with you soon. Shen Hui nodded and sat down on the soft edge of the bed without any politeness, completely treating this place as his own home. Then Shen Hui thought of the starry sky ranking and asked Chayan, President, what is the starry sky ranking? I've heard about it a few times. Chayan answered directly without any hesitation. The starry sky ranking is a list with a reward mechanism. Based on points and ranking, you can obtain different privileges and rewards. To join the starry sky ranking, you must pass a very difficult trial. It can be said that those who appear on the starry sky ranking are among the elite of the elite. It's like selecting from among you who can enter the world of the newborn. After hearing this, Shin Hui nodded in realization. No wonder he didn't know about it before. It's probably similar to a gathering place for high-end players. With your current strength, you should be able to pass easily. Just wait for the notification here. I have other things to attend to, Chayan said before leaving. Today's events did not mean the end, but rather a beginning. Shin Hui lay on the bed, pondering the events that had happened before. Gradually, unknowingly, he fell asleep. He slept from early morning until past six in the evening. Shin Hue gradually woke up from a sweet dream. After looking around and not seeing President Chayan, Shin Hue planned to ask what he could exchange his essence of life for, but it wasn't urgent. He went to the cafeteria for a meal and returned to the room. Now refreshed, Shin Hue planned to create the hero of the undead next, immersing his mind in the world of death. All the wandering undead had already gathered. There were about a thousand of them now, and to continue expanding their group, they needed more bodies. This wasn't difficult, when they challenged the ownerless world, they can make full use of the bodies. With 4,500 remaining world source power, it was more than enough, as he didn't need to create a powerful monster like the Wandering Doom. The undead hero Shin Hue wanted to create was also related to these bodies. He was born from flesh and blood, a union of flesh and blood, and he would devour endless flesh and blood. At the same time, he would spread a terrifying plague, bringing despair to living beings. His name was Hatred, but those who knew him preferred to call him the Stitched Monster. The first record of hatred was from a major plague. The plague ravaged the countryside and towns, causing a large number of deaths. To normal people, the infected were like a disaster. Once they got close, they would be infected. In the absence of a cure, infection meant a death sentence. They could only watch as their lives were gradually taken away. So the infected were driven to live and die with the piles of bodies. After being driven away, one of the infected, with a sense of despair, walked towards a thatched house where the bodies were piled up. The bodies occupied more than half of the space in the thatched house. The suffocating stench of decay filled every inch of space. The decaying bodies leaked dark yellow fluid, covering the ground. This was what he would look like in the future. Despair enveloped him, and he decided that waiting for death here was worse than ending his life by his own hands. But just as he was about to commit suicide, the group of bodies spoke. It was a muffled sound, like the voices of hundreds of people speaking in unison. As the crack in the pile of corpses opened, a series of sounds emerged. Do you want eternal life? Do you want to leave here? Join us. Become a part of me. The group of corpses stood up. They were stuck together like repulsive, putrid liquid, forming a single entity. The pile of corpses formed limbs, the pile formed a body, and the pile formed facial features. All the bodies converged to form a bloated, towering figure. Something more terrifying than death was tormenting his mind. He screamed and rushed out, banging on the fence gate, calling the creature, wanting to escape. The guards showed no sign of hesitation or alertness. The fat man made of bodies broke through the fence and began devouring the flesh and blood of the others. He managed to escape and fled to another place. Before succumbing to the plague, he witnessed a huge, bloated figure approaching him, 
emanating an extreme stench of decay. However, amidst the stench, he caught a hint of sweetness. No one knew how he came into being or where he came from. Perhaps he was the embodiment of the plague and death, or perhaps the resentment and grudges of the dying. Since the first record of abomination appeared, subsequent records of abomination were always accompanied by a large number of deaths or major outbreaks of plague. He had become a symbol of the plague and death. As the memories of abomination began to coalesce in the ashes, the essence of the world began to converge. However, this time was different from previous creations, which surprised the ashes greatly. All the undead, all the bodies, seemed to be responding to some strange sensation. They began to draw closer to each other, pressing tightly together, piling up heavily. Finally, they formed a huge pile of corpses. With the infusion of the power of the world's essence, their bodies began to secrete large amounts of black and yellow decayed substances. These substances filled the gaps between them, beginning to envelop them as a whole. A hand emerged here, a half-rotted head emerged there. All the bodies inside continued to wriggle, emitting excited wails, as if returning home. The thoughts of all the bodies were connected, and they began to share everything. The huge corpse ball underwent some kind of transformation. Gradually, it differentiated into a head and limbs. A membrane resembling skin appeared on the surface, but it was pockmarked at the joints, as if sewn together with needle and thread. In the end, a huge, bloated figure about 50 meters tall was formed. Their thoughts and actions were unified. They were no longer they, but he. He was the abomination. The abomination let out a roar like the screams of millions of people, and a dark yellow mist began to emanate from his body. This mist mixed with the mists of the lost, producing a sickly, strange color. Hatred type, hero quality, perfect level, one ability one, corrupting plague. The body of hatred is constantly in a state of decay, continuously releasing a plague that causes life to wither ability two, collective consciousness. Born from a group of corpses, hatred possesses the consciousness and knowledge of every remaining body, and will continue to grow as more bodies are assimilated ability three, flesh and blood. Hatred has pure flesh and blood composition, immune to all abnormal states and damage ability for, corpse collective. Hatred is not a singular individual. After complete death, it will reassemble from a new group of corpses ability 5, ability expansion. Through the accumulation of assimilated bodies, hatred can gain various different abilities Shin Hui looked at the towering hatred, formed from the convergence of all undead. It is both a collective and an individual, with perfect quality like the slender ghost shadow. From the current abilities, Shin Hui believes that hatred is not very powerful. However, with the collective consciousness and ability expansion, hatred is enough to possess perfect quality. With more and more bodies assimilated, it is not impossible for hatred to have transcendent abilities. Shin Hui checked the remaining world source power. Death world world size, 287 kilometers world level, level 4 creation units, 7 hero units, 1145, Normal units, birth special area, newborn land 5 kilometers world characteristics, lost mist, decaying life distortion same source level, 1 bond, giant world source, 1200 there are still 1200 remaining, not yet exhausted. It should be related to the special nature of creating hatred, using so many undead materials. However, the remaining amount is not enough to create a new land. Shin Hui is ready to try challenging the ownerless world and see how strong his current death world power is. In the room of the red smoke, there is a device that can connect to the ownerless world of the sea of sky. Shin Hui put it on, connecting his consciousness to the ownerless land, projecting his will on it. It looks the same here as before, with a lot of people. It has not been affected by the changes in the newborn world. Shin Hui passed through the crowd and came to the place to choose the ownerless world. Just as he was about to choose the challenge, he suddenly caught sight of a familiar person. That's GXIN Foam. GXIN Fong was with a group of people nearby. What is he doing here? This is the place to challenge ownerless worlds of levels 1 to 5. Higher ownerless worlds are very rare and not chosen here. So people like GXIN Fong, whose world level is above level 5, basically won't come here. GXIN Fong also noticed Chin Hui's gaze and turned to look. After seeing it was Shin Hui, his expression became angry, but nothing much happened, and he quickly went to do his own thing. Shin Hui also didn't continue to pay attention to him, but chose to challenge the ownerless world. When Shin Hui entered the interface to choose the challenge world level, he suddenly realized a problem. His created world is level 4, and if he were to challenge a level 4 ownerless world, he wouldn't have enough money. 
Right now, Shen Hui only has over 3 million, which he earned from selling materials in the last challenge of the ownerless world. And to challenge a level 4 ownerless world, he needs 5 million, and there won't be any discounts because of his membership level. I never thought I'd be a poor guy with only 3 million, although Shen Hui can ask Yi Long to transfer money to him, it's not a problem. But asking for money is a matter of personal relationships, and it's not necessary. When it comes to money, you have to rely on yourself, or just challenge a level 3 unowned world. Just 3 million, choose to challenge a level 3 world, need to deduct 3 million world coins. You will randomly challenge a level 3 world, start the challenge? Start the challenge. The original source of the world begins to merge, and two worlds begin to overlap and merge. The world of death begins to intertwine with an unowned world. Shen Hui's consciousness controls everything. The appearance of the unknown world appears before Shen Hui's eyes. This is a human world, with cities and skyscrapers. However, it is not as technologically advanced as the world of technology. Just a normal human world in terms of technology. But there are some people inside who are not normal. They manipulate fire, telekinesis, and various strange abilities. This is an unowned world based on extraordinary abilities. Just shortly after the world of death connected with the world of extraordinary abilities, the aura of the world of extraordinary abilities suddenly increased, and the will and rules of the world were strengthened. The world of extraordinary abilities has entered the fourth level. Shin Hui is extremely surprised. Wasn't I supposed to challenge a level 3 world? How did it become level 4? Then Shin Hui realized something and suddenly understood. This world has already gained the ability to develop independently. The other party was indeed a level 3 world before, but after independent development, the world they are in has also been upgraded to level 4, and I happen to encounter it. Does this count as picking up 2 million for nothing? Two worlds are connected. Shin Hui's world of death is not connected to the other world as completely as before. Instead, it is scattered. Located in different places in the world of extraordinary abilities where different heroes are located. Shin Hui wants to test the ability of all the heroes to fight alone, to unleash their respective abilities. In the instant when the worlds are connected, in the Extraordinary Abilities Bureau established by the Extraordinary Abilities in the World of Extraordinary Abilities, the director inside immediately sensed it as an Extraordinary Abilities unit. Another secret realm has opened. The last time a secret realm opened, the creatures inside invaded us, not bringing us disaster, but instead bringing us a large amount of resources. I wonder what kind of surprises this scattered secret realm will bring this time. All extraordinary abilities. Be prepared to investigate where all the secret realms have appeared. In the outskirts of the world of extraordinary abilities, inside an old house, a middle-aged man reeking of alcohol, fiercely shouts at a young girl with bruises on her body, you useless waste. If you had awakened an extraordinary ability, would we have to live like this? Would we have to live here? You're still hiding. If it weren't for me raising you, you would have died long ago. You waste. I'll kill you. Compared to the glamorous extraordinary abilities, they, as ordinary people in the world of extraordinary abilities, are destined to live at the bottom. But they are also part of the world structure. Inseparable. Just like the people in the new soil of the world of death. To become a world with independent development, they are necessary. The girl, with many scars on her body, carries resentment towards this world and her parents. As usual, she rushes into the nearby woods, ready to vent alone. But this time, after she entered, she suddenly realized that the woods had changed. It became very cold inside, making her body uncontrollably shiver. A faint mist also pervaded the woods. It obscured the view very blurry. The ground was covered with a layer of rotten leaves. There was no sign of life. Everything here became unreal and strange. The girl became afraid and wanted to escape, starting to run back according to her memory. However, According to memory, she should have run out of the woods, but instead found herself in a clearing within the woods, and on the ground ahead, there was a very conspicuous dry well. The girl, though curious, became even more afraid, but just as she was about to leave, a faint ethereal voice entered her ears from an unknown source. Resentment, I sense your hatred. Do you want revenge? Do you want to express this world, express the injustice others have done to you? The girl, wanting to escape, stopped in her tracks, as if bewitched, subconsciously nodding, she stood still, unintelligible laughter came, but the girl knew where the sound was coming from, it was from the well, the girl awkwardly walked to the edge of the well and looked down, 
she saw a woman with long black hair covering her, standing at the bottom of the well, staring at her through the strands of hair. The girl's spine chilled, awakening her fear once again, but as she prepared to escape, she suddenly found herself standing at the bottom of the well. The girl laughed, emitting an ethereal laughter, using her nails to scratch the well wall. Step by step, she climbed out of the dry well, her fingers worn to a bloody pulp. With the resentment of revenge, she began to walk home. The middle-aged man, drunk, saw his daughter return and was ready to vent his anger on her again. But the girl, with a strange smile, waved her hand, and the middle-aged man was lifted by an invisible force. The middle-aged man was stunned, then filled with excitement. Ha ha, you've awakened your abilities. You're also an ability user. Look, look, this is what happens when you don't discipline them. Now we'll have good days ahead. However, the pleasantly surprised middle-aged man, in the next moment, began to twist his hands uncontrollably with fear. He directly tore open his own belly, pulling out all of his organs. Not long after the middle-aged man's death, a video labeled for the one who resents you to see, he will die began to spread widely on the internet. In another suburban area, a group of young people discovered an old slaughterhouse that had appeared out of nowhere. With curiosity, all the young people, encouraged by each other, began to explore the abandoned factory. Someone encountered a very beautiful girl, despite being married, but he couldn't help but bring her home and take care of her. Someone on a desolate roadside saw a horn hanging on a tree trunk, continuously playing a broadcast, and the voice inside, from a normal broadcast, turned into speech, then into unintelligible noise. Finally, it became the voice of what he had just said. Someone at home, taking care of the children, found that their child was playing and talking with someone outside. But when he went to see, he found his child alone. When he asked who the child was playing with, the child said it was a person in a suit. In a certain village, a large number of people began to cough. They seemed to have contracted a strange illness, and more and more people were infected. On the second day when the two worlds were connected, the Bureau of Anomalies investigating the appearance of the secret realm was the first to learn of the anomalies appearing online. The network has been completely shut down, and there will be no more videos circulating. A group of ability users gathered in a conference room. Their eyes were all focused on the large screen where a video that had not yet been played was displayed, but no one dared to play it, because since yesterday, a cursed video had been circulating online, anyone who watched it would die, under normal circumstances, it would be considered a joke, but since the video started circulating yesterday, over a thousand people had died after watching it, including ability users, this must be related to the appearance of the secret realm, this video, no one should watch it, we have already found the location where the original video was uploaded. Everyone, follow me to investigate the source. This group of supernaturals arrived at the dilapidated house in the outskirts. They saw the internal organs of a middle-aged man torn apart, and then found his daughter who had hanged herself. Finally, they discovered something unusual near the dilapidated house. A lifeless grove emitting an aura of death, completely out of place with its surroundings. That grove must be related to the secret realm. Let's go and crush the secret realm. The group of supernaturals entered the grove, unaware that at the moment they stepped in, a pair of desperate eyes were watching them from a hidden corner. This group of over 10 people, exploring the supernatural team in the forest, all clenched their fists, suppressing their restless hearts. Although they had not found any special anomalies so far, there was disharmony everywhere. The bone chilling coldness, even when the flame supernatural in the group lit a fire, could not bring any warmth. This coldness seemed to emanate from within. Soon, they found a dry well in the forest. The team leader looked at the well with a serious gaze. There is a powerful twisted force field there. I can't tell what kind of supernatural ability it is. Everyone, be careful and prepare for battle. All the supernaturals gathered at the edge of the well. However, contrary to their expectations, there was nothing inside. But soon, they were attracted by a burst of static noise. ZZZ following the source of the sound, they found an old wireless television set on the other side of the well, displaying a snowy, signal-less screen. All the supernaturals looked at each other in surprise. There was actually a television here. But in the next moment, the television suddenly flickered. The snowy screen disappeared, and a picture appeared. A dry, leaf-covered grove with a dry well in the center. A supernatural immediately realized, Captain. The image on this television is the scene of where we are. 
all the supernaturals suddenly realized that the image was just missing them, which was why it felt so familiar. Let's see what's going on here, and put up our defenses. As the captain gave the order, several supernaturals in the team began to use their abilities. The space around them began to distort, and a layer of rock rose from the ground outside. This was the force field shield and rock wall they had created to protect themselves. Everyone also became more vigilant, focusing on the well and its surroundings. As for the television in front of them, they completely ignored it. After all, it was just an ordinary television. What danger could it pose? Soon, the image on the television zoomed in on the well. The situation at the bottom of the well was also displayed on the television. When everyone saw it, they were shocked and couldn't help but shudder. They all swore that they had never seen such a strange sight in their lives. In the bottom of the well on the television, there was a woman in a white dress with a strange and terrifying appearance. Her hair was disheveled, and her true face was not visible. Her limbs were twisted, like a giant humanoid spider crouching on the ground. Faintly, there was a low, crying and laughing sound that entered their ears. But upon closer listening, there was no sound at all. A sense of loneliness and resentment made them empathize through the screen. Although she had the body of a human, she did not look like one at all. What on earth was this? This question, accompanied by an unknown sense of fear, suddenly appeared in their minds. And at that moment, the woman at the bottom of the well in the television suddenly raised her head and looked towards the well. As if she was looking at them, their hearts raced wildly as they looked into the well. Fortunately, there was still nothing inside. The thing in the TV should be a creature from the secret realm. Everyone, remember its appearance clearly. As the captain's voice fell, it seemed to be to make them see more clearly. The woman in the bottom of the well on the TV suddenly, like a spider, used both hands to pick at the small uneven gaps. She began to climb up the well with both hands and feet. This scene made them involuntarily look into the dry well in the real world again. There was still nothing inside. The TV was just a TV. Reality was reality. This must be a recorded scene from before. These psychics began to comfort themselves. They were ready to see the real appearance of the woman in the well. As she climbed up bit by bit, there was a twisted sense of reality quietly enveloping the surroundings. Just like she in the TV, she was the real one. When the woman in the well climbed to the top, their hearts couldn't help but jump to their throats. The unknown feeling of fear also reached its peak. Unconsciously, at the same time, they couldn't help but look into the dry well again. Still, there was nothing. Just as they breathed a sigh of relief and were about to talk to the others to ease the atmosphere, each of them was horrified to find that their teammates had disappeared, leaving only themselves. No, even the environment had changed. It was extremely dim here, emitting a putrid smell, with only a beam of light shining down from the sky. This is, this is the bottom of the well. Sadako was floating faintly, next to a group of people with empty eyes, surrounding the dry well. The expressions of these people quickly began to turn fearful, twisted, and numb. In the end, they chose to commit suicide in Sadako's spiritual illusion. Another team of psychics found themselves in an abattoir in the wilderness, which did not belong to their world. The distress signal from those young people before was transmitted from here. It seems they mistakenly entered the secret realm and are in great danger. As they spoke, the psychics carefully walked towards the abattoir. When they reached the entrance, they smelled an extremely strong and fresh smell of blood. On the ground, they also saw a trail of bloodstains. It could be imagined that some of the young people had tried to escape, but in the end, they were dragged back in despair. They entered the abattoir, which was extremely dark inside, and they could only see the rough outline of objects not far ahead. The smell of blood was mixed with a stale, putrid odor. They covered their noses and mouths, preparing to search carefully. Suddenly, someone touched their head and a thick liquid dripped onto their head. Is it leaking here? He sniffed it at his nose, and the fresh smell of blood immediately choked his nostrils. This was not water, but blood. He looked up suddenly and saw many things hanging from the ceiling, but because it was too dark, they couldn't see what those things were, and the blood was dripping from those things. Captain, there's something up there. All of them looked up. The captain waved his hand, and a ball of light formed by lightning appeared in his hand. The ball of light began to float upwards, bursting into a brilliant white and purple light. After seeing the things on the ceiling, they couldn't help but feel nauseous and want to vomit. They saw many iron hooks and chains hanging from the roof, and in the area above their heads, there were many pieces of meat hanging on the iron hooks and chains, a lot of human flesh, 
there were severed limbs and arms, there was a twisted piece of large intestine, and what disgusted them the most was the broken. No, they didn't know how to describe it, they could only depict the hellish scene in front of them. An iron hook pierced the scalp and hung the head on it. Below the head was the neck, and below the neck were the heart, lungs, liver, spleen, and kidneys. No limbs, except for the small and large intestines, a whole set of internal organs. No skin, no muscles, not even bones. These organs are exposed in the air, connected to the neck. It looks like an incredibly exquisite piece of art and they found that the mouth hanging on the top of the head is actually opening and closing. These people have not completely died. They have been skinned alive into this appearance. What on earth is unforgivable? Among these superhumans, someone's face turned pale and gritted their teeth as they spoke. The electric ball controlled by their captain burst open, turning into a brilliant lightning that instantly annihilated those who were alive but in more pain than death. The creatures found here must be completely killed. As the other party's voice fell, Rhythmic footsteps came from deep within the slaughterhouse. Dong, dong, dong not far from them, a figure appeared standing in the shadows. A magnetic, deep voice emanated from there. He he, since you ruined my meat, then let you replace it. As the voice fell, densely packed red dots suddenly appeared around the superhuman team. Someone immediately began to launch an attack. A ball of elemental energy flew into the red dots and exploded. The blossoming energy illuminated the surroundings. Those red dots were the eyes of strange-looking piglets, and the one with the magnetic, deep voice was a person with a pig's head. Seeing this extraordinary creature, all the superhumans shouted, Attack! Over a dozen superhumans immediately launched an attack. The telekinetic controller manipulated several flying knives, constantly dancing among the pigs, taking their lives. The superhuman proficient in elements exploded one elemental ball after another among the pigs. Many piglets died but the remaining ones charged fearlessly. The pig-headed butcher also drew a pig-killing knife from his waist and rushed over. Most of the superhumans concentrated their attacks on the pig-headed butcher, but the effects were very weak. The pig-headed butcher approached a superhuman, and the pig-killing knife in his hand danced in the air like a nimble butterfly. Schwa 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 the sound of the knife fell, and the belly of the superhuman was directly cut open. The entrails flowed out directly from the huge wound. The pig-headed butcher seemed to see a peerless delicacy. He completely ignored the attacking crowd and feasted on the entrails on the ground. The sound of heart-wrenching screams rang out. The remaining superhumans, seeing this scene, turned pale and began to attack more fiercely. However, as the pig-headed butcher continued to eat, his wounds gradually began to heal. Not only that, even the pig-headed butcher's body size began to grow. The captain among them realized that the situation was not good. This creature in front of them was too difficult to deal with conventionally. He gritted his teeth and ordered everyone to retreat. Back off. As he spoke, his superhuman aura suddenly surged. It filled every inch of his body, and even electric arcs flashed across his body's surface. Crackling explosions. The oversaturation of lightning superpowers also ravaged his body. This was a move that hurt the enemy a thousand times but also harmed oneself eight hundred times. But now there was no time to consider that. With the last surge of lightning superpower, a thunderbolt struck down from the sky, pierced through the roof, and landed on the pig-headed butcher. The thunderbolt burst open, turning into a brilliant and massive thunder pillar that completely enveloped the pig-headed butcher. The terrifying lightning superpower raged wildly, and a foul smell filled the air. The members of the superhuman team all breathed a sigh of relief. It seemed that the pig-headed person was undoubtedly doomed. However, just as they thought so, Within the light pillar formed by the thunder, something happened. A huge black shadow appeared. The thunder gradually dissipated, revealing the true appearance of the black shadow. It was a giant demon pig with rough skin, a strong smell of blood, and a unique aura. On the humanized pig face, there was the same smile as the previous pig-headed person. There was no doubt that this was the transformation of the pig-headed person. The captain's attacks from the superpower team did not cause any effective damage. Now the members of the superpower team were all in a panic. What? What is this thing? Damn it! Get out of here! The members of the superpower team couldn't hold on any longer. They all started to flee the dilapidated slaughterhouse. But as they hadn't run far, the sound of desperate screams accompanied by chewing began to echo continuously in the slaughterhouse. The arrival of all the heroes in Shinhui was witnessing a massacre. The residential area where Fujian was taken back was covered in bloodstains. However, 
there was no terrifying battle. Instead, there was a strange warmth. Every living person, including the superpower investigators who came to inspect, surrounded Fu Jiang, each showing great enthusiasm, including self-harm, in an attempt to win the other's favor. The siren head moved its huge figure and began to shuttle back and forth on the edge of the city. The emergency broadcast attracted everyone who was unaware indoors. The slender ghostly figure moved through every household. When they left, the family lost all memory and died peacefully at home. The accumulated plague began to spread directly in various urban areas. The number of bodies rapidly dying in the plague increased. A huge creature like a mountain of flesh began to appear in the most prevalent areas of the plague, devouring the bodies. All of this happened in just a few days. From the first incident to the subsequent incidents, the Superpower Bureau simply couldn't spare enough manpower. Moreover, all the superpower agents they sent out for support had disappeared without a trace. The world of superpowers was completely invaded by strange and eerie tales. Everyone was plunged into great panic. Things beyond their understanding stirred the emotions of everyone. As time passed, the world of superpowers became increasingly broken. The world will of the superpowers was also constantly deteriorating and being eroded under the suppression of the world of death. The world of death gained the upper hand. The breath of death and negative emotions began to spread towards the cities in the world of superpowers. The sky was no longer bright, but covered in a hazy fog. Vitality was no longer vibrant, but withering. All the cities had become dilapidated. Fear became the main theme, and various intertwined negative emotions played the counterpoint. The figure of Fu Jiang could be seen everywhere on the streets of every city. The image of Sadako appeared on every electronic device that could play it. The slaughterhouse of the pig-headed butcher was filled with meat specimens like works of art. The siren head played the screams of everyone before their death. The bodies that died everywhere rose again and turned into the undead. Under the call of hatred, they all gathered together. Ready to embrace hatred, the slender ghostly figure moved through various areas, enjoying all the destruction. The few surviving humans all hid in various secluded corners with despair and numbness. In just a few days, they witnessed a fear that would be unforgettable for the rest of their lives. In the Superpower Bureau, most of the superpower agents had also died. Only the hero unit of the Superpower World and the director of the Superpower Bureau remained. However, his face was full of decline and powerlessness. He knew that the world he was in had begun to decay. He simply couldn't defeat those unknown things, and couldn't save it. When several figures of different sizes appeared outside the Supernatural Bureau, he knew that his fear had come. Looking at the broken supernatural world, Shin Hui was very satisfied. It also proved the power of his strange and bizarre hero. Is this a confrontation between supernatural and bizarre? No, this is a confrontation between the most primitive fear and the bizarre. As the battle ended, Shin Hui's death world began to engulf the supernatural world. The breath of death completely enveloped it, spreading to every corner. All life began to be affected, gradually withering away. Death world engulfs supernatural world, death world expands to 567 kilometers, gained 1500 world source power. The rewards for completing this challenge were not very significant, but it also allowed the death world to make a considerable improvement. It is now a fourth level created world, and the next step is to sprint to a fifth level created world, and the fifth level created world will usher in a qualitative change. Not only will the created world receive a huge boost, but the power within the created world can also to some extent feed back to the creator. After the challenge, Shin Hui prepared to leave. Then he would sell the essence of life on his body and wait for the gratitude of those big families. Then he could start to create a new land of life. However, after waiting for a while, Shin Hui found that there was no prompt to end the challenge of the unknown world. It seemed to be stuck in the connection between the created world and the unknown world. Although Shin Hui had clearly completed the challenge, even the supernatural world had been merged with Shin Hui's death world. What's going on? Is it stuck? Or is it under maintenance? Shin Hui complained. Although he couldn't end it automatically, he could end it manually. Just as Shin Hui was about to force his way out of there, a prompt related to the unowned world appeared. However, Shin Hui's expression suddenly changed. Because it wasn't the end, it was the beginning. Start challenging the world. Two worlds begin to merge. Shin Hui's brow furrowed, and his expression became strange. He had not yet escaped from a challenge in the unknown world. This had opened another world challenge. Although he hadn't spent a penny, it was a free challenge. But Shin Hui had no reason to be happy. There must be a reason for this unusual situation. 
and a world challenge would not open without cause. Xinhui immediately decided to end this challenge on his own. But the establishment of the connection between the two worlds meant that Xinhui found he couldn't escape. The two worlds completely merged, and another world intertwined with Xinhui's death world. In an instant, Xinhui immediately sensed the breath of a new challenging world. Xinhui's eyes became sharp. The world that established a connection with my world for no reason is actually a fifth level world. The fifth level world. In the area of the unowned world where Xinhui was located, was the highest level world that could be chosen. Although it was only one level higher than the fourth level, it had a greater span compared to the other levels. Who is behind this? Could it be Jisun Fong? Xinhui thought of Jisun Fong, whom he had seen outside. Although the other party had previously said it was over, he still opposed Xinhui. Could this be the other party's little trick? Forcing me to challenge a fifth level world in order to eliminate me? But isn't this method too low? The challenges in the unknown world are all recorded and can be checked. And Jisun Fong has also appeared here. Once something happens to me, it's easy to associate it with him. While Shen Hui was thinking, he suddenly felt a strange breath from the connected world. This feeling, the world connected to me is not an unknown world. It has a creator. Shen Hui's expression immediately became grim. In the place where the unknown world is challenged, it is connected to a world with a creator. This is a conspiracy against oneself. No matter who you are, if you want to keep me, that's seeking death. Shen Hui immediately began to pay attention to the system of the other world. Because the other side has a creator, Xinhui cannot peek into the full picture of the other world. He can only see that the worldview of the other side is similar to that of ancient times. There is no mention of any technology, and Xinhui did not sense any extraordinary abilities or true energy within. It seems to be just an ordinary ancient world. However, Xinhui noticed that in this world, there are many places of worship. In addition to the level of the other world, it is enough to prove that this is not an ordinary world. Xinhui also felt a strange sensation from it, but it is unclear. This is a world system that Xinhui has never understood. Before Xinhui could give orders, a large group of people appeared from the other world. Thousands of them began to advance toward Xinhui's world. These people were wearing coarse clothes, and some of them looked emaciated. Xinhui also did not sense any power from them. At first glance, they were just ordinary people, but it was this group of people who dared to invade his world. The other side is not an unowned world, but a world with a creator who can control it, just like Shin Hui's world. Could it be that the other side is fed up with the abundance of ordinary people in their world and is ready to bring them over to their deaths? However, no matter who they are, if they come, they will die. Soon, these people arrived at the boundary of the world of death. The aura of death and negative emotions enveloped them. The expressions of these people immediately became fearful, which was a normal reaction. However, they continued to move forward together. A tall, thin ghostly figure appeared in front of a group of people. The towering figure floated in mid-air, shrouded in mist. The hundreds of people in the group all looked towards the thin, tall ghostly figure in the sky with fearful eyes. W what is that thing? A middle-aged man in the crowd spoke with a trembling voice. A child also cried and threw himself into his mother's arms, saying, Mom, I'm scared. Can we go home? Be good. Ergo, don't be afraid, they will protect us, the mother said, taking out a talisman from her arms and giving it to Ergo, Ergo immediately stopped crying, with a hint of strange fanaticism in his eyes, mom, I'm not afraid anymore, Shinhui did not notice the scene and directly ordered the thin, tall ghostly figure to attack, the thin, tall ghostly figure instantly appeared in front of a middle-aged person, and its tentacles turned into steel spikes behind it, it directly pierced the person's body, tearing it apart from the chest and scattering it into pieces in the air. There was an immediate scream from the crowd. However, at this moment, a relatively older man in the crowd immediately shouted loudly, Set up the altar. Invite the gods. With this shout, the panicked crowd immediately quieted down. Even their fearful expressions became calm. Xinhui noticed the change in the other side's crowd. He also heard the shout of the old man. His face suddenly became strange. Invite the gods? What is that? But even if he didn't know, Shen Hui knew for sure that it was not a good thing. The thin, tall ghostly figure appeared directly next to the old man and tore him to shreds. Its tentacles quickly extended again, tearing more than a dozen people around it to shreds. But the remaining people did not panic again. They began to gather together. And as one person loudly shouted, everyone else echoed in unison. Raise the flag. 
light the incense, and set up the altar. Someone took out a small incense burner from their arms and placed it on the ground, while another person took out three sticks of incense and inserted them into it. The slender ghost shadow teleported directly in, ready to kill the people in this area first. However, after the slender ghost shadow's attack hit them, it emitted a golden light that completely blocked the damage, and those people completely ignored the presence of the slender ghost shadow. Whether they were adults, children, or elderly, all of them had an extremely devout and even fear suppressing expression. They began to shout in unison, the first beat of the law drum shocks the heavens, the second beat of the law drum shakes the earth. I strike the underworld gong and move the heavens and the earth. Burn incense and invite the great god, please the black earth god on the ground, protect my people for eternity. As the first sentence was shouted, someone among them began to beat a drum that seemed to have appeared from nowhere. The first beat of the drum made the sky hum. The second beat of the drum made the earth tremble. The third beat of the drum made the heavens and the earth tremble together. After the words fell, everyone's eyes gradually became fanatical. A strange quality appeared on these ordinary people. They seemed to no longer be themselves, something had attached to them. The slender ghost shadow launched another attack, instantly appearing in front of a person. This time, the attack pierced the person's body. But just like piercing into the earth, no blood flowed from the person's body. It was instantly torn apart, but something like threads spread throughout the body. Connecting it, it instantly rebounded, completely restoring the body. Everyone's faces showed fanaticism, and they began to shout wildly, The Black Earth God protects us? Let us kill the monster in front of us. These people suddenly rushed toward the slender ghost shadow, and as they approached, a strange force formed a barrier, directly suppressing the slender ghost shadow and dragging it to the ground. It couldn't teleport, and its other movements became very slow. Men, women, old, and young all rushed forward, like layers of soil. They buried the slender ghost shadow underneath. In the place where the remaining heroes of Shinhui were, they also encountered these ordinary people. In the withered tree forest, all the ordinary people who met under the manipulation of Sadako's fear gradually fell into terrifying mental illusions. But the remaining people immediately began to shout loudly, the white god in the sky, respond without stopping, protect our lives, be wise and clear, keep the mind peaceful, the three souls eternal, the spirit unlost. These people's faces also became fanatical. From being ordinary individuals, they became strange. Their fear completely disappeared, and Sadako's mental control could no longer bind them. These people, blessed with strange power, were completely fearless. With that strange power, they charged toward Sadako. Even as a spiritual being, these people, through that strange power, could still touch her. In the butcher's slaughterhouse, everyone was also reciting their spells. Return to the nature of the ceremony. Offer incense with a single thought to the world. I offer incense to invite the stone god to descend from the sky. These people took out small stones from their pockets and scattered them into the sky. After landing, these stones turned into stone figures. In Fu Jung, the siren head, and the abhorrence, these people also invited different gods and began to suppress them with this strange power. Shen Hui, who was watching all of this, instantly became gloomy not because he was worried about the survival of his heroes, as they could all be resurrected, but if they continued to be suppressed like this, Shin Hui was destined to be defeated. Is this the power that controls the other world? There were no powerful humans, only ordinary people, but each ordinary person could become a powerful being, and these people, after turning into those fanatical, fervent faces, they seem to have discarded all negative emotions and positive emotions, only piety and fanaticism remain. In the situation where the hero of Shin Hui cannot suppress the opponent, they are not affected by the death world of Shin Hui at all. Completely, it is another existence wearing a human shell. This power, this system, Shin Hui knows, this is a world created with faith as its system. In the Sea of Stars, the place where the unknown world is challenged. Here, everything seems normal, and everyone is orderly challenging different unknown worlds. Shin Hui also stood with his eyes closed. Although it has been a long time, but it didn't attract anyone's attention. After all, there are longer times, which is normal. There is only one staff member responsible for managing this world association, squinting in another direction, looking at Shin Hui, but he is not challenging the unknown world, but challenging Shin Hui's created world. He is the creator of this world created with a system of faith. Through his privileged work, he is connected to Shin Hui's world. With a smile, 
He is paying attention to the battle in Shen Hui's death world. He he he, Shen Hui is just like this. Although he grows quickly, he has already reached the fourth level world. The world is also a type that has never been seen, but compared to my world, it is still too weak. Tsk tsk, I didn't expect that he can actually disrupt our plans. The great cleansing of the world association is about to come, before being discovered. Let me take care of him, and that calm wind also helped a lot. Wanting to find a world that belongs to him here, but it just happens to allow me to blame Shin Hui's death on him and let myself escape unscathed. When I complete the task, the high priest will be able to make him the belief in my world. By then, I can summon him. This person's consciousness is laughing wildly in his own world. Everything is developing in a good direction, and it is time to completely destroy Shin Hui's world. End this battle. But at this moment, a sudden change occurred in the place where the battle took place. The sky, which was originally hazy and filled with black gray mist, suddenly had a dim orange color hanging in the sky, and like pigments dissolved in water, it began to spread and render continuously. Gradually, the entire sky was dyed into a twilight like scene, a grand, majestic, seemingly occupying the entire sky, a huge unknown creature that cannot be fully seen, bathed in the gradually emerging twilight. Shen Hui coldly watched these people in the death world. No, they should not be called people now. They are carriers of the power of faith. Faith, a special power. What they believe in, when devout enough, can become real. It can even become a transcendent existence. That is, a god. The gods bless them, respond to their prayers and sacrifices, and grant them powerful strength. In this way, a cycle is formed, and it continues endlessly. However, not everything and everyone can be believed to become a god. Shin Hui whispered softly, what they believe in, the black earth god, the white god, the stone god, they are just land, white clouds, and rocks, these are all their own creations, the most basic, even if they now start to believe in a single leaf, that leaf will also be called the leaf god by them, thus, granting them power, but is this kind of faith really firm, once faith no longer exists, everything will turn into nothing, Shin Hui knew it was time to awaken him, the sleeping misfortune, the 18th day, as Shin Hui's will begins to silently call out in the death world, the sleeping wandering misfortune in space, his consciousness begins to return from the chaos, misfortune turned into a dusk-like spot of light, beginning to transform into paint splattered across the sky, the entire world was dyed with the long lost dusk, the wandering misfortune emerged gradually from the shadows in this ancient, old, and declining halo of light, a huge and blurry figure, like a messenger sent by the gods to walk the world, appeared, inspiring fear and prompting involuntary worship. The people in the newly born land knew that another disaster had occurred and began to pray not to be involved. This was in the abandoned city of the original supernatural world. All survivors emerged from the corners, unable to help but kneel and repent. They hoped to free themselves from the wandering misfortune with their own sins. The master of the faith world, a core member of the giant god cult lurking in the world association was stunned by the appearance of the huge creature, feeling afraid, this was not supposed to exist in the current world, this was beyond the norm, moreover, he felt a very familiar feeling from this huge creature, this feeling, it's, it's him, the one I believe in, his presence is on him, the member of the giant god cult was very certain that the giant creature carried his presence, or rather, a similar type of presence, how can the other world summon such an existence, could it be, could it be that he has come to help me? This is not summoned by Shen Hui, but an existence from his world has appeared. The member of the giant god cult was extremely excited and couldn't help but want to cheer. He believed it was him, the titan god, coming to help him. He had gained his attention. However, the member of the giant god cult had not been excited for long before he discovered an unbelievable scene. Without exception, all the people in his faith world had their eyes fixed on the wandering misfortune. Their expressions changed from their original fervor and devotion to confusion, hesitation, and even pain. Their faith remained, but it was suppressed by another force similar to faith. Every little thing in their lives, from childhood to adulthood, their regrets towards themselves, towards others, and even towards their faith, were magnified infinitely, as if through a telescope. No, it should be an astronomical telescope. They had never thought that they would be a kind of misfortune bringing unhappiness to themselves, to others, and even to their faith. Even their faith began to waver. If they continued their faith, 
wouldn't that bring misfortune to their faith? Before continuing their faith, at least, at least they should first cleanse themselves of their misfortune. Their original faith began to collapse entirely. The power of faith in them began to dissipate, turning them back into ordinary people. The stones that had turned into stone people also returned to their original state. The idols of faith in their village's sacrificial places shattered at this moment, turning into dust and rubble. The expressions on everyone's faces no longer showed confusion or hesitation. They had a new fervor, a kind of repentance, a desire for redemption. They wanted to quickly attract the attention of the wandering misfortune. They had to bring unhappiness to themselves or others, carrying misfortune with them. The crowd suddenly became chaotic, starting to attack and harm each other, or even self-harm. The wandering misfortune noticed them. They became even more frantic. The wandering misfortune began to move causing earthquakes with each step. Dusk also surrounded and followed him as he moved, like a divine and towering figure coming before them. Huge, with bone spurs, his heavy feet landed in the area where they were, bringing a destructive force that distorted and shook the surrounding space. The look of madness on everyone's faces reached its peak at this moment, even beginning to distort. They knelt down in worship, their fate about to be carried away. They began to welcome the moment of redemption. Boom! The foot landed on the ground, raising a huge gray dust. Everyone's bodies turned to dust in the destructive force. Their fate turned into dots, carrying ancient twilight starlight, drifting towards the wandering fate. At this moment, the twilight in the sky became even more brilliant. The people of the giant god sect were already dumbfounded. Clearly, it had a similar aura to the one they believed in. But how could? How could they turn against their own world? Is this summoned by Shinhui? No. How is this possible? He didn't believe it, and didn't want to believe it, but everything had become a foregone conclusion. With no belief in the world of faith, his world began to collapse, heading towards destruction. Challenge the world completed, obtain the source of faith, start returning to the sea of stars, with the sound of the prompt, Shinhui knew that everything had come to an end. Consciousness began to leave the world of death, returning to the sea of stars. Shinhui opened his eyes and found himself still standing next to the connection to the unknown world. There was nothing unusual about the people around him. Shinhui looked around quickly, searching for the figure of Gxin Fong. Soon he saw him and his people, but they all had their eyes closed. Apparently in the unowned world, there was nothing unusual. It's not him? Shinhui thought to himself. Looking around again, he quickly noticed a person with a pale face, dressed in the uniform of the World Association. His figure quickly dimmed and disappeared into the sea of stars. It's him, watching the figure dissipate. It turned out to be a member of the World Association. Apart from GXIN Fong, there was only the giant god sect. I didn't expect that even staying in the World Association, I would still be threatened. The other party has already infiltrated here. Shinhui decisively left the sea of stars and returned to the real world. The created world was destroyed and both the spirit and consciousness would suffer great harm. There was no remedy, and it could be said that death was not far away. Even if he was saved, he would be a useless person. But Shen Hui also had to find the other party, to see them alive or dead. Naturally, being alive was best, as long as he could get information from the other party. Back in the room of Qi Yen, Shen Hui sprang up from the bed like a carp and rushed out the door. Shen Hui spent several days in the unowned world. But the time inside was not synchronized with reality, so it was only late at night for Shinhui. There were already fewer people in the World Association, and only the staff on duty remained. Shinhui immediately rushed over, without time to explain, and asked urgently, Where is the person in charge of the unowned world? Although the staff of the World Association did not know what Shinhui was doing, Shi Yen had instructed that if Shinhui had any problems, they should cooperate to solve them. She also promptly told Shinhui, in the second room of the B2 passage, Shinhui ran straight over there and at the same time took out his phone and was immediately called by Qi Yen. Just as he dialed, the call was immediately connected. Qi Yen's voice came from inside, What's wrong? President, I was messed with by the people of the giant god sect. They are members of your world association. Good. Just as Shinhui finished speaking, Qi Yen replied with a single word. Then she immediately hung up the phone. Shinhui also sprinted all the way to the door of the second room in the B2 passage. He kicked the door open. A smell of blood filled the room. Shinhui saw a person with a broken body and blood coming out of the instrument challenging the unknown world. The person's appearance was the same as the one Shinhui saw disappearing in the starry sea. 
The injuries on the person's body were obviously not caused by the destruction of the created world, but by oneself. The person had one last breath and saw Shen Hui rushing in. With a mouth full of blood, the person showed a strange smile. Ha ha. Cough. Don't. Expect to get information from me. I'm going. To see him. With the last word, the person's eyes lost their vitality. Shen Hui walked to the body and said, Won't the body speak? In less than a minute, a group of World Association people rushed in. Obviously, they had received the news from Qi Yen. However, their eyes became alert. Who knows if there are members of the giant god sect among them. Qi Yen also arrived from outside in three minutes. Seeing Shen Hui unharmed, she breathed a sigh of relief. Tell me, how were you tricked again? As Shen Hui recounted his experience, Shi Yan's expression became serious, and she immediately began giving orders. Block the association's base and gather all the staff. If anyone is missing, investigate carefully. Everyone immediately started to act. Only Shen Hui and Shi Yan remained in the room. Shi Yan looked at the body and said, The elders of the World Association headquarters have already confirmed it. It's time for a major cleanup. It seems that these people have also received the news and are preparing to jump up. Then Shi Yan looked at Shen Hui. The World Association is not absolutely safe. Until the cleanup is over. You should stay with me. Shen Hui nodded quickly. No problem, President. But your strength, kid, has grown rapidly. You're already at level 4. And you were able to defeat someone with the strength of a level 5 world. Shen Hui concealed his strength, which was also a kind of trump card to influence others' judgment. After all, under normal circumstances, at this time, their world could only reach level 3, which was already top talent. Moreover, Shen Hui had no power or background behind him. Shen Hui smirked and didn't say much. Shi Yen continued, Level 5 worlds are a span, not so easy to advance. At least, you need to create a product that belongs to your created world and transcends the era. As an experienced person, Shi Yen briefly explained to Shen Hui. Shen Hui nodded ready to continue listening to Qi Yen. But at this point, Qi Yen stopped and looked at Shen Hui with an expectant gaze. A little helplessly, she said, don't expect it. Your world system is unique, and our experience is not applicable to you. Since you have come this far, it means you also have your own systematic ideas. You have to explore and move forward on your own. In Shen Hui's thoughtful gaze, Qi Yen walked to the Dead World Association staff member. The people of the giant god sect have been planning for a long time. From our current investigation results, we can confirm one thing. The giant god sect did not directly collude with our people. Instead, they have been nurturing their people from a young age, integrating them into our organization, and using them when needed. So it is very difficult to find the source through them. After explaining to Shen Hui, Shi Yan was about to dispose of the body. However, Shen Hui spoke up. President, leave the body. I might be able to use it. Shi Yan looked at him with a puzzled expression. Shen Hui continued, As long as I can bring my world back into the real world, maybe I can let him live in a different way. By then, maybe we can access some of his memories from when he was alive. Shi Yan immediately agreed. Okay, besides his body, some of the giant god sex bodies from the previous turmoil have also been preserved, but it may take some time to test the creation world's arrival in the real world and we will notify you when the time comes. Shen Hui nodded. After disposing of the bodies here, Shen Hui followed Qi Yan to where all the staff were gathered. There were also high-level organizational members who had not left the World Association, including GXIN Fong. He looked at Shen Hui's appearance with an unmistakable look of regret in his eyes. Shen Hui, however, looked smugly at him, as if to say, what can you do to me? This made GXIN Fong very annoyed. After some investigation, it was found that apart from the deceased staff member, everyone else had come and there were no issues. Moreover, the deceased staff member had little interaction with the others on a regular basis. He was relatively low-key and had little presence. Everyone left, and Qi Yen also took Shen Hui back to her home. Shen Hui went with Qi Yen to her home. It was a detached villa not far from the World Association. It could be said to be a peaceful place away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Apart from the Nine Phoenix Tower they had visited before, this was the first luxurious residence Shen Hui had been to. Shen Hui looked around curiously, like Lu Lao Lao entering the Grand View Garden, curious about everything. Don't look around. You won't find a flower no matter how much you look. If you want, you can also live here permanently. Qi Yan walked into the living room on the first floor and turned on the lights inside. 
The orange light shone through the glass partition, illuminating the surroundings with a warm atmosphere. The floor and furniture here were all made of wood. It was both quaint and grand. President, this, isn't it a bit inappropriate? And don't you have anyone else at home? Although Shen Hui said it wasn't appropriate, there was a look of joy in his eyes. He had thought about moving before, but because his previous residence was relatively remote, he had given up on the idea. But now, even in the World Association, there was danger. The area where he used to live naturally became even more dangerous. If he could live with Qi Yan and not have to pay rent, wouldn't that save him a lot of money? No, I live here alone, so don't be so formal. Although I am your senior, I am not much older than you. Sit down, have some water. Qi Yan sat on the sofa and poured two glasses of juice. Xin Hui also walked in and sat on the other side, taking a sip. It was carrot and tomato juice, without sugar. And Xin Hui found it a bit unusual to drink. Putting down the glass, he looked at Qi Yan. She was wearing a smart casual outfit, with a tight figure and a sharp aura. Her appearance was not inferior to Qing Shui's, and she had a mature charm. Compared to Qing Shui's shyness, this was undoubtedly more tempting. But as the branch president, although her strength was not the strongest, she must have her own unique qualities in management. Therefore, the imposing manner of a manager and a superior would undoubtedly make many people not dare to approach her easily. Except for Xin Hui. Of course, because he had a thick skin. President, how old are you? From your appearance, to be honest, you seem only a year or two older than me. Xin Hui asked curiously. Xi Yan gave Xin Hui a displeased look. No wonder you don't have a girlfriend. Don't you know that you shouldn't ask a woman's age? Xin Hui pursed his lips but did not argue. However, he couldn't help but think that if he wanted, the previous branch president Shang Nan would have introduced Sun Jingjing to him. It wasn't that he didn't have a girlfriend. He just didn't want one. After all, women only affect the speed of drawing a sword. By the way, your reward has been applied for and will arrive at the latest the day after tomorrow. There are also the family rewards from the other major regions. They shouldn't send anyone over. After all, every family's power is currently under self-inspection, and there's not much free time. We will deliver them ourselves when the time comes. Shen Hui suddenly nodded. These were the resources he had been longing for. With these, he could continue to build the new land of life. By the way, President, I have the essence of the breath of life obtained from the primal world on me. This should be a rare resource, right? How does the World Association recycle it? If it's not possible, I'll just find Yi Long. Xin Hui was ready to ask about the price and choose the highest one when the time came. He couldn't shortchange himself. But Qi Yan smirked and said, Yes, this is a rare resource. Xin Hui's mouth had just started to curve up. But before he could get happy, Qi Yan's next words made his smile disappear. But this kind of resource has very few uses. So even though it's rare, the demand is also not high. Xin Hui immediately asked. So, before Xin Hui could finish, Xi Yan took over. The essence of the breath of life brings vitality to the created world and enhances the power of life. In a normal created world, vitality and life force are abundant, and excessive supplementation is of no use, and may even bring about negative consequences. It is usually used when a created world begins to decline, to replenish vitality as it withers. But if the world is already in decline, even if it is used, it can only delay the inevitable, not solve the root problem. It can only be said that having it is better than not having it. So for those who don't need it, it's useless. And for those who do, it also depends on the extent of their need. In terms of recycling, not only the World Association, but other major organizations also cannot offer a high price. Xin Hui suddenly understood. Just like the primal world he first challenged, the world inside was in decline with grasslands and forests beginning to wither. All the animals and a large number of half-beast people died, and those who survived would also die sooner or later due to food issues. With the replenishment of the essence of the breath of life, vitality could be brought back, and food could be obtained to delay the decline. Shin Hui's face suddenly fell. After obtaining the essence of the breath of life in the primal world, he had been very happy, thinking it was a rare resource. He was sure he could sell it for a good price. But unexpectedly, although it was rare, its value did not match. Qi Yan noticed Shen Hui's change in expression and chuckled. It wasn't that Shen Hui's smile had disappeared, but that it had transferred to Qi Yan's face. President, you can still laugh about this, but this is something I obtained at the risk of my life from the primal world. 
If Shin Hui could beat Qi Yan, he would definitely rush up. Don't be hasty, I haven't finished. Although the price for recycling here is not high, you can go to the unrestrained land. Maybe the people there have a need for it, and you can exchange it for some equally rare things. Shin Hui reacted to Qi Yan's words. The unrestrained land? Shin Hui had known about the unrestrained land before becoming a creator. It was not in the real world, but somewhere in the sea of stars. It was similar to a server, where entering the sea of stars from the World Association was one server, and the unrestrained land was another. It was rumored that one of the creators of the World Association was also the creator of the unrestrained land. It was a place where one could challenge the world. But the difference was that challenging the ownerless world in the World Association was relatively safe. Here, safety did not refer to world battles, but to the selection of worlds. As long as the corresponding money was spent, one could choose a specific world level to challenge. In the unrestrained land, this was not possible. Each challenge was random. Although it has been many years, based on the experience of generation after generation, there are also some judgment skills. However, it is not 100% accurate. Maybe you will encounter a fifth level world in a first level world. That would be a direct defeat. But the benefit there is that it is free and doesn't cost a penny. Once the challenge is successful, it's pure profit. So some medium-sized forces, most small forces, and the formed mercenaries, or ordinary creators without background, talent, or money, will go there to seek fortune. Just like most of the people in the same generation is Shin Hui. If it weren't for Shin Hui relying on various rewards to obtain resources and money, he would definitely be there now. Of course, there are also some powerful people who will appear there. Because of the complete randomness, sometimes special worlds will appear in the uninhibited land. Because of the large number of people gathering, the uninhibited land has gradually developed into a trading place. In the early morning, Shin Hui, lying on the bed at Chian's, was not sleeping. Instead, he immersed his consciousness in the world of death, in the last battle with the world of faith. Although the heroes on his side were completely suppressed, some were seriously injured and some died. But under their undying characteristics, they have now recovered to their perfect state in their respective territories. However, Shin Hui did not come to check their status, but to check the spoils of the last battle, the source of faith. Source of faith, level, special, effect, contains the power of the faith system, which can be used to create a faith. This thing is similar to the titan's power obtained before. It integrates the power of the world of other systems to create its own system world. Although the power of faith is the same, the difference in upper and lower limits is too great. For example, when Shin Hui encountered the power of faith used by the giant god sect, it was used to believe in some ordinary things. Although under the continuous improvement of the power of faith, it can eventually achieve the status of a true god, but that is too far away and believing in some unique things will have a higher lower limit. For example, it can be used to believe in vague concepts of land, white clouds, and rocks. Specifically, it can have various legends, magnificent famous mountains and rivers, placed on Shen Hui's original planet. Those would be Mount Tai, Kun Lun Mountain, and so on. Or it can be used to believe in those who have been passed down through the ages and have a lasting reputation. Of course, even if it is infamous for thousands of years, in the previous life, the most famous one was Guan Gong. Without exception, all of these have deep background information. Shin Hui also knows that it is not that the other party does not want to believe in these things. It is that in his world of faith system, these similar things simply do not exist. Otherwise, the strength of the other party's world of faith would probably be greatly improved. And now Shin Hui has the opportunity to create a faith. Naturally, it cannot be used arbitrarily. Faith when combined with the world of another system, often has miraculous effects. If it were other people, they should directly use the power of faith to believe in the heroes created by their own world. Shin Hui muttered, This is the most normal and direct idea. The people living in Shin Hui's world are all struggling in fear and oppression. If there is a faith that can protect them, they should grab this life-saving straw without hesitation. Let Sadako, let the slender ghost, let the wandering misfortune become their faith? Shin Hui immediately vetoed it. Not that it is impossible, but it is unnecessary, because there are better choices. Then use the power of faith to create the brother of the wandering misfortune. The faith of the wandering, the seventeenth day? The attributes carried by the seventeenth day, the faith of the wandering, undoubtedly fit very well with the power of faith. He himself carries a kind of faith, 
which can be better utilized. However, Shen Hui suddenly thought of something and couldn't help but smile silently. His own world of death is a world built to create fear, to create despair, to create death. Does such a world really need a faith? Or rather, does it need a normal faith? Shen Hui knew the answer. It was not needed. Hope is a seed that blooms into a flower in everyone's heart. If it were so normal, it would obviously not fit Shen Hui's world of death. But what if the seed of hope, once it blooms, becomes ugly, evil, a decaying flower that shocks everyone? Shen Hui laughed. This was just too fitting, to have hope in despair, expecting hope, but waiting for the result to be despair. This is just too perfect. And Shen Hui knew the faith that could achieve such a result. The oldest and strongest emotion of humanity is fear. And the oldest and strongest fear is the fear of the unknown. Cthulhu. Thinking of this, it feels just too perfect. Unbeknownst to himself, Shen Hui was becoming increasingly emotional, stained with a kind of madness. What they believed in, what sheltered them, was constantly devouring their reason, distorting their cognition. What they believed in was fear, the fear of the unknown. When they were closest to their faith, they would understand. What else could be a better faith than this? This was Shen Hui's idea of using the source of faith to create the most fitting faith. And in the worldview of Cthulhu, there are the outer gods, the elder things, and the old gods. The outer gods are the most powerful and primitive deities. They are the origin of the universe, the origin of everything. The most famous of them is the blind and foolish god, Azathoth. Everything in the universe is born from his dreams. It is not something Shen Hui can rely on the source of faith to construct the existence of faith, even if it could be constructed. It is likely that at the moment of construction, his own world would collapse into nothingness. Next are the old gods, also known as the ancient gods. They protected the earth in ancient times because they had a common enemy with the earth's creatures and fought against the elder things. There is not much information about them, but there are rumors that they also belong to a kind of outer god. Their strength is unquestionable. Finally, there are the elder things, ancient and powerful beings in the universe. They are beyond the scope of human imagination, transcending the laws of the universe. Ordinary people who see them will witness the truth of the universe and go mad. But some ancient civilizations, alien races, and mysterious religions worship them. They hope to gain their knowledge and power to protect themselves. Among these three options, the outer gods are naturally excluded, as are the old gods. The most suitable choice is undoubtedly the elder things. They already have followers. Ordinary people can obtain knowledge and power from them. Although this knowledge and power will come at the cost of their reason and fear, it is more in line with Shin Hui's previous ideas. And among the elder things, the most famous is the great Cthulhu, the sleeping god, the lord of Waya, representing the existence of water. Shin Hui decided that what he would construct with the source of faith was Cthulhu. Of course, it was impossible to directly create Cthulhu using the source of faith. He could only use Cthulhu as the source of faith's void to create his followers, using their power of faith to continuously materialize Cthulhu until one day he appeared completely. After all, in the background of Cthulhu, he is sleeping at the bottom of the Raya Sea, waiting to be awakened. This is very similar to creating with the source of faith. It will be a long process, unable to bring rapid strength improvement to Shin Hui's world of death. But on the day when the sleeping Cthulhu awakens, the world will tremble. After making the decision, Shin Hui also began to plan. Next, how to create a group of followers who believe in Cthulhu. Cthulhu, the lord of Raya, the sleeping god. In his worldview, the followers he possesses are the most numerous. But closer to Cthulhu than the followers are his servants, the Deep Ones. The Deep Ones, a kind of humanoid race living in the deep sea with fish-like features. As servants of Cthulhu, they naturally possess great power. Before Cthulhu can manifest, using their power to guide more people to believe in Cthulhu is undoubtedly a good choice. So, the next goal for Shen Hui is to create the Deep Ones. However, the basic requirement for creating the Deep Ones is the need for a large sea. Then, how to create such a race and make them adapt to the world of death? Shen Hui hasn't figured this out yet. Moreover, these plans can only be implemented after obtaining the sea. So Shen Hui is not in a hurry right now. He plans to wait until the resources arrive and then directly construct a large sea in the world of death. And the creation of new land also needs to continue. The current area is still too small. And their fear, Shen Hui believes, is not enough. Their faith will correspondingly be more devout. So the Silent Hill template also needs to be created. 
All of this has to wait until the resources are delivered. Xin Hui fell asleep and didn't wake up until noon the next day. Shi Yan was at home, but apparently had already woken up. She was talking to someone and dealing with matters in the World Association. Shen Hui stretched and went to the bathroom to freshen up. When he came out, Shi Yan had finished the call and was sitting on the outside wicker chair. President, you didn't cook. It's already noon, Shen Hui said, rubbing his growling stomach. Although he could scrounge for food in the world of death, the food inside, can people eat that every day? Basically, all creators still prefer food in the real world. Shi Yan was surprised to hear the word cook. Then she shook her head and said, No, I have to go to the World Association later. I'll eat there. Shen Hui sat on the sand and said nonchalantly, President, can't you cook? No wonder you don't have a boyfriend. You can't catch a man's heart if you can't catch his stomach. Shi Yan, who was hit in a sore spot, blared at Shen Hui through the glass. But she was too lazy to argue with Shen Hui, who was just a little brat. Let's go. Since you're awake, let's go. Under Qi Yan's lead, Shen Hui returned to the World Association. There were fewer people here today. It should be related to the big cleanup. After having a meal in the cafeteria and returning to the hall, Shen Hui saw Yi Yitian, along with Yi Long, Xiao Xiangyan, and Qing Xiuai coming in. Yi Yitian looked at Shen Hui with a concerned expression and asked, Shen Hui, are you okay? If I didn't have something last night, I would have come to see you directly. Shen Hui shook his head. Thank you, Uncle Yi. I'm fine. That's good. I only got the news this morning. I was really worried about you. Yi Long said, walking up and lightly punching Shen Hui in the chest. Xiao Xiangyan, seeing Yi Long's intimate actions with Shen Hui, couldn't help but comment, How come you've never been this worried about me? Yi Long immediately showed a smile and comforted her. It's because your strength is not as strong as Brother Shin's. The cult of the giant god won't target you. Xiao Sheng Yan's mouth twitched, and she glared at Yi Long. Shen Hui patted Yi Long's shoulder. Brother Yi, you don't need to worry about me. Worry about yourself. At first, Yi Long didn't understand, as he wasn't in danger either. But then came the sound of a pig being slaughtered from Xiao Sheng Yan's hand. Xing Xue was laughing on the side. Later, thinking of something, he said to Shen Hui. Shen Hui, I went back to school yesterday, and the teacher and the principal are hoping you can find time to go back and take a look. Shen Hui nodded. It was the principal who had high hopes for him and had rewarded him separately. Otherwise, Shen Hui's initial resources would not have been so abundant. Okay, after this period of time, let's go back together and take a look. You guys stay here and play, we'll go take care of things. Shi Yan looked at Shen Hui and the others, and after speaking, Left with Yi Yitian. As soon as the two adults left, Yi Long immediately asked Shen Hui for a more detailed account of what happened yesterday. Xiao Shang Yan and Xing Xue were also very curious, listening carefully. As Shen Hui recounted, their expressions became astonished. Wow, Shen, are you so powerful now? You're already at the fourth level world, and you can even defeat the fifth level world. How did you develop your world like this? Yi Long widened his eyes. Seriously suspecting that Shen Hui had mastered some special method, Xiao Shang Yan also nodded in agreement with your current strength. Even if you enter the Starry Sky rankings, you might quickly catch up with the previous generation. This generation had not yet entered the Starry Sky rankings, and the last place in it naturally belonged to the previous generation. They were all elites among elites, and after a year of development, their strength must also be very powerful. Shen Hui dared not agree, who knows? We'll have to wait for the Starry Sea rankings to know. Right. You guys came today to challenge the ownerless world? Yi Long shook his head. Today we came specifically to see you. After what happened last night, who would dare to go challenge the ownerless world now? We all plan to enter the ownerless area of the Starry Sea after a while and challenge the ownerless world. Shin Hui agreed and nodded. That was his plan too. To go challenge the ownerless area after the big cleanup was over. Then, Shin, shall we go play? I'm not going to play. I plan to go to the unrestrained land and find a chance to sell the essence of life on me. Shen Hui revealed his next plan. The essence of life? No wonder. This thing is really not very useful. But there should be demand in the unrestrained land. Shen, we'll go with you. Xiao Shang Yan's family has business there. And we can help you inquire. Yi Long pointed to Xiao Shang Yan. She nodded. Our family is in the resource acquisition industry there. And we are quite familiar with the place. Okay. I'll buy a device to connect to the unrestrained land, and we'll go together. 
Devices to connect to the unrestrained land were basically available wherever resources of the created world were sold, and they were not expensive. Just a few thousand dollars, not far from the World Association. Shin Hui and the others bought a device. It looked like a helmet and was very convenient to carry. Back at the World Association, they found a private room. The four of them began to connect their consciousness with the devices. This was their first time entering the unrestrained land. Suddenly, their consciousness was projected by the devices onto the unrestrained land of the starry sea. The boundless starry sky, like a winding river, formed a galaxy that covered the sky. The place where Shen Hui and the other's consciousness was projected was on the land of a planet in this galaxy. It looked no different from the ownerless world. It was desolate, with bare rocks, but it was larger than the ownerless world. And there were far more people here than in the ownerless world. The dense crowd was right in front of them. If it weren't for the surroundings proving that this was in the starry sea, it would have looked like a bustling market. So many people. It seems that this place has not been affected by yesterday's events. Xing Xiuwei's eyes showed a hint of joy, as if she liked this lively scene. Of course, the challenge of the lawless territory is uncontrollable, and it has always been very dangerous here. Yi Long said, sharing the information he knew, although he had never been here, he knew more. Xiao Shengyan also reminded, the lawless territories here are a mix of all kinds of people, unlike the World Association, where each lawless territory in each major region is separately delineated. Although it is possible to go to the lawless territories of other major regions, generally it is relatively cleaner within each major region. Xiao Shengyan pointed ahead, but here, there are people from various major regions, strong and weak, forces of different sizes, and no shortage of fugitives. Hearing this, Qing Xiuwei's perception of the lawless territory instantly diminished, compared to the lawless territories of the World Association. This place is really terrible, but there are rules here. Don't worry, no one dares to act recklessly. After all, this place has existed for so long, Xin Hui said, expressing his understanding of the lawless territory. The four of them began to walk forward, blending into the crowd. Although it was only a projection of consciousness, it could still reflect the mental state of each person. Most of the people here carry a deep and fearless numbness. Their created worlds are either slow to advance or unable to continue advancing. Here, constantly challenging the lawless world is simply for survival. One level three, another creator of a second level technological world. This trip is 80% certain to be a level three lawless world. The wolf pack is recruiting. Join us with a guarantee, with specialized world appraisal skills, and only take 30% of the resources you obtain from challenging the world. Damn the wolf pack, recruiting cannon fodder, right? My brother was brought in by you last time. Not only did he destroy the world, but he also lost his life. Who doesn't know that challenging the unpredictable in the lawless territory? Who can guarantee 100% safety? If you don't want danger, go to the world association. Don't slander our wolf pack. A level 1 world seeks a master to guide. I don't need resources, just need to devour a bit of land to expand the world's range. Xin Hui and the others arrived at a place with the most people gathered. There was a glowing passage ahead, the passage to challenge the world. There were people constantly shouting, looking for teammates, looking for teams. They were challenging in teams. Xin Hui knew this mode. It's similar to when many people entered the newly born world to challenge it. It's not that entering as a team can overwhelm the world with more worlds. Depending on the number of connected created worlds, they would be influenced by the will and rules of the world thereby suppressing the strength of their own created world. Unless it's a level 5 world challenging a level 3 world, even if it's suppressed, there would still be an advantage. In the absence of a master to guide them, they were almost the same as challenging alone. It can only be said that different world systems can form some restraints. Their margin of error would be greater. Kid, are you new here? Do you want to join our fierce wolf guild? We specialize in taking care of newcomers like you. And if you encounter a low-level world, we will notify you. You only need to hand over 50% of the resources obtained after the challenge. A burly man with a wolf head pattern on his clothes blocked Shin Hui in the other's path. Before Shin Hui could speak, Yi Long directly leaked a hint of his created world's aura. After sensing Yi Long's world level, the other party immediately muttered softly, Why is it someone from a major force again? Why come to the lawless territory instead of the lawless world? After the burly man finished speaking, he no longer entangled with Shen Hui and the others, and left directly. Yi Long looked proud and raised his head, saying to Shen Hui and the others, How about that? 
I also have a level 3 created world at my age. Those who can reach this world level at our age, they dare not entangle with us. Xinhui ignored Yi Long and paid attention to the information in the other party's words. It seems that many powerful people have come to the lawless land. Is it because of the danger of the unowned land? Or is something happening in the lawless land? But this has nothing to do with oneself. Let's go. We're not challenging the world. Let's go directly to the trading place. The trading place is in another direction. Visible from here. Acquiring the technology of the world. The best in a complete package. Selling time acceleration cards. Resource expansion cards. At prices definitely cheaper than those of the World Association and various major powers. Selling two boys from the technological world. A low-level technological world's life-saving weapon. Don't miss out. Top-notch cultivation technique cards from the cultivation world. Just emerged from a level 4 cultivation world. Exchange for something of equal value. Listening to the shouting around. It really feels like a market here. They sell everything. And Xinhui feels that there are even more varieties than those sold by the World Association. Among these people, Xiao Shengyan quickly saw a middle-aged man who was constantly shouting and acquiring various resources. Uncle Zhang. Miss. What are you doing here? Young Master Yi is also here. The one called Uncle Zhang is the person responsible for the Xiao family's resource acquisition in the lawless land. Uncle Zhang. I came with a friend to sell some things, so I came to ask you. Xiao Shengyan pointed to Xin Hui. The other party also recognized him immediately. Isn't this Xin Hui? What are you planning to sell? I have more than 30 strands of essence of life on me. See if I can sell them in the lawless land. Upon hearing that it was the essence of life, the other party shook his head at first. Then immediately said, I heard that today a team challenged an extraordinary world and got a lot of good things from it, but their created world suffered devastating blows. Maybe they need it. Uncle Zhang, where are they? Xiao Xiangyan hurriedly asked. They are at the Zhuga family's place. And the people from the Zhuga family have received the news and quite a few of them have come. It seems they attach great importance to it. Uncle Zhang pointed in a direction, indicating that it was where the Zhuga family was located. The Zhuga family is considered a relatively prominent family in the five major regions. They also have some research on created worlds and pay more attention to the recycling of world resources. Following Uncle Zhang's guidance, Xin Hui and the others began to walk towards the place where the Zhuga family was acquiring resources. There were quite a few people gathered there, making it particularly lively. When they got closer, Xin Hui saw Zhuga Hongjing among them. There were also some people from the Zhuga family around him. Among them was a person slightly older than Zhuga Hongjing, with a particularly indifferent demeanor, attracting attention. They were discussing something with a group of people whose bodies were somewhat translucent. You Zhuga family should be the most clear about how special the worlds we encountered are. Just exchanging these resources, isn't it just sending us away? Our brother's worlds have all suffered damage, and are even beginning to decline. This is something we obtained at the cost of our lives. Someone from the Zhuga family spoke up, of course we know. The resources for exchange and money can all be added. It's just that the essence of life, which can delay the decline, is indeed not something that can be found in such large quantities in a short time. At this moment, Zhuga Hongjing spoke, I know who has it. And if nothing unexpected happens, Xin Hui obtained quite a bit from the newly created world. The proud young man next to Zhuga Hongjing spoke up, Xin Hui, is he the one who saved you? The person with the special world? Zhuga Hongjing nodded, yes, I can contact him and see about purchasing from him. Among the crowd, Yi Long, Xiao Xiangyan, and Xing Xue all turned their gazes towards Xin Hui. Xin Hui coughed twice. Unexpectedly the other party was actually preparing to actively seek him out. He didn't need to come himself. Cough, cough, Zhuga brother, long time no see, I heard you were looking for me? Zhuga Hongjing immediately turned his gaze to Xin Hui with a very surprised expression on his face. Just mentioned Shen Hui. Didn't expect he was actually here. Brother Shen. Ha ha, could it be that you can teleport? You came out as soon as I mentioned you. It's a good thing I didn't speak ill of you. Otherwise I would have been caught red-handed by you. The proud person next to him looked at Shen Hui with strong curiosity in his eyes. Zhuge Hongjing quickly introduced. This is my cousin, Zhuge Yu. Hearing the name Zhuge Yu, Yi Long was slightly surprised and whispered to Xin Hui. I've heard of his name. He's quite strong on the starry sky ranking. Xin Hui nodded, but didn't take the other party to heart at all. Then Xin Hui went straight to the point. Zhuga brother, are you planning to acquire the essence of the breath of life? That's right. 
The stuff should still be on Brother Shun, right? We guarantee to purchase it at a price that satisfies you. Zhuge Hongjing said sincerely. However, Xinhui was more curious. They were planning to use the essence of the breath of life and other resources to exchange for something. If there were valuable items among the exchange, Xinhui could directly exchange with these people. Then I wonder, what are you planning to exchange with them? Zhuge Yu said plainly, just a coordinate of a world. It's useless to you. Xinhui looked at the people selling the items. They also knew that Xinhui had the essence of the breath of life they needed, and nodded quickly. That's right, just a coordinate of a world. If you need it, with the essence of the breath of life and some other resources, we can sell it to you. This time Xinhui was a little surprised, thinking it was something special. Unexpectedly, it was just a coordinate of a world. However, compared to using the essence of the breath of life, and having to add other resources to exchange for a coordinate, Xinhui thought it was not worth it, and as Zhuge Yu said, it was really useless to him. Then Zhuge brother, I have more than 30 strands on me, you first name the price, what do you plan to use to exchange, letting the other party name the price, Xinhui could better raise the price, 1 billion, plus a set of perfect basic resource cards, how about that, the people around were shocked to hear this offer, this price was very worthwhile, 1 billion was completely nothing, a set of basic resource cards, including time flow cards, terrain construction cards, resource expansion cards, and nearly 10 other cards, and the most crucial thing was that they were of perfect quality, if it were them, they would definitely exchange on the spot, however, Xinhui shook his head, they really wanted their essence of the breath of life, so they could name the price. And Xinhui believed that the things the other party was trading would not be lacking in the rewards of the major families in the future. Seeing Xinhui shake his head, the people around were surprised. How could this person be so ungrateful? Such generous resources, and he didn't want to exchange them. Was he trying to cheat the Zhuge family? Zhuge Yu furrowed his brows slightly. Greed knows no bounds. Before the other party could finish, Xinhui directly interrupted him. The value of something depends on the person who needs it. If you don't need it, the essence of the breath of life is definitely not worth anything, but you do need it, so I think it should be worth a higher price, that makes sense, then let's offer a higher price, Yi Long chimed in from the side, and anyone who didn't know would have thought he was from the Zhuge family, Zhuge you gave him a direct glare, so, brother Shen, what else do you need, Zhuge Hongjing asked Shen Hui, Shen Hui thought for a moment, since it was his turn, he needed something useful to himself, However, there were too many types, and Xinhui was not clear about specific names. A thing that can make organisms adapt, or make organisms from other systems become organisms from my system. This is something that Xinhui proposed when considering creating deep divers. Xinhui believes that as a member of the Zhuge family, there must be such a thing. Zhuge Hongjing pondered for a moment, then looked at Zhuge Yu, and then nodded at Xinhui. Yes. The rule evolution card can improve the adaptability of a certain organism, improve its offspring through rapid reproduction, and adapt to the current rules. As Xin Hui expected, it does exist. Since it is continuous evolution and adaptation, Xin Hui can create a batch of simple fish people in the world of death, then evolve them into deep divers. Brother Shen, are you trying to integrate the organisms from other worlds into your world? As far as I know, Brother Shen's world is the world of death and simple organisms cannot survive in it at all. This is not about adaptation. Is it really useful? Don't worry about it. What you just said, along with the rule evolution card, how about completing the transaction? Xinhui believes that under the protection of the source of faith, he can create the Cthulhu faith. With the assistance of the rule evolution card, it will definitely succeed. Zhuge Hongjing nodded. Okay, tomorrow, the rewards from the major families will be sent to you. As for the exchanged items, will they be sent with the rewards from our Zhuge family? Xinhui smiled and said, Okay, when the items arrive tomorrow, he can start creating. Leaving the unrestrained land, he returned home with Qi In in the evening, and got the news from Qi In, just as Zhuge Hongjing said, including the rewards applied for by the World Association. They will be delivered tomorrow. Xinhui was excited and didn't sleep all night. At noon the next day, Shin Hui's rewards finally arrived. Shin Hui, your things have arrived, all in the World Association. Xi'in received the call and told Shin Hui who was sitting at the door looking outside. President, let's go. Aren't you going to the World Association office? 
Shen Hui urged excitedly, but Qi Yin replied calmly, I have nothing to do today, so I don't need to go, let's go get it tomorrow. Shen Hui couldn't wait, it was like finding out that the person you've been dating for 10 years is actually a man, and older than you. President, they say the capable should work more, a beautiful and powerful person like you should definitely be at the forefront, find something to do, and then there will be something to do, let's go, or I'll go alone, you really can't speak nicely, can you, okay, I'll accompany you, Xi Yin looked helplessly at Shen Hui, young people are always impatient, at the World Association, in the material dispatch room, Shen Hui saw his rewards, five boxes in total, the contents made him very curious. The reward from the World Association for you is an upgrade of your membership level, plus two rare quality world source crystals. As for the rewards from the other major families, I'm not sure. You can take a look yourself. After Qi Ying finished speaking, Xin Hui directly placed the five boxes into his world of death. Find a good place to create the world. I'll be outside watching you. Xin Hui nodded eagerly and went into a separate room, his mind immersed in the world of death. Shin Hui opened the five boxes one by one. Time Flow Card, World Source Power Potion, Terrain Construction Card, Creature Construction Card, World Source Power Crystal, Scenario Card. Basically, they are all cards for constructing the world, but at least they are all rare quality. Shin Hui quickly saw the things that Zhu Ga Hongjing promised to exchange with him, a set of high-quality basic resource cards, as well as the Rule Evolution Card that Shin Hui has been looking forward to the most. As for that 1 billion, it was transferred to Shin Hui's account yesterday. Looking at the many resource cards floating in the world of death, Shin Hui showed a satisfied smile. First, the obtained World Origin Power Potion was used, because using the World Origin Power Potion has certain limitations. So these big families also considered a bit, and gave Shin Hui pure World Origin Power. Just like the one obtained in the newborn world, there are no restrictions. After using all of them, a total of 13. 000 world origin powers were obtained adding shin hui's original there were 14 500 in total all can be used to expand the new land relying on those cards the world origin power can basically not be used in other places looking at the floating world origin power crystals shin hui began to refine these things the crystals turned into black mist beginning to fill the world of death the rules and will of the world became more firm Preparations for the upcoming creation are ready, because creating the believers of Cthulhu will definitely make the new land border the sea. So next, the sea will be created first. The sea, of course, has to be large. Since it was decided to be Cthulhu, the ocean will be one of the main themes in the future. The current diameter of Shin Hui's world of death is only 567 kilometers. It is not a particularly large world. So Shin Hui decided to transform half of the world into the sea. With a thought from Shin Hui, the terrain construction cards turned into the power to rewrite the rules and entered the earth. Rumble the ground of the world of death began to tremble. The people of the new land knew that some kind of change had occurred in this world. But this change is not within their information range. So it becomes unknown. No one knows if it is related to their lives. The unknown fear is spreading. Everyone started to pray. But they didn't know who to pray to. The shaking of the earth caused a crack to appear on the ground. The crack quickly spread around, constantly growing and branching out like a giant tree. It stopped only when half of the world of death was occupied by cracks of various sizes. These cracks began to collapse on each other. It seemed that there was an endless abyss underground, swallowing up all the fallen soil and rocks. Finally, a huge crater of over a thousand meters was formed. The seabed has been constructed, and next is to create water. Shin Hui used all the resource expansion cards and converted them all into water resources. At this moment, the entire seabed began to seep seawater continuously. The seawater began to surge wildly, rising higher and higher, until it completely filled the thousand meter deep crater. A vast expanse of water appeared in front of Shin Hui. However, this vast expanse of water was terrifyingly cold, even emitting a black light. There was not a hint of vitality. But next, Shin Hui is going to create vitality for the sea. However, at every step, Shin Hui does not know if it will succeed. So Shin Hui used the scenario cards, and everything was done in simulation. After confirming, everything will be turned into reality. Take out the source of faith. Take out the biological construction card. Take out the rule evolution card. And then take out a time flow card. Everything is ready. 
Xin Hui took a deep breath and began to concentrate his mind. The great Cthulhu, the Lord of Raya, who sleeps at the bottom of the sea. Your believers will spread throughout my world and create your servants with you as their faith. One day, when the stars are in place, they will awaken you from your slumber. Crush the source of faith. A hint of madness tinged with truth awakened from the unknown fear of the world of death. He has always been there, always existing everywhere. In a daze, Xin Hui saw the depths of the newly created ocean. There were constantly wriggling green tentacles, like millions of mating snakes. Filthy, dirty, viscous, they seemed to envelop something, which seemed to be a human silhouette. But it was also truth, and the most primal fear. No, it was neither. It was just a distortion, an indescribable thing. No one could see clearly what it was. It could only be known through tiny, insignificant guesses, that it was him. Something that cannot be described in any language. If roughly expressed in human language, it would be the great Cthulhu. Shin Hui's eyes burned, staring fixedly at the seabed, completely replaced by madness. But in the next moment, the powerful will of the world cut off Shin Hui's sight, bringing him back from that state. The madness gradually disappeared, and Shin Hui's perception of everything around him became clear. Taking a deep breath, with a fear that he dared not face again, he looked back at the seabed. There was nothing there, but it seemed like there was everything. Shin Hui knew that the faith of Cthulhu was already in place. The faith was ready. Next was to create the deep divers with the faith of Cthulhu, because the deep divers, with their biological characteristics and large numbers, were impossible for Shin Hui to construct with the power of the world's origin one by one. As for the method, it was what he had thought of before. The biological construction card and the rule evolution card were lightly pinched in his hand. Two balls of light, each carrying the rules of creation, intertwined and merged into one ball of light. Slowly descending from the sky, it fell into the sea, merging with the seawater. And at that moment, the sea became no longer silent. The source of life began to bloom within it. Various marine creatures began to be born. However, after their birth, a violent breath of death swarmed in. Shin Hui was prepared, and the first wave of life was completely extinct. But the next surprising discovery was that the invasion of the breath of death in the ocean became extremely slow. Life that would have withered in about seven days now took a month. This area of the sea seemed to have become a special domain under the faith of Cthulhu. Shun Hui thought of something. Since this area of the sea was the birthplace of the faith of Cthulhu, then Cthulhu would eventually become real in this area of the sea. This was where he slept. All of this naturally made sense. The entire area of the sea was actually under his protection. This situation was much better than Shin Hui had imagined. Since that was the case, the next steps could proceed smoothly. He chose one of the blue fish in the ocean to be the initial form of the deep divers. The power of the rule evolution card was heavily infused into them. It could help them quickly iterate and transform into a completely new race under Shin Hui's control. Finally, he crushed the time flow speed card in his hand. Next, he would use time to prove whether all of this was possible. Time began to accelerate. Shin Hui began to construct the appearance of the deep divers, using the rule evolution to assist. I think their bodies should be a kind of dark green, although their bellies are white. Most of their bodies are shiny and smooth, but they have scaly ridges on their backs. Their figures have vague human features, but their heads are fish-like, with huge, protruding eyes that never close. On either side of their necks, there are constantly trembling gills, and their long arms and legs have webbed feet. This was the initial description of the deep divers. A month had passed. Most of the marine life began to die, decreasing by 80%. Only a very small number of organisms with relatively rapid reproductive capabilities gave birth to offspring that survived. The most striking of these were the bluefish chosen by Shin Hui. In just one month, they reproduced over a hundred generations. Compared to the original bluefish, their appearance had changed significantly. Their size had grown from about half a meter to over a meter. Their body color had changed from blue to gray-green, with a white belly. After a year, the decline in marine life had slowed to a more moderate pace. The surviving marine life had all been affected by a powerful force of evolution, without exception possessing extremely strong reproductive capabilities, and compared to the original generation, they all had significantly changed in appearance, becoming increasingly grotesque as if distorted by some indescribable force, the original bluefish, or rather, what could no longer be called bluefish, had grown from one meter to two meters, their fins had transformed into webbed feet, and they had begun to take on a humanoid form, 
they had become the rulers of the deep sea, preying on the remaining marine life, and they had developed a hint of independent will. In this faint will, they knew that they could become the rulers of the ocean, the predators of the other creatures. They all had his protection, as he slumbered in the deepest part of the ocean, within a city called Raya. Their purpose in being born was to awaken him. In the second year, the third year, the fourth year, they continued to evolve at a terrifying speed. With over 10,000 generations passing, they were no longer simply fish, but had taken on a human form. Aside from the towering fish scales on their backs, the rest of their bodies had become smooth like alabaster. Their webbed feet had fully developed into limbs resembling those of humans. Their eyes protruded and did not close, and they had gills on their necks. They looked like frogs with human features, or fish with frog-like characteristics. Their appearance now closely resembled that of deep sea divers. In the fifth year, the sixth year, their forms did not continue to change, but they evolved the ability to move on land. They had become amphibious, beginning to move around the land surrounding the ocean. They leaped forward in a disorderly manner, sometimes using their hind legs, sometimes moving on all fours. Their hoarse, sharp vocalizations conveyed emotions that their facial expressions could not, but they did not dare to stray far from the ocean, instinctively sensing the dangers that filled this world. As long as they remained there, they were safe. Their consciousness and intelligence had also grown wildly during this time. They had gained a deeper understanding of their own existence. They were the servants of the great being, Cthulhu. They would worship him and bring him more followers, preparing for his future awakening. And with the blessing of their faith, they had gained extraordinary power from him. They had fully adapted to this world, which had long been eroded by the breath of death. They no longer desired physical contact with each other nor did they reproduce rapidly. They had nearly immortal lives. They were a marine race, unseen in freshwater. They knew from the depths that they were called deep ones. They began to inherit their own legacy and to build their own civilization. At this time, Shinhui also used resource cards to lay down various resources on the seabed. The deep ones utilized the resources of the seabed to construct a vast underwater city with long rows of colossal cylindrical structures, a completely new race born in the depths of the world of death. Shinhui took a deep breath and looked satisfied at the deep sea divers building a city at the bottom of the sea. They had succeeded on their end as well. Later, they could create the father god and leader, Dagon, among the deep sea divers. However, such an existence belonged to the hero unit, so there was no rush. Next, Shinhui turned his gaze to the newly born land. The surviving humans there were living a primitive life, limited by the scope and technology. Next, Shinhui would build their place. After becoming the template land of Silent Ridge, they would border the Sea of Death with their crazy fear and begin to contact the servants of Cthulhu among the deep sea divers and start to believe in him. Shinhui first placed different resources within the expected expansion range of the future of the newly born land using a resource card. Then, manipulating the power of the world's origin, he began to rewrite the rules near the newly born land. The power of the world's origin turned into light points and entered the nearby space. The deathly breath and various negative emotions inside began to be cleared. And because Shin Hui's current foundation in the world of death was extremely stable, rewriting the rules here did not cause a collapse of space. Everything was progressing in a positive direction. With a large amount of support from the power of the world's origin this time, Shin Hui was very confident. The area where the rules were rewritten and the deathly breath and negative emotions were dispelled grew larger and larger. The land returned to normal and no longer became corrupt emitting a foul smell. Rivers, mountains, and forests began to appear as the range of the newly born land expanded. The air became fragrant. Gradually, it became a territory where humans and ordinary creatures could live normally. However, after expending a general power of the world's origin, Shinhui stopped after expanding the 5-kilometer diameter range of the newly born land to 45 kilometers in diameter. It was not that Shinhui did not intend to continue expanding. The current range was already enough to form a city that was neither too big nor too small. Enough for these humans to develop. If it were to expand completely, it would directly border the Sea of Death. Shin Hui's plan was to let the people living here feel fear before contacting the deep sea divers. With everything ready, time began to flow faster. The first day after the expansion of the newly born land, a little girl took her dog out of the house to go find her parents. The dog suddenly broke free from the girl's hand and ran towards the newly born land outside, which was like forbidden territory for them, full of strangeness and emotions. Moreover, 
Her parents often told her that there were terrifying monsters outside that ate people. The little girl called the dog's name, but the dog completely ignored her. Just as the little girl cried, thinking the dog would be eaten by the monsters, she found that the dog was safe there and even stopped to look at her. It seemed to be waiting for her to come over. The little girl cautiously ran over and, after making sure she was indeed fine, happily hugged the dog and hurried to her parents working outside. When the little girl told her parents about this, they were all shocked. After checking that the child was fine, they hurried to the survivor base. When they returned to the survivor base, news that the previously forbidden area was now safe had been reported by many people. Everyone was extremely excited, thinking that there was nothing wrong outside. However, an old man immediately stood up and told them to be careful. Such a situation had occurred once before. Although it was not certain that the outside was completely safe, the space they could move in had definitely expanded. For a moment, everyone put down their work and began a fervent wave of exploration. After all, the areas that had become safe all around were absolute forbidden zones for them before. The people who entered have long since died. On the second day, a large number of people began to explore the newly expanded area. On the third day, as they delved deeper into their exploration, they found that the expansion of this safe area was much larger than the last time. This time, no one found where the boundary was. On the fourth day, everyone returned to the survivor's base and began to organize a group of strong people for a long-distance exploration. Half a month passed in the blink of an eye, and those who went out to explore were excited. Along the way, they saw forests, mountains, rivers, and even new animals. And so far, they have not found the boundary of this safe place. It seems that everything is getting better. A month passed. They finally found the boundary of the safe place. Outside, there was still a palpable sense of fear that made their instincts tremble. It was still a place they dared not set foot in, but the scope they explored this time was so vast. There were also various resources they had seen before. This was enough to make them leave the small area where they had been living. They began to develop for the better. Of course, it wasn't all smooth sailing for them. When they passed through a forest, they heard a broadcast inside. Just as they thought there was another modern civilization in the forest, they discovered that it was not a broadcast at all. It was a terrifying creature. Its withered black skin looked like a body dragged out of a fire. Its long limbs were extremely uncoordinated, giving a twisted feeling. It had two horns on its head, disguised as utility poles, emitting the sound that attracted them. They were so frightened at the time that they lost their senses and forgot what had happened. They only knew that some of their group had disappeared. Someone remembered an old man talking about seeing such creatures wandering in the city during its destruction. A deep, ancient memory from the depths of their souls began to awaken. They were not sure if someone had told them about this before, but they knew that the name of this creature was Siren Head. It was a kind of thin, ghostly figure that circulated in the same category as the creatures in their gathering place. Exploration came with danger, but that danger was insignificant compared to their excitement and their future. As long as they knew how Siren had appeared, they could try to avoid it as much as possible. And like the thin, ghostly figure, this creature did not always appear. With the news of expanding into new fertile land, they began to return to their gathering place. Another month passed. The people at the gathering place welcomed the returning explorers with great excitement after receiving the news. After a lively celebration, they decided to conduct a comprehensive exploration once again. The next day, several different teams were sent out in different directions. After nearly three months, the teams that had been sent out returned to the gathering place with news from various directions. More detailed information began to converge. The survivors at the gathering place were even more excited, as the land was far more abundant than they had imagined, and one of the teams even found the ruins of a city. Of course, they encountered Siren Head again, and even some people lost their lives, but this did not stop their determination to explore outside. Another month passed. The plan to leave this small piece of land and settle in a larger area outside had been fully planned. Thousands of humans, carrying all their belongings, began to leave the place where they had survived for decades, and their first destination was the ruins of the city they had discovered. After more than a month, everyone had gone through hardships and set off towards the city ruins. Along the way, they saw various sights they had never seen before, especially the young people, have never been anywhere since they were born. At the same time, they also witnessed the terrifying creatures known as the Siren Head. Its huge figure, terrifying posture, and strange sounds have been deeply imprinted in their memories. Finally, 
they arrived at the city ruins, standing on the flat ground. Everyone looked into the distance at the ruins. It was not the city of steel and concrete they remembered, but a huge and cold metal city, with a brass-like luster, full of old, quaint, and ancient atmosphere. Thick, heavy clouds covered the sky, giving the city a sense of oppressive mystery. As they walked towards the city ruins, they saw more detailed scenes inside. The chimneys that used to reach the sky were twisted into a circle and lying on the side. The giant boiler had completely cracked open. The huge brass pendulum clock had long stopped moving. Fine objects made of gears were covered in dust everywhere. Various twisted pipes crisscrossed the sky of the city, like the veins of the city. The civilization of this city was completely different from what they had encountered before. Their eyes were full of curiosity. Wanting to quickly understand what kind of civilization this was, Shen Hui, the creator, looked at these people and smiled. The ruins of this small city were not naturally born from the world of death, but were created using a civilization card that Shen Hui saw in the grand family ceremony. And it was not just any technological civilization, but a very obscure steam civilization they wanted to develop, so they naturally needed to promote technological progress. But with their small numbers, it was impossible to establish a complete technological system. So Xinhui gave them a little help by using the steam civilization to drive them forward. Two days passed, and everyone searched the city, but did not find any life or remains in the city. It was like a gift from heaven. They began to settle and live in this city. They started to search for useful things still in the city. After several days, they found many drawings and learned that this civilization was called the steam civilization. It was powered by steam engines burning coal and charcoal to provide steam power. Various fine gear parts were assembled to create different tools. These drawings contained a complete blueprint of the steam civilization, including how to manufacture and use it. Everyone began to work together, with knowledgeable and talented people studying the steam civilization. They began to repair existing machines using the remaining parts and materials in the abandoned city. The remaining people went out to hunt and clear out the abandoned things in the city. One month, two months, one year, two years, most of the city had been cleared out. The people here had also begun to master the use of steam technology. With the sound of steam erupting, white steam rose slowly and drifted in the sky of the city. The interwoven pipes in the sky of the city made a rumbling sound. The valves on top were constantly jumping. The veins of the city were cleared once again. On the main street, various metal, pipes, gears, and bearings made up different modes of transportation making rumbling or creaking sounds as they ran. Their only common feature was that they all had a chimney, which would emit white steam after running a certain distance. The whole city was given a new lease of life. During this time, the long, thin ghostly figures and siren heads appeared in the people's sight, seemingly warning them that this place had never truly been safe. Time passed quickly once again. Ten years, twenty years, they had become the true masters of this steam city. They have completely mastered steam technology. Steam engines can be seen everywhere, constantly running to serve their lives. This is the source of their development. And in this year, they officially announced the takeover of this city and named it Arkham. History is like a rolling wheel. 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, until a hundred years after they first arrived in this steam city, it has become extremely prosperous. The population has exceeded 100,000, not all of whom were born here but some were created by Xinhui using biological constructs, and some were refugees who arrived here after the destruction of their original city. After all, this world is unknown to them. No one knows what lies in the mist, and their ancestors came to live here only after the original city was destroyed. The rapid increase in population has led to rapid development and improvement of steam engine technology. They discovered oil, which can be used to maintain the more efficient development of steam engines. They also harnessed wind energy to drive finely crafted gears for operation. They even developed the concept of steam-powered robots and exoskeletons, which are currently in the experimental stage. The city has been expanded and has become more magnificent. Schools have been built inside to pass on knowledge from generation to generation. Towns have been established around it, connected to the city by railway tracks. Steam trains can be seen shuttling between them. However, beneath all the prosperity, Everyone still carries a strong sense of fear. In addition to the appearance of the slender ghostly figure and the sound of sirens, other strange tales have been witnessed and started to spread. Names like Sadako, the pig butcher, Fuchi, Zengu, are familiar to them, causing fear. Gradually, 
Many taboos have emerged in their city. Do not walk alone in the wilderness. Do not stare directly at tall dark figures in the distance. Immediately flee. Try not to leave children alone at home. If you see a telephone pole where there shouldn't be one, immediately move away. If you hear an unexpected broadcast or a familiar voice calling out without seeing the person, do not go to investigate the source. When walking in the forest and the temperature drops, and there are many dead leaves on the ground, and the air is filled with decay, immediately leave the forest because it is no longer the original forest. If you see a dry well, congratulations, do not run away. When you see an old slaughterhouse in a remote place, do not enter. If you are lucky enough to see the roof of the slaughterhouse when you accidentally enter, which is covered with dissected bodies like works of art, and you feel nauseous and want to leave immediately, there is still a chance. When you find someone, regardless of age or gender, madly in love with a young girl and willing to do anything for her, immediately seal off the area and do not allow anyone to see the appearance of any young girl inside. After waiting for several days or months, you can enter to clean up the bodies and must burn all the photos and not look at them. When there is an outbreak of a plague or a large number of deaths, immediate isolation is required, and the bodies must be handled immediately. Depending on the number of bodies, it should not exceed 2 to 24 hours. Over the past century, rules have been summarized for dealing with strange creatures. As long as they follow them, they can avoid contact and minimize casualties. They have always followed them. Strange creatures have not appeared in the city of Arkham. However, as time passes, the frequency of appearances of various strange creatures is increasing. At the same time, two factions gradually emerged among this group of people. One is the conservative faction, mainly composed of older people. They advocate maintaining the status quo of life, fearing the strange creatures, and developing steam technology. The second is the radical faction, mainly composed of the younger generation. They were born and raised in Arkham and are curious about the outside world. They want to thoroughly study the appearance of strange creatures and even confront them, fearing that one day the rules will no longer have the power to restrain them. They believe they will be destroyed by these strange creatures. However, the younger generation of radicals have less power than the conservative faction. The conservative faction is currently dominant and stable. However, the radicals are also secretly accumulating power. And because the seeds of Cthulhu worship have already spread in this world, although the people here have not yet come into contact with the deep divers, the radicals are investigating this world, attempting to explore and peek into the fundamental truth. And those with more sensitive nerves have also been influenced. They often dream of strange scenes in their sleep. It is deep, oppressive, and silent in the ocean. Although there has never been such an ocean in the new land, they have never seen it. Strange, low whispers, Silent screams emanate with the flow of the waves. In the deepest part of the ocean, it seems that something is waiting for them. Every time they wake up from their dreams, their artistic talents are inspired, and they begin to create strange paintings or sculptures like nightmares. No one knows what these things are, but the creators insist that they are something that can help them understand the truth of this world thoroughly. As a result, many people in the radical faction have begun to admire these artworks, and they have even created a secret teaching. Xinhui witnessed their development over a century, the end of an era. From the initial struggle for survival, they have become a civilization that masters steam technology. Although they also fear and are afraid, it is completely different from the initial fear and dread. They have enjoyed the good life for too long and have forgotten the initial era of struggling for life and survival. From heaven to hell, it is time to plunge them into fear again. The Silent Hill template is ready to be opened. It does not require any world source power. It only needs to reintroduce the original rules of the dead world into the new land. The two slightly different rules intertwine to form the surface and inner worlds. The surface world is the appearance of the new land now, and the inner world is the appearance of the dead world. The new land is between the surface and inner layers. If Xinhui has enough world source power, he can also create the monsters from the real Silent Hill, such as the swollen face nurse, the mannequin, the pyramid head, and so on. They can be transformed into subsidiary creatures of the inner world, similar to the rules of the inner world. However, the remaining world source power needs to be used to expand the new land to connect to the sea of death. We can only wait for the next time when the world source power is sufficient to create again. The surface and inner worlds are ready, and the people living in Arkham have no feeling at all. They are still studying steam technology, and a small number of people are also investigating the increasingly frequent appearance of strange creatures. Until the arrival of today, 
It will completely change the current situation in Arkham. In the small town derived from Arkham, everyone came to Arkham by steam train. The streets of Arkham were crowded with people, and everyone came out onto the streets. Festive red posters were posted everywhere. Everyone's faces were filled with happy smiles and excitement. The steam-powered robots, which had been somewhat effective, revealed their intricate gears and bearings as they moved through the crowd. Someone rode a bicycle that continuously emitted white steam, waving and cheering excitedly. In the sky, floating steam airships were slowly moving. Several large banners hung down from the steam airships. They read, celebrating the 101st anniversary of the founding of Arkham. It has been 101 years since the formal founding of Arkham. This is their greatest and most important day. Everyone gathered in Arkham to begin celebrating this festival. But just as the atmosphere reached its peak, the surface and inner worlds of Arkham began to gradually alternate. The surface world that had been covering gradually receded, and the inner world gradually took its place. The breath of death and negative emotions, which had been restricted by rules, began to seep back into the new land, accompanied by a heavy fog of confusion, and it spread rapidly to Arkham. The people inside were still unaware, immersed in the joy of the celebration, until the thick fog spread outside the walls of Arkham. Finally, someone noticed. The person who noticed stared in astonishment at the changes outside. The fog was so familiar to them, yet so unfamiliar. They had seen it for hundreds of years, and been afraid for hundreds of years, and now it suddenly spread here. This meant that it was no longer safe here. Fog. The fog of death is coming. It's not safe. It's no longer safe here. The people who saw it screamed frantically, and more and more people came to realize. The voices suppressed the cheers of the celebration and eventually turned into a single scream and exclamation. The fog instantly covered the area, and the temperature dropped rapidly. Although there were so many people in Arkham, it still seemed lifeless. The surface of the metal city began to corrode rapidly and rust spots appeared. The ground became filthy and corrupt, with a strong smell of decay in the air. Vision became blurred, and everything became hazy. Negative emotions began to amplify. The deepest, most primal fears in their hearts began to awaken. What's going on? Desperate cries, numb and dim eyes. The people in Arkham were in chaos. Soon, they saw even more terrifying things. The strange creatures that had appeared in Arkham before. The Sadako that only appeared in the withered forest. The pig butcher that only appeared in the slaughterhouse. The siren head that only appeared in the wilderness. At this moment, they were no longer restricted, and appeared one after another with the fog. Those familiar yet unfamiliar figures. They were the nightmares that had accompanied them for hundreds of years. This was no longer the steam city they were familiar with. Arkham. It was a city of death, full of strangeness and danger. Fear boiled over, and the crowd was completely boiling, their faces completely distorted, a feast composed of fear and despair. Under the intertwining of wailing and screaming melodies, a flower of evil composed of flesh and blood blossomed in Arkham. Today was destined to be an unforgettable day. One night passed. The inner world began to fade, and the surface world began to return to the new land. A dawn composed of the rules of the world was sprinkled on Arkham. Finally, it brought a hint of warmth to the cold metal city, and it became clear again. The warmth dispelled the cold fog of confusion and all negative emotions, along with the disappearance of all the strange creatures from the tales. The bloody curtain fell, leaving only a mess. Flesh and blood covered every inch of Arkham. The bright red, like the dripping petals of a rose, covered the earth. The people who were still alive lay motionless in the flesh and blood. Their eyes were filled with numbness, fear, and confusion, staring at the sky. In the sky, the steam airship continued to hover, and the red festive banners hanging down from above read, celebrating the 101st anniversary of the founding of Arkham. At this moment, it was so dazzling. Ding 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 the muffled sound of the bell was driven by precise gears. At this moment of six o'clock, the sound echoed from the huge clock reverberating in every corner of the city. Finally, someone regained their hazy consciousness in this sound of the bell. Crying, wailing, helplessness, and smiles, a different melody began to intertwine. Of course, the smiles did not belong to anyone in Arkham. There is always joy built on the pain of others. This smile came from the perspective of the god above, observing all of this in silence. Everyone in Arkham once again recalled the deepest and oldest fears. Sadako, the pig butcher. All of Shin Hui's eerie tales. In this bloody night, they harvested a large amount of negative emotions in flesh. Their power would grow from this. 
constantly becoming stronger. Next, it would be the final stage. This event was referred to by the survivors in Arkham as the Great Ruin. The reconstruction work after the Great Ruin took 10 days to complete. According to the investigation, nearly 20,000 people died in the Great Ruin. This was undoubtedly a painful blow, and it would be recorded in history as an unforgettable event. In the following period of time, all the eerie creatures from the tales did not appear again. It was as if they had completely disappeared. But within Arkham, it always seemed lifeless. Compared to the occasional appearance of eerie creatures, the arrival of the Great Ruin seemed preferable, and no one knew if the next Great Ruin would come, or how long it would take. This unknown sense of fear was like the sword of Damocles hanging over their heads, making them restless day and night. And because of the Great Ruin event, the situation in Arkham began to change. The number of conservatives dwindled. Simply revering them could not ensure their safety. More and more people joined the radicals. They began to investigate this world and the eerie creatures. Although it conflicted with their fears, they had to continue. Six months later, the eerie creatures gradually began to appear again during this period. However, their appearance was not very frequent and did not have a significant impact on them. The progress of the investigation into this world and the eerie creatures could be described as slow and difficult. They could not enter the world in the mist, otherwise they would be lost, and their lives would wither. The eerie creatures were also a presence that their steam technology could not handle. But during this period, a large number of people experienced mental abnormalities due to the Great Ruin event. They began to have the same type of dream, a dream composed of deep sea, whispers, and indescribable tentacles. This was undoubtedly related to the artworks created by the radicals at the beginning. Some people even fell into extreme madness and arrogance because of these dreams. They claimed to have seen something, but could not explain it clearly. Therefore, an Arkham Asylum was established to lock up all these madmen. The radicals evolved into two categories once again. One believed that this dream was calling out to them. They believed it was real, and it must be a projection from somewhere. And it could protect them, providing a safe place for them in this world. The other naturally believed that this dream was ominous. Just like those eerie creatures, it should not be approached. It should not be sought out. Time passed again, approaching the end of the year. The frequency of appearances of various eerie creatures became more and more frequent. Just like the situation before the last Great Ruin event, everyone began to make preparations, but there was no substantial preparation because they simply did not know how to deal with it. Until the annual Arkham City celebration, the inevitable disaster struck. This time, there were no celebrations in the streets, only fear as people stayed in their homes. The next morning, most people were unharmed, but there was some destruction and loss of life in certain areas. The death toll and the number of missing persons totaled around 5. 000 compared to the 20 000 deaths from the previous year's disaster it was a world of difference the survivors were grateful as long as they stayed home on the day of the disaster luck meant safety while misfortune meant becoming one of the five 000 bodies despite these odds there was finally a glimmer of hope however the unknown and uncertain fear still loomed over arkham a result of the restrictions set by shin hui after all the day known as the disaster was the transition from the surface world to the inner world, designed to harvest fear and lay the groundwork for the Cthulhu faith. If it was just for the sake of slaughter, the meaning of their growth would be lost. Three years passed, and there was little change in Arkham, except for the increasing number of people confined to the asylum. Shin Hui felt it was time to completely connect Arkham to the Sea of Death. Under Shin Hui's control, the power of the world's origin began to intertwine in space. The rules changed and the fog of death and negative emotions were expelled. The range of the new land expanded once again, eventually reaching a diameter of 107 kilometers, completely connecting to the Sea of Death. Meanwhile, the deep-sea divers in the Sea of Death continued to build their own city, preferring to stay in their own sea despite noticing some changes outside. However, it was different in Arkham. The people there were always paying attention to the world and trying to investigate. They immediately noticed the expansion of the new land and sent out personnel to investigate. Clumsy robots loaded with a large amount of supplies and tools followed a group of people wearing steam-powered exoskeletons. Squeak the precise gears on the exoskeletons turned, emitting white mist and increasing their speed. These people were the exploration team sent by Arkham to expand the new land. They applied their innovative steam-powered robots and exoskeleton technology which greatly improved their efficiency compared to the initial explorers who discovered the ruins of the city. 
more mountains, rivers, and resource points were discovered and marked. The exploration team was filled with excitement at these new discoveries, as the resources could drive the rapid development of their civilization once again. After nearly half a year, all the expanded new land had been explored. The biggest discovery was the Sea of Death. It's an endless ocean shrouded in mist, but the sea itself is not covered in fog. At first glance, it looks so cold and deep, as if it could suck people in. Despite its lifelessness, we found marine life inside, although they were incredibly ugly, so ugly that even a lump of mud would be more beautiful. This was the initial description of the Sea of Death by the exploration team, and recorded in their annals. The Sea of Death has not attracted much attention for the distance from Arkham, although some have linked the appearance of the Great Sea there to the dreams of the madmen. According to the maps drawn from exploration, Arkham began to expand and uncover more resources. One year, two years, three years, until five years have passed. With Arkham as the core city, two slightly smaller cities have been expanded in different places. Towns of all sizes connect these large cities. Steam technology has advanced and civilization has taken a step forward. However, they still cannot deal with those eerie creatures, let alone the annual appearance of great ruin. The more they understand, the more powerless they feel. Many radicals gradually choose to return to the conservatives. After all, Arkham has already established a complete monetary system. Rich and poor are magnified under the steam civilization. They also have to struggle for their lives. The tone of everything is built on fear and the unknown. During this time, some have visited the Sea of Death several times. However, there are no towns nearby, nor are there any means of maritime transportation. They know little about it, only that the sea stretches as far as the eye can see, but it is not very dangerous. And the marine creatures inside, though ugly, have a delicious taste. In order to further explore resources and understand this world, they established a small town this year relying on the Sea of Death, and named it Innsmouth. Two years have passed since the establishment of Innsmouth. Many people have migrated there one after another, especially those who believe in those strange dreams. All moved to Innsmouth. They have manufactured steamships there and started developing the fishing industry. The ocean's resources are far richer than they imagined, and the fishing industry quickly became a hot industry. More and more people began to join the fishing ranks, and the distance of sea voyages became longer and longer. During this time, the people in Innsmouth discovered a characteristic of the Sea of Death. That is, whenever the day of great ruin arrives, the Sea of Death will not be affected. They believe that the dream is real, a projection of a place. They believe even more that the sea in their dreams is the Sea of Death. This will be a place that can shelter them and bring them the truth of this world. But there are more people who do not believe. They think that this sea area is more terrifying than the day of great ruin, and more terrifying than those eerie creatures. However, the fishing industry here has become a gold rush, and the number of people leaving has not decreased much, but they completely failed to notice a group of deep sea fish people called the Deep Ones. They have quietly begun to observe everything about them. These humans are greedy, weak, timid, blind, and live in fear. They need a faith, a great faith, those who live in Innsmouth and believe in the Sea of Death. Their dreams are becoming more and more real, and they hear the call from the sea in their dreams. They see a group of creatures and those creatures guide them. Finally, on a dark night, this group of people who are about to become madmen, who should be confined to the Arkham Asylum, collectively came to the seaside, where they finally saw them, grayish-green skin, full of a cold texture, like a human fish head, standing still in the sea. It's like a statue that has been washed up by the sea and buried for millions of years. The deep ones emit hoarse, sharp throat sounds, conveying all the emotions that their faces cannot express. The images in the eyes of these people began to distort, and their eyes were filled with fanaticism. It seems to be in line with their dreams. They gradually understood the strange throat sounds of the deep sea diver, although the understanding here is not in the literal sense. They began to understand, to accept. It turns out there is a great presence, sleeping in the ocean. His servants guided them, as long as they awakened him. They could understand everything, gain everything. Their enthusiasm reached an extreme and they began to walk towards the ocean, towards the deep sea diver. They opened their hands, heads facing the sky. The cold teeth tore through some of their bodies. Blood stained the sea, but no one was afraid. They were holding a sacrifice ceremony, dedicated to him. From this moment on, they were his most loyal followers. With faith, they separated from the deep sea diver and returned to the town of Innsmouth. 
they began to gather with another group of believers. This group of believers initially feared the sea of death, but some stayed behind to fish. When they were fishing in the deep sea, they encountered the deep sea diver. From the initial fear, they later found that they could sacrifice crew members to the deep sea diver to obtain a large amount of resources from the sea. Greed consumed them. With further contact with the deep sea diver, their thoughts were distorted. They gradually understood the great presence, the sleeping God, the Lord of Raya, the great Cthulhu. The gathered Cthulhu believers were also representatives of the radicals. Under the guidance of the deep sea diver, they established the cult of Cthulhu, the great gun secret sect. With the establishment of the Great Gun Secret Sect, two years later, Innsmouth, as the birthplace of the Great Gun Secret Sect, has been filled with Cthulhu's believers. In the three major cities, including the original city of Arkham, there are also bases of the Great Gun Secret Sect. The Deep Sea Diver established a stable connection with the followers of Innsmouth. Not only did they engage in various trades with them, but they also bred hybrid offspring with humans. Humans inheriting the bloodline of the deep sea diver would temporarily retain their human form after birth. When they were under pressure or in contact with the deep sea diver, their appearance would change into the frog like appearance unique to the deep sea diver. The number of Cthulhu's believers continued to grow, and the strange power of their faith began to gather, gradually sinking into the depths of the sea. There, they were accumulating power, and when it reached a sufficient scale, Cthulhu would descend upon this land. And now, some people have received a tiny portion of Cthulhu's indescribable knowledge from their dreams. This is a gift, and also a nightmare. Those with high sanity, commonly known as high say and value, could understand and gain strange magical powers from it. These magical powers were often related to the mind. The higher your sanity, the higher your SAN value, the stronger the powers you would gain. Those with low sanity, low SAN value, could not withstand the impact of the indescribable knowledge. They would either go completely insane or commit suicide in the midst of a breakdown. However, they could gain wonderful powers, giving them the confidence to protect themselves against those bizarre and terrifying creatures in the midst of great destruction. There have been examples of this in the past two years. This was enough to drive everyone crazy. Although there were few who comprehended the knowledge to gain power, it also led more people to start believing in Cthulhu. There were also forward-thinking scholars who began to try to combine the powers they had comprehended with steam technology. In the steam era, under the influence of Cthulhu's faith, another kind of civilization began to emerge. Of course, this was just a small civilization born in the world of death. The overall trend of the world of death still revolved around fear. They were just ants wrapped in honey. It's about time now. All the materials have been exhausted, and the faith in Cthulhu has also been successfully sown. Shinhui smiled with satisfaction. Everything had gone as planned. With a wave of his hand, the scene encapsulating the development of the death world dissipated. Success meant there was no need to start over. Everything in the death world had been set. As the scene dissipated, the world will of the death world immediately provided feedback. Special area of birth in the death world, sea of death, world characteristic acquired by the death world, indescribable, under the combination of steam civilization and eerie tales, Cthulhu faith, and the characteristics of the death world. It began to move towards an unknown path, the death world's perspective on development. World rules and will have been enhanced, and the world structure has become more solid. Death world, world size, 567 kilometers, world level, level 4, creation units, 7, hero units, 18 W, ordinary units, special areas of birth, new land 107 kilometers, sea of death 234 kilometers, world characteristics, lost mist, Decayed Vitality Distortion Indescribable, Homologous Level, 1, Bond, Giant, World Origin, 0 Looking at the feedback from the will of the death world, Shinhui was not too surprised. The special area of birth, the Sea of Death, was naturally the vast sea area where the deep divers resided, occupying half of the death world. Because of the spread of the Cthulhu faith, the Sea of Death was also the source of everything. Naturally, it was a special area just like the new land. However, the appearance of the brand new world characteristic did surprise Shin Hui. According to the name of the characteristic, it was obvious who it was related to. Indescribable. Effect 1. The seeds of the Cthulhu faith have taken root and buried deep in the death world. Any creature attempting to peek into the fundamental nature of the world will, with continuous understanding, receive a vast amount of knowledge and have their thoughts and consciousness distorted. Effect 2. Powerful strange creatures will also receive a part of the indescribable effect. 
Deep divers, including all heroes, attempting to understand these creatures will also be subject to corresponding distortions, looking at the indescribable annotations. Shinhui also understood why this world characteristic had been born, where Cthulhu was present. The unknown was the greatest fear. If one lived in such a world, it was safest to just be an ordinary person. Don't become an archaeologist or historian, attempting to understand various histories. Don't become an investigator, attempting to investigate bizarre events. Don't get involved with strange religious groups, just be an honest, ordinary person. That was the safest. The subsequent prompt was the expansion of the worldview, making the death world even more solid, and the uncertain direction of the civilization born in the new land. After all, various strange creatures, Cthulhu, although they seemed to belong to the same category, they were also in different worldviews, except for the creator of the dual world system. Basically, all creators developed a linear civilization based on their own world system. Only Shin Hui, relying on memories from his previous life, integrated things of similar categories from different worldviews. It was no longer a straight line, but a winding distortion. It was even an irregular curve with a 360-degree windmill rotation. And Shen Hui also planned to integrate more things to maintain a world system and continuously expand the worldview, such as the magic medicine system that fits with the steam civilization and Cthulhu. Shen Hui felt that even if he didn't interfere, relying on the continuous progress of those people in the new land, they might also develop a similar system. After all, Scholars had already begun to study the power obtained from Cthulhu and combined it with the Steam Civilization. There was also the expansion of the Titan Universe, similar to the Siren Head and the Wandering Misfortune, and the addition of the SCP, the Backroom Worldview. This way, the level progression of the Death World can be faster, entering higher levels. After all, most of the later stages of the created world cannot be upgraded, which is closely related to the Worldview they have developed themselves into a dead end. Either the worldview is broad, or there are many, and Shinhui is both broad and numerous. The death world has received a considerable improvement, especially in long-term development. Now that he has come to his senses, Shinhui's spirit is extremely tired. This creation has consumed too much spiritual power. Shinhui exited the death world and returned his mind to the real world. After returning, the first feeling was hunger. His stomach growled. Feeling frantic with hunger, coupled with the consumption of spiritual power, Shinhui felt like his soul had left his body. He looked at the electronic clock in the room. It had been three days since Shinhui first entered the death world. Although Shinhui had used time acceleration cards, there were also many times when he slowed down to observe. Three days without eating or drinking anything. No wonder he felt this way. Shinhui was just about to get up from where he was lying down to go outside and find something to eat when the room door suddenly opened. And Qi Yan, Yi Long, Qing Shui, and Xiao Sheng Yan all came in at once, and they all looked at Shen Hui with a gaze that seemed to be looking at a monster. The door opened, and four figures rushed in at once, startling Shen Hui. Plus, feeling a bit weak in body and spirit, Shen Hui's legs went weak, and he collapsed on the ground. What are you doing? Help me up quickly. Yi Long and Qing Shui immediately stepped forward and helped Shen Hui up. Damn, Shen brother, what's wrong with you? You look so bad, and your legs are weak. Did you overdo it with the glue? Shinhui glanced at Yi Long and said irritably, Get lost. You, a dog's mouth can't spit out ivory. What are you all doing? How did you all come in? The guild leader Qi Yan looked at Shinhui with a strange look. Just now, we felt a strange spatial fluctuation and were worried that something might have happened to you. So we came in to check. It took three days. It seems that you have made great gains in expanding the created world this time. Shinhui nodded without denying it. It's okay, all the resources have been used up, and it's not worth these resources without any special improvement. Right, guild leader? But when Yi Long and the others heard this, they all burst out in surprise, spending three days, using up all the resources to create a world. Is this, is this really possible? Shinhui, have you already upgraded to a fifth level world? Xing Shui stared at Shinhui with wide eyes. And Yi Long and Xiao Shang Yan also looked at him with the same expression. If it were possible to upgrade infinitely just by consuming resources, relying on the backgrounds of Yi Long and Xiao Shang Yan, they would have taken off long ago. That's why, even with abundant resources, they had to use them step by step and gradually. But if they were all used up at once, it was not surprising that they thought Shen Hui's created world had been upgraded to the fifth level. 
After all, between the fourth and fifth levels, there was a qualitative change. How exaggerated. If I really had a fifth level created world, how could I be in such a sorry state? I say, can you let me go eat first? I haven't eaten for three days. Yi Long slapped his forehead, smiled awkwardly, and began to help him to the cafeteria. It was just past nine in the morning, and they could still catch breakfast at the cafeteria. The group went to the cafeteria, and Shinui felt much better after drinking the warm porridge. Why did you all come to the World Association so early? Wiping his mouth, Shinhui asked curiously. During the great cleanup period, there were hardly any people coming to the World Association. They only came if there was something special. We came to wait for you, Yi Long answered Shin Hui's question. Before Shin Hui could figure out what he meant, President Chianyi spoke up. During the recent major cleanup, we did indeed uncover members of the giant god sect. Although we haven't figured out their organizational structure and base of operations, through some special means, the research on bringing the created world into the real world has made progress. Now we are entering the testing phase, and we have decided to let some talented individuals give it a try. Naturally, you all will be among them. Upon hearing this news, Shin Hui immediately perked up. President, when will we go for the testing? Someone has already gone to the World Association headquarters yesterday, but it hasn't started completely, so we are waiting for you to go together. Xianyi's words prompted Shin Hui, who had just put down his chopsticks, to pick them up again. Since there was no rush, they continued to fill their stomachs. After finishing the meal, they agreed to depart in the afternoon. Shin Hui also took the opportunity to take a nap. In the afternoon, Shin Hui woke up at the call of Yi Long. This time, the location ahead was the World Association headquarters. In addition to Shin Hui and his group, there were some other people. Among them were those who had previously participated in the birth of the world. The same year as Shin Hui, there were also some people slightly older. From the previous few batches, these people had exceptional talent. And with the passage of time, the strength of the created world had become very powerful. Shin Hui had not had any contact with these people. Many of them had their eyes on Shin Hui. After all, Shin Hui had become a bit of a celebrity during this time. At this moment, a scholarly looking person walked over. He looked at Yi Long and said with a smile, Yi Long, long time no see. Have you missed your cousin? However, Yi Long's face did not show any smile, but instead became strange. What do you want? The person who claimed to be Yi Long's cousin smiled indifferently. Ha ha, it seems that we haven't been in touch for a long time, and our relationship has become unfamiliar. Next time, I'll have to let you know what seniority means. Hearing this, Yi Long clenched his fist, and his mouth twitched. Then the person looked at Shin Hui. Shin Hui, on behalf of my cousin, thank you for taking care of him in times of danger. I look forward to your growth, and when the time comes, Join the star ranking to bring glory to our water area. After saying this, the person left directly, leaving Shin Hui bewildered. After all, the person knew him, but he did not know the person. He had also never heard Yi Long mention Shin Hui's cousin. But Shin Hui could feel that the person was very powerful. Who is he? What's his identity? Is he really your cousin? Shin Hui asked Yi Long. Since he was familiar with him, he should know. Watching the figure of the person leaving, Yi Long let out a sigh. He's called Yi Ying, a few years older than me, and indeed my cousin. He's very strong, and in the star ranking, he's among the top in our water area. After saying this, Yi Long left temporarily for something. Ching Shua looked at Yi Long's expression before leaving and quietly asked Xiao Shangyan beside her. It seems that he doesn't have a good relationship with his cousin. Xiao Shangyan held Ching Shua's hand and whispered back, Who knows? Maybe it's some family matters. After all, in a big family, you know. Shin Hui nodded and didn't plan to ask more. After all, it was something within their family. It wouldn't be appropriate for outsiders to intervene in family matters. Before long, they began to board the vehicle heading to the World Association headquarters. A convoy, led by the police department, began to move. After dark, a bustling and majestic town appeared in front of Shin Hui and the others. And this town was the headquarters of the World Association. The World Association was originally created a hundred years ago to deal with invading alien civilizations. The current president of the World Association is a person named Fan Hao, who has been in charge of the World Association for 50 years. The car was driving through this bustling yet deserted town. Here, Shin Hui had a vague feeling of unreality. 
It seemed as if the World Association headquarters were not in the current world, or perhaps in between two worlds. Finally, the car stopped under a huge cylindrical building in the middle of the town. Shi Yen got off with everyone, let's go to the accommodation first. The test will start tomorrow, so everyone rest well tonight.